He doesn't know it right now. What I'm doing is pranking him into thinking that I'm moving back in. And the only reason I'm telling you on video is because <laughs> I can control right now on his computer what people tell him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just it. So, right now I live with dad again. The goddamn light ain't working. I know, I tried. That's why I got this light on for you. Well, I need to see to read. Okay, what is this even? Oh, I got a poem. I want to read a poem. I wrote a poem. What poem? I don't get it. It's none of your business. I wrote a poem. I wore it on my channel. You wrote a poem. Roses are red, violets are brewed. Grandpa's butt stinks. This sucker is good. His food sucks too. Can I read it? Yes. The internet is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to download windows. He leadeth me, me through Google. He restores my memory. He leadeth me to chat rooms for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of, the, of trolls, hackers, and viruses, I will fear no evil, for the internet is with me. Thy mouse and thy keyboard, they comfort me. Thou preparest a website before me in the presence of thy subscribers. Thou giveth me YouTube and videos and music. My email runneth over. Surely Google and Twitter shall follow me all through the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Facebook forever. Amen. Was that good? Okay, I got a question. What? Is uh, that some sort of religious thing? Yo, yeah, my religion. Your religion? Yeah. Oh, did you see somebody started the Church of Grandpa on Facebook? Yeah, so I agree. I love that. Check this out. If you guys want to join the, the Church of Angry Grandpa on Facebook, check out the link below. But do not send donations. Cause <laughs> okay, Dad, I got a question. Where, am I, where can I... I need blankets and stuff for tonight. Oh, my God. You know where they are. They ain't the cloth. Dad. What, don't, Michael? Don't start with me on this one. I live here now. For a short time. Do you find a place? Uh, I live here probably until uh, at least December. Hey, Jennifer's looking for a roommate. No, thanks. So, I told Dad Bridget and I got into a fight. I'm gonna, I don't wanna do it, but I'll do it for the video. I'm gonna spend the next couple of days here at Dad's house. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home sometimes because I don't feel comfortable, you know, being here always. But, that's how it is right now. I am going to be at Dad's and I don't have a change of clothes. So I'm gonna wear this, uh, every day. So, that's it. Like, subscribe, favorite. That was Dad's poem. It was actually kind of funny. It was based on like some sort of Lord's Prayer or something, I think. I don't know. But I'm pranking him. I hear footsteps. I think he's coming back. Hold on. Are you still out here? Yes, I'm just like crying. <laughs> hey, I'm crying too. I'm crying to get your ass out of here. I'm crying. Whatever. AGP here. Huh? I'm starting something new. Once a week, I'm gonna pick. Whoa. What the hell are you doing? Candy, you got. Oh, I can't eat. You it. can't eat it, fat boy. Put that candy back. Okay, you're right. Once a week, I'm gonna pick a jerk of the week. And jerk of the week this week is drum roll, please. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Where do you keep your shampoo, Dad? <laughs> Dennis Rodman, you are jerk of the week. Okay. You're over there. You're kissing little Jim, Kim, little, what's his name? Il John Lee. Hey, I'm doing my goddamn thing here. I'm looking for shampoo. Dennis Rodman, what do you mean? I got dang you stuck on my toe, you fat. I felt it. I'm sorry. <sighs> you big fat. Give me my, give it here. Where's the shampoo and I'll leave? I don't have any more. So I can't even take a bath while I'm here? Walt did a store and buy you some. Anyway, you run around, you date that damn, them old basketball <coughs> players who, who you must have got out the geriatric place over to, over to Korea. I, what did you promise them? Uh, chop suey or some shit? Anyway, you over there kissing little Jim, Kim, Lim, whatever the hell his name is, little ass, that little short midget over there. Do you realize that he executed his uncle? Do you realize he wants to send a nuclear bomb on a missile 
to the U.S.? Do you realize his people are suffering over there because of him? So Dennis Rodman, you're the jerk of the week. Congratulations. Yeah, when you making these little smokies? Look here. I got your little smoky, okay? What are you making me? I'm not for you. I'm going to do it one day when you're leaving. This. You don't forget this. Dennis Robin, you jerk of the week. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And, and damn, I'm tired of shit. Yeah. I'm going to show everybody the little Smokies that I want. My video's over. I turned it off. Well, I didn't. Little Smokies. I want them. You ain't getting them. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something, youngins. This is day one of the siege of Grandpa. And Michael's living here. But you know something? I know it's a prank. I know he's doing this to me, trying to get me. How I know? Because Bridget tell me so. Bridget called me and say, it's a prank. So I'm gonna go along with Michael. I'm gonna make his life 40 hell staying here. <laughs> I'm gonna let him think I'm crazy. I'm gonna wake him up early. I mean, I'm not even going to let the motherfucker bathe while he's here. I'm going to teach Mr. Mr. Michael Green how to suck eggs. He got to realize this is my house. My goddamn house ain't his. And he going to prank me. Look in my eyes. In the eyes, you see the eyes of a desperate man. I ain't letting Michael get away with nothing this time. I'm watching him like a hawk. I guarantee you, he'd much rather be home playing with his dogs and playing on his game. See, I wouldn't even let him bring the PS4 over here. He tried. Oh, uh, I'm bringing my PS4. Fuck you, ain't bringing no PS4 over here. I, I go help you. I go help you get, but I, the, hey, it's, the, the day is coming. He don't know that I know. He ain't got no idea what I got planned for him. Mr. Green, because I got something special planned for him. It's in the works. Ha, 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 ha. See, don't grab by. Hell no. Bon voyage, Michael. <laughs> like I told you, a new year, a new grandpa. I'm a year older, I'm a year wiser, and I got your fat ass right where I want you, bitch! <laughs> anyway, Michael, you welcome to my house, son. You can come home to dear old dad any day you want, cause I got you. Yes, sir, boy, I'm cooking a steak, and it is gonna be so good. Hey, Mike, I'm cooking me a steak. Yes, I'm well aware. I gotta look at you, Michael. Yeah, I got it. I got it brawling now, Michael. I'm hungry. Well, I got some. You may make you, may make you a salad. I got some lettuce and lettuce. You don't got nothing for a salad. Lettuce. A little salt and pepper. Well, you don't got dressing. I got a little vinegar. They cut, just go. You're trying to lose weight. I know that you're steak. What's wrong with steak? No, you can't have. That's my cow. I'm the one kissing that puppy. You can kiss the salad bar. You know, you know. I, I'll give you a salad bar. I'll put some lettuce on the bar, and you call it a salad bar. Either. I'll get a solid bar, and I'll hit you in the head with it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Anyway. Why do you have my camera? Because I like it. It's mine. If you're in my house, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. Ooh, look at that. You're finishing off in the oven? Yeah. Oh man. I'm trying to be like Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I gave you that tip. And I thank you. I'll be done in a few minutes. And I can have some? Yeah. Okay. I smell it. Ah! We're gonna call it smell of steak. Cause the only way you touch that stick is smell it. I smell it and it smells good and I want some. Ain't getting none. I gotta go flip it. Cause you've been on my mind. Man.
Oh my God, Michael. I want to see it. Tell y'all people something right now. I'm eating the best supper in the world tonight. Oh my God. Any of y'all come around and want, want a piece of steak, I'll give y'all a piece. But I ain't giving you shit. Hey, hey, okay, we get no, 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 no. <laughs> no, give me the phone. Time. No, no, no. You gotta get off this thing. You start reminding me of other people. Give it here. Give me the phone. I'm not doing this. Well, you better stay off of it. Why? Because my house, I said so. <laughs> I won't let you turn the TV on because I don't watch TV during the day. So I just want to catch. I don't know what's happening in the world. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening in the world? Give you ain't five. getting no state. That's what's happening. Give me five. Come on. <laughs> no, I don't worry. I'll leave you hanging. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back, young you know, when I was a kid, Christmas came on December the 25th. That happens Hey, I, this, is my, this is my vlog. December 25th for everybody. This is my vlog. I'm glad it was just when you were a kid, Christmas. And we would always 25th. put our little tree up and right after Thanksgiving, you know? And every New Year's Day, the tree come down because it's bad luck. You know you're bringing bad luck. Ah! In. I dare you. I dare you. Ah! Ah! Anyway, it's this January the 25th. All trees are supposed to be down. His name ain't Red Fox. So I came over to help him take his tree down. You didn't help nothing. You just did it. Whatever. I did it. I took your tree down. And I'm glad I did. I'm going to teach you a lesson, son. Hey, I'm not going to teach you lessons in life. I should have taught him lessons when he was a kid. But I didn't do it. So I'm going to teach him lessons now as an adult. I'm going to teach you a lesson. So get up your back and get a shake me up now. I'm going to teach you a lesson. This might not fit up your ass when I shove it. Uh... You got medicine? Oh yeah, if you got something to eat pain, go ahead. Go ahead and tear your own house up. I don't care. It ain't my house. Anyway. You're not welcome in here. He says that. He lies. It's time to leave, sir. I'm, I'm not leaving till you get the tree picked up. Go ahead. I tell you. I'll call your landlord. I'm going upstairs. All right, young guys. Look here. If you all ain't got your tree done yet, get in the hell with you. If you do... Good job. Time to leave. No more worry about my tree or my business. I'm going home now. Oh, wow. Thank you. And Michael, here, uh, he's going to be busy for a while. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it there for a month. I'm not picking I'm going to leave it there until you come back inside. You want to clean my house for me? Well, I'll put it to you this way. If I have to come back and all that's still there, I'm going to help you out. You know why? Because I'm going to throw it through your damn window. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to chug it all out your damn window. So, youngins. Y'all be cool. I'll talk to you later and. Leave. Bye. <laughs> Pickle boy running me off, so bye, young man. You're going to shake and destroy my tree. I'm doing it again, too. You're allowed to exit now, sir. Hey, youngins. I'm getting things ready for this old winter storm here, you know, and I got reminded of a story about Mike. I want to tell y'all a story. This is the most embarrassing story I could ever tell about Michael. <laughs> when Michael was a little boy, Michael had a big fear of, of monsters. He was always afraid monsters, because I used to tell him rats would come out the toilet, you know, come out the bottom of the toilet, you know, and grab your ass and shit, you know. And, and I told him one day that Freddy Krueger would stick his hand up the toilet, and you'd be, you'd be sitting on the toilet, he'd grab your balls and pull you down through the toilet. <laughs> Michael got so scared that whenever Michael went to the bathroom, Michael would put his feet, he would take off his, all, Michael, anytime he'd poop anyway, he'd take all his clothes off. Shirt, pants, everything, come off. Michael had to go to the bathroom. That's how he sat on the toilet. All the clothes came off. But Michael was a little tiny guy. Michael, Michael, he, 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 he'd get off all his clothes and he'd put his feet on the toilet seat and he was squat, like a little, like a little Japanese person, you know. <laughs> and he'd poop, <laughs> and he would be looking between his legs into the water. <laughs> Cause Michael, Michael, pray God, here, Freddy Krueger, grab his balls. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Michael, I hope that embarrassed you. <laughs> Michael used to be naked, sitting on the toilet with his feet on it, squatting. <laughs> Michael's a s Is it true, Michael? Is what true? Is it true? They're doing a celebrity boxing thing, and George Zimmerman applied. That's true, yeah. Ah, oh, damn! Where do I apply, Michael? Where do I apply? I want five minutes alone with him. Five minutes, Zimmerman. Hey, give me, give, give me that camera. Give me that camera. Look, look, Zimmerman. You see what I did to that chair, huh? If I can do that to the chair, Zimmerman, think what I can do to you. Ha! You give me that camera back, Michael. Give me an application. Five minutes alone, cause I ain't got time. I ain't got time for this shit. Woo! I'll float like a butterfly and stay like a bee. When I'm through zooming, he can be laying flat as can be. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Woo! 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 That's what I'm gonna do to you, Zimmerman! That's what I'm gonna do to you! Ha 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 ha! Please give me an application, Michael! Give me an application! Somebody give me an application! I want Zimmerman in the ring. Georgie! Georgie Zimmer! I got tagging you on my mind in a four-square ring. Your ass is going down, Georgie. That's what I do, Simon. That's what I do to your head. That is you, Simon. Ha ha! I want your ass in the ring. The only thing you can beat up is women. I'm a man. Come on, Georgie, Georgie, putting in pie. I'll beat your ass and make you cry. Grab that chair, couch cushion. What? Grab that couch cushion. What do you mean, grab the couch cushion? Get out of there, get out. Here you go, George. Take that. Come on, George. Ah, ha. Mm. Hey, George. I ain't no kid. I ain't no kid. I ain't no woman. Okay. God damn. Give this man an application! Give me an application. Come on, beat you, Georgia! That's you! The winner. I got another problem. College football. Northwestern University. Is you crazy? Young men go to high school, it's little kids, they start off playing football. Why do they do this? Do they do it because their daddy's going to take them for a taco after the game? No, they do it because they love the game. They put their heart, their soul, their being, they put everything in the game. So they go and they play high school football. And do they do it for little Susan Rotten Crotch sit up there in the stands? Well, that's one of the reasons. But no, they do it because they love the game. They put it with the two and three a days in the sun because they want to play. They want to get on that field. They want to feel the adrenaline. They want to feel the pride of the school. Then they go to college. They go to college, they got the pride, their alma mater, uh, hoo -rah, hoo -rah, hoo -rah, hoo -rah. and they love the game, they put, them college boys, they put everything into it for four years, and they play their hearts out, and, and with any luck, and they're good enough, they go to the NFL. So, what's happening now? Let me see, Northwestern. They want to start a union. They want college players to get a piece of the pie. They want to turn college football into the NFL where they get a piece of everything. They get paid to play football in college. So they're trying to unionize. So now they've sent a thing to the collegiate board wanting to say they want to start a union. You know what, Northwestern? Screw you. You go to college, you get, your, you get your, your, your education free. You get all this other stuff free. You get an education like most people can't afford. Why? So you can play ball. And now you want to get paid? 
If you get hurt, you want to make sure you get this, that, and the other. That's bullshit. That is complete bullshit. There's no reason to unionize in the college football ranks. You need to say just like you are, play for the pride, play for the school, play for yourselves, and worry about your NFL career when you finish college. And don't worry about the money. If you want money that bad, get a goddamn job! Yeah, I got a lot to say about that. So... I can say I don't agree with that on this one. You're full of shit then, Michael. I don't agree with it. You're wrong. Now listen. You're wrong. Here, listen, Dad. Why? Okay, first of all, these schools, the schools are getting money. I thought money. this was my blog. The schools are getting money. You're right. The players, now now here's a problem with college football. If the player gets injured, they're kicked out of school. Fuck it, there goes their free ride. Their free ride is over with. The, Where's the spirit? Where's the team? Where's the... And now, not to mention, you got these same, the NCAA are making money off of these kids through video games. Why not? And their names. Why not? They're, it's their lives. They move on to other things. They're getting that good education. Yeah, yeah, if they get kicked out of school. All I got to say is you're wrong and I'm right. This is my blog and why are you interfering in it? If they, Why are you interfering in my goddamn blog? No, I'm getting goddamn mad about this. It's a debate. This is mine. I don't get your goddamn blog but my two cents in. <laughs> you, you would if you were there. No, I would not. You're wrong on this. One. You're wrong. I'm not saying nothing now. You're wrong, man. End it. You're wrong. I'm not ending it. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm going half. No, you're bucket. not. <laughs> you're wrong on this one. Those kids deserve something. Yeah, they deserve something my dick. How's that? I just feel like the students, uh, the school is making millions of dollars Why off you, of wait, these this kids. This is my blog, not yours. Yes, but I'm trying to make my point. But your point's wrong. You talk, we want, I want to debate you now about this. No, we, I don't debate. I'm You're dead. debating now. I'm the old man. I don't do shit. So, you know, you don't show me no respect. Show you all the respect. You show me no respect. So, you got dander? Yeah, of course I do. God. So, it's, it's in my opinion that, you know, if the, the schools are making millions of dollars off of these students, the students should get something for their work that they're putting into it. And Bullshit. You, and you say that they're getting a college experience to go into college, but if they pull out a knee, they're out of school. And but, that's not uh, fair. Uh, you, got, you, got, uh, you got a point there, okay? You got a point there. If they get hurt, then they should be able to keep their scholarship and finish school. Okay. Instead of having it jerked out from under them, and they can't, they have to go, like you said, go to McDonald's. See, the biggest problem with that part is, God damn, can I say anything right to you? No, you've said it right. I'm making a follow-up point to that. So, because they entered themselves, they get kicked out of school. Who are you, Bill O'Reilly? Because, no, I hate Bill O'Reilly. The school just got finished making a million dollars off of this kid, and he can't pay his $100,000 scholarship, and he gets kicked out. Use some of the money you made off of him. Don't kick him out of school. Go oh, ahead. You talking? You talking? Um, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You can talk. Go ahead. Hey, I agree with that part, but... What are you going to do? How are you going to set this thing up? I mean, if they start paying for players? In terms of the NFL, the money gets distributed against all the teams equally at the end of the year. So, you know, the Panthers have just as much chance to... Oh, no, no, they don't do it that way in the NFL. Yes, they do do that. No, they, they the, the players do. I mean, the, the, the distribution the teams of wealth. Do. Yes. The teams do, but not the players. Oh, of course, I'm not saying the players. My point is they all have the same amount of money. But they don't, they're not going to do that. You think Marshall's going to get the same thing Alabama gets? What up? Talking football. I'll ask them. I got a question. All right, let's see what they think. What job are they gonna get you wet, man? I got a question for you two fellas. Do you think college football players should get paid to play football? Oh, there we go. Go away. Get out of my. The schools are making millions of why, dollars why, off these why, kids. Why should the college players get paid to play football? Because, yo, know, because, you know, because he, he, he got talent. He, he should, you know, they deserve to play football in, in the NFL. But they're getting an education for it. Yeah, yeah but what if they get injured and they get kicked out of school? Jesus fucking Christ, I gotta go through this you shit got again. The, you got the NCAA making millions of dollars off of video game rights on these kids, jersey sales, and they get nothing for it. Yeah, you just made me look like an ass now. Do you feel like an ass? Kind of, yeah. Okay, but then maybe you're wrong. I thought they would agree with me. No, man. I, I don't know. That was my opinion. You think the NFL players should get as much as they make? Yeah. Hey, why shouldn't they? They're getting more. The teams are getting more. What is with you? You're like for the CEO and not the man. What is wrong with you? Hey, I am for the CEO. Forget the CEOs. 
I'm not gonna talk about it no more. <laughs> well, I guess you've lost the debate. I guess I and they, they help they help you win. All they do is agree with what What's I say. You see him? I know you. Went, I don't know, man. What's Carlos. your name? Who? Carlos. Carlos. Yeah, you don't look that. Mexican. <laughs> you look Mexican to you? No, not very Mexican. No. <laughs> hey, no, no. This is my cousin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you've lost the debate. I've lost. Hey, youngers. Grandpa here, and I ain't. I, I'm kind of like in a bad mood, but I heard a story that the United States Postal Service. Wanted to open up a bank? Really? Really? United States Postal Service. They're going broke. They can't seem to run themselves right. They're run by the government. And they want to open a bank. Hmm. Do I want the federal government investing my money. Hell no! You know, back when they started Social Security, many, many, many years ago, they, they had a big surplus of money. Well, the federal government needed money. So they went into the Social Security Administration and they borrowed pretty much all the money. And that they were gonna pay it back with interest. That was many, many, many years ago, and they haven't paid back the first time. That's what's wrong with Social Security now. That's why there's no money in Social Security. Because the government never paid back what they borrowed, and they just kept borrowing. Now, Postal Service opens up a bank. The government needs money. They borrow it from the bank. They never pay it back. So roll that picture, people, so... As far as the Postal Service opening a bank and me depositing my hard-earned money in their bank, ha, 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 it'll be a cold day in hell. Ha, 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 ha. The Bank of the United States Post Office. Ha, that's a joke. Bye. Hey, youngers. Ha, Grandpa here. Yeah. You know, yesterday I went to the doctor. Been having some issues, some problems, you know. I guess when you're 63 years old, you're gonna have them, you know? Well, my doctor tell me he's a grandpa, your lungs are looking a little rough. You look you look pretty good, but but you, your lungs are looking a little rough. Grandpa, how much do you smoke? I thought to myself, hmm, do I lie? Ha! Or do I tell him the truth? I said, oh, what the fuck, I don't lie. I smoke four packs a day. He said, my God, man, when do you find time to talk? I said, what? He said, four packs, ain't no way you smoke four packs of cigarettes a day. I said, the hell I don't. I said, I roll them. Every morning I roll four packs and I smoke four packs a day. I'm on my way right now to see, he wanted me to take, do the patches. Well. I tried the patches one time. Hell, I smoke with the patches on. Then I figured, this shit's gonna kill me. So I take the patches off, smoke a cigarette, and put the patch on. Problem is, I be taking the patch off 13, 14 times an hour. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way to my place now. I'm gonna buy me one of them Elite, Elite E. Some kind of goddamn cigarette that, that, that blows the smoke and everything, but don't give you the shit that kills your ass, you know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of y'all are, a lot of y'all are, are, are walking. My, I got a good young Chappie who's trying to lose weight. And I know that a lot of y'all are walking with Chappie on his walk to lose weight. Well, dum da dum. As time through an hourglass, so goes the days of Grandpa's life. Y'all follow me as I quit smoking. I can't imagine me without a cigarette in my hand or in my mouth. People say, well, you're gonna be irritable. You're gonna get mean. You're this, that, you this, that. Man, fuck you. I'm gonna be sweet, Grandpa, all the time. I ain't never gonna get upset because I ain't got no cigarette hanging out my mouth. You know what I'm trying to say? 
I'm gonna quit smoking. I'm gonna give you one of them damn e-cigs, and I'm gonna quit smoking. So, I want y'all to walk with me. As, oh God, I'm smoking now, God damn. <laughs> Talk about quit smoking, what I do? I light up, well, watch me smoke my last cigarette. I'm going to get the e-cig, and I'm gonna put that up, me in the store buying the e-cig. E-cig, that's what it's called, e-cig. Ah, I got it right. <laughs> anyway, youngins, walk with me down the road as I quit smoking alone, putting them down. Well, fuck, whatever. I can't even pick. Anyway, bye, youngins. I'll see you all the next one as we start. Grandpa quits smoking. All right, youngers, here I am. I'm at half price. I'm at the half price tobacco shop. We're going to go in and we're going to see about getting to eat. Whatever you got, I can forget what you call the shit. So here we go. Let's go talk. Okay, I went to see my buddies down at the other place. They didn't have the right e-cig, e whatever you call it. I don't know. Anyway, let me show you younger something. This is like so cool. This is like flavors that you can get your cigarettes in. Isn't this awesome? Look at, look at all this sound. Man, I have been smoking. I tried, I tried smoking. I tried smoking coconut. Wow. Look at. Now, what color battery did you want? You have the choice between these four or white. We're at a place called E-Vapors. Please smoke responsibly. I ain't never done that. That's why I'm in here now. See, you even get help by expert people. <laughs> Almost expert. Almost expert, but they try. They, wait till they get a load of me though, right, youngins? So anyway, like I say, I'm in a place called E-Vapors. Please smoke responsibly. We are gonna go through a journey together, youngins. We is gonna quit smoking. We are gonna get hooked on e-cigs and I guess I got brand new friends here. What was your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Tell me guys, y'all know y'all want to come here and buy your, your, your <laughs> cigarettes. Ah damn, hell yeah! Anyway youngest, this is like part two of my series. Walk with grandpa. I don't give a damn if you do or don't. But anyway, bye. How I look youngins? Ooh. And I can kill myself! Youngins, go buy one. Man, if you live in my area, come to E Vapors. I swear to God. Nice people hook you up and show you everything. So. Ooh. Bon day, youngins. I'll be back with my journey to quit smoking. Okay. And you can just hang it right in there. So you don't forget things. And what was your name? Chuck. Chuck. So when y'all are in E Vapors, come see Chuck. Bye, youngins. Cooking with Grandpa! <laughs> Man, Grandpa is cooking something good today. Grandpa is cooking something what he calls, uh, hell, I don't know. Oh my God, my stomach. Oh my goodness gracious, I hope that flavor don't hit the goddamn meat. Ooh. And today, Grandpa's gonna be all about beef and noodles! Ah! Oodles and noodles! Man, you can fill your fat bellies up with that shit. I guarantee the whole damn meal won't cost you $10. And you can feed the whole goddamn family full five on that bitch! So anyway, cooking with grandpa, cooking the noodles. I, I should have showed you me cutting the meat up, but I done done it, and I ain't going back to redo it, so... Anyway, I'll see y'all shortly. Bye! Okay, I'm back. As you see, we got the meat cooking. It's gonna be tender. It's been boiling now for like two hours. And then over here, I got some green pepper going. And when you got green pepper, what goes better with green pepper than onion? Gotta have the onion. Bacon! <laughs> yeah, throw that bacon in there too. 
Ah, yeah. There goes my lens getting all kind of foggy. Ah, yeah, that's better. La 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 la. La 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 la. Hey, hey, hey. Here a pig. La 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 la. And when you got pigs, you gotta put in a little salt. Not a lot of salt, a little salt. Let's see what else we got up here. Oh, hell. Let's put in a little lemon pepper. I'm going to tell you all, y'all, you cook anything in this world, and I don't care how it tastes, unless you put a little bacon in it, you ain't got jack. As you see, we got some wild egg noodles. Ain't getting no burrilli, because we don't eat that shit no more. I used to use burrilli, not anymore. You tear that meat, that water's still in your meat, and you just put some noodles in there. Just let it cook down. There it is. AGP noodles and beef. You know. <laughs> smell good. Look like dog food. <laughs> ah. Hot. Oh God, that's good though. Oh my God. The seasoning is just right. That lemon pepper brings a little, a little, little tang. And that bacon like rounds it all. Bacon! Bacon for everything! Yeah! Let's try the meat. This is old tough ass chuck. Ain't got no deep! My bird is just doing right up. Ah, oh, damn. So remember, you boil that old chuck, that old, why pay big money for tender meat when you can buy a piece of chuck, cut it up, boil it for about an hour, maybe a little longer. Fry you up a little bell pepper, onion, and bacon, a little butter. Put it in there with the damn beef and the water. Don't, don't pour your water out. The juice from the meat that's in the water soaks into your noodles. Now you can put that on a plate. Maybe a little, a little can, open you up a couple cans of corn. A couple pieces of white bread with butter. God damn, AGP done it again. Ray one, A plus for grandpa. Nobody can beat me thinking about noodle, 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 noodles. So, bye youngins. See you all next cooking with grandpa. AGP youngins, good morning. As you see, we have ice falling. The trees are getting heavy. It's, let me see, Wednesday morning. <laughs> the kiddies are home from school and they're bored. So what do you do? I smoke a cigarette first. As you see, they're bored. Jacob has nothing to do and he's bored. Are you bored, Jacob? Yes. And there's JC. He's well, he's always bored. He ain't never happy. And there's John. He's sick. John been blowing his groceries. Anyway, what's better to do than do something with the kids, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to make 
Biscuit pizzas. Look at the goddamn mess you did! I mean, yeah. You know what you even talking about? Yeah. Don't start giving me trouble, boy. Yeah, yeah do that one. Yeah. All right, so you take your biscuit dough. Get that thing in there, boy. Mm -hmm. Spread your dough out. Don't touch. I want to do it. See, you, you spread your dough out like that. And you put the dough there. I'm going to let you help top yours, okay? Okay. How about you, Dummy? You want what kind you want? Want some of that on there? I'm talking to you. You answer me. I want some of that on there. Huh? I want some of that on there. That's onion. I want some onion, bacon. Oh, you gotta have bacon! Ha 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 ha! Daisy loves bacon! Me too! Who cares what you like? Who's the test dummy? You're gonna be the test. Would you mind? Uh. Pizza sauce, guys. Ha well, happy pizza sauce, guys. Yeah, happy pizza. If you don't got pizza sauce, just get some uh, spaghetti sauce. Bacon. Get it. And bacon. And bacon. So just take your hands. You know, you're not, you're not making up. You're not in a damn pizza place. What you want on yours? You want ham on yours? Ham, bacon, pepperoni. Ham. Mm, I love ham. You want a hamburger cooking over it, boys? Yeah. Mm. We're gonna make some taco. A bit later, in a few minutes. Look at that. That's yummy. And there we go. Then you just stick them in the oven. In the meantime, I'll be back to you. I bet, please. Thank you very much. All right. Go cut this off now, and I'll be back when they're done. We'll tell you what they're like. Jay, you got anything to say? No. You got a girlfriend? Yes. I heard you kissed a little girl to run the other day. No. I heard you did. You little lover boy! Ha 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 ha! That my lover boy! Ha! Uh, all right, I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, they're done. And we're gonna find out as soon as they cool down. I'm gonna give them to the boys, and they gonna try them. Should be good though. We'll see. Grab my ear. As you see, we finished. And these boys are eating. What do they dig them? Good. You like that? So see, y'all can really do anything, right? You can cook, you can eat. And just think, y'all help make these. Jacob, you are Chef Boy RD. But now we're gonna take a few minutes because we're going to, uh, what the hell are you swinging your arm for? Are you flying, you taking off the flight or something? You are, huh? what are you going to? You don't know, you ain't gonna talk? No. Yeah. Anyway. We're gonna take a break from this now because we gonna make we gonna now make us some some taco biscuits. Something to do on a weird icy morning with nothing to do. Be back! Now we're gonna take some some beans, refried beans. Fried beans. We're gonna take some of that hamburger we fried up. And of course, we gotta have bacon. Then we go, uh, you, wanna, you wanna use this on me a little bit, okay? Okay. There is your taco pizza. Anyway, it's taco pizzas and some, I don't know what call them, pizza pockets, I don't know, but anyway, there they are, with the help of my grand boys. Hi there, I'm Charlie Green. 
I'm AKA the Angry Grandpa. And I want to be your governor. comes up with dumbass ideas. If you're on food stamps, you can't buy drinks or cookies or sweets for your little ones because food stamps are for food. She doesn't want to legalize marijuana. My first priority is gonna to be to legalize marijuana. I would, I would push same-sex marriage because who are they to judge? I'm going to tell you right now. When our governor went to the National Republican Convention and said, Bowie's been in South Carolina and not one family's been hurt. Tell that to the people of Trailwood, lady. Now look here, why don't you just go back to where you come from, do your little accounting business, and be a happy little wife, and take care of your kids, because I'm, we don't need you in South Carolina, lady. And I had decided that the Democrats ain't got nobody. But let's turn the state capital, let's give it back to the people! The people who elect them! Let's put the people involved in what goes on. True, you got crackpots out there. But come on. Plain people got plain good ideas. So, let's get rid of the money shit. Let's put common sense back into the governor's, governor's house. And let's make South Carolina prosper. And let's actually make for the people, by the people, and give it back to the people! That's right, I'm Charles Green. Call me Charlie. Are you coming, are you coming, Grandpa? But I wanna be your next governor. I'll say what the fuck I want! Well, here I am. I've got my camera kind of, it's cold, I ain't lying to y'all. Man. Look at that goddamn bomb done blown up here. Look at that shit. Like damn disaster area. All this snow and ice. Me, my. Anyway, young, I don't want to talk to them. Oh, damn. One even took down the fence. Anyway, you know, young as a lot of y'all write me, you say, Grandpa, why do people put shit on my wall? Why is it when I write something, somebody always writes something back that sounds mean and hateful? Well, Grandpa's here to tell you what you do about that shit. When somebody writes shit like that on your wall, what you do, you got three choices. You can block them. You can turn them in as harassment. Or you can go on their wall and write shit too. <laughs> Try that. I tell you what, somebody writes on your wall and let's say you wrote, having a great day, blah, blah, blah. And somebody writes on your wall, you wouldn't know a great day if you saw one or anything mean to you. You go on their wall and you write something mean on theirs. You a wonder looker. You ain't got good sense. Just write something hateful. It don't matter, just write anything you want. Just have fun with it. Pretty soon they'll get the idea and they won't write on your wall because they could be writing on your wall saying, please stop writing on my wall. All you guys say, hey, boo. You wrote on mine, I write on yours. 
So if it would ride on yours, ride on their wall. If you don't want to do that, then like I say, either block them or turn them in for harassment. Because you see, your Facebook wall is your wall. That's where you can write it to your friends and say anything you want because it's yours. God damn rain, I swear. We're having a bad day with all this ice and shit, people. Ah, but spring's coming. Spring is coming. What's the old saying? Summer's gone and winter's past. Here comes spring. So kiss my ass. <laughs> okay, young, and look here. If y'all are out here and y'all got this shit going on like we do right now, I hear it. Damn! Y'all see that ball up that goddamn tree? All right, young'un, look, I'll tell y'all later, Grandpa, signing out. And I'm gonna get warm, get me a cup of coffee and get my fat ass warm. Bye! Well, it's cold, and I mean cold. As you can hear, the chainsaws are running. All the limbs are down. Storm's gone, but the aftermath. Not the reason for this vlog. You know, one of Michael's young and friends sent him a book signed by President Obama. I don't like Obama. I don't want a book from Obama. But you know something? Michael does. Michael likes our president. Michael considers it an honor to have that book. And you little piss ants write me, Michael got a book, signed book of Obama. You ought to go to his house and tear it up. Well, screw you. Isn't it Michael, isn't he an American? Isn't this America where you can like who you want, you can support who you want, and just because, and, and people can't say you can't do this and can't do that just because you want them to do it? Michael has the right to have a book about Obama if he wants it. People, it's his Facebook. If you don't like it, don't get on it. If Michael, if you go try and tell Michael what to read and what not to read and what to say and what not to say, screw you. I mean, come on. Everybody, this is America. You do what you want, you support who you want, and you back who you want. And you like who you want. Me, if I got a book from Obama, I'd probably burn it. But that's me, not Michael. Michael, enjoy your book, son. Tell these other people, kiss your ass. Bye. Grandpa here, Terry B, aka Hulk Hogan. You're going back to the WWE. You going back to the big times, boy? Let me think. What could you do at the WWE? Nah, they got somebody to clean the urinals. Nah, they got somebody to, to set the chairs up at wrestling. I don't know what kind of job you can have. Damn sure can't wrestle, boy, because you're too old. But let's get to the meat of the matter. You, you leave WWE. You don't like Vince McMahon and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and cry. So, you go to TNA. TNA. Wow, that's a <laughs> losing company. But you go there and they pay you big bucks. The other wrestlers get ticket rides and popcorn and candy apples. But no, they got to pay you big bucks. Why? Because you're Hulk Hogan. Terry B. I really don't know what's wrong with Vince McMahon. I don't know what he's thinking because 
WWE damn sure don't need your ass. We know you love your family. We know you love your daughter, man. We've, we've seen the videos of you putting the suntan lotion on her ass. We know that you love your daughter. That's another thing, bringing that up. Are you going to take her to, t uh, to WWE too? Are they going to give her a job just to pacify your fucking wrinkled ass? And Terry B, we know you were in the gym. And we know that you da 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 worked out. That you got a magnificent body. <gasps> Steroids. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Steroids. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I had to sneeze. You know, it's like the Beatles wrote that song for you. What is it? I'm a loser. I'm a loser. And I better put the bleach down. Uh, yeah, you're a loser, Hogan. By the way, I got another question for you. How's that, how's that young fella that you're, your son maimed and crippled and ruined for the rest of his life that you y'all talk bad shit about? How's he doing? Oh, you probably wouldn't know because you don't care. I guess he can't help you. Terry B, you're going to ruin WWE now. You've already ruined TNA, which they had a good head start with that bitch running it. Even that dog over there is barking saying, Hulk Hogan sucks! Hulk Hogan sucks! I guess that's all I got to say, Hogan. Just, I don't wish you luck. I wish you unluck. And I hope they don't have you on much because I'm going to get this stuff because I like to watch, you know, a little WWE. I just hope I don't get to see you on it because you know why? You're a piece of shit. You'll always be a piece of shit. You're gonna die a piece of shit. And next time you put some suntan on your little daughter's legs and back, <laughs> have a rub for me. Bye, Hulk. Terry, whatever the fuck your name is. You know, hey, youngins. When I was a kid, growing up, I went to a school, because I was bad. And they sent me to a school in Columbia called Opportunity School. Well, <laughs> Wasn't no opportunity because they made they 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 ooh. and all kind of weird people there, you know. I thought I was part of the elite group. Had had a had a had a used to call people names there. Had one guy we call Clem Cadillhopper. And old Clem, man, if he wanted to walk if he wanted to walk straight, he'd he'd have to turn to the side and walk. To, to walk a straight line. So we called him Clem. Clem Goodlittlehopper. Made fun of him, you know. Then there was this girl, we, her name was Pel we called her Pelican. She has some kind of disease with her, but had big old eyes like a bird, you know, and beak. And her arms would, would, would drag the ground, man. She, now she was a true knuckle dragger. And they say at nighttime when they took her braces off, she'd fold over like a jelly. But we call her Pelican. You know, we made fun of her. There was a girl there named, well, we called her Hatchet Face. Because she had an eye here, an eye here, her nose was here, and her mouth was like right here, you know. And all kind of zits, and, you know. And, and we made fun of her. We called we call her Hatchet Face. You know, kids are cruel. We, when you, you know, you make fun of people for the way they look. You make fun of people for the way they act. They don't dress like you do. They don't run with the same friends that you run with. How many of y'all right now, now y'all are saying, Grandpa, ah, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me ask you one. How many of y'all out there right now, how many can actually look at, look, raise their hand and say, I never teased anybody? If you can raise your hand and say you never teased anybody, that's because you are one of the ones that got teased. So don't freaking lie. Don't pick on people. Cause you know, you know something? Those three people that I named, they were the nicest people. I I was I left I dropped a book one time in the hallway and didn't see it. Hatchet face picked it up and brought it to me. She said, 
She said, Mr. Charlie, is this your book? I, I, I found it. I, I hope you don't mind I touched it. And I'm going, what? I thought about it for a minute. Why would she say that? Never thought about it again, but it dawned on me a little while ago. Everybody teased her so damn bad that she really thought there was something wrong with her. Your mind can make you think things like that. If people keep telling you over and over and over that you're fucked up, pretty soon you're going to believe it. And you're going to think, well, it's not them, I'm the problem. You're not the problem. It's people like me that pick on you. Quit picking on people. Treat people with respect like you want to be treated. Don't do like me, for God's sake. Don't do like I did when I was a kid. I, I, I ran around with a, with a crowd at school and they thought they were the elite, the best, and did what they wanted and set the best tables and got the best work around school. And I was said you could, they were good people. You could talk to them. They were friendly. They came from good families. But because they looked different, we treated them different. People, give it up. Give up the ghost. Start treating people like you want to be treated. Treat them like they're people. Get away from treating them like they're full of germs. Because all you're doing is hurting those people. They're going to grow up hating their lives, hating themselves. It's up to you people. Listen to Grandpa on this one. If you're picking on somebody because they're different, stop it. All right, youngest, I'm, I'm getting off this thing now, but stop picking on people. Don't do like me. Do like I'm telling you now. Stop your bullshit. Treat people with respect. You'll be treated with respect, and you'll have a much better life, and you will make that person's life so much better because you're seeing them, you're saying, hi, how you doing? Not, hey, how's your face, what's up? Make, make their day. Be nice. Later, people. Grandpa, yeah? I, I, I see on the news that Time Warner and Comcast are going to merge. What the hell? Now they're really going to have a monopoly. You know what gives me I hate Comcast. You all know I hate Comcast. Time Warner, I can tolerate. Comcast, no way. Here's my problem. There's no competition out there. So they can pretty much charge anything they want and get away with it because who's going who's gonna to be there to drop the price if, if, if you don't take them? They can go to like uh, these uh, MTV and the rest of them say, we're not paying you this much uh, now to, for your shows. We're going to pay you this. What the hell are they going to do? It's a bad idea. Isn't that called Monopoly? Isn't that called, uh, we should be doing shit like this? Isn't there a law against that? About one company owning it all? Man. You know, the thing is, there's nothing we can do because we're just little people. We're just a little man and we don't have to say so. We have to pay whatever they say or we don't get the product. All I got to say is Comcast, bite my ass. And all I got to say is Tom Water, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Don't go. I don't want my time water. I don't want Comcast. I want my time water. <coughs> don't go, time water. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, well. That's all I got to say. Bye. My name is Yuzi Raw. Yeah, I saw it. Yuzi Old Paul Trotter. Yuzi Old Paul Trotter and people. What are you talking about? All of a sudden. Da 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 but I did in the middle. Ah! Got out of there. And he, and he, and he, and he, and he got. Come on. He got that in. Wait, wait. Get out of there!
Hey, right here. God! Hey, can you do it or not? I'm trying. Like Mussolini. Mussolini, I don't know. He's good man. Are you going to do it? How do you do it? Is that it? No, that ain't it. You my goddamn toenails. Anyway, Paul told him he had a people believing or oh, 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 seeing a bug in the room. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever Paul him. I'm trying. I can't do it. Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! Hey! Come on, man! You break me! Ah! Go! Down and 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 down. <laughs> Dang, you got that pipe bomb! It's time. It's time. It's time for Angry Grandpa's Window Liquor of the Week. Geek, 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 geek. I'm gonna make window liquor of the week. Let me see. There ain't but one person that qualifies this week for window liquor of the week. Chuck Nagel. In case those of you don't know, he's like over the military, you know, Obama pointy, shit like that. He's over the military. Let me start off by saying. We have the greatest group of military men and women in the world. They're in the service and they're not asking how much you going to pay me. They're not asking how long I got to spend here in the service. They're asking where do you want me to serve? What do you need me to do? How can I protect the country and protect civil liberties and keep America free and safe? Their families do without a lot of stuff that they don't have to. A lot of these military, most of the military people can do a whole lot better on the outside, but they choose to serve their country. Their families sacrifice and choose to let their loved ones be in the military and to serve their country proudly. And I thank each and every one of you military families for allowing your loved one to serve and take care and protect me. Back to my point. Our military Is the, is, 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 the most, is the greatest in the world. But Chuck Nagel, that window licker in all his glory, in all his might, has now decided that he's going to cut the military back to pre-war World War II staff. In other words, he's going to cut the military down. He's going to make it where there's, where, where, where the military isn't going to be as strong, even half as strong as what they were, which is going to make countries like Russia, uh, Iran, China, and the rest of these countries that don't like us too much. Chances are good they're going to become more dominant. They're going to become more powerful. They're going to laugh at us. Well, they laugh at us now. So, our country is now going to be weak. Our country is going to lose face with a lot of countries because our military keeps them free. Our military keeps them strong. And Chuck Nagel, I salute you, Chuck Nagel. You get Angry Grandpa Salute of the Week you win the liquor you want to cut the military you want to hurt this country you took a vow you took an oath 
to love and protect this country. And instead, what are you going to do, Mr. Wendelinger? You're going to cut the military. Man, God help this country because Washington don't give a damn about our people. Washington doesn't care about our military. They would rather see what military we do have be on food stamps and possibly collect welfare because I give up. Chuck Nagel, I salute you once again as and you are the first angry grandpa window liquor of the week eek 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 grandpa here I have been talking to some families hard working families that 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 are trying to feed their their families they get out and they go to work every day they they're doing the right thing and they get food stamps oh oh big deal they get food stamps some people have to have the food stamps to feed their kids our governor I have to give her her props. Our governor stepped up. We had ice storms here for two days, you know, at two different times. And our governor is giving, well, gave food stamp recipients extra food stamps for the month because of having to be home, more eating, you know, and, and to, help, to help the working people out. To help the poor people out so they can feed their families. So, Gov... Never thought I'd ever say this, but but Governor Haley, thank you. I know they appreciate it, and you did a good thing. But you know what hurts all this? These fucking pill popping, dope smoking, alcoholic bastards that get their food stamps. And they turn around and they sell them for half the price. I'm not saying all. I'm saying you know the particular ones. You all know the ones that are going and doing that. And they're buying their drugs. They're buying here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. It's not. They're the ones that need to lose that shit. They're the ones that need to. It bothers me! People trying to feed their families and these goddamn dopies are selling their shit for, for half the cost of the food stamps and buying dope or alcohol or whatever! It's not right! If you know somebody like that, turn them in! Let them give the food stamps to the families that need them. That are taking their food stamps and they're going to the store and they're buying, they're buying the cheapest stuff. They're, 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 they're trying to make their food stamps last through the month. They're not in there buying the T-bones and as some people have you believe. They're buying what they have to to feed their families. So their kids don't go to bed hungry. Yeah, I'm passionate about it. I'm more than passionate about it. Then you got the stores. They'll look at the guidelines of food stamps and they'll put just enough in their stores so they can start accepting food stamps. And then they'll sell the beer, the cigarettes, and they'll market as food for the food stamps. Turn them in! These store owners are committing fraud. They need to go to jail. They need to have their food stamp license revoked!
a lot of you youngers are out there and you're feeding your families and using food stamps and more power to you. If that's the best thing you can do, you have to do what you have to do to feed your family. I don't care what it is. You can be a whore out there, but if you're feeding your family and, and you're using the money that you're making whore and feeding your family, the more power to you, whore. Do what you have to do to feed your family. And put a roof over their head and, and dress your kids. Whatever it takes, you have to do. I'm sorry, youngers. I didn't mean to blow. I didn't mean this to happen, but... I just, I've seen things in Walmart. I've seen, I've seen some few things in a few other stores. I actually saw somebody take their card and give it to another person so they can buy their groceries, and I saw them hand them the money. I saw this in Walmart. Told them to cut their password, everything. It's not Walmart's fault, because they, they, you know, they're running a business, and they don't have they don't have the food stamp patrol, you know. But I saw it; and it bothered me. Damn people! That's why that's why it's so bad now on things. That's why it's so hard to get anything anymore, because you got people that that take advantage of the situations. You got people that 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 ruin everything for greed. For the almighty pill, for the almighty joint, for the almighty can of beer, the liquor. They will let their kids go fucking hungry. So they can do their self-gratification. I'll see y'all in the next one. I, I gotta go. There's a show coming on tomorrow night. Or tonight, or hell, whenever you see this. It's called Southern Charm. It's coming on Bravo. It's about a, about a bunch of rich kids here in Charleston who, they don't give a fuck about the poor man. They're all rich kids, you know, and they've always had everything always given to them, you know. And a lot of people in Charleston say they don't like the idea of that show because uh, it's making Charleston look bad. Well, number one, don't, you can't make Charleston look no worse. Remember, we got Joe Riley as mayor in Charleston. You can't make things look no worse than that little mealy mouth motherfucker does. Mayor Riley's been a joke for years. But I don't care about Joe Riley. What I care about is they have a guy on that show named Thomas Ravenel. Thomas Ravenel comes from a prominent family. Thomas Ravenel's father is one of the best things that ever happened to South Carolina. Mr. Arthur is a good man. He's done so much for South Carolina, for Charleston in particular, but South Carolina all in total. Our big bridge here is named the Arthur Ravenel, you know? But the apple didn't fall too close to the tree. In fact, the apple, when it fell out the tree, it rotted, bruised, everything in one before it even hit the ground. Thomas Ravenel was our state treasurer. He won because of name recognition. He was a Ravenel. He'd be good in public office. Well, come to find out, he was a drug head. And they busted him. And he had to resign as state treasurer. And he went to prison. But he didn't stay too long in prison. Why? Because he ratted everybody out. He's a rat. He's a cheese eater. Instead of just doing his time like he should have done, he dropped a dime on everybody involved. He came out of prison. I'm a changed man. He went, they got this broad here, man. Her name's Tara Savacious. She's a talk show host in the mornings on WTMA. He's been on there numerous times. And she treats him like he's some kind of king or god or something, you know. And, you know, I understand she's from North Carolina. She ain't got too much sense. 
But she talks about him like, oh, he's a changed man. Well, a few months ago, he was arrested, I think it was in New York, for drunk driving. Damn, he's a changed man, ain't he? And he says he thinks he's going to run for political office again. I dare you. I dare you to run. I'll do more videos about you, boy, than you've ever seen in your life. I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared of your family. I ain't scared of your money. I ain't got no money, so what I got to be scared of? Thomas Ravenel. Mr. Mr. I'm on Bravo. Well, Bravo to you, boy. You window licker. We're not gonna get window licker. We we're not gonna talk about your family, okay? I'm not gonna do that. Boy, you should have followed your daddy's footsteps. And been a good man. He made his money in real estate. You making your money off your daddy, and now you're trying to make it on TV. You ain't gonna be on there long. They show you riding the boat. They got you talking to Terrence Savages. Aw, oh, mm, that's so sweet. You a good little boy. You talk Miss Tara. Miss Tara in the morning. That woman, she don't care nothing about poor people either. They talk about people living trailers. Call people living trailers trash. You pass by a trailer, all you see is a bunch of kids out there, dirty, snotty nose, hair all stringy. Her and that goddamn friend, uh, asshole, whatever his name is, is on there with her. See, you know, they got the elite here. You know, they all run together. They don't care about the little man. They don't care about the poor man trying to make a living. They, that, that radio station is nothing but for the rich man. I listen to them. To try to find out what's going on with them. I listen to about 30, 45 minutes and I get sick to my stomach, go throw up, and then I listen to something else for the rest of the day. But Thomas Ravenel, I wish you luck in your endeavor on your show. But the sooner they get rid of you, the better off they're going to be. Mr. Ravenel, I hate to say this, but when Thomas was coming out your dick, you should have choked that motherfucker. Or pulled out, let it go somewhere else or something. Because you wasted it. Now I know you ain't going to like this, Thomas. I know you're going to hear about it because we both in Charleston. <laughs> At least I tell the truth. You lie. So you go get on your little polo pony. And you ride all over with your little hat and hit your little, hit your little balls everywhere, you know. And you get on your little boat and you run up and down the creeks and you get in front of the camera. And you go sit on Miss Terra show. And you talk your lies and your trash. But you go run for, for, for the government again? A state office? I'll see you in hell first. Bye, Thomas. Good luck. Grandpa here. And it's time for cooking with grandpa. <laughs> you know, Michael's been sick. He's been under the weather. Had <coughs> coughing, <coughs> hacking, <coughs> you know, just <coughs> the general. You know, when I was a kid, my mama, when we were sick, she'd make us some chicken and rice soup. Full of flavor, the nutrients, it would just pick you up, make you feel better. So today, in honor of Michael, because I'm going to take it to him when I'm done, going to make Michael some chicken and rice soup. And it's going to be good. Because Grandpa going to cook it. Grandpa cook, you know. Anyway, what you got to do here? See, you get your water boiling. And then you take the bouillon cubes. You throw them in there. Because you really want to get that flavor into the soup. And while that's boiling, well hell, there ain't no telling, you know, you gotta, you gotta put in a few carrots. Carrots just kind of give chicken noodle soup, some chicken and rice soup, just flavor. Flavor like you ain't never had. Then of course, Gotta add a little sodium. 
the only ingredient this thing really you have to have is chicken. And Michael's going to get the quality cut chicken. I guarantee you ain't nothing too good for my boy. Now I'm giving him the finest choice in chicken. So see if we got all this boiling good now. I'm going to turn it down to a cut here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that boiling all over the stove. Ta-da! Chicken feet! Ha-ha! <laughs> cluck, 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 cluck! Hi, Michael! You can eat on me! Ooh, that's like a damn little hand on it. Anyway, we put the chicken feet in there. Hell, let's just put plenty of chicken feet in that motherfucker. Oh, Michael's gonna enjoy this so much. Oh no, he got a hangnail. <laughs> Are you giving him a hangnail? Oh my god. That chicken got a hangnail. Well, I can't bite that. Yeah, we got, we got chicken feet ball in there. Look at all that juice in there. All that flavor in there. Oh my god. Michael is going to enjoy this. Oh man, I can't wait to serve it to him. It's cooking though. You know, back when, back when Michael and they were little. Oh God damn, that place hot. Ow, 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 ow. That's hot. You know, back when Mike and. Charlie and Jennifer and Kimberly were little. They come in and say, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. I said, well, the, the, made me some soup. I don't feel good. I said, aw, poor little thing. What you want, Michael? Michael said, chicken doop. I said, what you want? He said, chicken doop. <laughs> he was so cute. Little bastard couldn't talk. Wish he was still that way. But he was, I remember one time, one time when Michael was a little boy, and was in kindergarten, I told him a poem. I might have done told the story, but I'm gonna tell it again. Guess what, I'm old, I got it right. <laughs> Michael, I say, Michael, the roach, the roach is climbing on the wall. Don't get the raid, let the motherfucker crawl. <laughs> Michael went to school, and, 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 and it, was, it, was, it was on a Friday, and it was, it was I, we know what they used to do every Friday, you know, when kids you know, do little things they had, you know. Michael said, I know a point, teacher. You know, Michael talks so cute. He talked to little Jacob, yeah. Little Jacob, well, Michael, we a little played it, not much. I know, I know a point, teacher. Oh, what's your point, Michael? The roach, the roach, it's climbing on your wall. Don't get the way that motherfucker grow. They called my house. I had to go to school and explain what am I doing teaching him poems like that. Never taught him another one. Oh man, look at that. That thing is just a ball now. Ooh, that soup is getting ready. It's just a steaming. It won't be long and my big boy. It won't be long my big boy be be munching out of some on, on some chicken and rice soup. Making him feel better. Oh, poor little Michael. Gonna make that baby feel better. You better feel better. I'm going to all this trouble. You better start. You better enjoy every drop of this soup I'm making for you. Because I'm making it for you and I'm going to bring it to you and let you enjoy. Oh, God damn. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God damn, that burn. Dude. You know, Grandpa here, yeah? you know, I don't date much. Cause I, I guess you could say a little cautious, you know? Yeah, I go on a date every now and then, but I asked a woman the other day, she said, she said, Grandpa, let's me and you go out and have a drink. So I did what most people should do when you go on a date. I asked for her mate max. She said, a mate max. What's a Mate Max? I said, a Mate Max. It's like a Car Max. I want to see the papers on you. I, I, want, I want to see how many miles you actually got on your ass. 
almost how many times you change your oil. Uh, I want to see how many owners you've had. <laughs> I want to make sure you weren't, a, you know, like a taxi cab, you know, and had a lot of passengers. And she said, uh, you're crazy. I said, no, I'm not crazy. I'm cautious. I want to see your mate max. Young as any time you help somebody ask for their mate max. If they don't have a mate max, you, don't, you know, you can go along, you know, triumph, you can go out on a test drive. Make sure it rides smooth. <laughs> make sure, make sure it's all in where it's supposed to be. You know, you can kick the tires a little bit, you know, and but 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 if you go get serious, you need to get a mate max. So don't you hesitate. Call one eight hundred mate max. Find out where she's been. Well, how many states she done been in? How many how many towns? How many houses? Find out if she. It's good news week. Fred Phelps, he died today. I ain't never gonna miss him anyway. I'm glad that he is gone. You're dead. <laughs> You're in hell. You're there with your brother Hitler. It's good news week. We don't have to hear your crap. Save room for your screwy daughter. She's coming to see you soon. Have you heard the news? Fred Phelps is dead. Yes! Call themselves a church. You ain't no church. You're a group of haters. The only people in your church is your family. Minus the head honcho now, huh? <laughs> oh God, I can't quit laughing. That's the most amazing news I've heard in a long time. Shirley, your daddy's dead. He's in hell. So I guess, Shirley, I guess you go run the show now, huh? I guess when you die, I'll do a little dance for you too. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're going to hell anyway though because you had an illegitimate child. And since you go by the Bible, I think that means you, you're sinner. So you're going to hell. Shirley, I know you don't like this video. You know what? I don't really care. I didn't like you going to those soldiers' uh, graves and, and picketing their funerals because of that, that they died because God killed them. If God ever killed anybody, it's your daddy! <laughs> I swear to God, I just, I'm not having a field day with this shit. The worms are eating you. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, they go in your navel and out your mouth. <laughs> Fred, I swear I can't get over this. I am just so happy. Hey, Michael, you hear the news? Of course I did. You called me ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, calls, Dad calls me this morning. I get a call, what was it, about 15 minutes? Well, it was like 10 minutes. You got to hear quick. Dan right. I'm, I'm excited. I hear the, I hear wind blowing past the windows. Michael, Fred Phelps is dead. Oh, my God. I mean, it's a good day. Have a little compassion, man. No compassion, not for no. I, what compassion did he show? That I, I see your point. I can't tell. We. What compassion did he show? I still can't tell. I can't. Uh -oh. Get your face out of my camera. What did he see? He showed no compassion. He showed no compassion. He would have them people. They'd make signs. Okay, when when a soldier would die, he or if anybody, he would he would go and and stand out. And they'd walk with signs saying they're going to hell because God. Hates gays, and he killed them. He's America. They they do it any anytime anybody dies. They put up a little thing. Thank God for the missing plane. Yeah, they put up. Oh my God. Anyway, that's why I don't like the Phelps family because they're haters, and I don't know why they think they can get away with with you know with with all this hatred they do about the gay people, the gay community, the gay community. Where do they bother? Who do they bother? No, which way am I supposed to look? There, there. I just wanted to get film loaded for my vlog. I just don't know. You know, I, normally I hate anybody dying. Let's face your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Normally I hate anybody dying. Fed selfs, I don't have any compassion. I don't care. I, I just, you know, part of me wants to say, okay, they lost a family member. The other part, look at all the people they hurt. So. They, they hurt people and they don't care. My they, compassion turns to pity real fast. Well, I don't have no passion. They ain't no, I got passion. 
I passionately glad he's dead. <laughs> I said compassion. Oh, I ain't got no compassion for that family. I don't either. It sucks, but... Poor Shirley, your daddy's dead. Now you gotta stand to hold that sign all by yourself in front of that soldier's grave. You poor baby. I'm gonna end this thing. But all I gotta say is thank God. <laughs> thank God, Satan, Satan. You know what I'm thinking, Satan? What's that? Because Satan's got his right hand man now. <laughs>
I want some goddamn crap. Thirty-five dollars for goddamn Oh, fuck! Why are you trying to rob us, poor American people? I damn, you know what Obamacare is? Jesus Christ, you trying to pay your insurance? Ah! I want a goddamn crab leg! So, I went to order that some Chinese food. What's this mess shit? That's, that's sweet and sour sauce. Woo! Woo! You don't like sweet and sour chicken? Woo! So, Dad Woo. usually likes to add a side of crab legs. But to do that tonight, it was a thirty-five dollars. Usually, what is it like? Nineteen? Twenty? Well, good God, it's just a twenty goddamn dollars. No, but you get a crab leg. God damn! Now they went up fifteen dollars. Then ain't no like this. That motherfucker ain't worth fifteen dollars. And fuck Hong Kong. And fuck you, Charlie Can. Well, at least eat what you got. What's in this motherfucker? Chicken with garlic sauce. Hey! That's fried rice, I'm at. They're like worms. Are you filming? I was talking about The Walking Dead. Yes, I'm filming, bro. I was talking about The Walking Dead, man. You know, I love that show. Oh, my God. Man, at that, at that episode the other night, two weeks ago, they'll never top that episode. What happened to Beth? I want to know. Where the fuck is she? Somebody please tell me what happened to Beth. I don't trust that place, Terminex. Terminex? Yeah, Terminex, you know where the, the, all the sides were leading to Terminex? Terminex is the roach sprayers. I don't trust them either. You know, my, it was kind of fucked up when it killed that little girl. I mean, bam! She did. If I was Terrell, I'd have shot that bitch killing my girlfriend. Wait, Daryl? Terrell, the black dude. That's Tyrese. Who the fuck is Terrell? Terrell's the black dude. I just told you that's Tyrese. You know, and you got old Rick's wooden looking son. Got that old, his daddy had on his head like two times too big. Got the gun hanging down his leg. He gonna walk like this, you know? I got, might be a Chester off goddamn Matt Dillon, you know? Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon. And what really bothers me about the little wooden looking boy, his daddy's almost dying. He's flat out on the couch, looking half dead, and that little wooden looking motherfucker sitting up there on the roof, chowing on that goddamn pudding. Ain't even saying his daddy none. Got no use for him. He don't share. Fuck you, Carl. Your problem is that your little girlfriend is dead because they shot her in the head. Yeah, because she she was gonna kill your little sister, and you little wooden looking bastard, you were to date her. Okay, I don't get it. Do you like The Walking Dead or hate it? What are you, you son of a don't you ever say that? I love that show. That's the best show on TV. I can't help it because they got Wonder Lickers. So you love Walking Dead? Yeah. So I can call this Angry Grandpa Loves Walking Dead. Yeah, but then, you know, just, I don't know, Carl. But you want to see my interpretation of Carl? Yeah. Stay there. Goddamn liquor. I really like The Walking Dead. Hey, the thing about it is, I can't talk. I can't say nothing. No. Tonight's the final episode, so you gotta watch it. Don't miss it. It comes on it sometime. But anyway, don't you miss it, Best. What am I gonna do for these times? It's not gonna be on. Sunday nights is gonna be boring. You know, after today, fuck you, Sunday. I don't care anymore. Wait a minute, Sunday's God's day. It's also a Walking Dead day! My God, that last night was the worst Walking Dead ever. It didn't make no goddamn sense! What didn't make sense about it? There was no action. Oh, one time, one time when Rick, I, you know, bit the guy's juggler made a spit at him. That, oh, I did like the part though when he went down one guy and took a knife up his dick and just pulled the knife on up his belly. I did like that. I don't remember that happening. But you didn't watch the show last night, did you? But after that, it all went downhill. I mean, they all went to Terminex, right? And when they got to Terminex, you know, they couldn't even go in like regular people. They had to go in the back door, like, like you know. Well, they were right to do that. They shouldn't have even went in at all. No, the night show was done. 
Cause they go inside, and what the hell happens? God damn. Can you help up? Yeah, give me a hand, man. God damn. Something's wrong with that I mean, they take that goddamn girl, and last week, first time I ever noticed her wife wearing a goddamn poncho, right? You know, cause you couldn't help but notice it was multi-colored. And there she is standing at, modeling her poncho. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I know, I know what you're talking about, it's true. You know, there she is. I, last week I even said, damn, I ain't never seen that before. <laughs> and all of a sudden this week, all of a sudden this week, a new face is wearing the poncho. <laughs> Same poncho, just different faces. So Rick's going, something wrong with this. I mean, really. What about the watch? I never seen the watch either. As far as, you know, they showing Herschel in the thing. Like, I don't even care what time it is anymore. I ain't care how what time it was with a game to watch some motherfucker. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? It sold more than one watch. How do you know that was her Herschel's watch? All he saw was the chain. Fucking Herschel done dead. He laying back in the goddamn prison yard. And you know, every time they go to Terminus, they got that bitch, she must be the cook. Because she's always one over the grill saying, Y'all hungry? I'll fix you a plate. Ah, did you look at the goddamn plate? <laughs> I'll fix your plate. And it's always little strips of meat. Where are they getting all this meat? Something wrong, tell them right here, something wrong. And ain't no people around. I bet them motherfuckers done cannibals. I made a part of walking dance to, look here. There's Carl. Oh, there's Rick right in there. Well, who do you think's gonna be eating first? It won't be that damn, what's his name? That Chinese fella? Glenn? Yeah, it won't be Glenn, because they eat him, they'll be hungry in 20 minutes. In fact, Glenn's not even in there, see? <laughs> Hi! Y'all like y'all been on the road a while? Y'all hungry? You know? <laughs> I'm telling you, they gonna cook and eat them. Pow, pow, pow! Freeze! Start walking to the, to the railroad car. You first, leader. Now you, Archer. Bull buggy shit. I ain't turning my back on no motherfucker got a gun aimed at me. Then they put him in there, right? And all of a sudden, the door closes. And all of a sudden, his people come out. Rick! And what does that stupid motherfucker say? What, Rick? Da -da 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 -da. What'd you say? They don't know who they're messing with. Motherfucker! You got no guns! You got no hammers! You ain't even got a damn match to burn the motherfucker down when you get out! How in the hell you gonna get out of a locked car and you ain't got no tools? And they and, and you don't know you don't know who they messing with. They messing with you. You the one that got them all locked up. I'll tell you, I will be Rick and Carl now. This is Rick and Carl. And they're looking out that crack in the damn out the damn railroad car. Well, there. Yeah. What's going on, you guys? Pick a boy here. And today I picked up Dad's camera, his video camera, and he tells me, I got a vlog in there you're going to want to see. And so I wonder what the fuck he's talking about. So I said, like, what kind of vlog is it? <laughs> Trust me, boy, you're going to eat it up. So I figured he's got some sort of interesting vlog for me to upload to his channel. And I look at his camera and I watch the video, and Dad was trying to troll me. He made a video of him just eating Cheetos or cheese puffs for two minutes. Just eating cheese puffs. Oh, I guess I, I wasn't going to put it up. I'm putting it up. So here's the video of Dad eating cheese puffs for two minutes. If he's going to troll me, he's trolling all of you too. So here you go.
Grandpa here. And it's Anthony's birthday. Michael got a note. We'll see if he answers. That's like four ring a dingies. He ain't home. We'll try him back in a bit. If you still want to leave a message for this person, I ain't even a message, but I will call back. Please stay on the line. It's his birthday. Okay, we tried him again. Hello? May I speak to Anthony? Uh, sir, this is him. Is this Anthony? This is Anthony. Anthony, when are you going to pay your child for a payment? We've been waiting, we've been waiting for your goddamn child support payment for uh, a damn near two weeks. Hey, hey, you no kids. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, fucking Anthony. Happy birthday to you. Ah! How you you don't know this ain't grandpa! How you know it's grandpa? I don't know that voice. No nah, man, I heard today was your birthday, man. I I I I, I, I figured it was time for a, a happy birthday call. Well, I appreciate it, thank you. So how old are you today? Twenty three. Tw shit, man, goddamn, man, you still shit and yellow. You still a baby? <laughs> yeah. Well, look here. I hear you've been going through a lot, man, and and I hope everything turns out good for you. Here. Ah, right, thank you. Cause everybody needs things to turn out good for them. Yeah, hope everything goes good with you too. Hell, everything goes good with me. What are you doing? Man, I I just sit here and watch a little TV and. A little bird flew on my phone and said, I need to call you. So I went to, I said, okay. I'll, I'll call him wish him happy birthday. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. I mean, you made my day. Well, you have a great one, Anthony. All right, buddy? Thanks, you too. Anything you want to say? I, I got this. I'm recording this. Anything you want to say? Uh, I mean, you rock. I watch all your videos. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> all right, Anthony. You have a great one here, buddy. Thanks, you too. All right, bye-bye. All right, that was Anthony, and it was his birthday, and, and, and normally I don't record these things, but I did this one. Anthony, hope you have a great birthday, man. You've been through a lot this past year, man, with all your problems. Just hang in there, man. All you youngins, remember, hang in there. It's got to get better. It can't get no worse. Grandpa loves you, youngins. Bye. Well, you almost ready? Do I have to? Yes. This is necessary to me. Put men. her far away from me. I'm going to sit y'all right next to me. I'll be goddamn. That ain't happening. No, that's not happening. No, really, my. Oh, then I'm going to the house. Dad. I'm not sitting next to her. Dad. <laughs> We're not married no more? Dad, for the video's sake, y'all need to be talking. We're going to talk, but not like. She says there, then I'll turn my chair around here. Get the motherfucker away from me. I'm serious. I'm with the motherfucker right there. Oh my god. Sit down. Why don't you sit on his lap? No, I'm mean, not. <laughs> you need to stop. That kind of shit you need to stop. Why? Because it ain't never gonna happen. I'm not saying it will. You ain't getting your mom and daddy back together. I'm not trying to. Now every motherfucker out there is gonna be saying, oh good, grandma and grandpa getting back together. Well, fuck all y'all. This is just a conversation between the two of you. You know you're a lot better off now that we broke up. Yeah, I guess so. You do what you want to do. You got anything to say? What about what? But any guy, you, you, you fucking half wit. So this is one thing I'm sure she doesn't miss: the the verbal abuse. You done? I'm, how, how many years were we married? Thirty. Oh boy, you Man, broke me all the time. How many goddamn times you broke shit of mine? 
How many times my mama give me shit that you took it out in the goddamn streets of cars can run over it? How many goddamn times? Let's get it all out. Well, I don't shit, how much no, of no, my no, elbow no, shit you what, break? Just start it out, just a conversation with you. Let's goddamn have it out. How much of his mom's stuff did you break? I don't know. All of it? All Pretty of much it. all of it, isn't it? You know, and how many times you get a wild hair up your ass and fucking goddamn talk shit and leave goddamn... One time you went to the goddamn bus station and left the car. I didn't even know nothing about it until I got a guy found and finally got in touch with somebody and told my goddamn car I was at the bus station. Go get it. Did you tell your fans what really broke us up? Yeah, you! No, you. Me! And whoa, whoa, how the fuck did I break it up? Because I knew a month before we broke up that you were planning it. You're a goddamn liar. We broke up for a because you got a wild hair up your ass and accused me of goddamn screwing on the motherfucking internet. What was I doing? Taking my dick and throwing it on the keyboard and saying, hey, baby, look at me. No, but. Hell no. In the and middle it, of the night, you were talking to some bitch online, naked as a damn jaybird. That's a goddamn lie. You prove it. Okay, first of all, if that was naked, he's always naked. Naked as a jaybird. You're a goddamn liar. You're the one called DSS, told me I had that rat around my finger and, 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 and I was using it. Of course I did. Yeah, you did. You're right, but you go and you tell everybody. You, you ripped up their. Well, you know, if but I. You're the one. You're the you want, you want to know the actual reason y'all guys actually had a divorce? The truth, truthful reason is uh, I talked to dad. Everyone was going to think it was going to work out, and but you ripped up the fucking social security cards, and you told them you showed your ass. We told them, and then the dude from DSS said you were no longer allowed back on the property. Boy, if I ever see him again, I'm going to run him over. Oops. I thought that was a, a speed bump. Oops, I thought it was a speed bump. Sorry. Should Sorry, I keep Brian. that in? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's no longer with DSS. You're right. I saw him about, what, about a month ago? Where? I saw it, and he said he'd come by to see us a couple times. He's still a prick. You told him that you were throwing you were throwing pictures in the street. You threw Kim's pictures of Lily in the street and let cars run over them. I was filming that night. You took pictures of my goddamn mama and ripped them in half. And you know how much my mama meant to me. Then you carved, well, fuck anything with a hole in the back of his car. And then the DS man said, we stand standing back of the car. He says, oh, that painted over. He says, she wrote that, didn't she? I said, yeah, she did. And all that happened, he goes, you know what? I'm sorry, Mr. Green, but you guys are going to have to separate or something because she can't be back on the property. And then you run around, you tell everybody, mother... Oh, and let's, let's really talk about it. How about the time you went all over goddamn North Charleston putting them little motherfucking flyers up? Well, I forgot what they said. What did they say, Michael? I was in New York at the time. I just saw, I just saw pictures. I had to go all over North, North Charleston because you had them on goddamn every motherfucking mailbox. You had them on all the goddamn street signs. So she's had two boyfriends in this time. Now nah, one was a prank. One was a no. It no, was. that was not a prank. You fucked that up. He said, "I knew it was a setup from the beginning." It was not a setup. You were, yeah, I probably can't keep this in the. Hey, I tell you one thing. I can't keep this in the video, but the reason you and Gerald broke up is because you said you hope his son dies so you can spend time with him. And no, his... no, no, no. He came over drunk as a skunk one night and said. His son was in the hospital, not paying any attention to the doctors or anything, and he uh, he just wished it was all over with. That was out of his mouth. And then you said you came to the hospital. You were harassing him while his son was in the hospital. You were giving him eighty to ninety fucking uh, goddamn emails. I mean, uh, text messages. Text messages a day. Where are you at? How come you're ignoring me for him? And now the son's dead. How do you feel about that? Tina, comment? there is a man out there for you. But to get him, you got to quit being so retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's fucked up. It's true. You had a girlfriend in a period of time. She was a bitch. Oh my God, she was a bitch. Okay, Lizardina, you got your life down. I got mine. I wish you luck. I don't need luck. I got Michael. And if I didn't have Michael, I wouldn't have nobody. Michael is my best friend. I'm still gonna give him, I'm prank, still gonna prank your ass as much. You wait to see how many, if you I could, got something planned for you now. You I'm got nothing planned. I'm working on it, babe. You're right. Hey, let me show you where your dad's head is right now. Hey, that's hot. Yeah, you're a hot head. I was going to say empty, but that worked out better. Anyway, what else you want to say? Can you at least be my friend? Friend? Ha! Friend, I'll show you, son. I got you a friend right here. Look at I got my coffee. I got my cigarette and my lighter. Good luck. I'm Have blocking the door. Yeah, I got you. I'm not letting you go. Answer the question. Y'all should be able to be friends. You either move, or this hot coffee is going in your face. Yeah, right. One, 
to. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Get, 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 get off the grass. Get off the goddamn grass now. What? Get off the goddamn grass. What, dude? What? Get up here on the porch. Safer. What the hell are you talking about? There is a damn kaboom viper snake running loose. Running where? What are you talking about? I don't know. Where's a kaboom viper? A kaboom viper for Africa. When the mother goes, and you're dead. What is that? Oh, oh it's, the, it's the hose. It's about five foot long. And it's brown, and it blends in with the grass and shit. And I did one, and you're dead. But anyway, they've been looking for the sun, because they can't find it nowhere. It's loose. Holy shit. So I'm, I, you know, I know we live, I'm still looking. I'm serious, Michael. Well, how far are we from Mount Pleasant, dude? We're about 40 miles, but you know, snakes and quick. Don't come back unless you got a weapon in your hand. What if what if you do see it? I'm gonna throw this down and run like a motherfucker and call the police. I think there's I think there's a reward offered, so I'm hoping I see it. Look, I'm a little afraid actually, cause I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I got the rake. I'll protect you. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, look. Wait, Dad. What? Your fence is like knocked down right there. Oh my God! The boom, the viper can come right through. Oh God! What the fuck is Daniel stepping on? What? It's a limb. It looks like that though. <laughs> it's called a kaboom African kaboom viper or some shit. Dead! Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Looks like a trench that I could be trench. crawling. That in. goddamn viper about to jump that goddamn trench. I bet you that viper's in my yard somewhere. Goddamn! I'm turning. I might help. I use right hand. We're looking for a snake. A viper. What? That snake is loose. That African viper. Gotta get it. Call it kaboom. Kaboom's gonna be. She called me a retard. Kaboom's gonna be the sound that makes when you hit the ground after it bites you. Jesus Christ! Look at these boys done. Oh, goddamn, oh, motherfucker, oh, oh, Man, this thing could literally be over here, Dad. Literally, man. What is this? What's that? Oh, look at it. It's a cable or something. Oh, well. What if the pit viper ate this? Man, don't even talk that way. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going back on the porch. I don't know, dude. So there's a kaboom viper and it's loose. It's called kaboom viper, African kaboom viper, and it's loose. And they got a reward for it, so I'm hoping I find it. How much is the reward? Hell, if it's five dollars, that's more than I got right now. What the hell? This is a goddamn pine tree. What's down here? I can step on hurt my feet. Could be prickers. Prickers. Oh goddamn! Ah, oh, goddamn! Fuck. I need shoes. What are you, Moses? Moses wore sandals. Ow! Dad! <laughs> what happened? You hit me in the head with a goddamn... You really did... Oh, I'm sorry. Water's all over you. I'm sorry. Motherfuck. <laughs> now you even got your rake. I ain't going back for it either. Anyway. Just remember, it's called an African Kaboom Viper. And it's loose. And it's loose. And there's a reward. So if you find it, split with me. Well, I think I just found it. You motherfuckers, get away from me. AGP here. You know, youngers, I I'm always cutting a fool, or I'm going fucking crazy, or something. This is a true story. Dun dun, dun 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 dun. True story. I've been on here what? Seven, six, seven, eight years now. I don't know. I want to tell y'all a story. I'm gonna tell you. You know, I'm gonna fess up. You know, they say fessing up is good for the soul. 
Well, today, Grandpa fesses up. The truth about Grandpa. Damn. About 17, 18 years ago, I used to weigh around 800 pounds. We had a love seat, and that was my chair. I couldn't sit in a regular chair. I, I had a big wide chair at the, di at, the, at the dining room table where I ate because I couldn't fit in the other chairs. I was in bad shape. I was going to the doctors. I had high blood pressure. I had diabetes. I had a uh, cholesterol problem. I mean, you name it, I had it. Breathing problems. Um, I was really kind of screwed up. I had a heart attack. That didn't scare me. I was literally dying in my own fat. So I convinced a doctor. Oh, one more thing. I was in a wheelchair. I didn't let that part out. I was in a wheelchair. Uh, I'd go somewhere and Michael they would have to push me around because I couldn't walk. So I was getting no exercise. I was always filling my mouth up with food. Didn't care water, I mean, typical meal. If I went to a buffet, I would go back five, six, seven times to get food. Load that plate up. So I had a heart attack. They said, you gotta lose the weight. They, they, were, they put me on the treadmill. Ha! I was too heavy for the treadmill. So they say, you gotta walk. I can't walk. I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. I can't walk. I couldn't. My, my ankles were like that big around. You know what I'm saying? Well, to condense this up, I convinced a doctor into doing the gastric bypass. This doctor was in a little hole in the wall office in Lexington, South Carolina. He's also on the car lot. He did a lot of other things too, but he had he had a, a bariatric practice and he did the surgery. So I, you know, I didn't go through any kind of counseling. All I know is that I had I had Medicare and that's all. I was good enough for him, you know. So <clears throat> we did the surgery. While I was on the table, I died. He lost me. So he wasn't able to do the complete bypass, so he kind of patched it up, and then I came back to life. He said, "Well, he's all right. He'll live." He did, in a few, in several years, he's got to have the surgery again. And he's sitting there in the office, and my room said, "Mr. Green, I want you to know that you're going to have the surgery again. We weren't able to finish it. So find your doctor and have him redo it about five, six years." Motherfucker didn't tell you that. No other doctor is going to touch another doctor's work, okay? In the meantime, he and I had I had some tubes right here. Let me show you. I had a tube right here, and here, and here, and one here, and on those tubes, he connected little balls to them, you know. And that was a drainage. Those were drainage, and everything was just well. After I come home, the damn thing just fell off. I'm like, hey, Don, the, 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 the balls fell off. What am I going to do? He said, well, you don't really need them. Just do something. I said, well, bandages? Yeah, get the bandages, take them to you. Well, bandages were expensive. My mother, God rest her soul, went to Tina's bathroom and got Tina's Kotex. And she taped Tina's Kotex to over those holes so that all the drainage Hey, it looked like you lady was on her period, you know, because it would just fill up with the blood. And I lived, I had that for like five or six days. And I was losing the weight, but I kept pooping. I stayed in the bathroom. Every time I tried, I'd eat one thing, boom, gone to the bathroom. And they told me that I would probably, that I'd get the dumping syndrome. Never told me what the dumping syndrome was. This went on for about three years. I, I, I was losing the weight. I was dropping the weight off. That I, I did do. But in the meantime, I was bathroom bound. 
And I was trying everything, and I drank beer, thinking the yeast in the beer would, would, would absorb, would, would take care of it. Or I would, or they would tell me to mix um, Pentabismol and Imodium together and drink that, that that would take care. Well, no, that shit worked, okay? But it, it was bad, but it wasn't bad enough where I couldn't survive. Because if I went somewhere, I had to find where the local bathroom was. Went well, nowhere that I didn't know where the bathroom was, because it would come to me, but it was only after I ate. And in the meantime, I'm eating like three little meals a day, you know? So, I finally, several years went by and I finally went to my doctor, another doctor, and he said, well, I'm, I can't redo the surgery because, you know, you've got these, her no, I got two hernias. I had a hernia that came out like this. It looked like I had a basketball under my shirt. It looked like a garage from a dick. But I had one there and I had one right up here. I had two. And every doctor I saw, well, we can't, we can't do that. We can't. There's nothing we can do about that. You're going to have to live with the hernias. I'm not one to give up. So I said, fuck it. The medical university is in Charleston. Family, we're moving to Charleston. Well, medical university wouldn't touch it either. I had a little problem and I went to uh, the emergency room and they referred me to a doctor in Somerville, Dr. Warren, Dr. Warren. So we made an appointment and I went in there and he said, well, let me ask you one question. What kind of insurance you got? I said, well, I got, I, I got Medicare and Medicaid. He said, good enough for me. He said, I take care of them. Them hernias ain't nothing. I take them out. I was in the hospital five to six weeks. They had me in a coma induced, induced, they induced coma to where I wouldn't wake up. And while I was under, out of it and crazy, I was seeing things. I seen demons, you know, climbing on my walls. And I had a demon at the foot of my bed. And I had demons all around me. And I saw my dead daddy. He come see me. My dead grandma, she come talk to me. It was like everybody that was dead while I was induced in this coma came and talked to me. Tell me, hey boy, you ready to come home? Yeah, you going with us? We going to party. We going to party. I'm making light of it, but it wasn't funny then because I was dying. My daughter lived in New York. And Michael was a little fella and my two grandsons were real tiny then, real tiny. I even had a vision about them that their daddy came and got on that worthless piece of shit. Joshua Henry Watson living in Pennsylvania. Never done want to support his boys, but yet he's married to this other bitch supporting her kids, but he won't support his own kids. But that's enough of that. That's another video. That he took him and got him and took him away. And I was looking for him. This part's hard. It really is. I remember them, I could hear them talking around me, and I remember the doctor telling my family, if there's anybody that you want to see him, they need to come see him now because I doubt Mr. Green makes it two or three days because he's that far gone. My daughter came from New York. She got in my bed with me. I was done. They said, okay, go see him, Miss, Miss Green, you know, go, go see your dad because he may not make it till morning. Kimberly got in the bed with me. She was slapping me. Daddy, get up! Wake up, Daddy! Wake up! You're not gonna die! You're not gonna die! You're not leaving us! Get up, Daddy! Daddy! All of a sudden, the nurses came running in the room. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I lost myself. They said, hell no, keep it up! He's coming back! Blood pressure started going up. My mind started coming back, but she told me, Daddy, we love you. Daddy, we love you. Please don't die. I came back. My daughter brought me back to life. Maybe that's what I needed to hear that. I love you, Daddy. That's what's wrong with a lot of families now. They, they don't look at their, their family, their, 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 their mothers, their fathers, their sons, their brothers, their sisters, their cousins. I love you. 
three little words can turn somebody's life around. I love you. I care about you. You mean the world to me. I'm straying again. Sorry, back on the track. I came back to life. Within the next day, they had me up walking because I came back because of my daughter. Ugh. This is hard to tell. I'm going to move on several years. I got to the point this past, anyway, I was living like that and it lasted up until this past September. This past September, this, this, this dumping syndrome got worse. I got to the point where I was pooping 25 to 30 times a day. I got where I was passing gas all day long. No matter what I ate, it went through me. I was in so much pain that I turned to the streets. I was buying perks. I was buying Laura tabs. If there was a pain pill drug out there, I was buying it, trying to stop this pain in my ass. It would not go away. So I turned to drugs. I got, I started to find myself getting hooked on these drugs. I found myself wanting to get high because that's the way I could live. I still pooped, but my butt didn't hurt. Try buying three, four, five Lord Tab tins, perks, whatever a day to survive, just to get through the day. I got hooked. Michael saw that. Michael, Dad, you gotta chill. Dad, come on. I'm, I know what I'm doing! I know what I'm doing! I'm stopping the pain, Michael! The pain is there! I won't go away! What do I do? Ah. Someone very close to me. Well, let me finish another story. I finally, I got a gastrologist. He's trying these different pills. He's trying modium. He's, try, he's trying all this stuff that's not working. They're giving me a, this medication to put on my butt for the pain. But the problem with that is, you poop so much that you keep wiping it off, so you have to keep using this medication. And you don't, you don't get it but once a month. So you stay in pain. So I, I still, I'm still on the drugs. Mike was a dad, try marijuana. I said, no son, I can't do that because if DSS was to ever come in and test me, I would lose the voice. So I'm not doing marijuana. I believe in marijuana, but with my four boys that I'm raising, I can't be on marijuana. So I called my doctor. I said, Doc, we gotta do something. What else can he say? He said, Mr. Green, there's nothing else we can do. Your butt is gonna be like this till you die. Then I got to thinking, maybe I'll get a gun. This I'm ashamed of. From the man that always fought back to fight, to beat, to win battles, I was ready to give up. If this is the way I've got to live for the rest of my life, I don't want to live. I want to die. Give me a gun. Give me something. Give me. Give me four or five pills, I'll take them, I'll die, I'll get out of this, I'll get out of this world, I'll get out of it! I'm not gonna live like this anymore! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not! Someone very, 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 very close to me said bullshit. They sat down with the computer. They spent a day, day and a half, Going, they're following a paper trail. They're putting in the dumpy syndrome. And this one's talking about it. And it's leading them here and they're going over here. And they're seeing this story about this person, that person. What up for that medicine? I'm sorry, I want to show y'all something in a minute. They kept going through and they're going from this person to that and they're reading all these different things from these people are writing. And they, this one particular message keeps popping up. They're saying, oh my God, one guy said, I was trapped in my house. I'm a prisoner in my own house, in my own room, in my own bathroom. I'm a prisoner. I swear to God, I couldn't live like this no more. 
I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything. He sounded like me. It was like me talking. It was like me writing this. I can't go nowhere. I can't do nothing. He mentioned one medicine. This very, very, very close friend of mine said, try this. Let's talk to your daughter about this medicine. The medicine's name is Methoscopolamine Bromide 2.5. So I talked to my doctor. I said, doctor, I've got to do something. I've got to. He said, there's nothing can be done, Mr. Green. I said, please, let's try this. Here's the name of it. Please. He said, I've never heard of it. I, I, I've never heard of this medicine. I can't do this. I said, Doc, it's my life. I'm the one that you say. I said, if you don't, I'm, I'm going to end up killing myself over this. I'm not going to hurt anymore. I'm not. He said, there's another medicine I want you to try. He said, I'm calling it in right now. So I went to the pharmacy to pick up this medication. I sent Michael to go get it. The medicine he gave me was the medicine that these guys, people are talking about. He said, I called, I said, Don, I thought you were going to order this to me. He said, Mr. Green, you need a chance. I'm going to, I'm going to follow your lead, Mr. Green. You did all, y'all did all the work. You told me what to work. Let's try it. That Friday, I took the medication. All right, Michael, this is Mail Call Monday. Mail Bag Monday, whatever we call it. Which one do you call it? Mail Call Monday or Mail Bag Monday? Mail Bag Monday. Monday, every Monday, we're going to open the mail. I'm going to save it. And you cannot open, open all of these, dude. Yeah, I can't open all of it and read it, but I'm going to pick a few out and read them, all right? How many have you out here? Oh, this is an ass of them. This is an ass of them. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all. I like getting your letters. And I will end up reading them all. Just because we don't open them all on camera doesn't mean we're not reading them. So we do read everything. I saw a couple, I uh, saw one on top with my name on it. I will read that letter, I promise you. We just can't read them all on the on the video because there's just so much here. There's so much, there's no way. Yo, we get bored. All right, dear Aunt Grandpa, Mike and Bridget. My name is Brandon Clark and I am from, from shitty ass Madison, Ohio. I just turned 25. And me and my husband, Ricky, love you guys. Since their anniversary is 427, we have been together two and a half years. Get back with me when y'all been together 10 or 15. What the hell is this? Is that Jesus. change? Damn, look at that money. Look at that money. Damn, $5. $6 and 50 cents. Bro, who's that from? my cigarettes. Everything I goes on YouTube, I go to watch your playlist. Uh, if you if you don't get the money, the mailman stole it. <laughs> I like that. My mailman don't steal your money. Anyway, whatever your name, you didn't even give me your goddamn name. But anyway, appreciate the money. That's a pack of cigarettes. It says read first. Oh hell! A dollar! Another dollar! I got a dollar! I got a dollar! I got dollars all holla holla holla! So now you got seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, I got seven dollars and fifty cents now. Thank you. That's almost two packs of cigarettes. Her name is Maxie. My name is Maxie. I'm 16 years old. Oh shit. Uh, I, I even smoked cigarettes for about a year and when I stopped all my depression, anxiety went away. Well, that is you. Keeps on, gives me a phone number so I keep her world laughing and singing. Baby, I keep, well, you're 16 years old. I can't say that. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very. Thank you, Max. I appreciate the letter. Be cool if you open this. Well, we'd be cool. We'll open it on camera. You got nice handwriting. Got a very nice handwriting. Got to have intelligence. Must be one of your people. What the fuck? Oh, Janet Hall. Do a picture of your dog. Oh, awesome. That's so Pick cute. Pick a boy Bridget. Took me some time. Wow, that's really neat. I really like it. I got a damn problem with her guy with Janet's letter. She made me last. 
Oh, Pickle Boy Bridget, Grandpa. Make me laugh! Appreciate the picture, y'all got the picture, right? Let's see what this looks like. Candy! Love your YouTube. Your, your friend Josh. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate the Reese's. Money! More money! Whoa. Two dollars! Oh, you got three you know something, cigarettes. You know something, Mike? I appreciate the seven dollars that guy sent me, but this two dollars and that one dollar meant just as much to me because the youngin thought about me enough to send me a couple bucks. Thank you, youngin. That's who you are. I don't even know where your damn envelope is now. Of course, the name says The Giver. Well, yep, The Giver. I have been watching your videos for a long time, and for you to know only, he got your flat screen brand new TV. Just kidding. Here's something for you to think to thank Michael, are you fat friend there? Thank you. Oh, he's saying it's for me. Oh, my God, that's my money. You ain't getting it. Thank you, Giver. You give it, and I take it away. Jack Wilson. As you'll see, I'm just picking random. My name is Jack Wilson. I am your well, I was from Washington. I watch your videos damn near close to religiously. I am 15 and you write so small it's hard for me to read your right. I have you on my YouTube channel where I post skateboards, videos, I film and edit myself. Yeah, I'm glad you're a good boy. P.S. I enclose a stamp so if you wanted to, you could send me a letter back. Oh, hell my God! Ten dollar bill. Ten dollar bill. What I got Get your gun. Hey, get your hand off my money. Did you load it up be for real? Ah, okay. Let's do sick grandpa with ten dollar bill. They did. For Bridget and Michael, a picture for y'all. That's Crisco. What's up? Yeah, is this Crisco? Hello? Is this Crisco? No, this is not. This ain't Chris? Who is this? Who is this? This is Chris. Well, this ain't your grandpa. Oh, my God. Where's he at? Hi. What's up, buddy? Oh, my God. What's up? I got, I got, I got your letter in the mail. Oh my God! Thank you for calling me. Hey man, I, I appreciate the ten spot, man. Thank you for calling me, man. And I'm looking at your picture right now. I'm, I'm holding it up. We're videoing this. You're making a video right now. Right now. Oh my God! Okay. This here is Chris Holt. Thank you. I love you, Grandpa. You're the best. Are you the, uh, 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 Chris Holt? Are you the one on the right or the left? Uh, I'm the one that wrote. Nah, he helped me write it. I didn't ask that. <laughs> Are you on the right yeah. or the left in that picture? Oh, that's Matt. That's me and Matt. On the left, that's me. On the right, that's Matt. Alright, you yours has Chris under it, right? Yeah, Chris. Alright, now I know what you look like. Yeah, so, that's how I look like, yeah. So what's up, buddy? This is from Roscoe or something. He's from West Virginia. Holy shit. What the hell is that? It's a cross he made. Time to leave. If I wore this around my neck, this is it. My damn! Help, Michael! Help! Lift it! Lift it, Michael! <laughs> Let me see it. Look at the idea of Tomahawk. The power of Christ ah! compels you! Ah! Ah! The power of Christ compels ah! you! The power of Christ compels you! Yeah, oh, God damn it, Didn't bring me no luck. Well, that's it for Mailbag Monday. Thanks for watching, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap! Get away! Your floor is sticky. Have what you still not cleaned it from when you broke the coffee pot? Nope. Okay, so this was the first Monday Mailbag. We're gonna try... How many bumper stickers you got? I got about 30, 40 left. Okay, so until we run out, we're going to do this every week. We're going to grab two people who send letters, and we're going to choose them randomly, and they're going to get bumper stickers that we're going to sign. But when we run out, I might send shirts. Okay, so Bridget is going to draw one 
two envelopes out of this, and whoever she draws is gonna get the Angle Grandpa bumper sticker that we're gonna sign. Go ahead. Can you believe that? I, I just these... wanted to pick one from the top. She just grabs the very top envelope. <laughs> it's Chris. <laughs> oh, is that Kai? Yeah. Thing? She drew that kid we just called on purpose. Now, Joe, we're we gonna do one anyway. Yes, we'll do two more. Okay. Eric. Oh, name? Eric, when well, we read his name, we read his name. What do you think? Caleb. Okay, Eric and Caleb. If, if I didn't read your letter, I'm sorry because I get so many, but you got me. We did pick a bunch of them and we read them. Love you, youngins. See you on Mailbag Monday next week. Bye. Turn that motherfucker off. And then Grandpa will enjoy his Teabag Tuesday. Teabag Tuesday? What's Teabag Tuesday? <laughs> what do we mean Teabag? What's Gail's Teabag? When someone dips their balls in your mouth like a Teabag. <laughs> Hi. I'm Bridget. No, I'm Princess. I'm Michael's girlfriend. And I'm doing a vlog. You know, I love Michael. Michael, he got me dogs. Michael lets me clean the house. Ugh, it's so much fun being princess. Michael lets me be queen for the day at home. I'm, I go to see Grandpa, but I'm tired of Grandpa. He's always taking advantage of Michael. Yes, he is. Grandpa takes advantage of Michael. He makes Michael buy him everything. <clears throat> Michael could spend that money on me. And he does, though. Michael loves me. It's so good being princess. Grandpa gave me that name because I am a princess. I'm a little prin I'm a little princess. I'm little and sweet. Grandpa's an asshole. Michael's really neat. I love my Michael. And Michael lets me get he, he lets me he lets me do what I want on YouTube. He lets me say what I want on my Facebook. Michael is my best friend. I I I he lets me sleep all day and stay and stay awake all night and I I, I play on my computer. I, lo I love my Michael and he lay I love my dogs. I'm always taking my dogs to the vet. <coughs> Ooh! I like spending money on my dogs. I buy them little winter coats and sweaters and I buy them. Hey Dad, how about an intro for your video? What video? Monday Mailbag. Oh, that's right. It's Monday Mailbag! Ha <laughs> ha! And nobody's mailbag was better than mine today. No, look at this. Oh man, fuck you, okay? So, on my channel today, there was a package for me in the box. Or there was a box for me. It's my mail bag, not yours! I gotta express this one, dude. Somebody sent me something that I can't even fathom. Somebody sent me a replica wrestling belt. It's Elliot and Ashley. Uh, I'm trying to get in touch with them for my video because this is crazy. I can't... They sent me a wrestling belt. Whose video is this? Mine now, I gotta... Hell no! Seriously, you guys. Send you in a dog bed, that's Bridget's sleeping. Send a dog bed, so that's gonna be on my vlog today. But for Dad's video and Monday Mailbag, seriously, I I can't even uh, say thanks enough because this is crazy. And I need to get something good. Seriously, you guys hey, didn't hey, have hey, to I, send. Okay, hold okay, on, okay. I gotta say a message. They did not have, you guys didn't have to send stuff like this, you know? Hell no, you could have sent it to me. People don't have to send stuff like this. For the video, but I, I appreciate it nonetheless. It's amazing. Yeah, bring it back to me now. Yes. Uh, Youngins, I appreciate everything y'all send me. I got me a Duck Dynasty and, and a 2000 Squall Woman dollar. Squall Woman? There's your Squall, see? So that's what you call Bridget Squall Woman? Yeah, Squall holding a baby. Papoose. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> and this is from Brandon Geese. He says, read this on camera. YouTube, Brack Smash. I would kindly appreciate it if you gave me a shout out. Shout out. Ah ha! Ah ha! Cigarettes! Ah! You hit you, Bob. I don't smoke. And, and a pack of 
handcrafted coffee. Get your fucking hands off my shit. What, dude? I don't drink coffee either. And this came from Jason. What the fuck? Caitlin Dar in Shelby something, Michigan. Jesus Christ, girl, what the fuck? That's a big old thick piece of paper. I love your videos. I have watched all of them. Well, thank you. I show all my friends. Follow them. Everybody wants to give their Instagram. Well, their... Give it out. She obviously wants to. And you give it to her now. So then, here's her Instagram. What's this? this? What the fuck was that? It's like a little bracelet or something. Like that. How about zero? Put it on your arm. It's a friendship bracelet. You made a friend. I made a friend! Hey, friend! Princess. Dear Egg Man, Bob Michael and I oh, fuck Michael and Bridget. My name is Sean Farrell. I am 23 years old. No, I'm 23 years young. I am a big fan of your videos, although I just recently discovered you guys. Just recently! We've been on here seven years! Well, hey, I appreciate all the new ones because people send them to their friends, and I really appreciate them doing that. Okay, that's, enjoy that's a graffiti pictures in New York style. This is from. Damn, Ogden, California. Where'd your thing come from? Los Angeles. Damn. <laughs> ah! Ah! What? 20! 26! Somebody sent you money. 27 dollars! With a card. Hey, Grandpa! This is Simmer. I have been watching your videos for nearly three years, and you are really awesome. Michael and Bridget eat my dick. Did you say that? Yeah, look. Michael and Bridget eat my dick. Oh, this is one of the coolest people ever. What the fuck? Oh, it's, it's a Heisen grandpa. A what? That's pretty cool. It's a picture of Heisenberg made grandpa style. Who's Heisenberg? From Breaking Bad. I don't watch that show. Who sent this? They didn't give me a name. Yeah, they did. No, I didn't. It's right there. They really didn't give a name. It just says Grandpa. How, wait a minute. How did you get this? Money, money, money. A dollar. Man, I thank you for that dollar. That comes close. Take it. A goddamn dollar. Get that what? goddamn dollar. I'm joking. Take it. A dollar on a cigarette anyway. I was joking around. I don't get WWE dollars. I get dollars. I like dollars. What's this one? That's for you. I opened it. <laughs> what? That's for you. I opened it. Why'd you open it? Dear Grandpa. Wait a minute. This is my turn. You let me finish mine up. Holy shit. First video I ever saw was Grandpa Destroyer's Kitchen. Once I saw it, the videos I was hooked. Thank you, uh, Erland Silva. YouTube channel at Silva Surfer. And thanks for the dollar. Uh, those must be for you. Oh man, it must be. You know what these are for, right? You give a little Vaseline, you put it around Bridget's asshole, and you kind of rub it around a little bit. It makes it a whole lot easier. There you go. <laughs> Dad's still jealous because of the package I got. <laughs> oh God. And these are the pictures me and you got signed. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I thought you said your stomach was better. It is better. It smells worse. <gasps> what? I'll fill it from here. Dollar, dollar, dollar! You know if everybody sent me a goddamn dollar, I'd be a rich motherfucker. This is from A. Smith, who lives in Swanley, Kent, England, from the UK! They got American money over there? Tell us what that has. The fuck is that? <laughs> Show it to me. It looks like, oh, it's a clown. Oh, that's pretty good. It floats, it floats, it all floats. And when you're down here, you'll float too. I like that clown. Thank you, buddy. If you don't understand the reference Dad just did, he was being it the clown or Pennywise. He used to scare us, scare us with it all the time when we were children. Black Bear Cafe takeout. I know a number to Black Bear. Someone sent you a menu? A menu. I get 10% off. Yeah, how are we supposed to get it? You gonna ship it overnight? They got fried okra. Ethan Fitch in 
somewhere in Washington. Ah! Ten dollar bill! Ten dollar bill! I can buy me a ten dollar bill! Ten dollar bill! Get your fucking hands off my money! I just wanted to look at it. Anyway, thanks for all your videos and keep it up. If you ever start feeling down, my favorite band is Owl City. Owl City, okay. Owls have a, have a... Is it in the woods somewhere? You gotta read the... Maggie Man! Well, Maggie, I couldn't have tried anymore! You Maggie Man, I think I got something hey, to hey, say to you! Around. It's late in September, but you know something, Maggie? Like, oh my god. What? Is that a bunch of money? 20! No, come on, no 20. way! 50! No way has that just happened. 51! 52! What the fuck? Corner! Are you serious with this? You guys, we're not asking you to send money. Like, I don't I don't want it to appear as if we're saying send no, money. Saying send money. If you, it's crazy. Kristen and Brandon Jones. Hold on, I'm gonna show their pictures. So it's Kristen and Brandon. My name is Krista, myself, my boyfriend, Brent. My boyfriend's back and there's gonna be trouble. Hey, hey ya, hey ya, my, my boyfriend's back. Ben's back and I'm gonna... One time was enough. <laughs> we wanna see more of Bridget. Hey now, hey you now, now you my boyfriend's that. back, you boy's that, back, that and that I'm gonna be in you trouble. Hey part. now, hey... <laughs> you know what think about that? I could feel the air blowing at his ass. Oh, hell, Michael! <laughs> okay, Dad, here we go. It's time for some Monday mailbag. Monday mailbag! Yay! Monday mailbag! First, thanks for. Oh. This past weekend, I did a video with a beautiful little girl, Sadie. Super Sadie. And I want to thank. Each and every one of you youngins that responded, that shared, that donated, that have Sadie on your mind, because she's on my mind. So, thank you youngins, and for everything. Now, Michael, we got a, I got a problem. What? We got a box here. Let's look at this box. What does that say? Charles Green. The box says Charles Green. Yeah. Now, I opened the box because it said Charles Green. Okay? Yeah. Someone said DC. Someone said DC. Wow. I went, oh my God, DC! And I opened it up. Oh. Wait a minute, where's, where's the paper? Let me see these things. Those are nice. Hey, they nice? Man, they're good looking shoes. Yes, they are. And I looked down them, I looked at them and I said, damn. Size 13. I wear a size 12. So I pulled the paper out. Read the paper, Michael. What are you talking about? Read the paper, Michael! Okay. Great videos, Pickle Boy. Please enjoy your shoes from Redwood871. Says what? But they're my shoes? They're your shoes! Oh my if god! If they're your shoes! Whoa! Why did they say Charles Green? Someone sent me shoes. I knew your birthday's coming up when? June 2nd. I knew your birthday's June 2nd. I thought they were my shoes. I thought I had me a pair of DCs. You wouldn't wear them anyway. Those are really nice. Wow. But. Damn you, Bridget! <laughs> oh, man. We've been both eating on them. <laughs> I got candy! Redwood, I'm just kidding you, man. Those are good looking shoes you said, Michael. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! Woo! Wow, that's awesome. Isn't it awesome? I'm a Haven 
fucking guy! I got a question. What's up with them socks? Show is great after being out late. Walking my baby back home. I started to cry when she gave me a sigh. Walking my baby back home. What? My socks? You like my socks? Anyway, y'all yell at my new hat. <clears throat> that was from Luigi. There was also something else in here too. Let's see what. Hey, Grandpa. My name is Luigi. Like the Luigi and Mario Brothers. LOL. You and Pickle Boy are awesome. You guys always make me laugh when I'm feeling down. Hello? Please leave a message after the call. Luigi! This is Grandpa! I tried to call you, son! That, I want to thank you for the shirt and everything! So, thank you! Guess he don't want to talk to you. Oh well, Luigi, I tried. Okay, Michael, let's pick another letter. Hello? He ain't gonna answer, Michael! Noah Wagner from Corpus Christi. I really hope you live a long time. You know what? <laughs> I do too. Grandpa, would you ever get married again? Fuck you! Can you tell more personal stories and serious ones once a week? I have been thinking about doing just that. And one more. Were you and Tina ever happy? <laughs> no. This is Cornelius C.J. Taylor. So this is his picture. They doing Cornelius? Cornelius. He says his name is Cornelius. He's 16 years old. He says he suffers from a brain tumor. What? Yeah, so he's going through. He says uh, we make him laugh. He said he's currently going through chemotherapy. He said, but you guys are the best, uh, especially the price pick a boy. LOL. Well, Cornelius, man, look here. We wish you a lot of luck, man. We're, th you know, praying for you. Uh, good luck, Cornelius. 16, that is too young. That's too you. young. Keep up the good fight, brother. It's the autographed picture of uh, Jill Ireland and Charles Bronson. Who? I'm serious, man. Who are they? Old actors, man. You remember Charles Bronson? What, is he like an action star? Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Look at there, Mike. Look. Well, that's pretty cool. That is really fucking cool. You remember Dick King? Oh, Charles. Oh, man. What the hell? It was... Hey, Grandpa, Michael, and Bridget, thanks so much for when you do, you, you airways make me laugh. Keep doing what you do, doing. God bless, Connor O'Hare. Oh, God, what is that? The Great Seal of the State of Nevada. Michael Clark in Irmo, South Carolina. Oh, Irmo. Damn, a bag full of candy. What is this? Kisses. It's cookies and cream. Give me one. You didn't got a bag of my candy. So, dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Bob Clark and I live in Irmo, South Carolina. I am 23 years old and I am one of your faithful and biggest fans. I have been watching for four years. Wow, a long time. My brother is a veteran who served in Afghanistan. Thank you, man, for his uh, service. I appreciate you. Uh, Thank you. Anyway, please enjoy the candy along with the $21. $21? Hey, my birthday coming up. What the hell? A can opener. A stainless steel. Ah! $5 bill, $5 bill. I got a little $5. A G P cooking with A G P. I'm cooking the floor over you. I might even make you a stew 
Instead, I'm making salsa for you to taste today. I'm making some salsa, and I'm making it the AGP way. Hey, youngins, I have got a treat for you. I go to the store and I buy salsa. It comes in a jar. And it's made in New York City. So I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own salsa. And I'm using uh Salit 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 that green shit that Mexicans use called Salit uh, Salizo or something like that, as you see. I got Salitro, I got vinegar, and I got peppers. That looks like me on a date. Mm. Got some onion, got some oregano, got some cumin. Is it cumin or cumin? It's one of the two. And got garlic. Gonna keep the vampires away! Went and bought me a canner and some knives. As you see, I'm boiling the water. I got my sink full of tomatoes. Now what? I, and, and, and I got a lot more tomatoes to go. Select tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. My big belly don't give a shit. Anyway, I'm, I'm boiling this water, and I'm gonna pour it over the tomatoes. And what that's going to do, that's going to make the peeling just slide off the tomato. And then we go, I'm going to dice it up. I'm going to dice up this other stuff. Mix it all together. Put it in some jars. Put it in the canner. Cover it with, with water. Boil it for 20 minutes. Bring it out. Seal. God damn, that's a lot to tell say in one goddamn time. Grandpa, AGP, authentic. Trailer trash, salsa, and you'll see it here. Ain't gonna have bacon because bacon made that shit taste bad. I'll be back. All right, as y'all see, I'm peeling these tomatoes. Cause you gotta peel them real good and let them get a little chilly. So if y'all hang on a second, as you see, oh god damn, fuck, that water's hot. Don't do what I just did. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at the steam coming out of that damn tomato. Anyway, you cut the damn middle out, right? Damn! And the goddamn tomato just peels right, the skin peels right off. That's what that hot water does. You see what it just did in my goddamn hand! Always cut the rot off. Pay that much for goddamn tomato and motherfucker got rot in it. Okay, as you see, I got the cilantro, I got some onion, I got some pepper, <laughs> and garlic. And we come over here, you see I got water in the pot, I got the tomatoes all stir all in there, all peeled, ready to go. Now, we're going to do something. I wonder what garlic tastes like, so we're going to find out. El garlic. Jesus Christ! We're going to put the garlic in. Half the garlic. Uh, excuse me. And then we're going to stir that all in that tomatoes. Get that garlic all in that. Would you mind backing up now? Thank you. Then we're going to take this onion. I mean this pepper. I do not like super hot. The way the, the way the green is mixed in with the red, with the white of the garlic. I didn't put garlic in that one yet. Well, damn. You gotta get it all mixed in together and you'll know, you'll know why in a couple minutes. But the green with the red reminds me of Christmas. 
excuse me. Now the onion. Ta da da da! Junior onion man flying around. No. Upside down. Another empty plate. And you mix all that in there together. You gotta do a good job mixing people. Let me get the other, excuse me. Jesus Christ, you get in the fucking way. Cilantro. We're gonna take some cilantro. We're gonna put that cilantro there. You know, I just bring it over here, that way you ain't my motherfucking way no more. We take this cilantro. We're gonna put that much to start with. How's it looking, youngin? I put a rub. I smell that garlic. The odor. The smell of the garlic penetrated my nose. Smells like pussy. All right, I'm gonna use the sugar first. Yes, AGPs call for sugar. One, two. That yeah, blue actually. One, two, three, three salts. Apple cider vinegar. Now what would a cup be? Hmm. Back. Oh well. That's a cup. That's a cup. All right. That's done. Final taste test. That is off the chain. And I just swallowed a fucking onion. So anyway, now, you get your spoon. Fill up your jars. Okay, you ready to do Monday Bell Bag? Yeah, let's do it. Then I'm leaving you and I don't want to tell you no more. So dad's mad because I'm not telling him where I live. He just swung a bat at me. Oh, that's yours. That's... No, that's saved. Why do you keep saving things? I'll tell you one thing. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm leaving and don't your dumb ass follow me. You understand me, bitch? What is that? Why? Because you move, you're not telling me. Don't follow me when I leave. I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna just get it over with, okay? My youngins are important. That's the only reason I come back, because my youngins, so pfft, on you. Okay. This is from Mutt. Mutt Arse. Mutt Arse? What the hell is this? Matt. Matt something. It ain't Mutt Arse, it's oh. Matt. Looks like Mutt to me! You look like a Mutt. I got your Mutt hanging, Mr. I moved in and tell my daddy. Can you get the letter open? Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Mutt. Matt. I am 20. I have been a subscriber for nearly three and a half years. Thank you, Mutt. Matt. The hell? Oh, Michael. Why do you keep saving the ones for me? He's saving the ones that are, that are for me so he can give them to me on my birthday. He's gonna make me do a Monday, he's gonna make me do a birthday mailbag video. That's right, so get him coming, his birthday's coming up soon. Dear Grandpa, this letter is long overdue. I am subscribed to all your channels along with Michael's. First video ever watched was the firecracker oven and the pinwheel pranks. All right, question, how many kids do you have in total, Grandpa? I ain't never gonna lie to you all that shit. Yeah, I ain't paying all that child support. Uh, are all of them from Tina? What do you think, idiot? The answer's no. No. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. Well, look at that. Yeah. So it's a picture of dad with an ax chasing a cat. That's pretty cool. 
If undelivered, please return back to the UK. This from the UK got the queen all over it. Do you like Kate? KG Perry? I'm about to say he loves Kate. Cake. KG? Katie Perry. I don't know who the hell that is. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Dear Aunt Grandpa, hey, my name is Kaylee and I am from Oregon. And me and my family love your videos. My dad's video was the fake lottery ticket. It wasn't my favorite because goddamn, I thought I won money. Yeah, you, you deserved it because you tried to abandon us. I should have abandoned you in your birth. Man, I could have been with another family. That'd be good. Wouldn't that have been happy. Yeah, this thing got candy coming soon on the way. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. Yeah, it's put up. Hey, give it to me. Why do you do that? It's your birthday. You're not going to give it to me on your birthday. Mr. Paul Park, the second, from Rockwood, Tennessee. What the hell is that? I really don't know. Hey, man. He says attach $30 for me. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> he says the 30, 30 bucks attaches for pickle dick. Where's my money? What the money in there? <laughs> you thief. Hey, not really. It's for you. Oh, man. Yeah, send me your sorry. Look at paper. Y'all got strange paper in Australia. Thank you, mate. My name is Campbell. I am 15. I live in Melbourne, Australia. I love watching your videos and so does my whole family. I really appreciate all the work you guys do on your channel. I don't do a damn thing. I do all the work, so thank you for the compliment. I love it when Grandpa tells those long stories. I told you people like my stories. No, I they don't like them, Dad. I told you they like them. I never said they didn't. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Campbell. I said to tell more stories. You're a liar now. You, you don't are... ever call your goddamn daddy a liar. You are a liar. You don't ever, you son of a bitch. Show us picture. I don't show the picture. That's Campbell. Any of you gals out there looking for honey? There he is. He's in Australia. I bet he's got two two kangaroos. And uh, last but not least, this is from Justin Petrie from Oakland, Michigan. And he says, "Dear Grandpa, let me just say you are funny as oh, don't you cuss on letters to Grandpa? I love your fucking I mean your videos. You and Michael Bridget can do some awesome pranks." I laugh every time I see your videos, but Michael, please, keep your diet promise. See, other people worry about your health too. I'm trying to keep my diet, man. You tell him, Justin. Thank you for your letters, youngins. Be reading more next Monday on Monday Mail Bag with Grandpa. Now turn that off. Well, that was fun. What are you doing? So you're just gonna leave. Why are you so upset? I told you I was joking. I'll tell you where I live. I don't wanna know. I was kidding around. I don't know where you live. I don't care. Damn move. So you're just gonna leave. Bye. You ain't leaving nowhere. Watch me. I'm watching, I don't see you moving. Get on my going that way! You must have forgot what I had in my band. But I still got it. Whoa! Okay, I'm sorry. Good freaking bye. See you next Monday. That's better than the whole time. Good morning, good morning, youngins. I'm on my way to the flea market. I promised y'all last week that if we got 
4,000 subscribers, I'd wear a snake around my neck. I have thought all week how in the hell I can get out of this shit. But I promised you. So I'm going to live up to my word. The only thing I can hope for is that snake man ain't there today. <laughs> that would be a miracle. So y'all hang with me and we on our way to the flea market. And where's snake? Lord, what, can, what is that? A, a smooth side toad. A what? A smooth side toad. Smooth, smooth side toad. Smooth side toad. And people take those as pets? Mm hmm. <coughs> it's quite surprising though. Is that a gator? It's a caiman, which is a dwarf. Yeah. That is so cool. Look at that. Young, I'm learning a lot here. You all know that I, I'm scared. You know, I, you all, all know, oh my God. You all know that I'm just wasting time, right? I'll get around to the real deal in a minute. <laughs> look, look at that, man. Leopard lizards. Y'all got just about all kind of, you got all kind of exotic creatures here. <laughs> what kind of dams, a hypo corn, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I, where, what, how, what's gonna happen when he gets on me? He's probably just gonna sit there and kind of move around a little bit. But he's gonna fight me. <laughs> you, whoa, whoa. All right, let's, let's do this thing. Ah, ah, get it off, get it. I am a man, I am a man. I can do anything, I can do anything, okay. What? I swear to God, I'm having a fit here. Ah! Whoa, whoa, help me, help me! Don't, don't, don't take your hands off! Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, tell you, tell you, goddamn! Whoa! I'm sorry. Alright, youngins. I, one more time, I'll put it right here. One more time, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not gonna cringe, I'm not! Wrap it around my neck, please. Can I promise not to wear it around my neck? Ah! 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 Okay, 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 okay. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you! Happy birthday, dear Michael <laughs> Milbank Monday! So how do you feel about waking Happy up? Happy birthday! Yay! Yeah. Did you get a good? Did you get a good? Did I wake you up good? <laughs> Best birthday wake up you ever had. You not talking to me? So the first thing I noticed. <laughs> are you not talking to me? What? Are you not talking? Happy birthday. Bridget. Walk over here, woman. How come it's your birthday and I got more than you did? So anyway. I know, somebody sent these things. Okay, so. I got more than you did. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn, what the fuck? What was that? It was a thing I broke. What is it? Just a little pop. Fart bag! The fuck is that dripping out? Good God, mate! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't expect oh. that. I didn't expect it to be so rough. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't expect it. Oh. You bought it! You bought it! <laughs> oh Smells like egg God. salad. That is really bad. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god! Oh, man, that's making it worse. It smells oh my like. God. It smells like you're spraying freaking stuff on shit. Oh my fucking you mother! I'm sorry, Dad. Oh god! I'm sorry, Dad. Oh god!
Ah. So, I don't know who sent this to me. It was just sitting here like this. Well, we're going to need to back. But they sent fart bags. Thank you. Oh, it's still bad. Oh. That's rough. Oh, my God. Am I look? So it said DCs. Hey. Oh, wow. Oh, we got them. They're mine. Who what? sent them? So, I don't know. It came Just in a fucking name. Wait a minute. What size are they? Twelve. They are dads. Dad wears a 12. Man, look at that. Thank you for the DCs. Who sent those? I don't know. Those are really nice. It came in a fox, no name, just my size. Huh. Hey, if you send them to me, get in touch with me, send me some proof it's you that, you know, God knows you to send them. And then I'm going to call you. Thank you personally. Just, you gotta, you're going to have to show it really was you that sent it. Hey, Mike, look. Put them on. I don't want to put them on right. I got dirty feet on that shit. A John Cena card. Yes! 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 Who sent you a bunch That's of... That's yours. Someone sent you a bunch of thumb fingers? That's yours. Yes! 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 yes. No! 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 What? Around. Oh, wait, I got the new, I got the, oh, God damn, just stop my motherfucking joke. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't funny. <laughs> that's, for, that's payback. Yeah, is it funny that he turned his toe? Do it. Damn. Yes, say it. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Anyway, so here's my first thing. Angela sent me a John Cena card. I like that. It's cool. It's, it makes it into a poster. That is so neat. So thank you, Angela, for the John Cena card. I appreciate it. You ain't fucking me no more, big boy. Whoa. Oh. Oh my up. God. Who sent you that thing? Michael, I'm your father. Ah. <laughs> and anyway, you keep <laughs> I should have you done a goddamn birthday! Okay, man, don't wiggle around right in my face! God! See, that wasn't even on there. You see it? Whoa, never mind. Who's these from a net? Them Sam Berg Burger! Sam Burger? Sam! He's a man who lives a life of danger! Thank you, Sam! Okay. To Michael Green. Happy birthday, Michael. This thing again? Oh my god! I need a new hammer! Thank you, Muhammad, for this letter. I need a new hammer! <laughs> he didn't give me no name! You are not gonna let me open my letters, are you? He didn't give me no name! Who? We were giving him your letter. This is Dear Green Family. Want to say happy birthday to Mike? Have a seat. Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the nicest of them all? It has to be me. Who is it? <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. I open it a little closer. Who is it? Ooh. Can't do it. <laughs> Let me open my cards. Want a candy cigarette? <laughs> I wish all the cigarettes you had were candy. Okay, happy birthday, Michael. I hope you have an awesome day. From Vittoria. That's awesome. Thank you, Vittoria, for this. Ah! Two dollar bill. Who the fuck was smoking them little motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a smoke. <laughs> Look at They are tiny. Oh my god. Yeah, two dollar bills must have been for you. Put on your 3D glasses now. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Fucking like watch don't even work. For God's sakes, man, let me open my letters now. I know. Oh, I know. Terry Allen wants to know when are me and Bridget getting married? When are we Never getting married? Worked. The day Grandpa quit smoking. Okay. <laughs> quit smoking. <laughs> man, come on, man. Oh, another $2 bill. Oh, that is so cool. Hey. It's his birthday. Sorry. Four dollars. Cool. Screw Kong, get angry. 
Oh, that is cool. I like that actually. So, thanks for the letter. I'll read mail. And I have two more things to open. I got these. I got. <laughs> for God's sake, she's not letting me. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is it? A, a Joe Shoe USA. DC Shoe USA. For the separated. So this person sent me WrestleMania. Oh, oh that's so cool. Hey, Dad. Are you jealous? Paul Heyman. Oh, my God. He's my man. He's your man. Stand by your man. <laughs> Look at Michael. Uh, uh. Let me see it. I got on DZ. <laughs> I got on DZ on my feet. They really feel so sweet. <laughs> For a nickel or a dime, I will wear them any time. Oh. Oh, wow. I'll try to uh, use this for the end of the video. What is it? Huh? What is it? Nothing. It's that. WrestleMania. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll film Dad doing versus his now. All right, I'm going to read the letter now. Okay, now you can go ahead and do yours. It still stinks over here. I know. It's I, know. Not. I think it's you no. now. It's I think not, it's you now. <laughs> it's not as a fart bag. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Lauren. And I love your videos. I watch them every day. I bet this sounds just like one of the letters you get, but I, ooh. Thank you. This is from Brian Raw from New York. God. Fuck you, Michael. <laughs> oh, you're a regular, you're a regular goddamn uh, Rembrandt. He's a regular Rembrandt, man. He's pretty cool. I like that logo. And this is from Monty in London, Ontario, Canada. Damn, they got weird people in Canada. Dear Grandpa, been a fan of videos since Mike put up the first one on break. Damn. That's a long time. That's a long time. Since you had the courage to open up to everyone, let me open up to you. Oh, shit. Your videos are the only things right now that put a smile on my face. Find your honey. These get a blowjob or something, shit. These days, my life is taking a due tour off the road. I had planned on traveling. I feel bad for you, man. You can get back on that road, though. All day, just one, put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. There you it goes. Soon you'll be walking across the floor. Oh, shut up. I'm walking out the door one to get away from you. in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out Anyway! Anyway! I'm in debt up to my eyes, and I'd rather get a swift kick in the ass than to go to my than to go to my job. My mom and I no longer speak. Look at man. Me and my mama didn't talk for two years. My mama just owned me and we didn't talk for two years, but it'll all come around, man. Really, trust me. It'll all work out. And as far as jobs. There's jobs out there, man. You can find a good one. Anyway, you, Mike, and Bridget look after each other. Bullshit! I ain't looking after her. That's Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. I appreciate the frosting. Say, hey, Grandpa, my name is Tony. I guess so. People call me Big T. This is my first time wearing... Wearing, writing you a letter, and I've been watching Aunt Grandpa for three years now. I'd rather watch Aunt Grandpa the Kardash than the Kardashians. I don't blame you. I, I don't want to watch the Kardashians either. Kardashians. Whatever. 
Every time I've seen your videos when you were saying never give up, brought a tear to my eye. But I brought a pretty tear to my eye too, brother. Bridget, I hope you like it when you're reading this letter because you can give me a shout out and say, Hey, Tony, Big T. Hey, Tony. Big T. Big T? Big T. Hey, Tony. All right, man. Appreciate the letter, Big T. Wait a minute. You want a shout out from us? Yeah. Just Bridget? Tony said, Bridget. I'm so flattered. Hey, Big T, you got one anyway. <laughs> Dad? Hey, I read the letter. You got shout outs from us even though you didn't want them. <laughs> that says Charles Green. So I said it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> there is no name. Okay. Oh, it's back here. Okay, hang on. This is from Samuel Charles Doherty from Manchester in the UK. First of all, keep calm and stay angry. I like that. It doesn't say stay angry. It says keep calm and angry grandpa. That ain't going to happen the same now. And then he writes, to grandpa, I have a big... Ah, yeah. Yeah, man. Why you got my letter up on for? I wanted to read it. Now you got me hurting. Destroy all shit. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy you. You make me jerk my arm again. I want your vlogs getting my life back. I just wanted to say that you are an amazing person. You dealt with hurt for so long. You dead right. I deal with hurt every day when I mess with Michael. I just got to find the stories. You tell us about your life. We we take them to heart because there's nothing better than knowing Grandpa more learning. Damn, he didn't mean, he give me his name. I mean, he wasn't even on the envelope. This picture is a picture of my father and I thought I'd send, send it to you just to have. The pure love in that picture is what you've given me again now and that he's gone. Thank you again for everything. You're welcome, sweetheart. That's a nice looking family. My name is Brandon Buswell. I am 15. You got your daddy's permission to write me? I am 15 and a huge fan. Every day when I come home from school, I watch a few of your videos. And right, right before I do my homework, do your damn homework! Education is more important than my fat ass! Yeah, you don't want to end up like him. Or me. Anyway, it backfired and you made Michael think that you killed Bridget. I did. Well, that's it for Monday Mailbag today. I appreciate all the birthday wishes and all the letters you guys sent me. It's really cool. I, I'm keeping them all. I got a little pile here. I'm going to keep all the letters you guys sent me because it's really, really cool that you guys would actually send me stuff. So thank you guys for all the letters. Got all my new DCs. Got them on my feet. Take good care of myself. I'm going to walk with me. It made me want to dance. They give me happy feet. I love my. Thanks for the hat. <laughs> give my hat. I'm Senior Fedora now. One. No. Two. Give me my hat. <laughs> you got a taser gun. I can't. Oh goddamn. You motherfucker. You do a chip. I'm sorry, I don't want to get shocked.
Why are we doing mailbag Monday on Saturday? Well, we otherwise we would have done it tomorrow. I know that, but so well, I'm here Saturday. Look, you got most of your Kool Aid off. No thanks to you. What did I do throw cold water while I was in the goddamn shower? It was funny. To you. <laughs> so if they're. Oh. I'm not breathing. Somebody sent me a new pacifier. It's, it's, it must be a good one because somebody's come from from China. I mean, it really has no name. Whoa, get my thoughts far back. Let me see it. Let me see the pacifier. Why would you even use this? It's a pacifier! What if somebody sucked on it before you? That's a weird pacifier. I would not get my... That's a choking hazard. Get my gun here! That is a butt plug. A what? <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucking butt plug. It's a butt on fire. You put that up your ass. Yes, I do. It must be good that it came out of a goddamn China. Tell me that this thing was not pre-opened. Yeah. Oh my god. It doesn't fit well. Any size. Sensation. I thought it was a goddamn. I thought it was a goddamn pacifier for babies. Oh God! I had a motherfucker in my mouth. Okay, next. Hey, you next? I put it in my mouth too, Dad. I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I actually know who sent this. She wrote me. Her name is Lauren. She wrote me and told me this was coming. So this is pretty awesome. You good? Look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's pretty awesome. You zoomed into this, right? Ding, that's a chuggy! <laughs> so, oh, this is a much. child's play to... I really love the past part, Michael. It's a pacifier for your ass. It's an assifier. <laughs> Ooh. You're ripping the letter, man. Oh, that picture of that dude on his on 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 bike. This is from Colin Friesen. I want to say I love all your videos. I've been watching for a while. I found your channel while watching Behaving Baby Badly. What is that? I don't know. But it's in Canada. Did we get air on the show in Canada and not get notified? Behaving Badly, that was on a. That's, true no, TV. that's not True TV. True, but, true TV is uh, most shocking in top 20. Senior Smackdown. Oh, you said one of those boxes was for you. The box of what? The Twinkies I ate. I ate both boxes. You already ate the Twinkies? Yeah. yeah. As you can see, it does not have a name. This says Amazon Fulfillment Services. Gift inside. Maybe there's a note. You got a name? This is from Garrett Dillon. Dear Aunt Grandpa, you said you needed a new hammer! A new hammer! Ah! 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 Oh no! Ah, my God! That one was dangerous. Oh my ah, God! Ah! 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 Oh my God! That looks dangerous. It oh does. my God! It's a bad Max. Ah! I love it! I love it, kid! Ah! I love it. Bye. No name. It was from Lenny's Novelty on eBay. Oh, there's something inside. The fuck? Somebody sent me nuts. Mixed nuts. Let me see them. No, they're mine. You can't have none of my nuts. Thank you, Christy. That's a tiny. The fuck? <laughs> that was one of those springy snakes. Damn you, Christy! Iron Maiden. Damn, that's a whole book. Looks like Pete Robert Swim or something. Oh, Iron Maiden, that's pretty neat. It's a postcard. I like postcards. Uh. Hi from England! My name is Robert and Oh I damn. I'm not breathing. No bullshit, don't breathe. I 
I've been watching. <laughs> I've been watching you for years now. I watch. I catch my. I catch my. I laugh my ass off. I'm trying to go to six something. This is Charles Rimmy from Florida. God damn you fucking bird. What the fuck? Why'd you record in your Flappy Bird video? Oh! No one says you are one of my favorite YouTubers. You and Michael make me smile on my bad days. Hey, you'll see me on my bad days. And your rages are hilarious. They ain't to me. Or me. Thank you, Nolan. I don't know what this is, what the reference is, but it's pretty cool. Dear Aunt Grandpa, Michael, and Bridget, I am a fan of you. Three ago, I come to Arizona, Colorado. Aurora, Colorado. I am a graphic design artist. I am 21 years old and have seen most of your videos since last year. I hope you have an amazing summer. Love from Colorado. Follow me on, tw on Instagram, JettyWarrior20. I guess that's father and son. You got, looks like water dripped in the picture. Name is Bran. Dear AGP, love your videos, they rock. You are so funny, I enjoy your videos. And that's from Bolin. Jeez, how did that even get through? I have no idea. Bridget, keep your hands off AGP's money. Money? money. Appreciate the two dollars, man. Dear AGP, hello AGP, my name is Thomas, and your videos make me laugh so hard. I pee my pants. You admit that? <laughs> I poop mine. <laughs> Fabrina and Jonathan. And they are from Pickens, South Carolina. Oh shit, they're too close. Pickens? Pickens, South Carolina. Ah, Dollar, Dollar! I love you too, baby. Our name are the thank you and Jonathan. <laughs> we are 18 and from Pickens County, South Carolina. We really enjoy watching your videos. If you're ever in the Charleston area, let me know. We'll meet up at the substation. Remember, mailbag Monday. Got everything worked out now, so we leave, we we're able to keep the names with it, whatever. So y'all keep sending. Well, Mailbag Monday! It's up for Mailbags Monday, starring Grandpa, Pickle Boy, and my real dad, Doug. Not that real dad shit off! What? Not that real shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start this off. A phone gift. This is from the Royal. I didn't see your name on that anywhere. Jay Parker. Oh, I guess you did. And England Sunday sent me a cell phone. Doesn't mean a lot of good though, because we got we ain't got the same kind of electricity here. God, yeah, how are you gonna plug it in? I don't plug it no. Will that plug in where the washing machine goes? No! Oh. Dumbass. Anyway, we've got a phone from Mr. Parker. Thank you, Mr. Parker! Did somebody send you Twinkies? What would you do to get to the to it? And uh, then we got Twinkies. Well, who sent this? The Twinkies came from. What the fuck? Alicia Antone. So thank you for the Twinkies, Alicia Antone. Is it me or these Twinkies smaller? Oh my god, they are. Damn. That's so, a that's a Twinkie now? That's a Twinkie now. Made by oh, it's a, it, they're made by a place called Bimbo Bakeries out of Mexico. Oh, that must have been a family joke. That's true, too. Mike. Grandpa. Probably gonna say, go fuck your soul. Probably should go find your new daddy. I already found him. And fuck you. I love your video so much. You are far, by far, my favorite person on YouTube. So, there we go. 13. Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. What was that down there? That is a Japanese government one peso. 
What is that? It is from Jim Weber. It says, hey grandpa, I wanted to thank you for the funny videos. I'm single and pissed off. He's pissed well, off. Stay single and stay pissed off. That's way to be. Uh, give me a call on Christmas. <laughs> Remind me Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Dear and Grandpa, I like your show. They are funny. I like how you guys do pranks on each other. You should do more on, on Pickle Boy. No, you shouldn't. Thank you, Tyler. Kelly Head. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Kelly Head. What the? Twiggies. And what the hell's inside there? Oh, shit. Wait Some a minute. Money. You get out of bitch! Ha ha! Let me see what the letter says. There's all got money in there, dude. Well, there's a letter, dude. I love you, Grandpa. Say this five times. Well, let's do it the best way. Can I write it better this way? God damn, Mike. How much money is that? I don't know. I love Kelly Head. I love Kelly Head. I love Kelly Head. I love Kelly Head. I love. I really love Kelly Head. She's my girl, Kelly Head. I like Wait, Kelly. Wait, you can't say it this many times. What, Yana? Because you just can't. All right, Kelly Head. I love you that many. Make it rain on me. Come here, Doug. Doug, help! I want Doug to help me. I right, make it rain on me. Come here, Doug. Let's make it rain on Dad. Make it rain on me. Wait, you gotta get on your knees, Doug. I ain't gonna wait. Who the hell gonna help me get up? Ah, uh, goddamn! It's killing it worth this shit. Ah, right, make it, make it rain on me. Ah, 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 ah. Well, Doug got rid of his quick. He's got experience. Ah, <laughs> money, money. I like the smell. Make it rain. Ah, I feel so clean. You don't know how when you pick that up, right? This is from Mr. Michael O'Connell. Damn, Michael. What is that? Two dollar bills. Those are two dollar bills, huh? Hey, they're angry grandpas. I'm going through a bad time. My girl broke up with me. I'm sad. God bless. Turn over. I'm going in the police department soon. I'll send a photo. Yeah, you send a photo to me, man. But in the meantime, two, four. Six. What? Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty bucks and two. That's awesome. Thank you, son. I appreciate the money. The money. I always love the money. And good luck as a police officer, yes, man. Sir. Seriously, hey. it's a dangerous job, man. Thank you for your service you're going to be giving to people. Dear AGP, my name is Leon Shelby, and I am 16 years old. I am from Washington State, Seattle. I've been watching your videos for three years now. Me and my friends joke, joke around and say the things that you wouldn't say to a Tina, such as, I'll beat your goddamn ass, and other phrases. I respect you. I thought it'd barely be cool to show off uh, my asshole friends. You're right, Lee and Shelly. Thank you, buddy. Hey, call his friends assholes. Hey, shit, Leon, your friends are fucking assholes. Tell them to kiss grandpa's ass. I'll do one more, Michael. Oh, here's Mike, that's good, you like that one. Oh, it's a postcard. Oh, wow. He drew my tattoo. Oh, cool, the, huh, this is awesome, man. So this is uh, from a Harry Potter fan, sent me from the Wizarding World in Orlando. She drew a picture of the dark mark, that is awesome. Thanks a lot, Jessica, a.k.a. The Killer Burrito, or Bernito. Either way, awesome. I will follow you in whichever that user is from. Party invitations. Well, they're Elvis party invitations. We're going to have a party at Grandpa's house. And that is definitely a no-name. I'm going to dance in your Fuck face. Fuck you, get out of my face. One more. Glory, glory. Hallelujah! Man, get that beat motherfucker out of my face. This is from Jason Berenz. 
Junior. What kind of damn paper is this? He running around with mom's goddamn napkins? Dear AGP, my name is Jason Barans. I am 18 years old and live in Crestview, Florida. Well, thank you, Jason, for the letter. I appreciate it. And Mike, that's going to end this today. All right. I want to thank you all for this. Keep sending to me. Get my money, Michael. Damn, I was going to try to sneak off with it. You ain't getting my two dollar bills. Y'all have a nice one. Happy Father's Day to all you daddies out there. Well, this is going up tomorrow, so you're happy Father's Day. Well, happy Father's Day yesterday. See you next time. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. It's time for Monday Mailbag. Oh, Dresden, Dresden, flower. How'd you like a haircut? So, Grandpa just cut I'm my hair. Kick your ass! Cause Stone Cold says so. You like that on shirt? Who sent that? Stone Cold. But who sent it? What? 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 Where'd you get that Stone Cold what? shirt? What? Yard sale. What? What? Okay. What? I like that haircut, Michael. Can't wait to get home. So you I look good. I gotta get home. We got. Do we have those clippers anymore? I don't know if they work. Uh, I'm not going to Walmart with you. You look like an old man. Well, I don't know which ones to get. Any clippers, not dog clippers. Yeah, get the one you got to have keep the dogs here. I got, I mean, you got to pat it. Just start reading your mail. Let me get it off for you. Get you dumbass! <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is from Trump. Can I talk? Sorry, I caught. <clears throat> this is from Charles McKay. I want to show y'all what he sent me. Look at that. $2 bill. Got the red letters. What does red letter mean? That means it, I, I don't know, but it's got to be important. i never seen it with a red before. I ain't either. Anyway, his letter. Y'all yeah, choked up. Yeah, I've got a nice handwriting. Look at that handwriting. I, I assume he's going to talk with like an old 1800s accent. Dearest Chuck. Shut up! My name is Charles McKay. I live in Ziegler, Illinois, and I am a 20-year-old. You bring my brother and my dad a lot of joy. What you got? What'd you get? Nothing. Nothing? What the hell? What would I have? Don't trust your ass. Uh, as you already know, there is a rat present in this envelope. This is my gift to you, and I hope after you open it, it will bring you back to your good times when you were younger. I'm giving it from my heart, and I hope you keep it forever. No matter how much Michael pranks you, well, he don't prank much, I get it. Get what? back. What do I got? You got my money. Nobody, I know I took that $2 bill. I, I treasure that. Charles, Mc, Charles McKay, thank you so much. I thought you said it got you choked up. I am choked up. Can't you tell you? Well, from the w flower? Yeah. I think the letter got you choked up. But that got me choked up too. Jonathan Burgos. What the? Super Mario. It's what Gears of War. It's a keychain it looks like. Dear AGP, I am a big fan of your videos and hope you are doing well. My favorite video is the Trailer Park Thanksgiving video with the heart attack. Ah, yeah, heart attack turkey wings. They were good. Who's it from? Christian Burnett. Oh. Hey, money. That's money. Ah, money. Thank you, Christian. How much is that? $4.75. Holy shit. Let's see what Christian has to say here. I was just moving. Ah, your little talons cut me. Dear Grandpa and Picker Boy, I love your videos, and without them, I would rarely watch YouTube. Whenever I'm stressed out, I watch your videos to make me laugh. I've got to mention my name. It's Christian Burnett. I'm 14 years old. Well, Christian, thanks for the dough. And I appreciate it. <clears throat> Amy Boss, awesome, Amy Grandpa, nice job. I appreciate That's that, cool. buddy. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah. 
Life just a bowl of cherries when you wear a flower on your head. Life is a bowl. Of, let's make a bowl of cherries for Dad. Yeah, I'm curious about fucking shit. I can't do That's it. That's half dandruff. No, really, I don't want that. God damn it, I can't breathe now. I can't breathe. Look at me. Fuck you. Someone can't breathe. Come on, me. That's really Paul. What? Yes. Looks like Kane. Dear Grandpa, how's it going? My name is Jacob, and I'm 18 years old. I live in a small town in Indiana. I was just wanted to let you know how big a fan I am. Well, thank you for being a fan. I appreciate the letter. And this is from 4505, whatever. I can't read their address. There's oh. no name. No name. Damn dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. You mean I got a dollar? You touch Damn my it. dollar, I'll make you holler. The name is Frank from Virginia. I would say I love the channel and the video. And I watch them all the time. Um, I'm glad you picked us out for Mailbag Monday. Well, you're welcome, son. Kenton Hale from Kentucky. Send me newspaper. I like them, man. Look at that. Oh, pretty cool. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Michael. Oh, get that, Jim. Yeah, right. Oh, gross. Ew. Oh, you, eat. you, ew, you eat them. They're all right, I guess. Hey, lab. <laughs> hey, GP, just want to say I love your show. I say that anything, I'm having a bad day. I have a lot of those. Just pull out my phone, laptop. Why don't you swallow your food and then read? I don't want to. I hope you enjoy the sardines. I promise there's no pranks with them. And that makes it one of the rest. Thank you so much, Kitten. This is going to get that uh, for the next hour. Now, let me wait out long. Now. Oh, my God. What's this? This is some Grave Digger. His name's <laughs> Grave Digger? What is this? Grave Digger in Thomasville, North Carolina. Thanks, Grave Digger. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry. I just wanted to see. Okay, read the letter. I won't touch. Dear Grandpa, four months watcher here. Great blog. Nice pranks. Send a little care package. And Jim Michael's about to get his ass fucked up. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is from Justin Sexton, a.k.a. Grave Digger. Hope you enjoy. What? I tried. Good reflexes, dude. <laughs> you got the box. Butterfingers! Oh! You box. Forget it. Did you said I could yeah, have it. Yeah, I got it. You said I could have it. One. You said I could have it. Two. Give me the goddamn no. box. No. Give me the goddamn box. All right, take it. It's empty anyway. Take it anyway, you piece of shit. <laughs> Butterfingers! <laughs> Three little pieces, Kit Kat. You can barely hold that damn thing. Motherfucking heavy. Here, Appreciate it. Let's play hot potato with the bag. Hey! It's gonna be you! Ready? Hot potato. Thanks. Ah <laughs> this is from Ozzy Money in that. Ozzy Rental. Don't you say where it's from? Holy shit. Come on, how much is that? 150 bucks. No, it is not. You're lying. Let me see. I'm not going to take it. Let me see if someone really sent you that. There's another dollar right here. I wasn't keeping it. Damn. Who sent this? God name is Isaac Rental. No name, no nothing. And that's... Wow. That's really nice. Too much, man. Yes, and mine too. Every bit of this is going on my new van. Thank you, youngins. Oh, I appreciate it. That's really cool, dude. Dear Grandpa, my name is DJ. I'm 13. 
and me and my best friend love watching your videos. I have been watching your videos for about three years. Sometimes your videos are so funny I fall off my chair laughing. Don't get hurt. Anyway, keep on keeping on with the good videos. Thank you, DJ. So anyway, thank you, youngins. Keep them coming. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the cash. Be seeing you at the post office. Bye. Say goodbye. Love you. Say goodbye. I guess I love them and you don't. I love you. I love you. I love all my youngins. I don't love you, though. I love you, too. I don't love you at all. Okay, so what would you call me over here for? Because I'm starting a new segment. What is it? I want to do Ask Grandpa from God Almighty Dance. Low enough? Ask Grandpa. <laughs> okay, so if you want to film Dad a letter for Ask Grandpa, send Dad a letter with the hashtag on the envelope, Ask Grandpa. Yeah, like that. Why do they start using that word hashtag? You never heard that shit until not too long ago. I don't know. Now everybody says, oh, hashtag so and so. Hash is something you eat. Tag is something you play. Okay. Dear Angry Grandpa, first and foremost, let me say that you and your family have touched a, a special place in my heart. I almost feel as if I am part of your family. Well, you are. I am an 18-year-old female and still feel responsible for my parents. My aunt took me in when I was seven due to my dad being in prison and my mom being a drug addict. My mom chose her abusive sexually and physically boyfriend over her three kids. God, I relate to that. I know about that. She just recently beat breast cancer and within one week was already back on drugs. God blessed her with a second chance at life to do right and once again she let everyone down. Recently, I've seen a, a really hor horrific picture of my mother. She looked as if she weighed 90 pounds. She really looks and she's on the verge of dying. I haven't talked to her in over two years. And being the he heavy hearted person I am, I decided to call her and basically beg her to get help. Even though I am upset with her actions, I may hate her at times, but, but she's still my mom and I want the best for her. I told her if she didn't do, if she didn't go to the rehab facility, I would not accept her back into my life. So my question for you, Grandpa, is if she doesn't go like I suspect she has not, she's not going to, should I shut her out of my life completely or keep trying to persuade her to, to get better even though I know she won't? This is coming from one of your youngest who is hurt and carries around with an aching heart simply due to the fact that I am not enough for my mother to change. That's sad. It really makes, just makes me feel like I'm nothing to her. I'm just really blessed to have an amazing aunt who has taken care of me for 10 years by herself. She is my real mom. Thank you for taking the time to read this. I love you, AGP. My feeling about this is first thing you need to do, you need to grab your aunt, give her a great big hug and a kiss, tell her thank you for being there for you. Thank her for, for, for giving you a life. If it hadn't been for your aunt, you might have ended up in some home somewhere being raised by strangers who really don't care about you. I'm kind of in the same situation here. I'm raising my four grandboys because I don't want them in a, in a strange home. I don't want them in a situation that they don't belong in. I took them from their mother. Yes, I did. I'll do it again. So I raised my four boys. I know where you're coming from. You know, I don't care what mom does, mom or dad or whatever. At the end of the day, it's still your mom, it's still your dad, you still love them, you care what happens to them. You know, you want to be part of your life, but it's a, their life is not your life. They choose the drugs, they choose the men, they choose the abuse over you. Now, you told her if, if, if she doesn't go to rehab, and if she doesn't do what you expect her to do, then you're not going to have her back in your life. 
Well, you know, girl, it's called tough love. Tough love is hard. When you say you're going to do something, you follow through. You've done, you know, you've done all you can do. Um, tough love hurts. It hurts all the way around. It hurts everybody involved. Maybe, maybe she doesn't do it today. You write her out of your life. Maybe one day she'll think about it. Maybe one day she'll come around and say, you know, this is the life I want. This is not the life I want to live. I want my daughter. I want to hold her. I want to kiss her. I want to tell her how much she means to me. You want to hold your mother. You want to hold your mom. You want to say, Mom, I love you. Please do this for me. Please come back and be my mom. Right now, it's not going to happen until she makes up her mind that she wants to do this. Stick by what you said, babe. You said you were going to write her out your life. Write her out. If she doesn't come back, you've lost nothing because you did everything you can do. Don't feel bad at yourself for doing this. Don't say, I I I'm a bad daughter. I shouldn't have done this to my mom. I shouldn't have given her the ultimatum. Somebody had to, babe. I did the same thing to my daughter and my son. I haven't talked to my son in years. And unless he changes his life and comes around, I won't. If it gets too overwhelming, send me your, send, you know, inbox me on my Facebook. If you're not on my Facebook, get on there and we'll talk Facebook. So, darling, stand strong. Grandpa's with you. Stay in your guns. If she doesn't do it, write her out your life. One day, maybe she'll turn around and come back. I appreciate the letter. I'm glad you think enough of me to ask what I think about it. I'm going to do this on a weekly basis now, just like Monday Mailbag, every Thursday. So ask Grandpa, You'll find, and if I pick yours, you'll get your answer on Thursday, how I feel about it. Darling, my thoughts are with you. All you youngers that are heartbroken, got problems, grandpa's with you. I need to interact with my youngers more, and this is going to be my way of doing it. So, till next Thursday, us, grandpa. Bye, youngins. Okay, Dad, it is Monday mailback time. I love Monday mailback. I like it when I hear my youngins. You know that, right? Of course. I'd like it better if you didn't come over. We got quite a bit of mail this week. Got some packages we got over today. Let's see. This is from... This is from 22... No name? No name. We thought I was this is from Greg D. says, AGP, you're my favorite. Greg D. from Myrtle Beach. And this is from Blake Shimon. Oh, we'll see that. And Grandpa's Army. That's pretty cool. I like that. I want to say you're awesome and ridiculously hilarious. Let me just say happy birthday to Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. Kind of belated. And hope y'all are doing good. 
P.S. Check out my YouTube sometimes. It's the Hunting Pals. And this is from Zachary Waydellis. Waydellis? Yeah. Waydellis. Waydellis in the middle of New Orleans. I got caught in a washing machine. Hi, Grandpa. My name is Zachary Waydellis. I am in the ninth grade and go to Gates Chili or something high school. My mom was, was a drug addict. Cocaine and pot. Weapon, drug of choice. Left me when I was eight months old. You have, you're, you, you have made my life so much better by watching your videos. You put a smile on my face and encouraged me daily. I had to live with my grandparents because my mom went to jail. Well, you hang in there, Zachary. It'll all work out for you, buddy. Ray's Thompson from Scotland. You take a hat. You take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll be on your girlfriend before you. I ain't where it goes, is it? Anyway, love the hat, man. Cool. Oh, I like the flag. No name, but it's from Nashville. R.J. Young. That's his innovation solutions by R.J. Young. Hmm. Oh, hell! Wow. Got, the, got the big bucks! Wow. What's up, Grandpa? My name is Chris Kreger. I'm from Nashville. You guys rock! Yeah! I rock. Your videos make me and my friends laugh all the time. Grandpa is like, Beetlejuice! Says Grandpa three times and he pops up to kick some ass. <laughs> I like that. Rock on! Oh my goodness. Yeah, Nia Torres drew a picture. Not bad either. That's pretty cool. And Grandpa, pick a boy, and Princess. To Grandpa. I hope one day to stop smoking these cancer sticks. Not me! I was a smoker myself, but thanks to God, I'm not no more. And now I feel much better without them. Darling, if you quit smoking, more power to you. But I can't. I'm too old to start that shit now. I hope you enjoyed receiving this letter as much as I enjoyed watching your videos. I, can I get a big fat shout out for my birthday, June 25th? Happy birthday! Happy birthday, baby! Ooh! I love you so! Happy birthday! Yanni Torres! What are you doing? I'm singing her happy birthday! Fuck you, Al Lester! Hi. Hey, Al, Al Lester, give me a little pussy. I got a little pussy! <laughs> See my little pussy! It says, how are things today? They're good. My name is Lamar Lester from Georgia Green, from Greenville, Georgia. We love watching your videos and love Pickle Boy. Dear Grandpa, my name is Zach. I live in Reno, Nevada, and I am 13. God damn, he's good for 13, ain't he? Anyway, appreciate it, Zach. Mike Mitchell from somewhere. Send me some. Look at Michael Bacon Jerky. I like bacon, baby. I like. Turkey too. Just, I don't want to open it. Been a fan for almost a year now. My favorite video is Obsessed Fan. Wasn't mine. I thought that dude was crazy. Appreciate the stuff, man. This one here is from Connor LaJoyce. LaJoyce. Bacon toothpaste. Oh my God. Ew. That's it. Ah! 
Snicker, Snicker, Snicker. God damn, you look good, damn. Oh hell no. You're gonna have him. Oh. You're gonna have him. Why? Oh! Man, oh oh. no! No! My Reese's Pieces! Oh man. Call me E.T. Ah! <laughs> this is a present from No Name. Boy, if y'all gonna send me stuff, at least give me your name, all right? I use this on Michael. What? Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Come on. That's a nice knife. Give me a thumbnail. Hold the knife up. Oh, God. I don't like joking like that. Take it off. Okay, I put the knife up. I'm not joking. Put the knife up. You're scaring me. Take my picture. Okay, I took it. Take my picture. I did. I didn't even snap. That done. This is Justin. Oh, I know what this is. You wrote me on Twitter. You're gonna like this. Ah! 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 Oh my God! I love it. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, oh God! Just screw you, Brock. Ah, oh, Paul Heyman. Thank you, sir. Paul Heyman. Thank you so much. I love Paul Heyman. I love him. I love him. What does that smell? This is the last letter. And it's from Carissa Witten. Thanks for the dollar, Carissa. Aww. Send me one. What do they call these things? Maybe a friendship bracelet. I get a lot of these. We'll put it on. So you're making it a necklace? Yeah. Oh, but no. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Carissa Witten. I live in Haleyville, Alabama. Roll Tide! I am 14 and a freshman in high school. Whenever I'm upset, I just get on YouTube and watch your videos. I'm hooked. My brother died in March the 5th. I'm so sorry. Last year, whenever I'm not having, whenever I'm having a rough day, I just watch your videos. You make me laugh and feel better. Sorry about your brother, sweetheart. Says you don't Twitter, has her own Twitter, so let's just get a copy of it. It's another Mailbag Monday. And look, look we, we got, you know, this all comes, look, look at that, I like that one. What is it, a postcard? Yeah, a postcard somebody made up. It's from Matt, 16 years old. He's pretty, pretty talented. This is his YouTube is Matt Loves Drumming. How did he draw, how did he draw that, Mike? Draw what? Did he draw that on there? No. Well, this here, AGP. My name is Matt. I'm 16 years old, and I am from Perth, Australia. And I love all your videos. My favorite one is the Gaboon Viper. Fuck you. I don't like snakes. Anyway. Please take the time to check out my YouTube, which Mike just said it. So, I appreciate it, Matt. Go to reach your name grab something, Mike. Hand it to me. Dear Grandpa, hi, how are you? My name is Shardace, and you're freaking awesome. I know that. Your videos make me very happy every time I watch them. Your food looks so good. Then why won't Mike eat it? Because it doesn't look it so does. good. It doesn't. It looks good, smells good, tastes good. Shut up. I've hooked my younger sister, Lauren, to your craziness. I would like to take the drawing and symbols of what you mean to me. AGP, I like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, let's look at this for a second. That's good, isn't it? Looks like a lot of effort went into this. A lot of effort went into it. Wow, okay, so. A lot of effort, A for effort. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay. What's funny? So the first thing is a TV that's breaking. Da, da, da. The second is a coffee cup, and the other one is uh, cigarettes and something. Take a look at cigarettes, it. Cigarettes, what cigarettes? Look at it, they're pictures. I'll be there, I bought the golf club. Cigarette and ashtray. That's pretty good. That is good. Damn! Jason Berans. 
Oh man! Change. Look at that, Michael. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. You know, I love my. Hey, get. You know, I get a lot of change, right? Yes. You know what I do with all the change? What? Now I've been saving what? Five or four, five or six months now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's what you youngers have sent me over the period of the last five months. Change? Jingle, jingle, coins when they wrangle. Let's make it rain on dad. No, 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 no. We don't make this rain. We no, 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 make this rain. This is freaking hail. Yeah. Okay, it's not gonna rain. No, let's, please. Let's make it hail. No, 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 no. <laughs> Three coins in my box. Get my goddamn coin. Get my goddamn coin. Jesus. What is that? Get my money. God. I got change. Coming out my ass. Oh, I love the change out my ass. <laughs> what are you uh, oh, god damn, I dropped one, motherfucker. Mm. Ah, caught you. <laughs> How'd you know? I knew you, pickle boy. Pickle dick. Yeah, pickle dick. Pickle I'm, dick. I'm keeping it. A nap tray for my new van. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. And who sent you this? I don't know. Let me see. This is a great, this gift is for your cancer stick smoking, arse. Arse. That's how English people spell ass. Yeah. Arse. So that's for, that's for your cancer stick smoking ass. Now you can hide all of your cigarette butts from the viewers and keep them concealed so they don't spill on the floor when you flip your freaking table over. Yours truly, Jordan. Madison Roper. What is that? To Bridget. Socks. Oh my god. This person knows you. Holiday style socks. Oh, we're going to talk about this shit. Thank you so much, Madison. Dear Aunt Grandpa, I am 12 years old. My name is Madison. I love all your videos. My favorite prank was the cold ice water challenge. Wasn't mine. I got bug-eyed in school and I watch all your, I got bullied in school. Darling, don't take no bully shit. Cause if you got a bully, there's enough of y'all, y'all can bully the bully. Remember that. This is from Dan Flower. And he is from any. Oh shit, look at that, I got me a patch. Bellevue East ROTC. Hut, hut. Dear Angry Grandpa Michael and Bridget, my name is Dan Flower. I am from London, England, but moved to the United States about eight years ago. I am 18 years old and a huge fan. I live in America just like you do. Thank you so much for your support for the military. My favorite band is the Beatles, yeah! When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top. Shut the up! Okay. Oh. Thank you guys for making my life better. Thank you for your letter. And your service. And your service, and the patch, and the English money. I gotta do something, I gotta, I gotta cut the shit down. It's running out of water. Oh man, it's burning. It sure is. Man, God damn. Did you get that off there? This ain't supposed to be show. <laughs> oh, it didn't burn. It just smells like it. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Maybe ha 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 ha. Put it in your pants. Let me take it out your belt. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Tyler. I watch all your videos, and you are funnier than Family Guy. Really? Keep making good videos and stay angry. Please don't say address state. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you call that a fart. <laughs> you fart like your mama. <laughs> Charles Green. <laughs> <laughs> you know you just read your own name, right? I read my own letter. Pickle Boy TV Blowout. 
Dan, stop. Don't do that. It's, it's me. I look, I lost some weight in his picture. No shit. Must be a new Michael. Where's my goddamn pick, TV pickle boy? Samantha Washington, Charlottesville. Ah! Cigarettes! I can't smoke. I can't smoke. I can't smoke. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Get my mouth. Okay, what can we do to Dad's pack of cigarettes? Give them back to me. I just wanted to tell you how much I love your videos. Anytime I feel sad or have a bad day, I can watch your videos and instantly feel better. I've seen all your videos even though I've only been watching for about a year. We love you, Grandpa. Thank you for all the smiles and laughs and even thoughts when you're pissed off at times. And thanks to Pickle Boy, Pickle Dick for having the damn camera. And Princess, we don't thank Princess for nothing. For being the best of annoying, just being annoying. I agree with that. This is from Billy Hall. Send me a dollar. Why is it packaged like I that? I have no idea. Let me look at it. From 1957. Dear Aunt Grandpa. This is a silver certificate, it says. Is that a silver certificate? Yeah. That's why. Hey, Aunt Grandpa, I watch all your videos all the time. They cheer me up when I'm nothing to having a really bad day. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Billy. Hell. They didn't even put a packing list in this one. So who sent it? It doesn't say. It says International Coffee and Books. What the hell is this thing? This is... What? Whoever sent this, there's no packing list. I don't know who to thank. But what the fuck is it? It's a freaking dildo. It says world's largest gummy worm. It's a gummy. No fuck. That's a gummy. Look at it. Is. Oh. Let's pull it out. Jesus Christ! Look at the size of that! Damn! Whoa! You ain't got no teeth to chew on this thing. Look, hey, I don't need it. Look at that! Jesus! What the? <laughs> Look at the side there. Hey, it smells good. <laughs> Look at it. You got teeth, you don't have to suck on it. Suck on it? But what is it? It's a gummy worm, like blue raspberry or something. Honey, how are you going to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so by now you understand what we what think this looks like. <laughs> Okay, Dad. It's getting wet! <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right, Dad, take a bite. Take a lick. <laughs> ah! 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 Okay, I'm ready. I swear to God, Mike, look at it. <laughs> I ain't lying, look at it. <laughs> Here's one of your balls. <laughs> I get I appreciate the worm. I <laughs> Are you crazy? Don't beat me in the face with that snake! <laughs> this is feeling so inappropriate. Okay, uh, hey. it's like this. Uh. Thanks for watching. Oh! It's me! It's me! It's AGP! Anyway, it's 7 30 in the morning. Saturday! I'm heading to Columbia. Ain't been there in a while now, so 
Going there, look around the old place, you know, won't see the old smiley flea market still there. Go by my mama's grave, then I want to hire somebody to, to clean her grave for me, keep it clean. I owe her that much. Then I want to, I want to, I, wanna, I, wanna, I guess. Go be a good day! Well, here I am! On the road! On the road again! Can't wait to get back on the road again! Anyway! I'm just sitting here, got the cruise control set. I got the air conditioner blowing. I got the XM radio blasting. Listen to 1960s music. Get ready to smoke a cigarette, kick back, and enjoy the ride. See you in Columbia. Well, here I is getting ready to go into beautiful Gaston, South Carolina. And about now, I guess old Michael's waking his bed up. <laughs> hey, my hey, pickle dick, I left you. I didn't go by your house. Well, I did go by your house. I left you a note. Uh, hey, pickle dick, I came without you. I don't. Ah, ha, ha. I'm going to see the old homestead. How about that, pickle dick? Anyway, big boy. I'll talk to you in a little bit, but right now I'm just getting ready to cruise into beautiful downtown Gaston. Bye. Well, here I am in Gaston. Been a long time. You know, my mother is buried here. And I miss mom. Wow, somebody has been keeping her grave clean. Well, Mom, it's been a while. This is my mother. God, she's been dead since 99. Well, Mom. I miss you so much, Mom. I miss you every day. I think about the times we spent together and I we laughed together, we cried together. You died in 99, Mom. I had problems. Whenever I had a problem, I always come to you. You, you always pat me on the shoulder and you said, it's all right, son, it's all right. Things will be all right. And you know something? Everything got all right. This graveyard is really looking bad. I remember when we put these pavers down there. Graveyard looks rough. Mom, everything's real good. I miss you so much, but I had to come see you. I haven't seen you, what, two years? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm not gonna stay away this long again. Well, young as y'all, excuse me, because I want to pull some weeds and make my grand, make my mama's grave look decent. I'll see you on another stop. So here I am. I'm at the barnyard flea market. Birds. Mm. This is Nick, and that's Mike. They know me. I don't know from where. Anyway. Grandpa's going to tour this place, and I'm going to make some videos where I get certain places where I ain't going. Yeah. Anyway, bye. <laughs> What's your name? Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Da 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 da. Hey, you got a nice thing here, Mo Rocky. Thank you. What all you sell? A little bit of everything. This is what I'm telling you about when you come to the flea market. You can get some good deals. Man. Uh huh. 
can I get the can I buy the thing that goes in there? Yep, you want it? That's what I want, yeah. Where's Pickle Boy at? Pickle Boy is home. Yeah. I was supposed to pick him up this morning. Yeah. I went to his house. I let him know. Screw you, bye. Let me get a piece of it. Sure, no problem, man. See what I'm saying? You meet the best people in the world at the flea market. You you um all the way from uh Somerville, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. You'll have all the trolls looking for me. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take a picture. Right. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Get that right there. See, we getting our picture made. Right. Got it. Check it. Make sure the camera. Let's see what kind of picture you got there. That was your hand. How you crack your screen? You get mad? Yeah. I don't know. Good. Uh, ah, nah, not really. Not really. Right, Let's try this side over here. We gonna get out of the sun. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. It's pretty good when the vendors recognize me just out here walking. You know what I'm saying? I guess people know AGP. All right, youngins, I'll catch you when I go back to the back. Okay, here I am at Zippo Man's shop. Anytime y'all come to the barnyard, man, come see Zippo Man. He give you a deal on some lighters. And musical instruments. Hey, you got knives. Hey, what can what can I do with a knife? Anyway, when I was here six, seven years ago, Zippo man, he been here forever. He ain't never left this place. I think he sleeps here. Eating his watermelon. <laughs> How long have we known each other now? How many years? It's been a lot of man. Probably about Maybe 20, 15. At least, at least. I've known Zippo Man for at least 15, 20 years. And he is always taking care of me on lighters. So when you come to the barnyard, come by Zippo Man's. And you and get him to play to get the piano for you. The organ, he is fantastic. And I'll offer you some watermelon. <laughs> and he can also be watermelon. <laughs> Alright, youngins, I'll check with y'all in just a little bit. You know, Pickle Dick was a little fella back then when we lived here. And we used to come to this barnyard flea market every week. Well, you know me. Saturday and Sunday. We'd go to the auction on Friday night and Sunday and buy stuff. And then we'd come out here on Saturday and Sunday and sell it. Anyway, Michael was just a little fella. We used to sell. He, 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 he walked down there. Hey, you want to buy a bell? Come here, let me show you a bell. And he'd be ringing on that bell. He'd be telling, shut that goddamn bell up. But Michael listen, nah, Michael just kept beating the bell. This is the area we were in, too. We always set up over here. Just remember, if you, if you got stuff laying around your house, bring it to the flea market and sell it. Make some money on your junk. Anyway, I'm leaving the barnyard. We've been here for a couple hours now, so it's time to go. Going to see some friends now. Bye. Oh, this has been a good trip to Columbia. Um, a lot of memories come back. I, I'm past, I, you know, I passed the place where I used to take my mama to eat every Friday night at the Shoney's. They had seafood night. Man, that woman could pack some goddamn fish away. Yeah. You know, I used to wonder where the hell she put it because she was a little woman. And then I passed by a place called Lizard's Thicket, and that reminded me of the time when Michael was a little boy and my mama went, mama got a brand new Toyota. And mama went to pick him up from school because he, he, he fell or something or got sick or something wrong with him, and she went to get him. But she was going to take him to lunch at Lizard's Thicket. And the minute they turned the driveway, he threw up all in the floorboard of her car. Boy, she was madder than 40 wet, wet, wet hens in a goddamn hen house. Getting ready to ride through Congaree, where I used to live. and I'm going now to meet, y'all are going to meet somebody here in a few minutes. I'm going to let you meet, meet, Michael never talks about his brother, this brother. But Michael has another brother. Uh, Pickle Dick, your brother's gonna say hi to you in a minute as soon as I get to say, get to be running to him. So I'm on my way to Congaree and say hello to Michael's brother, my other son. Grandpa here. You know, I told you I was gonna introduce you. 
to my other son. Mike never talks about this brother. Why, I don't know. I want y'all to meet John. One of the coolest black motherfuckers you will ever motherfucking meet in your goddamn existence. Jesus Christ, that was a mouthful. Yeah, right hey, that's what I do. Anyway, this is my other son. That's what I do. I love my boy. I love Pops, man. Yes, you give me a kiss, man. Ah, goddamn, I love my boy. I, I, he's my favorite boy. Forget you, Michael. Pickle dick. Pickle motherfucking dick. Cucumber right here in the house. Cucumber say you a pickle dick. Anyway, this is John, my other son. And he, I've known this fella since you were old now. Mm, back when I was 16. You were 16, right you were younger. Uh, no, well, yeah. Probably about 14. In between 14 and 15, no, 16. John is like the greatest guy you'll ever meet. He's got a heart of gold. He helps anybody he can. And there's not a racist bone in his, in his body. Has to be, he's my son. So anyway, y'all meet John. I think John's gonna start doing a few YouTubes. If he does, I want y'all to check him out. I'm gonna put his links on my wall. So had a good time here. Get ready to head home. Bye, youngins. This letter comes from a 16-year-old New Yorker that, just like me, his grandparents raised him. Now, I gotta get your advice on how to get to a point where she'll be my girlfriend. All right, he met a girl online on Facebook. They've been writing, talking. She knows a lot of his friends. And, but he wants to take it one step further. So he's asking me, uh, Oh, ha, that's why I know you're the master at picking up women. So, angry grandpa, I'm seeking your advice. She clearly does, all right, she says, the girl clearly doesn't mind me, me being ugly. And she finds me funny for sure. Thanks for looking at my letter provided. Okay. A while back, I saw, I saw a really hot girl on Facebook. So I added her as a friend. And she started liking my pictures. Then she started liking some of my posts. She knows a lot of my friends, but I do not know her personally. What should I do to finally meet her? And from what point, what should I do to get her to like me? Okay. 
there's a lot of online love going on. There's a lot of, you know, you, you know, you might think you ugly, but you, you're not ugly to somebody. Somebody thinks you hot. And just because you thought, you know, is it because you want a hot girl? Or do you want a girl that's going to love you? Dude, come on. That's a no-brainer. Why do you want to go out to a girl that, 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 you know, you're 16 years old. You know how many goddamn women you're going to be with between now and the time you're 21? A bunch. I was. You met the girl online, and she could be your the one you want. But you know something? Let it come to you. If she wants to be with you, she goes, hey, look here. Can we take it a step further? And if you want to, you can ask her, can we take this a step further? But if you go with her just because you think she's hot, then you're an idiot. I've seen guys with the best looking women. Oh, my God. My tongue gets hard when I've seen some of these women, you know? But they ain't no way I could be with them. And I, I mean, I probably could, I could date them. But I don't want to. Why? Because I want, I want somebody that loves me for me. I want somebody that's going to be with me because, because, because they love me. I want, a, I want somebody to say, hey, honey, let's go, let's go, let's go make a bowl of popcorn and sit in the living room and watch a movie tonight. What do you think, babe? Maybe get a little bottle of wine. You know you're just gonna score that night, don't you? Yeah. Dude. Don't, don't do it. My, my opinion is don't do it. You don't wanna take it, you know, you, you do what you want. But, come on, brother. There's a lot of women out there that will love you for you. This girl probably just wants to be your fucking friend. Why is it, why is it a girl or a guy can look at the other one and say, hey baby, you look pretty good. And the next one, all of a sudden, oh my God, they love me. I'm happy. They love me. The dude said you look good. Or that you go on a date and he kisses you. Or she kisses you. And you're, oh my God, they love me. They kissed me. I kissed my dog. I had a dog. By the way, I want a puppy. Anybody got any chihuahuas out there? Grandpa wants a puppy. Uh, dude, do what your heart tells you, but don't go looking. When you go, when you start looking for the love, it's gone. You ain't gonna find it. It's not gonna be true love. True love comes to you. You want somebody you're gonna grow old with, not somebody that that that's 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 going that's that's that could possibly just walk away one day. I get a lot of these kind of letters, man. So yours ain't nothing new to me. So that's, so do what you do, follow your heart, go from there, brother. But if you want to know what you need to do to go to the next step, ask her. All you got to do is open your mouth and say, hey. Question answered. Well, Michael, guess what? Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Monday. Damn, I don't even know where to even start. And it says, no name. Five dollar bill, five dollar bill, it's my money, you can go suck a deal. Hey, that rhyme, deal, pickle boy. I like that. Thank you, Colby Cowan. It says, Dear Michael, Bridget, and Grandpa, my name is Colby, and I am from Oregon City, Oregon, and I love your videos, every single one of them. My favorite one is the first one I saw in the PS4 prank. I like that PS4 prank, Michael. Uh, LOL, that one is so funny. I would also love it if you would subscribe to me. So, subscribe, Kobe Cowan. C-O-W-A-N. I'm 12 now. Here is a $5 bill for you. Yeah! My name is Seth Stillens, and I live in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I am 12 years old. I am a big fan of yours. When I am angry or sad, I watch all your videos for hours. I get in trouble because I watch YouTube for so long. I hope you like my drawings. Please write me back. So for me, he wrote, keep your honey camera here. <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> ah, Dad, calm down.
Thank you for the picture. This is from Allison Allen and Jordan from Saskatchewan, Canada. Or Saskatchewan. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Oop. That's bad. That's bad. God, dude, I'm That's already bad. feeling sick. That's bad. That's bad. What's wrong, Michael? Oh, God. <laughs> Words can't describe that smell. I thought it smelled pretty good myself. It smelled like last night's chicken. Your chicken smells like shit. Ugh. It tastes like shit. My name is Allison. I live in a small town in Saskatchewan, Canada. My family and I watch your videos every every day at supper time. I bet that makes the food go down good. You are hilarious, <laughs> Grandpa. My family and I think you are cooler, coolest ever. I am. My favorite is video is Grandpa and Grandpa Gets Robbed. I didn't think it was good. Uh, we were sending you five Canadian dollars, but probably be less, five dollars where you exchange it. They know where to exchange money here. Post office? They don't do it. Oh. And bank don't do it. I wouldn't want to do it anyway, it's cool. I'm gonna save it anyway, I'll save all of them. Please let Michael and Bridget cut your hair eyebrow. Shut up! Ain't gonna happen! We're working on, we're working on that 500. Anyway. And after that, I got a plan for a million. Well, anyway, thank you, Allison. Austin. That's all it says. This guy's name is Austin. Ten million dollars. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Bawi. Zimbabwe. I didn't know they had ten million dollars. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A.G. Peters, I know, A.G. I know how much you like the silver certificate someone sent you. So I decided to send you some more collectible McCray. Uh, he's not worth much. However, you could collect it. I am a huge fan. Yeah, I will collect it. Thank you much, man. I appreciate it, Austin Jocks. Getting foreign money is really cool. I like it. So look at this. Where's your other ones? We can make a collection of it. I like getting any money. 44 South Bell. No, no, no name? No name. I'm getting the dollars today, boy. Hey, you can go pay a stripper now. Hey, yeah. I'll hire Bridget. My name is Nick. All right. I'm, I'm 16 years old. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, I'm getting the money. No, she got to pay me. I know you're always there for me via YouTube. You wake me up, laugh, and you, and I enjoy watching you every day. Keep up with the with the channel. Thank you, Nick. Chase Johnson from Texas. The hell's all this? Wow. Foreign money from the Cayman Islands. Bunch of nothing, bunch of nothing. Ooh, dollar off hot dog. Dollar off! Yeah, you like, you like sign. A copy of a $20 government of Texas bill. Hey, you know it's a copy? Is that something? Oh. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my brother and I love your videos. They are hilarious and make our days. We have we have you and Pickle Boy to make us laugh. We hope you enjoy these gifts from us. Thank you, Grandpa. Love always. Uh, please say fuck you. Fuck Joy. Okay. Fuck Joy! Fuck you! He want me to. <laughs> Captain America ring! That's old. Another coin from another country. You got a penny. That looks weird. During World War II, this is in the 40s, I bet. Let me see here. 
1943. During World War II, they ran out of copper uh, because they were using it on like bombs and planes and whatever they had they used copper for. This is from Paula Bullock from Maryland. Oh, she got you a lot of those uh, water things. Two dollar bill. What a thing. Yeah, those Hawaiian punch things are water flavors. Dear Aunt Grandpa, hi, my name is Brenna Bullock and I absolutely love your videos. My favorite one is when Pick a Boy moved back into your in with you. Anyway, you are so awesome. I and thanks for all the times and you made me laugh. P.S. The book is Jim Davis first, Garfield. Oh, cool. I guess I can return the favor. You made me laugh. There you go, Dad. He says, and I got proof. I resent that. See? You say I resemble. Shut up. Resemble means to look like something. It never made sense, and now you can say the correct term. I resent that. What is all this? Thank you. Who said these are water flavors? She sent you a gift card. It looks like you're gonna solve this game to get it open. <laughs> I just solved the game. <laughs> How much I got in there? Fifteen dollars. Did I solve the game? Awesome, dude. 1972. These are cool, dude. We really appreciate these. I, I love stuff. all the change I get. 1971 Kennedy Half. I love getting all this change. That's a uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar. Oh, cool. And that's a that's another dollar. That's that's the, the I don't know the um. Liberty. Thank you very much, darling. Hi, my name is Seth and I live in Tennessee. I've been watching your funny videos for about two weeks now. Two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. I love you all and I really love Pick a Boy. I love you too. I love you all and your videos make me laugh all day. I will be getting PS4 soon. Any game suggestions? Yeah, UFC, uh, Battlefield, lots of good games, man. I'm turning 15 on the 21st. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, youngin. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> oh, coins. More coins. Look at it. Look how small that dime is, boy. It's the size of a dime. What are you talking about? I thought it was small. What the hell is all this? My name is Miguel. And I'm a huge fan of you, Michael, and Bridget's channels. I really miss cooking with Grandpa. You should continue making those recipes and video. I said two shirts. One is a special shirt that reminded me of you. Also, I said pick a boy shirt too. Oh, cool. Take care, Miguel. P.S. A shout out to my brother, Salvio. He likes you. Salvio! What up, Salvio? Yeah! We'll see these shirts. You wait! Oh, ha, <laughs> Put it on. No. Put it on. Here, kitty, kitty. Cool. Here, kitty, kitty. Holy crap. That's awesome. You jealous? You got a cat shirt and I got fucking Heisenberg. Yeah, whatever. I don't know who Heisenberg is. It's Breaking Bad. I don't know what Breaking Bad is. This is from Super Sadie. Remember the little Super Sadie the yeah, video we yeah, did? Yeah, of course. Well, Super Sadie sent some pinwheels. Ha ha ha. Some Reese's. Wow, thank you very much. And Sadie's got some little things she's got. Oh, really? Hold yeah. on, put it on me. Here, brother, you got it all bunched up with my arm. So there's Super Saiyan wristbands? Yeah. That's awesome. So there you go. 
That's the mailbag for this week. Over there, down on the counter. That's for you. This? Yeah, give the camera to Bridget. Why? What is this? Just give it to Bridget. That's for you. Okay. I... That was sent by Amy Harvest. Amy? You that's... remember a chick who did your picture? Yeah, it's a portrait of the girl. She do me one? I don't know. Look and see. <gasps> Let me see. Oh. Oh my God. That is awesome, isn't it? That's cool. Yeah. Wow, Amy. Thank you very much for this. This is really cool. The lip looks a little off. <laughs> so little that hair on your face. That is awesome. That's very cool. Well, is that it? That's it. That's it for this week. Mailbag Monday. Got a lot today. Got this. This is the most important of all the things. No, it ain't. Thank you. What was her name? Amy Harvey. Thank you, Amy, for this. This is amazing. I'm going to hang this right up next to Dad's. Cool. And you'll take a picture and put it up, right? Yep, of course. What's going on, you guys? Give <laughs> me the camera here. Mailbag Monday. Thank you much. See you next month. Get the damn thing off me. You messed up the picture? I'll tear that motherfucker. All right, Dad. It is time for Mailbag Monday. You almost turned into Santa Claus mode there. <laughs> Back <Monday. laughs> oh, It's Christmas in July. We got a little bit of mail this week. Well, it's time to open up some mail. This one came, right? Yeah. A dollar eighty-three postage due. I paid it. You had to pay the postage. I had to pay that postage due, right? Dollar eighty-three. What? So, Mr. Owsley, and you what was in it? What? Thumpers. Why did you have to pay the postage? You see that? Send it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ready? Ready. How come my Hogan has no color? Hold on. Well, God damn, you done knocked him out. Right, ready, let's go. Aha! Ah! 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 Nick! Ah. Nick! Oh, the move! Oh my god! Thanks, Nick. Oh man, I can't move! Dear Amy Grandpa, well, you're awesome and funny, and you move, you make me laugh so hard. LOL. I've only been watching your videos for a month. Month? Welcome to the pub. The Welcome family. to Grandpa's Army. I'm 15, and my name is Portia Owsley. Next time, pay the right amount of postage. I get bullied a lot in school. Uh, I push them aside and forget that. Best way to do it, more people need to learn from you, Portia. I sent you some thumb wrestlers. Please have Michael and Bridget and you subscribe to my YouTube. His YouTube is Portia Owsley. Dear AGP, Michael and Bridget, my name is Talon, and I am from Kansas. Me and my friends watch your videos all the time, and used to talk about them every day. At school. Used to? How come you don't? Oh yeah, school. school summer vacation, stupid. We love you. I've been watching a little over a year now. My favorite video is Stolen PS4. Everybody's got Stolen PS4. I didn't I like that it. one. Uh, can you give a shout out to Jessica? Jessica! Jessica! What was that? I give a shout. I shouted out for Jessica. You wanted me to. This is Josh and Dominique Clark. Dada. Dear Mr. Green, Michael, and Bridget, me, my husband, oh, my husband Josh, are over, and our two girls, ages two and four, all love watching your videos. Like everyone, we're going through hard times. Everybody's going through hard times. And some days it feels like we won't make it, but you will make it. Just keep pushing. You guys are really awesome. I love the prank videos, but I can see there's a lot of love. Ah, uh -uh. yeah, the res. I love you, Michael. <laughs> love you too, Dad. Uh, I can see there's a lot of love in your family. My husband and I are both in college for game design. Hey, make a game about me. And hopefully can can give our girls a better life. We both come from parents who didn't want uh, us, so we want our girls to get better than we did. One more thing, ADP. Your new dog, Hannah, I love her. 
is adorable, and I think you should prank Pickle Boy a lot more. No. Sincerely, I, Dominique Clark. I Thank get, you, Dominique. I get enough pranks, Dominique. You don't get hardly enough. Do a you, picture. You want to keep talking, you're going to get a five times harder. Ah! Oh, that's awesome. Do a picture of my doggy. This, um, Haley and Kavanaugh. LGP! LGP! And Haley says, Hi, Ann Grandpa. My name is, my name is Haley Ann. I'm 14 years old, almost 15. I've been watching your videos for only two months. We're getting a lot of newbies here today. Let's go Welcome ahead. to the Army, darling. I love new ones. Me too. You couldn't find your candy, so you, oh. Uh, my favorite video is when you couldn't find your candy and you destroyed your kitchen. That was an expensive one. That was an expensive piece of candy. Realize it was on the counter. I showed my mom your videos. She probably, probably got you in trouble. She, she absolutely loves them. <clears throat> okay? Keep up the good, cook out the great work. Love you, AGP. Stay strong and keep going. Thank you, darling. Dear Aunt Grandpa, how are you doing? Anyway, my name is Cullen Smith. My friend and I adore you. When I come home after a long day of school, I watch your videos on YouTube and I feel better. My favorite video was the one where you destroy your whole kitchen. Everybody likes that one. By the way, I'm all honor classes next year. Anyway, keep up the good work and take care of yourself. Cullen, congrats on being all honors class. This is from Matt Elkin from Washington. Oh, I know what it is. No letter, no nothing. I got one of these. You got one? Yep. Hey, man. That's cool. That's the Paul Heyman Godfather shirt. He's a Godfather. He's my Godfather. You put your arm through a sleeve, your head through a sleeve. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you see why I don't like him? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Here, put your head through the hole. I mean, <laughs> when was the last time you heard There's that? three holes! Pick one! <laughs> Ass, pussy, or mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, brother? That is awesome. I like that. Quick. Uh, I'm 13, I'm originally from Moscow, Russia, but now I live in Florida for about three years. I fell in love with all American football and I moved to the U.S. Wow. Damn. When I uh, moved to the U.S., I played it ever since. I'm a Giants fan and, and, and I first discovered your channel about a year ago and I got all my friends at school to subscribe to you. Thank now, you now very wait. much. I'm confused. Did he say he's a Giants fan or a Giant fan? He's a. I'm a Giant. Giant, like. Big fan? Big fan. I thought you meant like a fan of the Giants I football team. I read it. My favorite video was the PS4 Treasure Hunt. Every time I'm feeling down, I go to your channel and watch all some of your videos. It would mean the world to me. What is Old open? foreign money, I mean German money. Old this run. ain't real, right? Jap yeah, it's all real. Japanese and German money. Holy crap. See? The Japanese <laughs> government. It's all real. That's German money. This is really neat. I love that you get foreign money. I think that's the coolest stuff you get. Anyway, thank you so much, Ray. I really appreciate it. And that, that, that foreign money is gonna be put up where I keep all my foreign money. This is from Christopher Burdencourt. I have been watching all your channels ever since I first saw the Mentos Diet Challenge. It was hilarious. My two kids are terrified of you. I always <laughs> tell them that if they act up, that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna drop them off at your house, and you can watch them for the, and straighten them out. We're up in no time. Get work with my kids. P.S. If you can give a shout out to my kids Eric and Kalen to behave and listen to their parents. Eric and Kalen. Okay. Eric, Kalen, you better listen to your mom and daddy. You don't do what they tell you. I'm coming to your house, and I'm gonna sleep in a bed right next to y'all. I'm going to be with you everywhere. I'm going to eat with you. You want me around your house? Be good, kitties. Okay, so I'm looking this up. This is a buffalo nickel, Dad. Now, here's something, Dad. What? 
on this one, it's different than the other one. There's like an S underneath it. Dear A Grandpa, my name is Destiny Clayton. I am 13 years old. I live in Rolla Mo. I have two brothers, a mom and a dad. Thank God. I have been watching your videos for a long time now. When I get what darn it? Yeah, it's all right, baby doll. When I get mad, I go and get on YouTube and watch Pickle Boy or you or Bridget and Kim. Oh, they talking about Kim now. Kim Mother Door's got her on YouTube, people, by the way. Link is I, below. Uh, so link is Link is below. I wish I had a grandparent like you. Really? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you get stuff for Christmas and it's gone the and next I, day. And it's gone the next day. Almost a year ago, I lost my grandma. And my dad, my dad mom went in a nursing home and does not know anyone. So I, I call you my crazy grandpa. Thank you, darling. I am your crazy grandpa. My favorite video is with you, friend Tina, and she cracks me up. Yeah, she cracks everybody up. This is from Kaya Mahoney. Don't read on camera. Don't read? All right, darling. I'll donate that to the animal shelter. You're bullshit. Darling, the animals need every penny they can get. She's in a penny and asks us to donate it for her to the animal shelter. Pennies add up to dollars! I'll take your pennies. I'll be more than happy to give them. I'll put pennies with them. Mike and I are going to do it every month. So never feel bad about what you, because you, you say you don't have much, but you want to give something. Thank you, darling. I love you for it. The animals love you. The Charleston Humane Society loves you. And they appreciate every penny. So no, I will read this on camera. Thank you, darling. That touched me, Michael. Little girl, 13 years old. Doesn't have anything, but she gave a penny to the animals. That touching. Anyway. I agree. That's very sweet of you. Hey, my name is Kaya. I am in love with your videos. I am 13, and I live in Pennsylvania. I'm watching your videos two months, and they make me happier. Man, the girl cares enough about animals that she wants to help with. That. That's just touching. I'm sorry, Mike. Okay, I'm all right now. Mm. That touched me hard. They made me laugh so hard, it's not even funny. You and Pickle Boy's fights, arguments are too funny. I love that one video about the nurse, Tina, that tried to help you while you were sick and you didn't even want her there. Hell no, I didn't want her there. Keep on making those videos. You inspired a lot of people while they are going through rough, tough times. Thank you, sincerely. Kay Mahoney. Thank you, darling. Well, it's Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Monday! <laughs> I gotta say something, first of all. This is the first time in how long that we've actually done this on a Monday. I know, man. Normally we do it on what, Saturday? Yeah, man, but we, we've both been busy. Okay, what is that hat? This came in the mail. From? I'll tell you when I get to it. You've, I, obviously, you've obviously already gotten to but it. But I, I got these down here. I'll get to it then, okay? All right. I like the horny hat, though. I'm horny. I Is that why you called us over here so urgently? Yeah, yeah, baby. Anyway, before I start, I get a lot of mail. I get a lot of people writing me, Grandpa, you don't read my letter. Well, this is just this week, youngins. This is one week. I mean, look at it. See all the bands, Michael? Look at that. Here it goes. Grandpa's Army! Yes, I see the wristbands. Anyway, everybody's saying, but come on, I can't get to all of them, but I do read them all. I, I take one night a week and I just sit down and I read them and if I think they need answering, I've answered a lot of y'all and you know it because it means something. So if I don't get to your letter, it's not that I don't want to read your letter, it's the fact I couldn't get to it. At least not on video. At least not on video, but I do get to it. Hey, no, darling, be quiet, baby. Don't you harm my dog. Man. I didn't do anything. Oh, by the way, come here, I want to show you something, Michael. I, I want to know something. Come here, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow I am. I am, follow me. What are we gonna do something about this? Uh, as you see, I had something about this. You had to break the wooden frame around it. But I'm sleeping on the floor. That's on you. Oh, hell no, you the pop on top. Pop, you mean hop on pop? Pop on top. 
Anyway, let's get back to this. Anyway. We'll sell these black markets. All right, I want to talk about that. Give me that money. Let's talk about that in a minute. Then we'll get to the mail. You youngins are overwhelming me. You all want to be members of Grandpa's Army. We put it on a video how to be a member. If you live in the U.S., I'm going to do this one more time. If you live in the U.S., you put $3 in a letter to Grandpa and right on the front, wristband. I will draw you a picture and send you this and you are a member of Grandpa's Army. Now, when you, when you, when you, what are you paying attention to me? I want to see the picture. It's crap. I don't give a damn. Look at that picture. Everybody's going to get a different picture. I'm going to sign a bunch of these, too. Me, too. You can't touch shit. Anyway. Oh, but I can? Cool. Yeah, you can be my son. I love you. I'm doing it, too. I don't love you. Uh, not only do you get the picture and you get the armband for the three bucks, but you're a member of my army, so make sure you include your phone number or your Skype, because periodically, I'm gonna call members of Grandpa's army. I'm gonna write everybody's name in the book with their number. Damn. Yeah, I love my youngins. This is one way I can, I can be in touch. So if you wanna be a member of Grandpa's army, order your wristband, now. If you live overseas, people are writing, Mike, and I really don't know what to do. They're wanting to, they want, they want to join the army, but they don't know how, and I, I, I can't take foreign currency because there's no place to exchange it here. I don't. We don't know how to do that yet, then. So if you remember, we are working on it, and we may include something with a shirt so we got coming next week. That's a good idea. And I am not saying anything bad about my overseas young, other than I don't know how to do it. You know, I'm kind of a window licker when it comes to this. You're a window licker when it comes to everything. You're a window licker because you're my son. You're just yeah, <laughs> it's hereditary. So join the army! Private! You're in the army now! Grandpa put you behind a plow! You gotta get rich, you son of a bitch! You're in the army now! My name is George. Hey, George! Ha <laughs> ha! Hiya, George! Hey, George! I live in Atlanta. I am 15 and have been watching your videos since Tina slept in the dog crap. Slipped in the dog crap. Duck. To the, and the, the smoke grenade? When did she slip in the dog crap? Okay, she slept, she slipped in duck crap and slept yeah, in that dog was, crap. Yeah, that, that was duck shit! Wait, but she slept in dog crap. She done that too. Now y'all know why I'm not married. And she slept in grandpa's crap. <laughs> Thank you for sh <laughs> 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 okay, <I'm> <laughs> It's true. Thank you for showing love to our military, animals, and Gaboon Viper. Gaboon Viper. We need more people in the world like Oh, you. shit! What? I just remember wrestling comes on tonight. Don't do that thing, man. <laughs> oh, shit! For real, Dad! Wrestling Stop it! Wrestling comes on for real! <laughs> you inspired me to help people and animals in need. That's right. Give your donations to the, to, to, to the Charles Animal Society. Phone, no battery. This is from... God damn, Australia. He paid $14. Send me a broken phone. What? What? Really? To AGP, me and my brother could be in a hospital right now with the amount of times we have we that you make us laugh. I would do anything to come meet you. I know how you feel about Bridget. Bless, well, somebody catches my drift. My brother's really annoying too. Ah, <laughs> you're annoying. <laughs> would somebody send dad a book on learning how to read? You can all kiss my big fat ass. This boy draws pretty good too. Cool. Got the Winston's right. It says, his name this is from Josh and Lochi, and they live in Brisbane, Australia! That's a kangaroo country, isn't it? Hello? Damn, it worked. Hey, Mike, it's for you. Hello? Hey, what's up? Wait a minute, that phone? 
Yeah, it works. Yeah. Hold on. Give hey. me your damn phone. It's Paul Heyman. Give me your phone. That ball. Hold on. Hey, Paul. Wow. Give me your goddamn phone. We're huge fans of yours. Uh, hold on. I'll give you the phone to Dad. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Caitlin Cleveland from Anderson, South Carolina. Hey, she's close to home. Eat it. Fuck that shit, that's war. Eat it. Be no, no, eat it right now. They'll be disappointed in you if you don't. It even looks nasty. It looks like, it reminds me of a goddamn cough drop. Where'd it go? Here, Michael, it wants, it wants you. It's calling you, Michael. See, you think I'd be deterred by putting something Dad had in his mouth in mine? Yeah, but I had a dick in mine. Me too. <laughs> oh, come on, Michael. That got me mad. I've been watching your videos ever since the can pinwheels blow out. So I would like, I would say to two or three years now, my favorite videos were at AGP Destroy Kitchen with the candy is right on the counter. But she put it there. No. I would also like if you did more cooking videos. I got one I want to do, youngest, is my own version of, of uh, jalapeno poppers. I'm going to do it next week. Cool. Uh, here's a warhead. Pick a boy, make sure AGP eats it. He did! Caitlin! I am now, you know if I had to get pick the perfect job for me, you know what it'd be now? What? I would be the head taster in a Slim Jim factory. You like Slim Jim? I am falling flat fucking in love with Slim Jim. Ugh. I bet I could eat them suckers all day long. I get Snap it, oh, Slim Jim! <laughs> Dear Grandpa, I love all your fucking videos. You ain't supposed to cuss, you're 16 years old. If I was your dad, I'd cut your ass. I am 16, and my grandfather is just like you, you poor boy. Yeah, he, 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 don't, he doesn't give me a fuck about anything. Will you be going to WWE SummerSlam? No, I'm not going, but Michael is. I'm probably not going now. You're not going now? Probably not, because I don't want to go alone. Uh oh, he don't want to go alone. Damn, no letter. Aw, oh, little dinosaurs. Help, help. They're magnets. Magnets, I like them. Just put them in your fridge. They won't stick to my fridge. Why? Well, I see a magnet on it right now. You liar. <laughs> That's what I'm going to eat my food up. There you go, girl. You happy? I am. American flag. Patch. <laughs> I like that. Now panic. Freak out. Damn, she gave me to the I'm married. What the fuck? That's a picture. I, that's what I ate of her. That's a him. Well, if that's her, she needs shape. I said it's a him, probably. Well, it said Diane. They're rockers. Dude! I could've had a V8! What? I don't know. <laughs> Hi AGP, my name is Tristan, and I love your videos. Every time I feel down or sad, I watch your videos, and I hope you like my gift. I do, son, thank you so much. And my cigarette place will like it too. <laughs> and I got better Mario and Sonic. I am a Sonic fan, but I want to know your opinion. What, what's a Sonic? Dennis Venn from Arlington, Virginia. Yeah, the shirt from Spencer's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. Put it on. Well, the saying is true, though. Oh, no, it isn't. I do have a big cock. It needs to say, I have a body of a god. I do have a body of a god. Yeah, Buddha. 
And this game for the boy. Oh! Those are wrestling toys. Said the boy. Said you can't have any. Why? I brought leather and I'll beat your ass. Wait. Look, Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. Ow! Oh! I broke your streak, motherfucker! I broke your streak! Ah! Whoa, Whoa, that hat? That hat came from that same fella. And this is from Amazon Fulfillment Services. AKA, someone's name might be in there. You do no not name. Have... Oh, not another one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Hot town, summer in the city. Cut your ass, make <laughs> it look real pretty. Okay, funny. seriously, stop it. Anjay! <laughs> Anjay! Yeah, stop! I searched the okay. world over and I thought I found true love. You made another and I cut your <laughs> fat ass. Okay, Dad. I like that. Grandpa's army wants you! So, order your wristbands and I'll mail it out to you along with a picture. Make sure you give me your phone number or your Skype. Until next week, see you next week on Mailbag. Get your motherfucking hands off my money. Hey there, Hannah. You excited for Mailbag Monday? Mailbag Monday! Take off running if you're excited. Well, Dad. Mailbag Monday, 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 Monday. And this was your safety deposit Saturday. Yeah. Anyway, before I start, like I told you earlier, the wristbands are being overwhelming. And I'm reading every letter that comes in. And I'm hand drawing a picture for every one of you. So be patient. I mailed out a load the other day. I mailed out another load. I'm reading and I'm mailing another load out Tuesday or Wednesday and then next Friday or Saturday I'm mailing out another load so by next Saturday everything will be mailed out that I've gotten up today so they're coming so be patient also we, we've noticed a couple of people wrote in letters this is for wristbands Please write on the envelope. This is how we decipher what's what. As long as you write on the envelope for a wristband, we're able to say, okay, this is a wristband, and we put it aside, and we can get to it later. But if you don't write that it's for a wristband, we don't know. Our first letter this week comes from Crafter. Crafter? That's his name? Sam Craft. Sam Copster or something? I don't know. Cop. Sam Cop from Kansas. Ain't that what those stupid people are, the religious sect? Sam, dear AGP, my name is Sam Cop, or, or Cop, Co-op, something. I'm from a small town in Kansas. He's there with Dorothy and Toto. Uh, if you see the witch, tell her I said, hey. I have been watching you and Mike's videos for a year and a half. Just want to say, keep doing the videos, love them all. P.S. You need to prank Michael Moore. You damn right, Sam. And his Twitter is SamCop5, a.k.a. Copster. So y'all get on his Twitter. Why do you call it Twitter? It's a little paper. That's a mighty little paper. With mighty little writing. Dear Angry Rob, my name is Chris. I'm 15 years old, and I'm a huge fan of yours. I love to draw and write. I have been watching your videos for two and a half years now. The first one I saw was the one where you get upset over sweet potato souffle. My favorite video is when you destroyed the old shed. It had me laughing so hard. You are an extraordinary man and I always look forward to new videos that come out. Also, I am really looking forward to when you and Michael and when you and Michael prank Bridget. Damn right, I'm looking forward to How about you, Mike? I'm looking forward to that. this month. P.S., I hope you like the drawing I gave you. Let's see what he draws like. Oh, look at Hannah. Oh, I like that picture of Hannah. Yeah, it's really good. I love my dog! Postcards are really cool. Uh, hi there, you guys. My name is Lizzie. But AGP knows me as Butterscotch Perkins because he gave me a call. Oh, I remember her. It was a long, it was a while ago. Memory ain't so good, Butterscotch. 
<laughs> I think that you should prank AGP by putting food. Oh wait! Yes. Whoa! <laughs> no, no. Food coloring in his body. What? What? Let me tell you one thing, butter, butter hooch. That was my letter. You read it. Hi there again. My name is Butter Hooch Perkins. I hope your summer is going great. It was. I find I can try to get Michael out here to prank me. Butterscotch. I don't like butterscotch. I like mint. Dear Grandpa, my name is Isaac. I'm 16 years old. And I am from Melbourne, Australia. I have been watching all your videos since 2012. And my two favorite videos are the mouse hunt and hopping, hopping on pop. What about bed? I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, take care, brother. And looking forward to more funny videos. Yours, yours truly, Isaac. I like that. What the hell is this? What the shit? Somebody sat on that one. <laughs> Looks like a bookmark. Smells like ass! Dear AGP, my name is Rosebell. Oh, Roosevelt. I am from Houston, Texas. You probably heard this a million times already, but I am a huge fan and watch all you. I never hear that at all. <laughs> Your videos, and even subscribe to Bridget's, AKA Princess Channel. Like. Subscribe, that's my impersonation. This is from Cheyenne Arnold and Charles Towns from Flint, Michigan. Oh, I saw something about me. There ain't nothing about you. Michael Green, the fucking drama queen. Thanks a lot. I like them. They're a nice looking couple. They that's, hate me though. That's love though. They're from Flint, Michigan. That's where Michael Moore's from. This is what we look like. Please show our letter on cam. Thanks. Bye. Love. Exciting and new, come aboard. This letter is from her boyfriend. You are fucking epic. Epic. I would have sent you some weed. Better not. <laughs> we don't have that much, so here's a rolling paper for your fat joint. Charles. <laughs> Sorry, I'll lie down again. <laughs> Dear AGP, you are cool. Hey, you want some catnip? Fuck you. You are cool and awesome, and we love you. Grandpa. Oh, and my boyfriend, Charles, says you're epic. Just sitting here smoking weed. This is from Eric Smith. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Damn, I'm a good-looking man. My name is Eric. I live in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a sophomore in high school, and I study nuclear physics. God, Jesus man. Christ. Would you... Damn. Good and for I, you, dude. And I've been watching your videos for over a year now. So he probably watches our videos. I'm smarter than everybody in that thing. He ain't no shit. He is smarter than me. He's smarter than both of us. I watch your videos when I'm feeling stressed or distracted, distraught. He used big words. Because your videos always bring a smile to my face. My favorite video was the Thinking Bad. That video made me happy. So I watched the last episode, Breaking Bad. I plan to get an internship at Argonne Laboratories. God damn, he's smart. Look here, when you make your million dollars, think of your grandpa. Yeah, and your Uncle Mike. He don't give a shit about you. Anyway, take care, Grandpa. Family Pickle. first, man. He's family now. Yeah, you family, brother. I love you, son. You know Bogdan, the car wash owner from Breaking Bad, is actually a chemist. At the lab, I have met him. Wow. And he is super nice. I will try to get you an autograph photo. Yes, do that. I want an autograph picture of Bogdan. That's awesome. This guy named Jimmy sent me some ghost chilies to give to Dad. Now, I'm just going to say it up front. I'm not going to give these to Dad. Dad's already got stomach issues. He, you know, sometimes gets sick. I'm not trying to do permanent damage. I don't know what these things will do. So, my apologies, but can't use them. Sorry. Uh, you know, I'll put them aside though for one day for another prank for somebody else, but not dad. Can't do it, man. Send me some speakers, man. I've been wanting those. Oh, cool. Speakers. Flashlight. Holy shit. Hi, Michael, my pretty. Ah! Oh, it looks like a swimmer's cap. It is. What is YCF? Damn, I sent you two knives. 
and a letter. Let's see what the letter says. Hey, AGP. I hope you like ramen noodles. Ha ha. I love your videos and things that say YCF is my swim team's cap. What does that mean you like ramen noodles? I haven't seen that. Oh, oh my oh. God. Holy. I love ramen noodles. So he's a college student, right? Evidently. They live off these things. I'm going to grab me a couple. Get your damn hands off. Stab you my I back. can't have ramen noodles? No, they're mine. My name is Chris LaRock. I am a huge fan of your show. I've been watching your videos on YouTube for years now. You always put a smile on my face. I am at Fort Meade, Maryland. I am prior military U.S. Army. I got out military this year and retired sergeant in 2011. I was injured in Afghanistan when my vehicle caught fire. I now suffer from back problems Damn. and a seizure disorder in my medical condition. I am sending you $3 for the wristband. I thank you for your service. I'm sending you a wristband. I'm sending you a bumper sticker and I'm sending you $3 back. I thank you for your service. I thank you for being my friend, not a fan. I thank you for being my youngin. And I thank you for being part of my army. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Fort Meade, U.S. Military. Man. That is awesome. What else is here? Oh, my God. Oh, put that thing on. Yeah. I'm proud of my military people, you know. I love them all. Is there one for our military? How could you not be proud, dude? Like, they're great. Oh, my God. Look at that chocolate. That? Strawberry chocolate. What's this? Thing? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. U.S. Army button. Oh, my God. I love it. What is all this other stuff? Oh, my God. It's his stuff, man. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Michael, look. He gave me his, his stuff These off. These are like his patches and stuff. These are his patches off his uniform, man. That's crazy. I swear to God, nobody better not talk about our military, man. They're out there fighting for us. They're protecting our freedoms. Thank you, Chris. I, I, I'll, I'll save this for my life. Fazio. Oh, shit. Hey, Dad. Ah! Ah! Fuck you, Gregor! Oh, fine, I'll be able to. Ah! <laughs> Come here, Michael. That's the thumbnail. Hold that thing up. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> so I was just trying to get the thumbnail and the thing almost swung in Dad's face. My AGB, my name is Christopher Fazio. I am 18 years old. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. Adidas. Those look comfortable. And they are from Dennis Venn. From Arlington, Virginia. And money. There's money in there. Probably. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Burger King. See you, Dad. I'm leaving with my Burger King gift cards. Hello, AGP. I feel bad for not giving a gift to Pickle Boy and Princess for last week mailbag Monday. I hope they enjoyed. What did he say? This all this is for you. What? And gave me three dollars for an damn arm bag. Oh, this is my shoes? No, they're mine because that's what size are they? Well, <laughs> these are mine. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Holy crap, Birkin gift cards! <laughs> you embarrassed? Yeah, I am. I, you know, fuck him. <laughs> this is from Christina Taylor. Oh shit. Is that Paul Heyman? Yeah. It, dude, it's signed. Oh man, that's Paul Heyman! That, I, I, man, I give, you know, I got a bucket with it. Before I die, I want to meet Paul Heyman. I want to shake his hand! Oh my god! Is that his signature, Michael? Can you check and see? Is that really his signature? Comes with a certificate of authenticity. Oh my god, Paul Heyman! It looks just like all the ones I've ever seen. Oh my god, I love it! Grandpa's bucket list wish is to meet Paul Heyman. I want so to shake his hand. Tweet him at Heyman Hustle is his Twitter handle. Link is below. And Please tell, tweet him. 
Tweety! Tell, tell Paul Heyman to meet Angry Grandpa! Grandpa wants to meet Paul Heyman! My buddy! I'm stalking! Hey! Well, uh, you know what comes out Tuesday? What? His DVD comes out. Oh no, I gotta get it! I want a DVD! That comes out Tuesday. Tuesday! Paul Heyman's DVD! Get it! I'm proud of this. That is the mailbag Monday. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I really enjoyed it. And all that I gotta say is, see y'all next Monday. And, and I dare you, don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it, they're mine. I'll cut your hand wide open. Get, I got a big boy. They're mine. Thank you for the Burger King. I'll enjoy them. Thank you, Mike. Hey, Pop. Where the hell you been? Working. Me too. Sick. Sick. Sick knee. So what do we got here? What? What is this? I, I, so I can just put them up and then put them at the post office. They gave you this? They gave me five of them. So what are we looking at here? These are wristbands I'm sending to the war to the to the army. Well, are you ready to do some mailbag Tuesday? Mailbag Monday. It's Tuesday. Mailbag Monday. Yes, but Dad, yesterday was Monday. Well, today's Monday. No, today is Tuesday. Today's Monday. What? It's my Monday. Well, today is Tuesday. We didn't do Mailbag Monday yesterday, so we gotta do Mailbag Tuesday. We only got any things I gotta mail out in the morning. I ain't got time for no mailbag. Yeah, well, you got plenty of stuff over here to go through. Come on. Oh, man. Look at that. That's not gonna pass. You gotta stamp on upside down. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. It's Mailbag Monday! You know, how can we at the table? Because, man, the table's occupied by letters. Hey, and I got a birthday coming up. In October? That's too much. Bridget's birthday's next. I, who gives a fuck? A couple people send Bridget some stuff for her birthday. Ain't nobody sending Bridget shit. I was looking. My birthday's August 25th. Everyone send me socks. No, not really. You give her stuff, Michael. That's it. Louis Granados. From somewhere. Do it. Does she stand so close to us? Ah, oh, look at that picture. Who is that yeah. ugly old man? That motherfucker's sexy! Lewis can draw pretty good. Now let's see what Lewis has to say. Grandpa, Michael is a prick. He say that? He's a piece of shit and should die. Um, oh, so well, you are freaking awesome. Are you, you read it your way, I read it my way. Dear AGP, hi. How are you? I'm fine, Luis. Are you freaking awesome? Did you like the envelope? Yeah! My name is Luis, and I am 12 years old. And I have been watching your videos for a year. Whenever I watch your videos, you make me happy and laugh. If you are <coughs> Shut up! I'm reading the goddamn mail! I'm sick. If you are reading this on Mailbag Monday... See? Mailbag Monday. Yeah, but today's Tuesday on accident. But it's Monday. Please give my dog Vicky and my brother Luigi a shout out. And Lou and... And you do, Luigi. Where's Mario? And... Also say hi to Michael and Screw Bridget for me. Oh no. Whoa, no. No, 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 no. Also say hi to Michael and Bridget for me. I got it wrong. Yeah. Whoa, what's in this one? Candy for Bridget. Candy for Bridget. Give it to her. That maybe should be my shit on. Thank you so much. Oh, look at that, man. He's an artist. Look at that. Fuck you, pickle boy. Smoke like a chimney. What? Chimney. Swear like a sailor. Stay angry, Grandpa. I like that. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, Grandpa. My name is Eric, and I am 16 years old. I've been watching your video for about two years now. My favorite video is when that crazy neighbor... T that crazy neighbor, Tino, went to your house and took care of you. 
Hey, she took care of me, all right? Made me sick as shit. Dear Aunt and Grandpa, my name is Gary, and I am from, I am 15 years old. All my young is young. But I'm gonna help you once. I've been watching your videos for two years. Not only you and Pick a Boy cheer me up during a bad day, but you teach me life lessons, which happens to be Christmas stories or AGP stories. If it wasn't for you, I'd be depressed for a very long time. If you were me, I'm depressed for a very long time. <laughs> uh, for that, I thank you. My favorite video was the garbage burrito, Pick a Boy's filthy apartment. You know, you can clean that motherfucker. We just moved out of it like we used to do. And you probably just moved out and left it nasty. That's what you used to do when we were younger. Uh, we don't tell people we, that. We, we don't, don't tell people that. No. Yeah, yeah, we do. We don't tell no goddamn body that we do. When we were younger, I uh, mama was nasty. Dad would just filthy up the houses and then decide, okay, we. By the way, I was eating a. A Smurf owl. Hey! hey. You know, you know, I got him chow dog. With the cute color tongue. No, uh, I was eating a uh, blue raspberry sucker. Anyway. We don't want to hear no more about you. Hey, like poor man's lasagna. Pickle boy moves in. You like a hero to me, AGP. P.S. They say you're fake, but you're real on my list. Thank you, Gary Britt. This is from Jessica Ruiz. Ruiz? Ruiz. Ruiz. Oh, they're from Stockton, California. That is where Nick Diaz is from. Shut up, let me read. All right. Dear AGP, my name is Carly. I no, am, you can't read. How about that? Well, give me a goddamn... Whew. I am from California, and I love to watch your videos. They are hilarious. The reason why I, can, I'm, I am writing you this letter is because of my friend Mia. Hi, Mia. Her mom was held hostage in a bank robbery and was shot and killed. Oh, my God. Uh, I wanted to cheer her up by getting her and I one of your praises, but me and her don't have the money. So can you please read this on camera? It would really mean a lot. Got any money, Michael? What do you mean? Thank you. Yeah. I got two bucks. I got a dollar. That's fine. Put it over there with that. Guess what? You got praises coming. Grandpa and Mike and Bridget take care of our own. And God bless you too, sweetheart. Just stay strong. And I got your address. Let me see. I got to make sure I got your address, Michael. Yeah, I got, I got your address. On the way, darling. Right now. Hey, watch this. Get out of my way. Two, right? Yeah. Dear Angry Grandpa, my name is Claudia. I am 14 years old, and I love watching your videos. There's not one that. I have watched and I did not laugh. I have been watching for just a few months and I can't choose my favorite. Get busy! Oh, hilarious on my favorites. My favorites is the sardines video. You love sardines. What's that face about? And Grandpa's Corner where you are eating the sardines and Bridget ends up liking them too. The first video I watched was you and you is the Bridget is pregnant video. You ever get pregnant, bitch? I swear to God, I'll deliver that motherfucker. This comes from Mailbag Monday. It comes from Mailbag Monday? Is that thing? That's, well, how come they don't ever put names? I, I don't know. Uh, this comes from Paul Ventrella. I'm a huge fan. Well, cool me off. Oh God, you made me... Ah! All right. Uh, God damn, you breast stinks. Uh. Oh, God damn, please. I can't go on now. I live in New York. You are one of the funniest people on earth. Whenever I am in a bad mood, I go to your YouTube videos to get a good laugh. No offense, but Felix is much cuter than Hannah. Cuter than no, cuter than Bella and Clyde. Oh, Hannah, your dog is cuter than all three of them. No. Ah! Ha, ha! Yeah, you got it, brother. I love you. Mwah. Tell Michael to buy you a new bed. He did. Now he owes me a chair. 
I'm not getting another chair. You're going to get a chair. AGP, you are a great inspiration for people. Keep doing what you're doing, big man. From Paul Ventella. Questions. Where's Tina? Which one? If you're talking about the ex, have no idea. She's, and don't care. She's dwelling in a cave somewhere. Yeah, she's dwelling in a cave with the vagina spiders. If you're talking about Tina, the neighbor, she's dwelling in a cave with the vagina spiders too. I mean, anyway. With, uh, when's Bridget prank coming? Soon. Never. Very soon. Yeah, it's coming. Me and Dad, let me just say, me and Dad, Dad and I have been working together on this prank. Prank Michael Moore, please. Got you there, too. We would prank Michael Moore, but he's really hard to get in touch Michael with. Michael Moore Hill! How about pick a boy, Michael? That's the one that's going to get pranked! He said, you! He said prank, he said prank Michael Moore. No, yeah, more, more. Give you more, more pranks. Now it's time for some packages. Now it's time for some packages. Let's start right there. This is from Abby Hernandez from Longview, Texas. Shirt, light shirts. I like shirts so I can see them better. Warning, the person wearing this shirt, what? Is on the edge and can assault you at any moment. Do ah, not damn. make eye contact at any sudden move. Stay away. That's me. Alright, you mad, bro? God damn right I'm mad! I'm always mad at you! Get that camera out of my face! I'm always mad at you! Pinwheel eating bitch! Now, let's see what else. This bitch came all the way from Japan! Are you serious? I swear to God. Damn, for Japanese, she writes good, don't she? Dear Aunt Grandpa, hi! <laughs> I and my boyfriend love your videos. You are crazy, but awesome. Cinderella paper? I like it. Please wish my boyfriend, Ben, a happy 30th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Big Ben. Happy birthday to you! Ben, take it to the Japanese steakhouse, man. They're awesome. I don't know if they have those in Japan. I don't know. All the way from Japan, send me a coffee cup. God damn it! You fucking U.S. nail! I... Oh man. Postal Service! You broke my motherfucking cup! That sucks. That would have been a really good cup to have. Hey, look at that, man. That would been a nice cup to drink out of. From the land of the rising sun. This is from Douglas Smith. From... Damn, that was my cup! What are you stopping for? Cause I'm upset my goddamn cup got broke! What are they got Slim Jims in Japan? Ravens! Huh! Huh! Yeah! Wait a minute, how come you're not wearing one of your new shirts? I will not Put it on, put on the UMAT Pro shirt. You win it, goddamn it! I'll put it on when I'm ready! You mad, bro! I like all these shirts I get you now. I know, it's pretty cool. I wear them at stores and people say, I like that shirt. <laughs> da, 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 da. <coughs> Put on my Raven's hat. Oh my God! Balls! I got two balls! Two more than you had before. Mike, Mike, this one, one's soft. That's hard, I'll make it soft. Wait, wait, hold on, give me a second. Check this out, Bridget. Someone said that off baseball. Wow. I just not signed or nothing. Oh. Cool. I know. Give it them all! Here. Anyway, got some big lead to you. You like my ball? Hey, Dad. What? Hit Bridget with the ball. No! No! Ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> it was plush. Ah! <laughs> you see it, Dad? God. God, here's the real ball. No! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna play my balls? No. Okay. Oh my God! Oh, not another one. Come on, zombie, zombie, zombie! Damn, boy, that's nice. Here, look at that, Mike. Stick your dick out. Oh. 
I like that. Wait a minute, what else was in here? Another one? Oh. oh my god, that's pretty, isn't it? Damn. Damn, there's more. Oh shit! Hey Mikey! Oh. I am ready for the fucking apocalypse. What do you call it? Apocalypse. Whatever. I'm ready for the zombie. Looks like one of your fingernails. What? <laughs> that was nice. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mailbag, are we gonna do mailbag money on time this time? Yes. So you're not gonna be a window we liquor on me? You were both sick. You, were, you called me and said we're gonna do it tomorrow. I'm sick. Call us sick. Where are you going? Sit down there. I'm tired. Later. I'm, I'm old. So anyway, mailbag money. Next week, whole new group to go through. Don't forget your wristbands. I got two. I wear two. Bye, youngest. See you next Monday. You want to say goodbye, Michael? Or you just want to sit and look stupid? Bye, guys. See you next Monday. Put your hands you say goddamn word. <coughs> I'm coughing. <coughs> like, favorite, subscribe. She's stupid. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> you got a Twitter? Yeah. I guess a twit has a Twitter. It is time for Mailbag Monday. What was that about? Cat food? Shut up. How the cat food taste? It's Mailbag Monday. At least you got a clean shirt on. All right, youngers, look in. The wristbands are going good. But you got to give me the right address. Wrong addresses. Do you not know where you live? Anthony Car uh, Caruso. Uh, Brianna Townsend. Uh, Mando Calori Gallows. Andrew, ha anyway, y'all get the idea. I get a bunch of these back because y'all give me the wrong address or you give me the wrong zip code. I mean, they're almost gone, dude. Well, that's true, but if you order now, you can still get in on this. So order, order, because everybody at, at order one is going to get it. Unless you give me the wrong address, then you ain't going to get it. This comes from Charles Town. And he's from Flint, Michigan. That's a pretty poor state, isn't it? That's where Michael Moore's from. Is it really? Yeah. Who cares? I do. I don't. Tell Michael I said, what's up? What's up? What's up? Dear Grandpa, my name is Charles. I am one who wrote you last week and sent you the roll of papers. Ha ha, yeah. Man, look, send me a roll of papers. What are you the goddamn? Never mind. Uh... I just wanted to let you know that me and my girlfriend are huge fans. We love cuddling and watching your videos. Damn. Imagine that. What are they doing to cuddle? Uh, and watching your videos at night. Ha ha ha. No, it could be. <laughs> and, she la and she's laughing. What's she laughing at? Boy, you better think about that. Uh, anyway, Grandpa, I want you to help me with something. Well, me and my girlfriend's one year anniversary is coming up on August the 7th. Done come, done gone. And well, I was wondering on if the next Mailbox Monday that you would show the back of this paper at the end of the video so she will see it. And it would make her day. Please, Grandpa, thanks, bro. Okay. What does it say, Mike? Uh, I love you so much, Cheyenne. C plus C equals heart. Happy anniversary, babe. So there you go, Cheyenne. Happy anniversary. This is from Samantha Riker. And she's got a picture in here. AGP Army, yeah. Cool. AGP's Army. Looks like she took a picture of that knife, it looks like, I think. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a good looking <coughs> knife, boy. You know, I'm upset, Mike. Why? Well, maybe I ain't. One of the fans, you know what you did? You did it. I now do not have a Zippo. A fan sent me this. And had Angry Grandpa put on it. And all this 
ruckus that's been going on here is broke. I love my lighter and now I don't have one. I don't have a Zippo anymore. Thank you. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Samantha. Everyone calls me Sammy. Sammy, oh my dear old Sammy, I walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my Sammy. Okay, well, I'm 16. I'm from Florida. Should have my other shirt on. But I like, to, I love to draw. I have been drawing horses since I was five. But I've been watching your videos as Pickle Boy did the end of the world prank. Remember that one? Of course. Yeah, hell, whatever. I'm sorry, but Bridget, Bridget, <laughs> But Bridget, please stop interfering with Pickle Boy and his intros. <laughs> no. At least YouTube famous to be Subscribe signed to a Bridget West! Right here. Favorite. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that. Hey! Other good shut stuff. up! This is my minute! To a label, he sings, he's, uh, you're famous. You need to be signed to a label. He sings, dances, and raps. I was wondering if you can send a shout out to him. His name is Kyle Ostringer. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Oh, see, I thought when you were talking about somebody super awesome. I was talking about you. Yeah, somebody super awesome who dances and sings and raps. You I thought dance. it was me. It is you. You don't dance. I will now. I'll learn. He's like a goddamn walrus dancer. Goddamn oh, walrus. no, no, no. He can dance. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Dear Angry Grandpa, my name is Chris. I am a huge fan of your videos. The first one I ever seen was the, uh, the oven firecracker prank. That got me in a lot of trouble. Personally, I think your, your pranks are better than Michael's. Oh, bull. Yeah! How about that, big man? Who just ate cat food? Tell me that again when you're cleaning your teeth tonight. Oh, what teeth? <laughs> when you're, yeah, what when teeth? you use a mouthwash for your gums. Oh, God. I noticed the ghost chili pepper in your recent Mailbox Monday video. It says, Michael can't... Don't read that out loud. I know what he's going to say. My name is Camille. Camille. I just wanted to say that you are a heater because you hate on Justin Bieber, okay? You don't have to like him, but you don't have to say that on camera. Oh, it's a hate letter today. Yeah. I like this one. You don't have to like someone hates on you, so why you have to others what so why you have on others when Justin saw this video of you hating on him, he just felt like you were when haters hate on you. How many times are you gonna use the words hater? Because you're a hater, because you're hating on me. I love you. I am Justin Bieber fan, I figured, as well as yours. So I think you should say sorry to him, and it will make you feel better, and you will put a smile on his face. Okay, Justin Bieber, fuck you. <laughs> Hi, AGP. My name is Nari, and I am 14 years old. My sister and I are huge fans. I have been watching your videos for about four years, and I've seen most of your videos. My favorite one is the hit and run prank. Wasn't my favorite. I thought I was going to jail. <laughs> That's a good Out one. of your videos, there is not one that I don't like. They are all hilarious. So keep up the good work, AGP. Every day after school, I would go to your channels to see if... Don't go to them today. Go at night. That's what Michael does. Any new videos were up. And they would always make my day. I am going back to school August 25th. And I am... I am scared because it's only going to be my first year of high school. That is a scary time, you know. Your first year of high school, you know, you, it's like a whole new world. More freedom. I wouldn't know what the first year of high school was. Yeah, you know what school. This one here is from... What the fuck am I going to do with that? It's for Hannah. Oh. It's from Hunter Watt. Hunter. Cocky. No, it does look like cocky. It's don't cocky. It? But anyway, it's from a dog. Hannah, thank you. She'll, I'm pretty sure she'll enjoy it when she's chewing on it. 
Oh. Ooh. The fuck? Lifesavers hard candy. Dear Grandpa, my name is Eric Smith. I had wrote you before I was the kid who studied nuclear physics. Yeah, I remember him. Remember him? Yeah. I'm having a great summer and been working on at Argonne Labs. You'll see this kid as a kid. I'm a huge fan and hope you will enjoy the picture I made. It summarizes your expressions throughout, which I believe are my favorite videos. Well, I hope you like the picture and also hope it's not destroyed in one of your intense rages. Anyway, take care, keep up the videos, and I hope you will prank Bridget. Everybody don't like you. Well, chances, as chances are, the, the picture didn't get destroyed by Dad. I got destroyed by the mail service. How about, yeah, by the mail. Look at that's what the mail are. I didn't do that. i tell you what did it. I love that. Look at there. But the gut is broke. That's so sad. That is sad. Cause that's bad. Can we find a frame, a glass for that? Yeah. This thing is neat. Yeah, it's really cool. The faces of angry grandpa. Yeah, I love it. I've already opened this one and I haven't used it. Oh, Michael. Girl, I'll tell you one thing. I love it. Who I'm, sent it? I'm telling you right now. All right, I'm gonna go take it. Hang on. Reach out, charge it. No batteries, charge it. Oh God, that thing don't use batteries? Oh my God. That's scary. You better be scared. I know the way to your house. Change the lock. I'll get the key. Trip to Charles Green. This is from Chris Contract. Chris, I love you, man. I love you. Mike, I don't pay much of you. Michael, where are you? Let me stick you in the glue. Ah! Got one more box. This box has special meaning to me. I'm gonna read you the letter. I really like your videos. I've been watching your vids since, since 2011. My favorite video is the grandfather versus the pumpkin. I'm sending you some of the gifts along with the envelope of the wristband, which is, which is on the way to you, by the way. And my info, so I can get, you got it, bro, it's on the way. And join Grandpa's Army. My name is Paul, I'm 17. And my YouTube account is PotatoKind800. He also sent me His grandfather's, his grandfather died. And he sent me his grandfather's watch. He said, because I meant that much to him. Wow. That his grandfather meant so much to him that he wanted me to have his watch. Dude, I really appreciate the watch, but it's very sentimental to you. And tomorrow, I'm gonna box it up and I'm sending it back to you along with something. I'm gonna write you something. So, Paul, I'm sending you a grandfather's watch. I appreciate the thought. I love it. But it belongs with you, bro. And the time this, this watch stopped was at 520. So, thank you, Paul. That means a lot that you were thinking enough of me to, to send that. So. I really hope y'all enjoyed Mailbag Monday. I'll see y'all next week, next Monday, not Monday Mailbag on Saturday. And we'll have another good time. Bye. Turn it off. We're done. No. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, it's off. It's off. I got it going off. All right, Dad. Monday Mailbag at my house today. I brought it all to your house. It, it, um, I'm in the dark. Okay.
We're gonna have to make this a quick one though, dude, because Bridget could be back with her mom at any time. And you gotta go get a cake. It's coming, but I wanna do this first. That's why I come early. Why do I feel like I'm in school somewhere so I'll fall on a bus bench? Dear Angry Grandpa, this is from Desiree Wright. Dear Angry Grandpa, my boyfriend and I are very huge fans of yours. I wish people were writing pen. Uh, very huge fans of yours. We watch all your, your videos. We've been watching your videos for three years. I love the one about getting my life back video. It's just amazing how you've been through so much and haven't given up your, have not given up. You're a strong person, Grandpa. Uh, we would also like for you to tell Pickle Boy and Bridget we said hi. Desiree said hi. Well, Bridget ain't here right now, but she, I'll, I'll tell her. This is from Ian Maxwell. Probably Ian. Ian, Ian, E-I-E-I-O. Uh, please open on Mailbag Monday, it's Saturday. Hello, how are you? My name is Ian Maxwell. Yeah. And you talked to me a year ago on Facebook and told me to share your new fan page with my friends, and I did. But anyways, I just say you, tell you my story. Thank you so much. Anyways, I am 13, and I live in Indiana. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. When I was born, my mom had cancer, and I was born early because I wasn't I wasn't the medicine that the doctors gave her would have killed me. But when I was born, they found the cancer, so that was good. My mom was happy. I was a boy because I, I, if I was a girl, I probably would have gotten cancer too. When I was three, my mother died. Sorry to hear that, Ian. My dad was really mad at God. Then we moved to Indiana when I was happier there. You know, Ian, you had a hard life, man. You're only 13, but... It gets better, so hang in there, brother. <laughs> Get out of my fucking house. That's what I tell you all the time. And this is from who? This is from Diane M. Applegate. That's a good picture. She, she draws pretty good, don't she? All my youngest can draw. That was a fake tattoo sleeve. What you gonna do, brother? Pull up your arm. Two more. Come on, what you gonna do, brother? When the AGP puts his tattoos on you! You got a wristband? Put your wristband over this and cover it real quick. Cover the mark. Come on, brother! You want some of the AGP? Come on! Ow, that hurts. Come on, AGP run wild on you! I like that. That's cool, man. I think I put it on wrong. Hey, brother. This is me covered in tats, man. I'm super sweet now. I was on Brock Lesnar! Big Paul Heyman fan, AGP. Yeah, that's me! I love Heyman! By the way, did he ever go do that damn challenge? He said he was. We need to tweet him, Jim. Hurry up and do the challenge. And Grandpa, Big Army. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> Hi, and Grandpa. It's Marcos. I'm a big fan of your of your army. You make my day with 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 the stuff you do. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. I would say I would like to meet you, but no car. But I, I would be okay. I can see you on your videos, on your YouTube. And you do pictures of the weapons and stuff. God, TNT, that'd be bad. That would be bad. That's really posture. This, this is from? This box is from... John L. Hensley. Let's see it. Damn, badass shirt. Kind of looks like Hogan, though, don't it? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Shooter rule. Fuck Hogan. One. Got another shirt. Same thing. Damn, I look at Oh my god, albums. What is I ain't seen albums in so long. What is this? Jamie Johnson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Shooter Jennings. You are my sunshine. And then I got a Waylon. Oh my God, Michael, look. What is all this stuff? Don't wait, don't wait up for me. Sh shooter Jenny. Shooter Jenny, Shooter. It, it, is this the guy who sent this stuff? Yeah, Shooter. So he, so this guy did a song with Twiggy Ramirez. That's pretty cool. And tell me about it. We, we ain't the bottom of this thing yet. Look at there. A girl shirt. Nice shirt.
a Shooter Jennings bag. What? Well, something's in here. Nobody knows Snake. This guy sent a lot of stuff. Shooter. Shooter. Koozies. There he is right there, Shooter Jennings. So this guy... I gotta check him out. Yeah. It's all these koozies. And that ain't the end of it, man. What? There's more? Well, send us an autograph, Shooter. Shooter Jennings, European Vacation, 2014. I'm impressed. Me too. Oh, he's in the water. What do we got in the middle? Let's get, I'm still more? digging. I'm still digging. Oh, good lord. What is all this? What is this thing? Dad, he, he sent a needle. I'm good! It's a pin. <laughs> Ain't funny. Look at that, man. It's the, the other life. This is impressive, this book. This is very impressive. He, I wish you have signed it. I know, man. Shooter signed something for us. Cool. Got a comic for about him. There's not more in there. Yeah. There's a lot more. Just let me see. Oh, man. There's some cassettes. There's more DVDs. There's these. More Shooter Jennings? This is crazy how much stuff is in this. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's... Another sh another sh woman shirt? Take Bridget Pratt out of Another regular shirt? Another koozie? Oh, man. Nice shooter. Jesse Coulter! Who's that? That's Waylon Jennings' wife. Well, Shooter Jennings? My name's not Lisa. Are you not understanding? My name Dad. is Julie. Lee, are you not grasping that this is probably Waylon Jennings' son? I don't know. Shooter Jennings? Oh my God! Oh man, no! No! Shooter, get in touch with me! I want to talk to you! Oh my God! I love you, Dad! I'm pretty sure I saw something Waylon in here. Oh my God, I love... This. Yeah, look, Waylon. Oh my God, man. I love Waylon Jennings. <laughs> how did oh, you, I'm, how did you I am in awe. I am in fucking awe. Really, I'm dead serious, Michael. I am in fucking awe. This is like the greatest day of my fucking life right now. Really? Really. Where's that letter? Oh. Yeah, this is Colonel John Hensley. Yeah. This dang your grandpa. Man, I am in such awe, oh, man. I just opened your box. Hey, did, you get, did you get all the shit? Man, that's not shit, man. That's gold to me. Man, that's all for you, brother. I got shooter in the car right now if you want to say hello. Oh, God, man. That would make my fucking day. Yeah, you're shooter. Hang on, hang on. You're shooter. <laughs> hey, angry grandpa. Hey, shooter. How you doing, man? Way better now that I'm talking to you, man. I'm a big fan of yours. We're doing our we're doing our mailbag uh, uh, Monday for right now, and I just opened your box. I mean, I am God. I am in fucking awe, man. Oh, good. Oh, I hope you enjoy it all, man. Where's I feel like I feel like I'm in the company of greatness. Waylon Jennings, yeah, we Waylon Jennings and Jeff, Jesse Coulter, they are my favorites. Hey, well, that is so good to hear, man. They, my mom would love to know that you love her music. That's awesome, man. Man, I, I, I'm, I am really speechless. I just want to let y'all know that. And I appreciate all this. And I can't wait to go home and, and listen to it in my van. Man, I appreciate it. We watch you all the time. Keep being so damn funny. Well, listen, uh, get in touch with either Michael or myself, you, you and John, and we can talk sometime. Oh, I would love to do that. Yeah, no problem, man. That might say, "Oh, pick a boy." Hello. Got our, <laughs> you got our number. You give us a call. Let's talk. Hey, no problem. Let me talk to John a minute. Okay, hold up. Hey, man. John, Good thank, girl. thank you so much yeah. for everything you sent. Man, you're welcome. I'm a huge fan. I've been a fan for a long time, and uh, we, I'm, we're going to send you a Mick Foley record we're doing too before Christmas. Wow! Oh my God! Dude, it's gonna be everywhere. 
Blue River. We'd like to do something with you too, like that, like a record, like a, like a stuff funny. Hey, we can make that happen. Just get the pick a boy. What? Just get in touch with pick a boy. He'll, I, 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 I got your number now, so I'll, I will get in touch with you. Yeah, I sent you a Facebook request too a long time ago. So you, just, do you know how many got it? You know me. You know me. Facebook request I get, John. Yeah, probably, probably as many as I do. Good Lord, man, it's a lot. I can't even get him anymore. <laughs> hey, we love you, guys. I'm glad you enjoy everything. Hey, I love y'all, man, and thank you so much for sharing Waylon and Jesse and Suter with me. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna tell Jesse that you're a big fan, man. We'll send you some more stuff soon. Let's talk. Yeah, we'll talk. I will get in touch with you again, and we will talk. And once again, thank you so much. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Love you, guys. Love you, too. Bye-bye. My day is complete. I am like, look. I you're what, you're I, a big I, fan of Waylon Jennings? Oh, my God. It is, and Jesse Coulter? See, I, I didn't. I never heard of these people. Okay. Let's go, I, I'm so bewildered right now, okay? You got a knife? Yeah, but uh, you got hands. I'm sure they're getting mad. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm sure they're getting mad. You damn you open up. Oh, I love these motherfuckers. Stephen Marshall, Greenville, Texas. Hey, Grandpa, I'm Michael and Bridget. My name is Caitlin. They always got guys' names, but women write them. I'm 14. I love watching your videos because you made me laugh and cheer me up. But I'm depressed. I want to be in Grandpa's army. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is a weapon. I know it. Something that I'm gonna fear for weeks and months to come. Who's this from anyway? This is from J.R. Reed. From Ohio. This thing becomes even more menacing as you rip. What? This is not a weapon. Oh, that is sick. God, I like that! That is sick. Look at that, boy. AGP's army. I love it. That's sick. You should put it on your door. I am. That is going on my door, son. Let me have a look at this. Wow, dude. You are awesome for this. Ain't no lie. That is ingenuity. My name is J.R. Reed. I'm 33. I've been watching your videos now for a while. Love you guys. Tell Mike and Bridget hello. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I found you all the last video on Mike crying about the Royal Rumble. He can cry, baby motherfucker. Too funny. Ever since I watched every day. And I believe I have caught up and have seen them all. I've seen the gifts. I'm, I make custom painted vintage signs. I hope you like it. Like it? I love it. It's going to be hanging on my door when I get home. It's sick, dude. If that it, is sick. What if it don't fit on your door? Where's I know somebody might steal it. Wall. Not in here. You keep that. Okay, John is gonna hang it up here just for now. Dad, you can take it before you leave. That looks so funny. That's going on my wall. Well, youngins, this is Mailbag Monday because now we have to get ready for something to do. Bridget, they're gonna see the video by then. Oh, will they? Yes, and I gotta get out of here before Bridget. Yeah, you gotta get her quick. Let's end it. Because she'll see your van here. <laughs> Join AGB's army. I love you. I'll see you next week. And please get the addresses right. And Shooter Jennings, you made my day. Did you park in the neighbor's yard like I told you? Yeah, they could probably have me arrested. Well, it's time for Monday Mailbag. Saturday, Friday, Saturday Mailbag. Why do you always call it that? It goes up on Monday. It goes up on Monday, but we do it on Saturday. Yes, but they'll see it, so we say Monday Mailbag. But we do it Saturday, Saturday it's afternoon. It's Monday Mailbag. It's Saturday Mailbag. Monday Mailbag. Monday Mailbag on Saturday. Just Monday Mailbag. Post uh, hamburger pie edition. My lot toes are burning like hell. And my hey, stomach what you, is growling. Sure. Shooter Jennings. Shooter Jennings. I've been listening to his music, have you? Yes. He's great. All right, before I do it in the mailbag Monday, before I do Monday mailbag, I want to talk to y'all about Shooter Jennings. 
He is Waylon Jennings' son. And he is fantastic. I just found out last Saturday that he liked Grandpa. And I called him, and he was like real people. You know, it's hard. You, you can talk to somebody like that, and they're going to actually answer the phone and talk to you. But Shooter talked to me. I want every one of y'all to go to his Twitter. Link is below. Link is below, right. At Shooter Jennings. At Shooter Jennings. And I want you to say, Grandpa loves you! And I want you all to do it. And I want you to do it over and over and over. Let's show Shooter that Grandpa likes him. Because I'm going to tell you something. Shooter's going to be your next big thing in country music. It's not just country. It's like, got some rock tone to it. it Maybe like Leonard Skinner. And yeah, like Leonard Skinner and, uh, and them. He's really good. So remember, Twitter him. Let him know Grandpa likes his music. And so you guys know, Grandpa's Twitter is at the Angry Grandpa. There's a couple of fakes. People think it's him. Dad is at the Angry Grandpa. His Twitter is below. And mine's Bridget West. Nobody Who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody follow her. If you follow her, unfollow her. Follow Subscribe. Me. Subscribe. Like. And follow me. So it's time for Monday Mailbag, and Dad, I'm having some of your fudge. Hey, yeah, you need that fudge. You, go, you, you eat that, you're going to be laying some fudge. I thought you didn't eat it. What no. happened to Wednesday Wait and Wait? You're right, you're right. All right, let's get right this. This, I thought, was fantastic. This was done by a guy named Jackson Hardy. He wrote Grandpa a comic book. And it is awesome. Look at that. Whoa. It's got Grandpa, somebody stole my cookies. Wow. And it's got Hulk Hogan in it. It's got Elvis. It's got that stupid broad, what's her name? You skipped the page. You skipped the page with me. You do that on purpose. Well, I didn't want to show you. Look at Pickle Boy. You wouldn't need a cat a minute ago. You eat a damn piece of fudge. All right. This got me with Comcast because I hate Comcast. Wow. And so is this dude like an animator? I don't know what he is. I know he's damn good. Yeah, you stupid goddamn page. I'm a... Hey, man, I'm taking it home with me. Somebody better golf. Anyway, it turned out to be the Kaboom Viper. The Viper stole my cookies. But I got him in the end, boy. Look at Look, put right here, right here, Michael, right here. See what I did to Kaboom Viper? And look at me, I'm happy with my cookies. My name is Jackson. I am 16 years old, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for putting your videos on the internet for us. We are grateful, but we are strangers. I really wanted to give you guys something, so I made this comic book. I've made one of these before, and I have, I have the experience in cartooning as well as our art editor for my school's uh, literary... School? La, la, la. He's 16, but we go... 16? Yeah. What? Literary, mag literary, literary magazine, or whatever the hell it is. Someday I hope to be a writer of sorts and a videographer, but cartooning and drawing will always be beloved, my, my beloved hobby. I really love your vlogs and your videos. I look forward to them daily. I also really like how you always keep the fans in mind. Uh... When making the comic, I wanted to add as many references to other videos as I could. The suspects on page four, in case you couldn't tell, was Elvis, Rebecca Black, <laughs> a cat from under the trailer, and Justin Bieber, <laughs> Hulk Hogan, Barack Obama, and Max. <laughs> <clears throat> That's why I wanted to, you to read this letter after the comic. I was afraid of spoiling the joke. Pick a boy, Grandpa, I believe you are the nicest, coolest people on YouTube out there. And even though a lot of fans like to pick on you, I'm sure you know there are, there are boundless love for you, Grandpa, and Bridget. Wow. Thank you, Jackson Hardy. That's I love awesome. you, too. Dude, Jackson is bad. You'd love anybody. <laughs> I'm calling him on my blog. What do you think? I think you ought to. What do I think about it, your Grandpa? Uh-oh, maybe I better read this quietly. <clears throat> By destiny. People say you, you changed their lives, which is true. Because you have, I watched my first video four years ago. It was the video where you taught Tina, you thought Tina was going to leave you on Christmas. But fuck that, <laughs> fuck that hoe, LOL. Hello? Now I speak to Destiny. Oh, I did it. This angry grandpa. Hey, grandpa. The angry grandpa. Well, I don't know my angry grandpa, and she ain't here. Oh, she's not there? No. 
Well, when she comes in, you tell her grandpa got her letter and I called her. Okay. Thank you. Mama, uh, mama don't like you. So mama. She's a fan. Mama ain't. Yeah, she's a fan. Mama ain't. We tried. She's Maybe fine. another day, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know who you are, and she ain't here. Hello, AGP. My name is Rob, and I am a huge fan. Uh, my friends, Tyler and Chris, along with me, uh, Reb, get a shout out. Yeah, how you doing? Geraldine Tones. Drew a picture of me and me and Tyler. Oh, that's pretty sick. Me and Hat. I like that. That's a good picture. Thank you, Geraldine. Dear Grandpa, I am sending you a drawing because I don't really know what the difference is Canadian. I've been through a really tough time this year, ever since my mother left me with an abusive father, but your videos helped me through it. I now live with my grandma and we adopted a, a cat named Jeff. Thank you so much for everything, Grandpa. Geraldine Torres. This is from Stephen Lockhoff. It's a Zippo. Stephen Lockhoff. It's a Zippo. Cool, dude. Thank you, Stephen. I, I need a good Zippo. Oh my God, Michael, look at there. Oh, man, look at there. No way. That's a good looking Zippo lighter. Oh my goodness. Got a handsome man on it. That is amazing. It really is. Wow, dude. Seriously, thank you so much for this thing. Yeah, really. Whoa. Very cool. Catnip. Who said that? <laughs> James Glass. No letter, just catnip. Something on the back. <laughs> Every animal deserves a good home. Here, take that to Felix. Don't you want to smoke some? Fuck you. <laughs> and this is the last package. This is the last package. Got some shape sensations. What is that? They taste like pizza. The Mighty Challenge. What's the Mighty Challenge? The mighty Challenge. Are these the, I'm pretty, this sounds like the people, remember we, uh, they wanted us to watch their video one day and like, they had, they, they gave us the idea for the, uh, Warhead Challenge. Oh yeah, it is him. Yeah. So it's two, that'll fit you. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you. And some party mints. Should have sent us some warheads. That's part of the joke. I don't know goddamn warhead. What in the hell is this? Some kind of party. Let's see. Eat some. Eat some. I'll take one too. This is free. You take it. Oh, hell no. They're worms. I don't like that shit. Worms are the best. They're not all worms. They're flavorful. They're not worms. I got it. They're snakes. Oh, God. I got a dinosaur. <laughs> that young as I teach care mailbag Monday for this week. Um, remember, Twitter shooter, tell him. And I guess you got anything to say, Mike? I got to say something. Who, yeah, yeah. We don't care what you say. Smoke some catnip. And light it with a lighter. Your new lighter. Yeah. That lighter is beautiful. I know it. I love it. I have to say something. Let her say something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm like... Okay. If it shuts her up. Bridget West here. Who cares? Grandpa here. Me and the boys, we've been thinking what we want for supper. And Jay Z had a bright idea. Say hi, Jay Z. Y'all really never met my grandson. This is Joshua. He's the oldest of the wild ones. So he and I are going to make a lasagna. Lasagna, lasagna, that bitch tastes good, it really tastes good, lasagna, lasagna, ah-ha, yeah! If you want to cook for Grandpa, all you need is a goddamn hammer and a pound of bacon! <laughs>
We got the regatta cheese. We got the cottage cheese. We got tomato paste, tomato sauce. So um, I, I, I canned a bunch of tomatoes and we're gonna use fresh tomatoes. Mozzarella. Mozzarella, mozzarella, and lasagna noodles. And you know, they're not, they're not Borelli's, okay? So anyway, hold that a minute, Jay. I ain't you trust you no knife. You take that knife, boy, and you get all that sauce, right? You want to get all the sausage? Three dollars a goddamn bag. You gotta get all the sausage. All right, now mix all that up, Jay. All right, as Jay gets all this brown. All right, y'all see it. We got the sausage and the hamburger meat cooking and browning. Gotta be brown, clown, when you use it in the when you use it in lasagna. Ha ha ha! Pour it in. Oh, wait, hold it up. Hold the damn thing. Get the, get the sauce out of that bottle, boy. You trying to throw away a dime's worth? Now the other one. My God, you wash your hands? No. Nope. You didn't wash your hands. You just went and took a dump, yep. and you didn't even wash your hands. Are you trying to get the lasagna flavor? Jesus Christ, let me go wash your hands. Right, are you going to stir this or not? Get out of here and stir this! I ain't got time to waste on you! Stir it up. Why you got, why'd you use a spoon? That, you know what this is? That's a spatula. Get out of I'll send your butt to watch TV. Man, do you, you give me the doggone spoon, man? You you can't even, again when you stir, it's like this, okay? You wanna turn you wanna turn it. You wanna turn it! You ain't paddling no boat! <laughs> now, take your little cans of uh, tomato paste there, put one of them in there. You're gonna need a spoon for that one. You take the paste from the can. You take it out and let it blow. Move, move. All I'm taking is your time. You know I ain't got the slice out here what I'm doing, right? Nope. How's that looking? Good. <laughs> you think anything looks good. All right. Look at this mess you made, boy. Mmm, that's good. Now, we're gonna throw in our onion. And the bell pepper. It was all got cooked down. Onion bell pepper tastes real good. Makes the lasagna really nice, good, whatever. Then we're gonna have some Italian seasoning. Oh man, I forgot the piece to resist off. Get out of my way! The homemade tomatoes that I clean, that I... I don't like the way you smell. I'm back! I'm back! AGP! Back, back, back! As y'all see, got the sauce made. Got lasagna noodles made. Got everything ready to go in. Now, I'm gonna build it. You gonna film me building. Okay, you hold the camera. All right. Hang on, let me get a light on. In here, as y'all see, I got a layer of noodle, right? In that noodle now. Damn, what ain't a room, no room, no room. I'm gonna take some sauce. Put it in there. Ah! And I'm gonna put the sauce, spread it all evenly, one layer. Maybe just a little tad more for. Desired temperature. 
Now, I'm gonna take some ricotta cheese and put it in there. Kind of mix it up in there a little bit, you know. Take some cottage cheese. Put it on top of that. Then we're gonna take some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Then we're gonna re Are you watching me? We're gonna do it again. I'm caught in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I make the best in town. Why can't you see? What the cheese does? <clears throat> Damn, that's good. Then we go top it off with more mozzarella. All right, youngins. I tell you what, that's gonna be it until it comes out of the oven. Gotta go about an hour, hour and a half in the oven, and then it's ready. And while it's cooking, Grandpa go sit back. And he's got cheese. Oh God, I love cottage cheese. God damn it! Oh God damn it! What up? Eat some. Ah, damn, that's good. See you soon, youngins. Ah! All right, young, as you see, the lasagna is ready. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven, give it about 30 minutes cool, and then we'll test drive it and see if it rides. You know that lasagna gonna ride well. There. So that was cooking with grandpa lasagna. And while I was editing the video, I realized he didn't record an ending. <laughs> Right there, where you just saw, is where the video ends. Grandpa says, uh, we gonna, we gonna eat this lasagna in a minute. And that was it. He didn't show him cutting into it or anything. So for the ending of the video, I'm gonna call him and ask him how the lasagna was. What? How was that lasagna you made? How was it? The, you made, you made a, you made a cooking with Grandpa video I found on my computer where you making lasagna and you don't have the ending to it. So what, what the fuck? Ending is... How was it? How the fuck you think it was? Anything I cooked good. It looked good. You got it right. It was good. I didn't call you to come get no dinner. When was this? Because I just found it. Why well, I here three months ago. Three months? Well, I never used the video before. But then you have got a problem. See, you record you taking it out of the oven, and then you don't eat any of it on camera. Was it good or not? Was it good or not? Fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad did not want any part of this conversation. That was cooking with Grandpa lasagna. I guess it was good. We're getting ready to do Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Saturday. Why do you always say that? When do we do it? Saturday. Dad. When does it go up? Monday. Okay. So it's Mailbag Saturday Monday. Sat Monday. <laughs> We're getting ready to do Mailbag Sat Monday. How's that? How about Monday? Monday. That works. Damn, a lot of letters, man. The bumper stickers, you get them just like the wristbands. You send $3. $3 if you're in Let me say this. Let's see if $3 if you're in America. You send that to the P.O. box below. $4 if you're in Canada. And $5 if you're in the UK. And of course, we have signed all of these. So there's Dad, there's me, there's Bridget. You take off the bumper sticker, save the bag. So, that's what we're doing right now. Angry Grandpa's Army bumper stickers. Get them. Now let's do Mailbag Monday. Mailbag Mon set Monday. Monday. Just say Monday. Mm. AGP from Jaden Leva Smith.
Where are they from? From Vancouver, Washington. Oh, cool. My name is Jaden Lau Smith. I am a 16-year-old guy from Vancouver, Washington. I have been watching your channel for over two years now. When I am having a bad day or having to deal with my family, I know about that shit, I literally turn on your show and it makes me feel 1,000 times better. You make laugh. You make me laugh even in my worst mood ever. If you could add me on Instagram and Facebook, that would be amazing. My Facebook name is Jaden Lyle Smith and my Instagram is J-A-Y-Y-Y-B-I-R-D-16. Thank you. Oh yeah, tell Bridget and Michael I said hi and that I love their dog and dogs and cats. I love your dog too, Grandpa. This is from George Smith in Queens, New York. Jesus Christ. And he wrote all over the back, AGP, AGP, AGP. On your knee, on your knee. Dear Grandpa, my name is George. And in a couple of weeks, I'll be shipping off, shipping off to some basic training at, for the Army. And I'll be missing my younger brother's birthday. It would mean so much to me, it, it, and even more if, to him, if AGP, Michael, and Bridget wished him a happy birthday. Love all you guys. Stay angry, AGP, from George Smith. Uh, happy birthday, what's that, Luke? Luke Smith. I love you, bro. Happy birthday to you. Say, Bridget. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Luke. Happy birthday to you. To you. And this is from your bro, George. Happy birthday, Luke. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Luke. Thanks for your services. Uh, what was his brother's name? George. Uh, thanks for your service, George. This is from Taylor Vallow, Alex Rowe. Hello, my grandpa. How you doing, Taylor? I'm a big fan, and I watched all your videos. I just can't stop watching, watching them. Sorry if my handwriting is bad. You'll read mine. By the way, tell Picket Boy and Bridget... Watch Ninja Turtles. I think they would like it. Anyway, I really like your vids. P.S. Keep making funny videos. They're cool. Thank you so much, son. Taylor. I like that name, Taylor. I want to change your name to Taylor. Tyler Ramsey. Tyler has drew us a picture. <laughs> That's the uh, WWE belt. It's a concept art for the WWE title. Cool. I am a little sad right now because my grandpa passed away. Sorry about that, Tyler. I drew two pictures, one, one pick a boy and one for you, Grandpa, and hope you guys like it. Yeah, we liked it. My name is Sam Turber. I am 14 years old, and I live in West Yorkshire, England. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. My favorite video was the Hop on Pop. What mine? Mama tore up my bed! When I am upset, I watch your videos and they cheer me up. So, as a reward, I making me laugh. Here are some sweets from England. Yours sincerely, Sam Turber. P.S. Tell Bridget Pick a Boy I said hello. He tell. So hey. first thing he sent was uh, rhubarb and custard mega pips. What the hell is a mega pip? <laughs> I don't know. Eat one. And he sent blackjack. There's a blackjack chew bar. This is something she'd like. What does it taste like? Good. Okay, this is... The hell they got tar off the roof! Oh my goodness. What the hell is this shit? It's a chew bar, it says. Blackjack chew bar. What's it made out of? It looks like tar. What if it's like... It could be licorice. It's licorice! Oh. God damn! Oh, it's licorice. Oh! Fuck that! Mmm! Get it all off me. God damn. I'm... This is from Zach Davis. I am a 13 year old about to turn 14. I told my friends about, they said they have, they watch, they love your videos. I found one when I, it's, I searched old angry people. You searched old angry people? Why? Uh, you make me, you make angry grandpa believe he hit and killed someone. Michael was wrong for that. Yeah, he was. You remember that one? 
Say hi to Pick a Boy and Bridget, please. P.S. Have a great day and watch me on Twitter. <laughs> All right. This is from the postman. This is from Billy Mills. William Billy Mills from Flatwood, no, excuse me, from Ramsey, Indiana. Sorry to be added empty the butane, butane for the postal standards. Oh shit! Oh, what's going on? Come on! Come on. Ah. Got a late light on your ass, boy! Stop! Send your ass down, Bridget! I'll put one to your ass! Come on! Bridget, look at me! Put it right. Stop! Okay, you're not. Now, what? You're not keeping that. Why can't I keep my guns? Because you can't. Give it here. No, Dad. They're lighters, Michael. God. What? They're lighters, you dumbass. Oh. This is from Rusty Cooper from Vanceburg, Kentucky. Almost heaven. West. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking West Virginia. That's all I was wondering why you were seeing that. He's an artist. Cool. So it's a bit, what the hell? It looks like it's a dog holding a baby cat. That's awesome. That's cool. Guns and Roses. I like Guns and Roses. Got little action figures. Oh, the Simpsons. Simpsons, Family Guy. Every Simpsons ever, because that's why. Really? Nope. Give me the money. Bridget and I, what do you want? Oh, that money. Bridget and I are going out to eat tonight on this hundred dollars. I'll be goddamn. You give me that money. Look at Who's that? Stewie. Who's Stewie? Family guy. I don't remember what family guy. These are magnets. No. Okay. What's this thing? Always room for one more Flanders! That don't even sound like it. it. Sounds like a bootleg Simpsons toy. We're gonna to call some youngers now on uh, uh, Monday mailbag that that got their bump that got their uh, wristbands. And now the ones that are getting their bumper stickers. So if you want a wristband or a bumper sticker, better him get it, because you never know when grandpa's gonna call. So let's let's get started. Hello? Now speak to Jessica! Yeah? This is Grandpa! No way. What? What up? Hello? Hello? Hey, Grandpa! You Jessica? Hey, uh, Jessica's uh, uh, nephew. Oh, Jessica's nephew, okay. It's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday! Happy birthday! What's your name? Michael? Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy fucking birthday to you. How's it going? Well, listen, I got Jessica's letter the other day uh, joining my army. Now, I'm calling, I'm calling youngers in my army. Uh, how you been doing? I've been doing good. How are you? What's your last name today? Um, uh, I am having pizza. No, what's your last name today? My last name is Howard. I know, but normally you write as uh, Cena, uh, Jessica. What's what's that guy's name? John Cena. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're like your your name is Jessica uh, Cena today. Hello. Who is this? Who's this? Is that? Yes, it is. This grandpa. Oh my God, man! Oh my God. How you doing, Zach? I'm doing good, man. I got you. I got your order for your wristband. I'm sending it out to you. And but I'm calling I, every week. I'm gonna call youngins who are part of my army. Wow, man! I didn't know you were gonna call, man. Well, you weren't supposed to know. I didn't even know I was gonna call. Good, man. How you doing, man? Good. 
Hey man, you sound like you smoke a little herb. Joseph Williams. Yo, is this Grandpa? Yeah, how about that? Yo, man, I've been waiting to call, dude. Hey, you knew it was coming, didn't you, brother? What's up, Marky Purdue? Say hello. Hey. What's up? Hey. Follow me. She's saying follow her, subscribe. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Where to go, Joe? Why? <laughs> she she says why. She said why. I mean, she just ain't that entertaining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> man, I love you, brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was good, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, Joseph. That was good. So, where are you from? I'm from Alabama. My ex-wife was from Alabama. Really. And my other ex-wife was from South Carolina. Well, Joe, I'm glad I got to talk to you, and I appreciate you joining the Army. Hey, no problem, man. I'm proud to be part of it. And, look here, we got bumper stickers now. That me, Michael, and... Well, Bridget don't matter. But me and Michael and Bridget sign. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, brother. Take care. Well, that's going to end calling youngins from the Army. Bridget, he didn't care much for you. You're not entertaining. Sorry if I had to switch to my phone. The camera died. So, I want y'all to have a good week, and you never know when Grandpa's gonna call somebody in the Army. So, order your, order your wrist, wristbands, order your bumper stickers, and you stand a good chance. Bye, youngins! What's going on, you guys? Pickle Boy here. And I know I'm not the first face that you want to see on Grandpa's mailbag video. I just wanted to do a quick intro. I wanted to start off by saying happy birthday to Dad. Uh, I'm glad your day was great. I love you. We prank each other, but still love you. Happy birthday. Secondly, I wanted to apologize to you guys for a second. Uh, we recorded this entire intro where we were telling Dad happy birthday, and I introduced Tina. I was saying, oh, Tina's here, Dad, and it was a surprise, and he was pissed off, and, you know, I had all this stuff, and the camera malfunctioned, and I lost it. I don't know what it was. I uploaded the videos, and it just wasn't there, and it was nowhere, and I lost it. So the entire intro was gone. So from this video, we're missing, you know, about 10 to 15 letters that he opened, a couple of packages. So some of you guys got shout outs and you didn't get it on the videos and he called some of you and you know, you guys got the calls but something happened to the camera and I lost about three to four videos and I don't know what happened but I wanted to apologize to you guys and just say that I'm sorry, you know, we lost the video but I do have what's left. So this is what's left of grandpa's birthday video. So. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, you know, I'm glad you got a lot of reaction from the fans. And my apologies to the fans for not having the full video for you. Happy birthday, Dad. I can still get it. Okay, you can still get your bumper sticker. Wait. Yeah, okay. That's a dumper sticker. Oh, my God. That's a dumper sticker. <laughs> That's a... Oh. Dad went from bumper oh sticker to bumper sticker. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Hey, get out. What the fuck? You ought to be ashamed of fucking shit. I was just giving you a kiss. <laughs> you could have kept that motherfucker to yourself. This is from. Just remember, Tina, when he says to kiss his ass, that's the smell. <laughs> uh, this is from. Junkyard dog. Pontus. You're gonna say it. Pontus, Pontus E Man. I was gonna say Pontus Pilot. Oh, this is Sweden. Aww. Uh, ah! What's funky that? fresh bacon. That's one of these. Put, put that on your ass. Yeah, I think they go. Or hanging around your fucking neck. Poor chop. What's going on, you guys? Sorry, Pickup Boy, for taking your intro. My name is Pontus Elfman. I am 23 years old, and I live in Sweden. I've been watching your channel for a year now, and I love it. My favorite is cooking with Grandpa. Fuck you, Gordon Ramsay, and Grandpa's better. Yeah, you know it! And when it comes to cooking and being angry. And Grandpa, stay angry, and I hope, hope you live a long time. Well, so do we. <laughs> Happy birthday. Air freshness for you. I need it to put on my ass. 
Michael, Are thanks we... for videotaping. Bridget, thanks for doing whatever you do you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Follow me. Keep up the good work. I love you. Aw. Isn't that sweet? That is nice. Yep. Anybody who sends a pork chop a bacon chain, yeah, they're good. One more from Alex Gregory that says, Happy birthday, AGP. We no clothes, no fancy things. Age Packer. That's but I'll surely for. make you happy. Oh, shit. With everything I take. Send me a nice card. You got that something extra Aww. that separates the men from the boys. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Oh, my goodness. Damn, he had to reach far up in there. <laughs> ah, ah. I got $3. I got $3. I got $3. Holla, 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 holla. Yeah. Happy birthday, AGP, from, from Yo Young and Alex. You're a good trick. $3. Thank you for the three dollars. I have that in my pocket. <laughs> All right. <You> better. <laughs> Let's go. Sorry, open some boxes. Here, get this one. You spilled my coffee. What? Oh man, any further, the whole thing would have fallen in your lap. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's go through this shit. Okay. So who is it? This is from Leon Beaver. <laughs> Leon, thank you. Holy motherfucking shit. Look at all them big old candy bars. Yeah, you have some chocolate in your life, too. Give me one. You got your, you got your, you got my yet. Look at my bag of candy bars. Pinwheels. Oh, yeah, you can chew on them, fat boy. Slim Jim. You ain't got no teeth, how you gonna chew them? They oh, do. there's a bunch of Slim Jims in here. Ah, oh, look at all them Slim Jims. I love Slim Jim. Snap into a Slim Jim. This box is from... Dave. I see bacon. Dean Torsell. Aww. Oh man, look at that boy with the potato expresses. Cause the perfect potato full of minutes. Let me see it. You can't even chew a fucking banana. Oh, we've always wanted one. Oh my god, the bacon bowl. Oh, what the? You put the bacon in it and, 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 and you put it in the microwave and then you just dip it out and you got bacon bowl. Oh man, you're, you're gonna have to use this. I am in a video. Dear AGP, I've been watching your video since the first first one on, on break.com. Yeah, that you're right. You are very moving to me. Aww. Oh, look at there. More Slim Jim! Can I have one? Hell no, you can't have nothing other stuff. Shit, we gotta look at your... Look at there, man. Smash Reese's, that's good. A dog biscuit! Are you eating it? <laughs> Why not? That's for Hannah. Oh. <laughs> Most Slim Jim. Happy birthday, AGP. I hope you like your birthday gift. You are my favorite person ever. I know that. I am also an artist. I have been creating you guys as Arctic Wolves. What? <laughs> An English Bulldog okay. <laughs> Who ate my candy? Look. Oh my God, she's good. Let's see it. Look. Oh, oh, there's no yeah, lock on the door. That actually really is good. Oh, Mitchell. Let me see. Oh, Michael. Mitchell, do you not know your son's name? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these, these are good. Show Tina. This is Papa's great. got something for you. Wow. <clears throat> Look at there, man. That's nice. I know. This attention to detail. Hey, she drew. Yeah, um, that, I remember. I still have it. I want to hang it up. I'm gonna put these in frames. Yeah. From Will Aaron from the UK. Let's see what old Will got me. Aww. Mug and coaster set. Look at that man, I got a dragon. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is awesome. You don't need a coaster. And a picture from where he lives. Trubia. 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 And he sent me a sucker! Uh -huh, Grandpa's lollipop. Yeah. Hey, let me lick that. On the good oh, shit. Oh, she wants to lick lollipop. the lollipop. No, go on now, really. She wants to lick your lolly. If you break, break that lolly, you're going to have problems. I will break it. How dare you? Don't break it. Send me some. Tina wants to lick the stripes off your lollipop. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to touch your nuts. Stop asking me. I got that dollar. I got that dollar. I got that dollar. Holla, 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 holla. That's from Michaela. Trubia. So thank you, Michaela. All right. What is this? Who's this there? is from Master Chris Bracia. 
And Master Chris. Oh, whoa. Holy Merry crap. Christmas. Candy cane. That's crazy. A little early, isn't it? You want to make sure you got here before Christmas. I'm going to leak the stripes off Dad's candy cane. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. You'll be a fucking big kid. And the paper. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here you go, Tina. I'm gonna give this to Hey! You gotta share on your birthday and your I got your goddamn thing. It's my birthday. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Chris Brockia and I am 14 years old. I live in East Chester, New York, and I have been watching your videos for a long time. You are my favorite YouTuber. I always talk about you to my friends. And they questions me about why I like you so much. I, you are my God. Whoa! Thank you, my son. I bless you. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your care package I have sent you. If it's okay, could you give me a shout out? Hell yeah! First communion is this Sunday. Thank you, Chris. Hmm. Grandpa's uh, ch uh, church, whatever it is. <laughs> church of Angry Grandpa. Church of Angry Grandpa. Sincerely, Blossom Wolf. Blossom, since I saw the hamburger pie meltdown video, I thought you might need a pair of these. I printed them and ironed the iron-ons myself. You did a good job, man. Look at man. Wow. I won't burn my hands no more. Angry Grandpa Oven Mitts. Angry Grandpa Oven Mitts. Yeah, look at that. I like that. <laughs> That's cool. You like won't burn it. your hands no more. Won't burn my hands no more. Let me open it. Uh, okay. How much stuff is there? Uh, quite a bit. This is from Jalene, Jalene, Jalene Moxley. From, from, Auction Hill, Maryland. Fart loader. Another mug. Oh, fart loading, 58%. Yeah, he can fill the rest of the fucking cup up. Can I join your army? Yes, you can, darling, and I'll see that you get it. Let's see, fart loader. Let's see something. Else. Fart loading. <laughs> You're loading a fart. I'm loading a fart right now. Which is exactly what that coffee does to you. Oh, that's great. Can I can put a lot more fart loading in there. Ugh. Shouldn't I have washed that first? You probably should have. But it's a fart anyways. Oh, shit. What's in there? Something. <laughs> a quarter. I got a quarter. I got a quarter. I'm going to throw it in my pocket because I'm a hoarder, hoarder, hoarder. Now, we don't know who sent it. I, I can't find it. It just didn't have no name. But a young went to a lot of trouble to make this for me. It's got all my songs that I've mentioned in videos. Wow, this is impressive. It's even got, it's even got Bridget on there. Let it bleep. So, so, it's like, so it's like let it be. So let it be. So young and whoever, if you sent it to me. Wow. Don't tell them, give it all away because there's got to be something they can tell me about it. So I know it's in. Write me, let me know who sent that. Happy birthday, AGP. My name is Nick and I'm 11 years old and I live in Texas. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. I know that song. And one more thing. Happy birthday! Thank you, buddy. Starburst. Oh, man. Reese's. Kit Kat. Oh, that's my favorite candy bar. Uh, you buy the kit. And a shirt. Oh, shit, I like shirts. Let's see what the shirt is. I love shirts now. I, I love when you get shirts. I love it when I get shirts. I wear them. And you know, I get a lot of compliments on my shirts. Oh, hell no. That's too much fucking birthday there. Hell no. That's Put that shit suit. out. Hey. Grandpa's in his birthday suit. I got to film Tina for a minute. Oh, hell no. Put that shirt over that wrinkly self. <laughs> oh, shit. Aww. I like that. He looks like you a little bit. Who are they kids and why are they calling me Grandpa? Yeah. He really does dress like you two. Look at that. I know it. Where's your fedora at? <laughs> you still got that Only thing? Only my fedora. I got it somewhere. Without the fedora, that's exactly how you dress. Mismatch. Nancy was near. It's heavy. This is from... 
Amazon fulfillment. Hi, Grandpa. I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Sean Farrell from New York City who did your name in graffiti. Yeah, I remember you now. I know you really said that you had an, an, an immersed craving for Slim Jim, so I wanted to get you some. Happy birthday. Sean, thank you a lot. Let's see. Oh, my God, Michael. Nacho flavored, look at here. Nacho flavored Slim Jim? Oh, that was favorite right there, Miles. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all go to the store and buy you some. Wait a minute, it looks like they've been stolen from a store. That big old thing, they don't sell them like that. Let's see. From Jolene Barnett. Happy birthday, AGP. A rock. A rock. <laughs> That's Thank you. Me. Oh my God! Look, she painted that. I know she painted. Dude, that is sick. Isn't that nice? I gotta pull this out. JC, hold the camera. I got a rock. That's pretty cool. I think it's very cool. Grandpa's like a rock. Oh, like a rock. And then it made my happy birthday card. Dude, this is so neat. I know it. See, now Dad throws this rock someone's window. They gonna know who threw it. Yeah, sure <laughs> is. Happy birthday. I'm sorry, AGP. that's talent right there. That's very, that's why, oh my god, that is talent. Did you see that? Look at that. I just noticed it. Yeah, man. They had, Look at that. Santa Claus looks like that, too. <laughs> Her YouTube is uh, www.youtube.com. Hang in with my girl is. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope this gets to you in time for your birthday. Happy birthday, AGP. I love watching your videos. I have been a faithful viewer for a big time, long time, and I check every day for new videos. Prank Michael more. Tell Bridget and Michael, hey, for me. I hope you like your rock. I painted it for you. Yeah, you did a good job, and thank you very much. Please open on video. Royal Mail, but there's no name. Yeah, it is on the other side. Xander Richardson from Scotland. Ye take a high road and I'll take a low road and I'll be in Scotland for you. Oh my God, man! Look here, this is nice. Is that a Zippo? Yes, but it's their brand called Star. Oh wow! Isn't that nice? A gold lighter. I love lighters. I collect them. That's nice. Short license frame. Dragon license frame. 3D's gummies. <laughs> you can't even suck on those. Oh, that's cute. Nice picture. Okay. Carolina Panthers. And a shirt. Look at the shirt in a minute. We That's what I do. I always read the shirt last. Dear Aunt Grandpa, Michael and Bridget, my name is Mo, and I'm from New York, but moved to Charlotte, North Carolina a year ago. I'm a big fan of yours, and Michael, and you guys are the man. Love all your videos, pranks. Thanks for all the laughs. Hope you guys love the gifts. From Mo the King 17. Thank you, Mo. Let's check out the shirt, man. Check That's out. The Simpsons, it looks like. Oh, neat. Oh, that's a nice family. Looks like yours. Yeah. Love the shirt. Thank you so much. And it's your birthday this year. Yeah, where's my present? Where's my cake? Where's my ice you cream? You texted me, said you didn't want a cake. Where's my supper? I'll get you. I, I don't know what you want for supper. There it is, cooking. <laughs> that's peanut I'm cooking for you. You told me, you texted me, I don't want no cake. It makes me shit. So I didn't get you no cake. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Piece, and your present, I have it ordered. Youngest, I want to thank you for the birthday presents, the wishes. My Facebook looks good. I appreciate all y'all telling me happy birthday. Uh, I made it to 64. Looking for 65. <laughs> You'll be fine. Youngest, thank you for the birthday. Hey, Tina. Would you mind leaving my happy mind? birthday to you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to me. Thank you, young.
onion? You're an asshole. Can I eat my damn thing then? <laughs> you can't chew it. I dare you to. You won't see me? I'm I want to see you eat that thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show your ass. Then you go back across the fence? No. All right, Dad. It's time for Mailbag Saturday. Why do you keep saying that? that? Monday. What's today? Today is literally Saturday. Now, what day is it going up? Monday. Okay, so it's just when they see it on Monday. What are you doing? I'm making my call. I thought you said you were ready. I am ready. I got to turn it down, bitch. All right. It is time for Mailbag Saturday. I'm, I, I will not record another second if you don't say Monday. Mailbag Friday. Why? That wouldn't even make sense. <laughs> Need a mailbag Monday on Saturday. I'm going to read a few letters because there's so many packages. As you see, this come from Jada Kennedy. Hey, from North Wood, Ruff, South Carolina. We do it. We, 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 we. I put my phone in my pocket. I make sure it's your phone. God. Why would I take your phone? I don't know. I don't trust you. Dear Charles Green, my name is Jada Kennedy. I am 20 years old and I have been diagnosed with a learning disability. There's a lot of us out there. And I feel I cannot write as well as others. You write better than me. Look at that writing, Michael. You write way better than me. A lot better writing than I got. <sighs> I wish you could come, I wish I could come to Sunville to meet you. Whether well, you'd be going to the wrong place, you need to come to Mont's Corner. And happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. How can I have a wonderful birthday with Mike here? God bless you. Thank you for your kindness. A nice little letter. Yes, it was. This one is from Austin Natoon from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Ain't that where uh, Clinton's from? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Yeah, he is. I, I like from Bill. Arkansas, but I like Bill Clinton. I do too. I think his wife sucks. Dear Aunt Grandpa, a big happy birthday! I'm a big fan of yours and have been watching your videos for almost four years now. My favorite video was the cat wake up call. Ah, that was a while ago. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I watch your videos and they cheer me up. Thank you for all you do and you're from your youngins. And I feel proud to be part of your army. Yeah, I'm glad you're part of my army too. Uh, to Grandpa Picker Boy Bridget, I am Lucas. I was born in, I was born 12, 24, 01. I love you guys so much. My friend Mason died in July. He hit his head on a freeway overpass. Ooh, oh man. That's bad. Oh, that's sorry sad. to hear that, man. While on a double decker bus. Oh my God. I miss him and I love him. But when I turn on your videos after the accident, you made me laugh and smile. In fact, whenever I'm sad, you guys make me happy. One of my favorite pranks was the Walking Dead prank. Also, the senile prank was funny too. Keep up. Love you guys. Your fan, Lucas. You miss your friend, Lucas. I know you do, buddy. Um, think about all the good times you had. and Thank you for your letter. And this is from Marcel from Lexington, Kentucky. Send me a new knife. Cool. Very nice. Leave that little man. Whoa. Show it to me. Track force. Fox weighs more than you do. This one. And Kazo. Candy. Here's the Snickers. What? Here's the Snickers. And a card. Happy birthday. Happy Grandpa. birthday, Grandpa. All your wishes come true. This is from Alex Smith from the UK. Scar. 
It's an England scarf. Land of hope and glory. England swings like a pendulum do. Bobby's on bicycles two by two. That's nice. I won't get cold no more. That's very nice. Happy birthday to a gifted individual. This is Chrissy and Jerry. Caution. Caution. Original flying tools in the area. This is neat stuff. Isn't that neat? That is. You can't fix stupid. He'll never fix you, Bridget. I'm not stupid. Hey, what the thing says is you can't fix stupid. He sent that to you. Oh. This is from Charles Herman. He's from Kalua Kona, Hawaii. Wow. It's a nice cup from Hawaii. Wow. Little hula girls. That's pretty neat. Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> the women of the islands. The islands, women of the islands. And flowers of the islands. Oh my god. Now, we're, now I want to see women's flowers of the Not islands. Not here the bathroom with me. Alright, this is from Hannah from Mendota, Illinois. What is this? <laughs> Look at that picture of you. I'll be damned. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday, Grandpa. T.H. Trocky from New Jersey. Oh, man. Zippo, 65 years. Look at that box. Wow. Wow, that's going to protect the stuff and everything. Whoa. That's nice there, man. That's one you don't use. Wow, that's pretty cool, dude. A 65th anniversary Zippo. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is cool. You can't look at it. I really appreciate that. I, you know, I just like Zippo, so thank you a lot, man. I appreciate that. Motherfucker, I'm gonna go back in the good box. All right, this. Okay, I know what this one is. The land of ooze and this came from a friend of mine named Jim, James Romano. He sent this to you. I know what it is. This is cool. Paul Heyman. Okay, so it's a Paul Heyman figure. The shirts are the cool part. Stink. Not like the mouth eyes. Eat, sleep, and your grandpa, repeat. Ah -ha! I like that. Eat, sleep, angry grandpa, repeat. That's Eat, awesome. sleep, angry grandpa, repeat. That was right. I'm an angry grandpa guy. That was right. That's awesome. So that is from my friend Jim. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate Let's it. Let's get these on you. We got to see what you look like in these. Man, it's a fashion crazy. show. I'm an angry grandpa guy. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And there you go. That's a good shirt. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. So I guess that is Mailbag Monday. Yeah, that's about it for Mailbag Monday this week. And eat, sleep, angry grandpa, repeat! Bye. All right, Dad, it is Mailbag Monday. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. Where'd I lose a day? I don't remember, but it is Sunday, but we're, it goes up tomorrow. All right, Mailbag Sunday. Monday. Sunday. We're going to do something new. We ain't going to look out first. We're going to open as we go now. Mr. Darren Hall from Reevesville, Indiana. Ain't nobody raised some horses? I don't know, maybe. Oh shit! Five dollar. I got five dollar. I got five dollar. Dear Angry Grandpa, it's your fan Seth Hall from Indiana. Didn't I just read that? Yeah. No, this is Darren Hall. What'd he say? Seth. I've been watching your show for the past three years, and let me tell you, uh, they never stop to make me laugh. If I can, on your next video, get a shout out. Hey, hey, Seth! We, 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 we tight, bro. Let's bump. Uh, 
I would like to finally join the Army. Yes, you got it, son. You in the Army. All right, this is from Cassandra Stroll... Stroll... Strollin', maybe? I don't know. Strollin'. Anyway, Cassandra. Bracelet. I got a bracelet. I got a bracelet. Christmas colors. Look at a Christmas bracelet. I'm going to wear it for Christmas. Dear Grandpa, my name is Cassandra, and I am from Arizona. I live here since March 2007. My father was in the Navy for 20 years. Thank you, Father, for his service. Uh, so we moved a lot. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for all, for all the laughs. No matter what other people say, I will always like your videos. I started watching your videos back in 2010. My first video was the one where you destroyed the kitchen. <laughs> I remember that one. Oh, yeah, so do I. Over your candy. Well, Bridget stole my candy. No, it was on the counter the whole time. She put it there. She get it later. She I wasn't know. even there. We know Bridget. She wasn't there that day. Bridget's a candy hog. Uh, I can say keep doing what you're doing and thank you for always being there for your youngins. I will always be there for you, my, my youngins. You are the best, JTP. Hope you like the drawing. Jake Havoc, your, your goddamn pimple-eating bitch. <laughs> he drew me a pic. This one here is from Jay Daggett from Parlin, New Jersey. P.S. My dad passed away this summer, and I was pretty sad. And you really make me and my mom and uncle laugh so much. Thank you. Sorry about your dad, man. I really am. It's hard when you lose. Oh, it sent me a Christmas card. Nice card. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty card? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hang it on my wall. Oh, I can't tell you about it, Chef. What's going on? Nothing. You don't know nothing yet. Merry Christmas from me, Angry Grandpa. Happy holidays. Have fun. Your biggest fan. Eight years old, Jared. See, Jared wrote me. He wrote me. He writes pretty good for eight years old. Writes better than me. I'm really sorry about your dad, Jared. That's crazy. Very sorry, Jared. Very sad. Hey, Grandpa, I just want to tell you that I love your videos, and I love your Ebola prank. <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. I love the Boeing prank, personally. The Boeing... <laughs> you ever do that to me? You ever do that to me again? You understand me? No, why'd you have to get me mad now? Damn it! You were fine earlier and yet. You were, but now you're talking about the damn thing. I don't like being prayed by a pup. Okay, let's calm down now. This is from Mrs. Angela Heidler. You know, I get a lot of stuff from her. She's from, uh, from uh, Colleen, Texas. She writes me a lot. Really? Yeah, she really does. She and I have gotten to be buddies over the years. I love her. You know, I keep up my young. You know, I got a lot of them that have grown up with me. Yeah. You know we've been doing this almost nine years, Christmas? Don't say that. That's not true, right? That is true. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, Am I right or wrong? Seven years. Hope you and your loved ones have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, because I'm the only one bringing the turkey. Not true. It's true. I'm the only one bringing the turkey. <laughs> May the Lord be with y'all at this time. Happy Thanksgiving, Angela. Thank you, Angela. That's the only turkey you're bringing to this house. I'm telling you now, I'm making the turkey the only turkey. Okay, you got it. Okay, as long as you agree. This is from Jason Overman from Hillsboro, North Carolina. You know, my daddy was born in Hillsboro. That's a true story. Really? My daddy was born in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Is it big or small? Just went through the tab. <laughs> <laughs> they made moonshine here, too. Hint, hint. They made moonshine in North Carolina. Hint, you're, hint. You're not drinking homemade moonshine. <laughs> Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Jason. I'm 15 years old, and I live in Hillsboro, North Carolina. I have a very hard life, and your videos are what keep me going and happy. Thank you for the videos. Please keep up the great work. I am in and out of the hospital to severe asthma. Uh, it would make my day if you call me. We're going to call him. Tatha Ta 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 uh, Marshall from Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Home of the Bones. Cha, give me a seven. <laughs> I just wanted to buy a bumper sticker and a wristband. You got them, babe. I got your address. My dad and I are huge fans. We love you. Me and my dad watch your videos 24-7. My name is Tati Tatiana. Tatiana, I got it right. And I am 12 years old. But I just wanted to surprise my dad with a wristband. You got it, babe. Be in the mail tomorrow. Where's that envelope? Need to say that envelope. Elaine Savilio from East Rutherford, New Jersey. Isn't that where the, uh, the Frankie Valley was from? I don't know. Oh, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey, and I find I love Bill. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Dear Grandpa, Michael and Bridget, keep up the good work. Your videos are super. May God bless you, nice folks. I feel like you are part of my family. Well, guess what, Elaine? You are part of our family. You are my youngin, okay? And I love my youngins. These other people talk about their fans. Nah, y'all are my youngins. Thank you for the joy you bring to many households. If you have a baby, you got a babe, you need to put hers aside too. Gotcha, Lane. Dear Grandpa, my name is Ryan Robles. I, he writes me a lot on Facebook too. I'm from California, and even though I watch your videos for about four to five months, I still enjoy watching them. I could watch them all day. My favorite video was the Ebola. Everybody seems to like that one. Sub you. Ah, you like that. Blood, 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 blood. I laughed so hard when you farted out blood. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that wasn't planned. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the blood wasn't planned. The butt, no, no, the fart wasn't planned. Wait a minute. So, so, yeah, I, I was just going to reach by my ass and just grab it see so I have the blood on my hand, right? Yes, I, I don't even know how you did that. But I instead, just, I farted. Oh, so you already had it back there. Yeah. So it worked out better. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Nice job. I laughed so hard when you farted out blood. Your food looks so good. It is good! The sirloin steak, the fried chicken sandwiches. I'm getting hungry. Hamburger, hamburger pie! <laughs> <laughs> Tell Michael and Bridget I said hi. Hi. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm sorry, the person you were I guess he just ain't gonna answer. Come on, buddy, answer the phone. He ain't gonna answer! We done tried four times! I know, but I really want him to answer. I'd like for him to answer too, because he's been in out the hospital. Might be in the hospital. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach. This is the fifth time we tried, ain't it? Yeah. He might be in the hospital, you know, because he says he's in and out of the hospital a lot. I mean, I mean, we didn't not get him. Make sure it's the right number. Hello? Hello? Uh, is this Jason? Uh-huh. This is, a uh, Pickle Boy from the Angry Grandpa Show. Oh my god, really? Here, yeah, we've been trying to call you for the past 25 minutes, uh, uh, sorry for waking you up, buddy, I don't want to, uh, I know you're sick, so. Oh, it's fine. Well, here's, here's Grandpa for you. Okay. Hey, buddy! Oh my god, what's up? Hey, I'm, I, I... I got your letter and I read it and I said, you know, I was in out of the hospital a lot too and I, I'm going to call this young man. Oh my God, thank you so much. How you feeling now? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Great, I'm glad to hear that. Well, buddy, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to call you and tell you hello and I'll let you know I got your letter. I'm thinking about you, all right? All right, thank you so much. Take care of yourself, okay? Hey, do me a favor. Keep me informed of how you're doing, all right? Okay. All right, buddy. Take care. You too. Bye.
That was a nice young man, Michael. I'm real glad we finally I'm got fine. him. I'm glad your tenacity. I'm I not... used a big word! <laughs> well, that was a good Monday mailbag. That was a good Monday mailbag. And every Monday, Monday mailbag starts back. And don't forget to send your Skype. Because I'll be Skyping during the holidays. Calls from Santa Pa. We're going to be calling some people. We're going to be just whatever. So keep your, oh, keep your cards and your letters coming. Keep your cards and your letters coming. I'll keep right on a humming. So let's look at these cards. Hey, hey, everybody. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Michael, when his kid behind the camera, when he started doing it, I said, forget that shit. And look where you're going with it, Mike. You've you come a long way, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. I'm proud of you. Okay, Grandpa, it is Monday mailbag video. Monday, uh, that sounded strange, didn't it? Monday mailbag video. It is the mailbag. It's time for Monday mailbag. It is mailbag Monday. And? And if you can't tell by the Christmas bells in the background or the Christmas music. What? It's going to be edited post-production. This is the Christmas mailbag. But it ain't Christmas. Well, no, but it's 25 days of Christmas. But it's November right now. Hey, but this is going up December 1st. And we told everybody we're doing Christmas videos all November. But it ain't all Christmas. It ain't even December the 1st. It will be tomorrow when this goes up. So it got to be Christmasy? Yes. King of bells, king of bells, king of all the way. That Christmas is up for you. ring a ding a ding ring a ding a ding ring a ding a ding You know what I am? Jordan Wise from Emira Heights, New York. AGP! Arnie! Chestnuts roasting on an open Mo fire. My nuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at my nuts. <laughs> Tiny. Ooh, what the hell? Cool. What is it? Oh, okay. That's that, uh, that cat. I forget its name now. Do you remember the name, Bridget? Looks like the Spanish version of it, though. Luke, I am your father. Told you the quote is no, I am your father. And I think that's Halo anyway. And Reese's. My name is Jordan Wise. I have been watching you, Michael, and Bridget videos for about three years now. I have absolutely loved them. My favorite video was the most recent eviction video. Although it was very mean and it was very funny, I enjoy Angry Grandpa so much that I have actually missed school to what? <laughs> oh, Jesus, we are just. We are oh, oh, now we're in charge. Now we're responsible for goddamn truancy. <laughs> From Canada. Prince Albert, Canada. From Prince Albert. There's a place in Canada, you dumbass. I thought a Prince Albert was a piercing. No, that ain't what it pierced Winky. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer has some very shiny nuts. Whoa. Wow, Canadian money, man. You know, where's that paper? I don't know. It's very crazy. You like cellophane. I love it. Their money is awesome. I can see Dad through the money. Yeah. I'm gonna film the whole video through this. All Give right. me the damn thing. <laughs> uh, I love your show. I laugh so hard when you and my family eat and watch your show. My family don't like it because they are trying to watch TV when I laugh. They tell me to get quiet. You are like my dad when he sometimes gets mad but in a funny way, not pissed off. If you don't say my name right, call me by the, my nickname, Q. All right, Q. You think they invite somebody to steal that money? Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that's a hell of a way. Just in the letter. Something else in there too. From the United States of America, to Charles Green, from Aiden. Hell? What are you doing, Aiden? I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Maybe want to shit and holler? Yeah. I like you want to shit? Oh, why not? And wrestlers. And so you got a Jack Swagger card. Uh, Corey Graves. And the cock. Hey, AGP. Me and my cousin love your videos. Our favorite video is the PS4 prank. This is Mr. Colton Simpson from Dallas, Texas. 
Dollar, 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 I'm gonna shit and holler. Ha, 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 ha. Can't get no sleep, can't get no rest, can't get no respect. That's about goddamn truth around you. My name is Colton Simpson, and I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm a huge fan of your show. The first video I watched was the Pecan Pete Pinwheels video. I love your videos and always watch. I like the favorites of all your videos. I'm a film editor, and I like to make pictures of Photoshop. My main dream is to become a film editor and to see my work end up on a big screen. Hey, that's, that's nice. I sometimes get a little depressed when no one responds, but when I watch your videos, I always get a smile on my face. Anyways, hope you enjoy the little picture of you, which I really did. I like that. I made on Photoshop. Also, can I get my channel shout out? My channel is Crazy Pain 93 We'll see how it's written. She just wrote Crazy Pain. Okay. Crazy Pain 93 That's his channel. That's his channel. So Y'all go to it and check him out. This is from Stephanie oh, Flanagan. Irish as they come. <laughs> you don't know that. Flanagan? All right, come on. Dear ADP, I have been watching your videos since the beginning. I am a stay-at-home mom and wife to my airman who serves active duty in the Air Force. He is currently a staff sergeant stationed at Shaw Air Force Base in Sumter, South Carolina. Thank you for your service, man. Thank you for your service, brother. Appreciate everything you do for us. And thank you for letting me do it. Your videos along with Michael and Bridget's videos keep me so entertained. It makes my husband deployment a lot easier. Thanks to you guys. I look forward to your videos every day. I want to thank you guys for supporting the military. We always will, darling. We got his back. It means so much to the troops and their families. I don't have the funds to... You don't need the funds to send me nothing, darling. Thank, just the letter did it. The letter. Uh, my Facebook pa uh, page is... Here it is. Let me see. www.facebook.com slash pink... Whoa. Okay. Facebook.com slash pink zebras prinkles with Stephanie. Oh. I think that's what it is. Well, check it out. Here it is right here. You guys got a shot of it. It's in two columns. Check that out. Uh, more Christmassy, please. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, ho. Whoa. Money for Grandpa. <laughs> I might be able to buy you Christmas presents after all. Oh shit, I think I just ripped the motherfucker. I did. <laughs> you ripped it. I ripped the dollar bill. I ripped the dollar bill. Ah! Dollar, dollar, dollar. I got half a dollar. Find me some tape and put it together anyway. <laughs> and quarters. My name is Matthew Davis. I live in Richmond, Virginia, and I am 14 years old. And I've been a fan of yours, and you are my friend. And my friend John told me about your videos are awesome. And you are one of my... What the hell are you looking at? I'm looking at the letters. Read your letter. Especially where you get really angry, and you are looking for a video. So here's $3. Why don't you use it for candy? Because Bridget would steal it. Hey. Stay angry and awesome. You rock. P.S. Tell Pickle Boy and Bridget I said hi. 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 All right. We got a whole bunch of these now Skype for Christmas Eve. So, but I got one more surprise. You see the shirt? Yeah. Shooter Jennings. Shooter rules. Shooter Jennings said Papa. Old man's up. Did he? Yeah. I had to open it. What is that? Moonshine! Ha <laughs> I done tried some? Oh my god. What some. would you drinking moonshine for? This is Shooter Jennings moonshine? Yes, yeah, his, his own moonshine. Look at it. Look at that. And I got two bottles left. And he sent this to you? Yeah. Ain't that something? That is cool. But that's from Shooter Jennings' own private. He owns, he, he part of the company. Wow. Let's see. I can't even read it. But if y'all are interested, y'all, y'all, do you know his uh, Twitter? Yeah, Shooter Jennings. Michael's gonna put his Twitter up. 
Y'all write him. Tell him you want to purchase a bottle of his moonshine. They do mail it. You got to be 21. Yeah. I had to sign for it. Go read the top. It said you had to be, had to sign for it. You had to be of age to get it. Look at this. This package contains alcohol. <laughs> I got me some shoes. It's a jinny, jinny, jinny moonshine. Christmassy. Uh, cur uh, Christmassy. Christmassy. I like shooter jinny's moonshine. I'm gonna drink it Christmas Eve. I'm gonna sit by the tree and drink all to me. And I'm gonna get so fucked up I can't stand it. Thank you, Shooter. Yeah! Shooter Jenny rules! That is Mailbag Monday. Uh, but we ain't doing it on Monday. Just do the outro. Okay, it's gotta be Christmas Eve? Yep. Ah, uh, it was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, I'll read the old stinking poem in a day or two. I got you fooled! Ha 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 ha! Bye! Hang the goddamn thing. We done. We're done. Hang up the camera, Michael! Hang up the camera? Yeah, we'll go drink some more moonshine. Hang it up! Oh my god! Hey, Hunter Proof! If you want to kill somebody! Join the police department in New York! They murdered an innocent man! They choked him out! How is that aggression? How is that fucking aggression? The grand jury! Made up of morons! Idiots! Fools! found that the New York policeman acted properly. Bull fucking shit! You murdered him and you will get yours one day. You may not get it here, but I guarantee you when you die, the devil's gonna be burning your ass. Your ass is gonna smoke, you bastard! The family, the children of Eric Garner Got to grow up without daddy. They won't have anybody to teach them right from wrong like you learned from your daddy. Eric Garner tried to stop a fight. Eric Garner threw his hands up when the police wanted to attack him. There is no justice for Eric Garner. He died for goddamn nothing. Goddamn. Ah! <laughs> Fucking lame brain idiots. So now, let's see. Eric Gardner and his family, they got no justice. Oh, Grandpa loves collard greens. Tell you right now, I'm coming to where I always come to to buy my collard greens, my produce market. See, that's it right there. What the hell is this shit? What the hell is going on here? Where are my goddamn collard greens? Man, it's a produce market. So where are the collard greens? Let's see here. What the hell? I feel like I'm in Santa's workshop or some shit. What the hell is all this? Where the, where the apples, man? You always got apples over here. And oranges. They're gone. What the hell is this crap? Ain't got no collard greens. Sold out. What do you mean sold out? Sold out of the last night. Look like he ain't never had none. <laughs> Where's Santa Claus? He on vacation this week. Come on, man. Now, where's the collard greens, really? We ain't got none. Sold out. Man, ain't this produce market? No. It's been a produce market since you opened. <laughs> 
kind of bullshit is this? Hey, man. Carry your ass down to the liquor store. What? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, man. I'm a customer. Hey, you ain't no customer. I'm a customer. <laughs> I want to buy some collard greens. We well, ain't got no collard greens. What is this crap? It's over there messing with bandits. What's this? That's why we tie the trees up. Yeah, go ahead in there. You mean if I get in, you can tie me up? <laughs> yes, I will. You don't think I will? Who Come the on. hell? Who the hell are you anyway? Simon. Simon says what? Hey, hey, Grandpa, how you doing? What the hell is this? Oh, this is uh, well. Is that a horse? Well, it's it, it's a horse deer. A what? It's a horse deer. A deer horse. Deer horse. A deer and a horse. Yeah, horse. see down south, that's the way they got them because there ain't no snow down here, so we got them a deer, deer horse. I got a question. Where I put the goddamn quarter if I want to ride it? Well, I ain't see no coin box. Really, man, where the collard greens? I want to buy some. Look, I'm not talking to you no more. Shut up. Collard greens. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Bill that comes through here every now and then. That sells a few collard greens. But this is a but, produce market, right? It says open seven days a week. I know, but now it's it's all about the trees. It will be open back up in March, though. March. So in March, I can come buy some collard greens. Exactly. No, I won't because they don't, no, they don't no, have it. No, 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 no. They no, got no. collard greens in March. That's right. That's right. It was the first frost. First frost. That means I got to go to Bilo now. Yeah. And pay high. That's right. Anyway, I got to leave because I got to go find me some collard greens. <laughs> All right. Well, What's go, so funny? Go on down there to Harris Teeter. <laughs> Harris Teeter? That ain't too expensive. Uh, you telling me cigarettes are $8 or some more. What? Yeah. All right. I went to the produce market and they ain't got no produce. I want collard greens. So grandpa's on the quest to find collard greens. Well, I didn't get none for, for, for Thanksgiving, but of course I didn't even eat Thanksgiving. Michael kicked me out. You're not getting tired of that shit with that boy. Him and that witch he calls a girlfriend. I don't know why I call this the quest for collard greens because you know Milo has collard greens. That ain't gonna be a better problem here. Just get across this damn street without getting run over by a damn car, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we is looking for, oh, and I found it. Collard greens. Now I'm we good tonight now, for sure. Let's get some meat. Get some apples. They got all kind of good looking apples. Apples. An apple a day will keep grandpa away. Hey, they got all kind of nice stuff here in Bilo. That's why I come to Bilo. How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and this is our Bilo produce man. I am Walter. <laughs> He's Walter. I'm hey, Walter, Walter, can I shake your hand? Yeah, you sure can. Hey, Walter, boys, nice <laughs> to meet you. Well, it is Mailbag, mailbag Sunday. Monday. Sunday. Yep, Mailbag Sunday. You got it right. Mailbag Monday. There you go. So, Mo, we need Christmas. Oh, hey, hang on, hang on. You want Christmas on the damn, I'll give you Christmas. Where's your sweaters? I have no idea. This is for Rob and Kim Miller. Yeah, Drop, okay. Dropping change everywhere. Hell, give me that. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar for quarters. It makes me holler. Hey, hey. Whoa. Two dollar, two dollar, two dollar. Hi, ADP Pickle Boy, what's up? I have been a part of the Army for three years. And last year I got into a lot of you I got into a lot of your videos. Uh Pickle Boy got me throw it my name I and Ian Miller. And I am eleven years old. He drew a nice picture. And Amy Roberts from Texas. The stars at night are big and bright. 
deep in our that's Texas. <laughs> Steers and do the stomp again. Say it again. I guess. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> My name is Amy, and I'm 28 years old. And I must say, I really enjoy watching your videos. My father passed away May 5th, 2013. And you remind me so much of him. You look and sound a lot like him. Your videos help me not miss him so much. I had a failed surgery in March of this year and was stuck in bed for six months. Your videos help make that time in the bedroom go by. Please say hello to Pick a Boy and Bridget for me. You are a kind and, and thank you for showing us who who you are and you deserve it always Amy all right Amy thank you so much darling and I'm sorry about your dad and I really hope you get to feeling better dear grandpa my name is Dominique and I'm 14 years old and I'm one of your biggest fans and you're the funniest grandpa I ever seen whenever I'm sad I always watch you to make me make my day I've been watching you for over two years now sincerely Dominique this is from Matthew Hughes from Georgia Georgia George, 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 shut up! Sorry. That was the night that the lights went out in Georgia. Didn't the That's the night that they hung an innocent man. Isn't that the chick from Mama's family? Yeah. Yep. yep. So don't trust your life to no backwards southern lawyer. Cause the judge in the town got blood stains on his hands. Dear Grandpa, my name is Matthew. I've been a fan of your show for a couple of years now. And I saw the first liquid ass prank that pick a boy pulled on you I remember that shit sorry that you had to move that first house fuck boy I agree I know that this won't be at your house but by mailbag Monday but I had to ask you some something do you hate stupid people I don't know I get along with Michael pretty good well listen to this on Sunday December the 7th at 9 central on the Discovery Channel, a man will be will feed himself into a 35 foot green anaconda. I know you will watch it. Hell yeah, I will. That'll be good. If he didn't, I will write you another letter telling you about it. Until then, see you on YouTube. A man will feed himself to a fucking snake. That motherfucker ain't right. Speaking of snake, just shut up. <laughs> she don't, Dad don't know what we got planned for today. What the fuck you doing, Michael? Go away. Don't worry about it. Hannah, back up, babe. In the laundry room. I ain't going to the laundry room. The dad don't know. Get him! Ah! Dear ABGP, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your putting a huge ass smile on my face when I watch y'all and when I get mad, I watch you and you cheer me up and I just lost one of my best friends not too long ago. He was not only my friend, he was my mentor. He died at the age of 50, and I'm 15. And I looked up to you in many ways. And I want you to call me one day when you get a chance. I'm a really huge fan. And tell Pick a Boy to fuck himself. I hate a lot fuck you, Pick a Boy. You know, man, I was just about to say to call this kid right now. He would have said, fuck me. Maybe I should call him. What? Hello? Who is this? Who you think this is, bro? This Clayton? Yeah. This is Angry Grandpa. Really? Hell yeah. Fuck Pickle Boy. I got your letter. I'm reading a Monday mailbag. No, uh -uh. This Monday mailbag, and I'm taping you right now for my video. Fuck Pickle Boy. This is Pickle Boy. Yeah, this is Pickle Boy. What's up? What's up? I called you because you said... Right. You said... I'm a, I'm a really big fan of y'all. And I have uh, had really bad anger problems. And I watch him... I watch your... I watch your angry grandpa to calm me down. And I remember the first time I watched him, I thought he was crazy as hell. Why do you say fuck Pickle Boy? Because he... He's mean to you. Yeah, he's mean to me. He's to be mean to you. <laughs> well, who's meaner, him or Bridget? Uh, fuck Bridget. I like Michael better. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget, he don't like you. Why do you like me? Because you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's my speech of mine. Sorry. Hey, you know what, know what uh, break my favorite? Which one? Uh, the bowling drink. Yeah, that way it wasn't no funny to me. Yeah, it was good. This is from Nicholas Gregory. Pop? WWE? It's a John Cena pop toy. Cool. Well, thank you, niggas. I appreciate it. This is from Josh. Maybe. Maybe it's from Josh. Maybe it's from Josh, and maybe it's from North Carolina. I don't know. Maybe. This is a maybe bag. Cool. Oh, it's signed. WrestleMania. That thing is signed. It is signed. Signed by a lot of people. It's a lot. Oh, let's look at this. If you can make out names. It probably tells you who it is. You shouldn't have sent us this, man. Hey, man, I love these things. Shit. Is there a letter? I'm getting to it. Okay. What the hell is that? Well, I'll take me a couple of them. I don't think so. I don't think you don't even like them, Bridget. What are they? Orange slices. Ew. Me and Dad bonded over these as a kid. No lie. Man, God, I love them more. Me places. too. Do you think, Grandpa? I'm Josh, maybe, and I am from Kernsville, North Carolina. Maybe. Maybe. And I really enjoy watching all your videos. Maybe. My first video when I started watching was Pick a Boy. Was forced to do the PS4 treasure hunt. Maybe. I watched it. <laughs> I, I lost my last grandfather to Alice Alzheimer's. I felt after that, watching your videos, really wish you could be my grandfather. I am your grandfather, if you're my youngin'. From Mike, Michael, what's your name? Biscuit. I got damn like the marsh slices, man. I can't stop. I'm addicted to motherfucker. Happy Thanksgiving. Make I a turkey and a Christmas tree. Oh, so he, hey, made you, he made you a card. Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and are nice to each other the whole day. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas and that and a New Year. Congrats on 100,000. Oh, oh right there. YouTube button. Cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Christopher and I am from Orlando, Florida. My favorite video is the George Zimmerman verdict. And the Casey verdict. Keep up the good work and give me a shout out. Christopher, tell Picky Boy and Bridget I said hi. And I got your Skype, so I'll put it over here with the other Skype name. Hey! <coughs> He's not this is from Ethan Finch. Finch, that's that a bird? Yeah, I think you're right. Think he flies around? The hell? Seattle! No, I can't change. I'll get that. Hey! I'm not sure if you remember, but I wrote you a letter back in May. I know you are a Panthers fan, but I know you would look good in a Seattle's beanie. I just saw one of your recent Monday Mailbags videos, and I think it is awesome that you call us your youngins instead of your fans. Ain't no such thing as a fan in my, my language, folks. You're all youngins. I also want, because you know, I feel like y'all are about my family. You know, y'all been my family for nine years, Christmas Day. I also want to let you know that I am having surgery on December the 4th because I have a hernia. Oh, man. Man, I, they, that sucks. But you'll come through all right. I know all about that hernia shit. I'll, they had me in a, in a, in a medically induced coma for three weeks. Woke up with air, with a tube down my throat. Hernias are absolutely horrible. Ethan, I'll be thinking about you, man. Good luck. About a week ago, I was calling the army, like I do every periodically. Cause Grandpa, and I, I want to thank you for joining the army. This particular night. I called. A grandmother answered the phone. 
It was a lengthy conversation. It was about a boy named Jesse. He's 16 years old. Has a lot of problems. So his, his mother died eight years ago. Now the grandparents are raising him. Whew. Anyway. Out of all the calls I've ever done, this one changed my life. Hello? May I speak to Jesse? Uh, Jesse's a bed. May I ask who's calling? This is the angry grandpa. Huh? The angry grandpa. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. You'll make his dream come true. Oh, really? Make mine too. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Special needs boy. Oh, really? Yes. He was born a preemie. He's been sick, a severe preemie. He's been sick. His mother was killed eight years ago on his grandmother. I told me my husband took him. He he has some mental illnesses. He's in a slow learner class. This will make his day. He just made this boy's day. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's angry grandpa, Jesse. Oh Can my I God! Give you talk? Uh, no. uh, would you talk to him, Angry Grandpa? I would love to. He wants to. He said yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, no. uh, yes. Hold on a minute, please. Sure, no problem. No, I got all the time you need. Okay. Hold on. He's he's there. Just uh, he wants to say he loves you. Yeah. No. He could yell. Oh my God. Jesse, how you? Oh yeah, Jesse, how you doing? You doing all right tonight? Okay, I'm scared. Let him just listen, then, okay? Just let him listen. Yeah, he's been through so much, and he has social disorders. He can only leave the house for two hours at a time. He loves you so much. You don't know what joy. I got to cry because you don't know what joy you have brought to this boy. He gets this despair. He gets this uh, uh, thing. He'll listen to you and he'll laugh. You pickle boy. He laughs so hard that it's not funny. You've been therapeutic for this child. And you're going to make me cry. No, you have. You and Pickle Boy have been therapeutic. When he started watching you, he gets surprised. He can't go to school sometimes and things, and he gets sick easy. He'll sit, and he'll listen to you, you two, and he'll laugh. He'll laugh so hard that it just brings joy to him. They hear you, people, you two. You don't know how much joy you brought to this poor boy. He's 16. He's not on. He's not on the level of sixteen-year-old. He can talk. He can do things, but he just ever since he's been born and lost of his mother. Yeah. Do you want to talk to him? Hold on, please. No problem. Okay. He said something. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jesse. Hello. Hi. Hi, Jesse. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. Ah, uh, yeah. You sound like you 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 sound like a million dollars, buddy. I love you. I love you too. But I love you, man. You just, you know, you made my day. No, you made my week, Jesse. I love you, Pickle Boy. I'll tell Pickle Boy I'm gonna call him as soon as I hang up. All right. And Jesse, you hang in there, and I'm putting you on my list to call more often. Okay. You're gonna be my best buddy. Yeah, you're my best buddy. All right, Jesse. You take care of yourself, okay? All right, okay. You know what? He's going to cry. Grandma. You know this to anger, Grandpa? Grandma, I have a lot of respect for you because, like me, I took on four grandchildren to raise by myself. Yeah, I, he, me and my husband are, are kind of old, but we've raised him. And we've took care of him for eight years since his mother was killed. <laughs> But do you mind if I call yeah, back again sometimes just to check on him? Yeah, you can call and check on him sometimes, you know. But like I said, he's going to go to school. He's going to tell people. But like I said, you're a boy. I've been a blessing to this child. 
the his therapist that comes to the house because he has to be on special medicine. He has to have a therapist come to the house to sit there and watch you one time. And, watch, and, and he sat there and watched Jesse laugh. He said, the best therapy for this boy is watch him laugh with you and pick a boy and everything. You know, he said he likes to do arts and crafts and things. You know, maybe I could get out of the shop and he can call again or something someday. I will call. I will be calling, and I'm gonna have Pickle Boy call too. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't think he would someday. He, he would. He just sat there and just smiled. He don't know what to do. <laughs> you made this man today, honey. Oh God, did you ever make his day? Well, Grandma. I mean, I think so. I'm going to get out here so you can make other phone calls and you pick a boy, have a Merry Christmas, and God bless you too. Hey, God bless you and, t and tell Jesse I'm thinking about him. Okay, love you. Love you guys with Christian love. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You know, I have one, one of my youngins bought a shirt, right? And they happen to live in Somerville. What the hell I want to mail it for? I'm going to take it to them. Y'all come on and go with me. postman today awesome and you get your hand delivered all right thank you how long you been watching much. about two three years two long, three years long time hey long woman time. what's wrong with you oh i love it my whole family does your whole family who's that intro where are you at tyler angry grandpa how you doing man I'm good nice to meet you nice to meet you too you ready for christmas yeah what's santa claus bringing you don't tell me you don't believe it <laughs> Santa Claus that wallet. Boom. <laughs> anyway, I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas and I like I say I want to deliver the shirt myself. I appreciate it. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Merry Christmas Bye. to you. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How about you? Hey, if I was any better, I couldn't stand it. I was gonna say, it looks like you're having a good time. You make enough noise with that thing. I do. How you doing? How you doing? Charlie Green, Bruce. Alright, Dad, it is time for Mailbag Monday. Yeah, you, and today you got it right. That's right. Today you got it right. So, uh, Grandpa wouldn't want to meet with me uh, all week. He didn't want to do the Mailbag Monday video. And so I had to wait until Monday to do the Mailbag Monday video. Well, it's Mailbag Monday. Well, now, and now it is. Angry Grandpa, this is from Dorothy Mitchell. From Tennessee. Oh, a Christmas card of a little doggy. Oh, a little doggy. Uh, love Dorothy and Jason. Let's see. And I got a letter. It says, I am 24 and watch your videos since the pickle pinwheel video was out. I lost my dad last year to health issues. Your videos takes my sadness away and my depression away. And my Skype name is. So we have one for Skype. This is from Santa Claus, North Pole, in Canada. <laughs> Santa Claus, right, AGP. <laughs> I like that. Christmassy, Dad. Christmassy. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Alright. That ho, ho, ho sounded more like a pirate. Yo, ho, ho. Where's yeah. your hat? Shut up. Hello, friend, dearest Charles. Oh, I like that. Dearest Charles. Dearest Charles. I just sat down for my third cup of hot chocolate. When mi hot chocolate! Shit! That's what you need for the hot chocolate! So with that damn moonshine! <laughs> there you go. 
The weather here was just perfect. Lots of snow and cold temperatures. And we did have a strange ice fog on the weekend that you know, he writes too damn long. Look at all this shit he wrote. That's Santa Claus. He wrote me a letter. Let's see what No Wiki said. Oh, No Wiki sent me a picture. Oh, he sent me a Christmas card of him and his wife and two. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. I like getting. Uh, excuse me, pictures of my youngins. Oh, God, you just disrespected the whole family. Oh, shut up. Hey, Grandpa, hey, Nikki Nowicki here. You can call me Nicole. If you could please hang our picture on your fridge, then put on your Santa beard and give a shout out to, what, to my two-year-old Elena. Tell her to behave and quit eating sticks of butter. Child, you eat sticks of butter? <laughs> Is you a sick puppy? <laughs> Elena! I'll come down that chimney and cut you behind. You keep eating that damn butter. Dear AGP, my name is Leon, and I love I love your videos. They are funny. I have a question for you. What is the most embarrassing story you have you ever have on Michael? Oh no 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 no! no. When Michael was a little boy, come on, don't say. School it. one time, he shit his pants. Oh. And they called me like nine o'clock in the morning to him, Mr. Green. Michael done poo poo his pants, and I had to bring in some clean ones. Made me so damn mad. I think I got there like 12 o'clock and later. God. I made him sit like three hours in the nurse station with stinky ass, smelly, poopy pants. Oh my God. <laughs> and, he, and, and he was so damn embarrassed. He never pooped his pants again though. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, he did because grandma made you wash him in the damn toilet. You were crying, man. You were just like, oh my God. And people walking by, you going, damn. Yeah. Who's, hey. who's that stinky ass fucking kid? <laughs> Come on, man. Well, they did. People were laughing at you, man, because you smell like shit. Something funny, Bridget? That's, that's really funny. I don't know funny. what the hell you ate that day, man, but you were dead. I ain't lying. Something crawled up your ass and died. God, man. I think I brought your pants like about 12 o'clock. You were so happy to get them. I think I wanted to go home. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't let you go home. This ain't right, man. And then they give me your dirty clothes. I took them outside and threw them in the fucking, <laughs> on top of the bushes. I wouldn't take them up. <laughs> you threw my clothes in I, the bushes? I ain't taking school? your sticky ass drawers home. Hell no. So you left them in the bushes at the school? Yeah. And this is from No Name. Ain't no names. Oh, nice, pretty little Christmas card. To my old grandpa and Bridget from Canada, we are wishing you a bright holiday season and a very merry new year. Your videos are really funny and I love the pranks. My favorite prank was the Walking Dead prank. I didn't like that too much. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. It was amazing. You got everybody together to pull a, pull a funny joke on AGP. The most have taken a lot of teamwork. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this is Sincerely Christina. Thank you, Christina. This box is for Ryan Bird and Caleb Dyer from Bath, South Carolina. Bath, South Carolina? Yeah. I never heard of that. <laughs> oh my, why'd you give him that? I tried that out. We got Little Debbie Christmas trees. We got some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Got some pinwheels. Ooh, they got them to do Butterfinger peanut butter cups. I want one! You, might, oh, you keep loving because you ain't getting Melissa Randazio. Bacon makes everything better. Haha, <laughs> oven mitts. Oven mitts, I guess I do need them. Oven mitts, hey, what's that? What's this? <laughs> my name is, my name is Hi. And you can kiss my ass. His name is Hi? Hi. God, man, you have lost all imagination, haven't you? You can't even come up with the name of a puppet <laughs> off the top of your head? <laughs> what happened to you? Oh shit. What I broke my glasses, oh. god damn it. <laughs> I didn't know you had snakes in here. Oh shut up! Damn, if I'm gonna finish this I gotta fix my goddamn I break my goddamn glasses. You may need your eyes to you because there's a spider lowering at you right now. You don't see it right there! Shut up. Dad, look, right there lowering from the ceiling. And I'm telling you shut the fuck up! 
This ain't never just trash. <laughs> <laughs> ain't never goddamn pimp. <laughs> ain't even got a name on this shit. Man, shit. Send me a false trash. Man, fuck that shit. <laughs> this is from Lee Schreckenberg. From Kennedy. From Candy? Where's Candy? Canada, dumbass. You said candy! I see anything. Oh, there's a fire heaven. Got some Cheetos! I got Uncle Sam! They had they sell Uncle Sam in Canada? That's 10. Quartz rocks. Got some bags of old Dutch. Oh, that's good shit. That's some cookies. Hello from a young Saskatchewan, Canada. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, well, whatever. I can't pronounce it. I am almost as old as you, Grandpa, but I'm still your youngin'. I am typing this because my handwriting is not the greatest. You read mine. I came across your YouTube by accident about a year and a half ago and have been a fan ever since. My favorite videos are when you visit your mama's grave. The Sastrami video episode. There, these are some samples of potash taken from 3,500 feet below the surface. These are? These are, yeah. Wow. Wow. It has produced about 250 million tons in the last 25 years. It is used, made in fertilizer. You can touch it on your tongue. Try it. I will. What does it do? I don't know. We're going to find out. I'm going to check this up my tongue. Thank you so much. I'm going to try it right now. Uh, I'll try anything once. What did it do? Salt! Try it! What if we're being poisoned right now? You are to get my damn blood pressure up. Woo, that's salty! Damn! Holy crap! Tastes like dad's cookies. Oh, shut up. Well, let's try these. Let's see what this is. These are supposed to be produced in Canada. Some kind of a garlic chip. Hmm. Are they different? Yeah. Them damn good. Mm -hmm. Hey, send me some more of these. <laughs> I'll take it to send me. It's rare that dad finds something that he actually likes. Damn, it's good. You in the get out of my gym. I can't have any? Hell no, they're mine. It's time of the wonderful time of the year. I'll be Skyping some youngins and having some fun. And I'm spreading some cheer this year. I'm ready to go. Skype call. Skype call. Angry Santa. Angry Santa. Anything else I got to say? I'm, I, I, wait, have you got your hand up my ass? I wasn't. Am I a puppet? I wasn't telling you to say that. I was saying it. Am okay. I a puppet? You got your hand up my ass telling me what to say? I wasn't telling you what to Are say. Are you a goddamn ventriloquist now? I was not telling you what to say. I was just saying it's. I was doing like a host. It's Santa Claus with Angry Santa. That's what I was doing. It'll be a blue Christmas Whoa. without you. What's that supposed to mean? Slice your ass. And I won't think about you. Okay, Dad. I'll be taking your butt, throw it underneath my truck. Yes, she is. Hi, Bridget. Hey. Are we are we talking to the UK? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Um, well, I've asked for How I Met Your Mother, season one tonight. You want to know you want How I Met My Mother? I came out there she was. <laughs> How'd you meet my mother? I hell, that was I. But uh, it was it was it was. I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> it was a blind date, and I was blind. Do you really expect me to climb my fat ass down your chimney and give you presents under a fucking tree tonight? <laughs> I want to see my tree. You better have a quart of Jack Daniels waiting on my fat ass. 
Yes, I have uh, some spirit of you. Hey, that's good. I can handle that. Yeah. I fucking love you, man. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I love you too. Where are you from, Lucas? Sweden. Sweden? Yeah. I should tell that. Damn, you speak good English, man. You guys eat that strumming over there? You guys like it? Yeah, not me, but... You like that shit? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to call? You get it. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Dear Grandpa, hey, you want to see my tree? Yeah, let me see your tree. Man. Can I tear it up? I made the star myself out of origami. Oh, oh that's, that's nice, man. I like that. Oh, my God. Hey, check it out. I got your fucking autograph, too. But <laughs> awesome. I like that. I like that. What's up, dude? And it's an honor to talk to you, though, man. I've been a fan for... Very long time. Hey, uh, you're a young and you're not a fan. I don't have fans. Oh, I'm a young and damn. You're a young and. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's you! Oh god! Oh my god. I am so happy and surprised! Oh lord! How can this be real? Oh my god. You're lying to me. Put two fingers up. What the fuck? No way! You got all three of us! Oh my, oh my god. Are you gonna pass out, oh. dude? Are you alright, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay now. Oh, oh my god, awesome. Oh, oh my god, he's gonna pass out, Michael. Oh shit! Get him some water! God damn! Whoa. Get you a cup of something, man. Hey, sit back, breathe, okay? It's alright. Okay, okay, I'm gonna come. I'm okay now. Whoa. Dude! Whoa. Oh, look at it. Calm down, man, really. Take deep breaths, alright? Well, I want, I want the sky for you and take it out. Like, Merry, Merry Christmas. And you have a Merry fucking Christmas as well. I like that Merry fucking Christmas. Hallelujah! And pass the collection plate. Are you ready for Santa Claus? Yeah. And what are you getting for Christmas? Or do you already know? I don't know yet. What do you want? I don't know. I never make Christmas lists. I just get stuff. You just get stuff. That must be a nice one. That must be nice, Mike. Just get stuff when you're ready for it. Can I get something done? Hell no. I know what you want. Yeah, PS4, and I'm assuming you got it. Yeah, boy, I got you covered this year. Man, you, you ain't afraid of them goddamn spiders y'all got running around there? Nah. Where, the, where are they from? Australia. Well, they got some big ass. Y'all got Hobson now. Give Hobson back to us. We want Hobson. I said if she's nervous, she's gonna tell her off. Tell her off, Dad. Tell Kimberly off. Kimberly, you better kill them goddamn spiders, girl. Which one's your favorite? The one that Angry Grandpa's messy is Michael's table. Ha ha ha! PS4! Why did you do that, Angry Grandpa? That's not my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh my god, I need to go, man. Jesus, I'm gonna faint. Yeah, let's let me out. You have a nice Christmas, alright, buddy? Oh, you too. Merry Christmas. And you go pass out somewhere now, alright? Okay. <laughs> Later, Bye. brother. Me too. He was about to pass out. Well, that's it for Skype calls. And later on, I'll be making the phone calls. And they'll be up tomorrow night. Because they're going up on Christmas this year. So enjoy the Skype calls. And Merry Christmas. And I hope Santa Claus brings you what you want tonight. Bye, youngins. That's it. Turn it off. Where's your Santa hat? I got to wear the Santa hat too. Right way this time for your ex. Oh, man. You're a pain to ass, Michael. Oh. Right way, I said. There you go. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry. Now turn it off. I'm done. I'm done. Well, Dad. It's been mail a while. bag. Mail bag Monday. You keep telling me not to come over. You keep telling me you don't want me over here. I'm here. It's officially Monday, and it is mail mail bag Monday. Monday. No sir. You seem so enthused to have me here. Well, I was going to mention the theater yesterday. Yeah, what was that? We'll talk about that later. All right. This is from Charles Bowman. And Charles writes on a half piece of paper. Dear Angry Grandpa, me and my brother Ty love your videos. By the way, my name is Charles. Uh, hey, your name's Charles. That's a good name. Ty Bowman, 
Keep watching my videos. Oh, say, Ty Bo, Ty Bo, keep watching my videos. Diane. I can't, can you make that out? It's Diane Gonzalez. Dear Pickle Boy and Aunt Grandpa, my name is David Gonzalez, and I am writing to you from Los Angeles, California. I think you guys are the most funniest people I've watched on YouTube. You are what helps me get through the day and help me see what's, what's, what real people are all about. I think, I thank you for this and that I hope you guys and Bridget have a happy holidays. I just got this this week. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Dude, how many people use the same stamp? Who is? Must be a popular stamp. There's a Santa Claus stamp. Let's open Santa Claus up. Oh. And this is from B. Pease. From Clarkstown, MI. Michigan? Michigan. Grandpa, pick a boy, not Bridget. <laughs> I do. Hi, my name is Britt. I've been watching your videos since 2011, and my whole family would always wonder what I was watching. I told them, Grandpa, they asked me, what's that mean? So I showed who you guys were, and my mom loves you guys' videos. So then my whole family was hooked on watching Angry Grandpa videos and Kid Behind the Camera. My mom's favorite video is the Ebola prank on Michael. It was so funny. P.S. My name is Brent. I'm 13 years old. My brother's name is Owen. He's nine years old. And my other brother's name is Connor. He is seven years old. And we live in Michigan. Thank you so much for that letter. And this is from Jacob McCain. Jacob gave me some questions. Dear Michael and Bridget and Angry Grandpa, I really like your YouTube channel. And I watch it every day. I'm a big fan of your of you guys and videos. It makes me laugh and cry. I show my family your videos and they think it's really awesome. I love this question. Grandpa, when is Bridget gonna have a baby? <laughs> oh. One day. Whenever we break up and she meets a new boyfriend? <laughs> I'm just kidding. When does Michael and Bridget and Aunt Grandpa do an ultimate cook-off? That's a good because question. Because Michael's chicken shit. No. We were going to do a cook-off in November, and he chickened out. We never used any of the video. Uh, we were talking about doing a turkey cook-off or a baked macaroni and cheese cook-off, and for some reason, it never happened. Because you're chicken. What? I, I'm the one who laid down the gauntlet, and you wouldn't even let me use it on my vlog. I'll pick it up in March. And this is from David McNay. Hi. I'm David McNay. I'm 11 years old. I watch Angry Grandpa. Why are you keep making that face for? Because God damn it, you cannot cook me. You better stop thinking you can. You understand me? The, you cannot do it. Okay. Maybe I can. I think Michael and Billy should have to replace everything you break. Yeah. No. Thank you, David. Hi, my name is Dion Good, and me and my brothers Gerald, Jamar, and Jeremiah love you. Watching your videos, the first video we watched was Aunt Grandpa Hates Taco Bell Breakfast. Our favorite video was Olive Garden Prank. We had you guys do more pranks so we can laugh. We are from Baltimore, Maryland. Man, they got some good crab in Baltimore. You know, as much as Grandpa hates talk about breakfast, not so much on talk about dinner. He's a fan. Grandpa bought the Taco Bell 12 pack today. Yeah. And Grandpa, can you spell I cup? Can I? Can, of course, I can spell I C U P. Well, I cup. I cup. I C U P. I right C U P. I cup. What I got it? that shit. I ain't stupid. What is that? I don't get it. Why would we want you to spell that? I don't know. I C U P. I C U P. I oh, see. Oh God! Like urine. Like pee. What? Like piss. <laughs> oh, that. I ain't reading that one no more. I'm done. I won't. What do we got here? Ah! 
Why do you always open packages like that? It scares me. Ah! What? You scare me when you do that. From Marcus. Bring it! Yeah, those are socks for Bridget. Damn! They're Easter colors! I got your Easter color. You like them? I love them. Socks make her so happy. I love socks. Oh my god. Ah! Jesus. Hell? That was fun! I got them! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> This is Marcus. Same guy? Same guy. This better be the me. If it ain't me and Marcus, that word. How you even get into the damn thing? <clears throat> they do not want you to get this thing out. I get Oh my god. Careful! I'll get the damn thing out. That did all well, but I get it! Jesus Christ! You get into the rocky spirit. If you smell what grandpa is cooking. Well, I was talking about the rock. You were doing the rocky too. Fuck the rock. Yeah, you're doing the rocky theme. That's, you know, that's in Philadelphia. We can see the rocky statue. Oh, man, you had to remind me of that shit. Well, that takes care of mailbag money. Wait, what, what about this thing? It's a sword. Oh, shit. I didn't see it. Hell yeah! Another sword. I love getting swords. Oh, I'm frightened. This one looks big. Man, I, lo I love getting weapons. I love getting weapons more than anything else. Oh my oh, god! Oh man! Oh my god! Oh shit, Michael! Oh my god! Look at that, Mike! Man! That's nice, buddy. Look at that. Oh. oh, man. I love it. Oh, you just took that tip off. Nice. That thing is super nice, Dad. Marcus. Marcus? Marcus. This Marcus is Jerome Dodd. Wow, Marcus. Marcus, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Man, Marcus, I love it. That takes care of Mailbag Monday. And if you think about bringing it into my house, think again. God, I love good weapons. So thank you much. See you next week. I'll see you when I get back from Philly. Philadelphia. Bye. AGP here. People write me today, ask me where was I doing Charlie Manson was going down. Well, at that particular time, I was in California. Oh man, look at that bike. Now that's a bike. He got that sucker for sale. That's a good looking bike, man. Yeah, I was in California at the time. And I was fucked up. I was, let me see, back then I was, I was doing mescaline. 
acid, speed, smoking my weed. What? Man, I did so many goddamn drugs. But you grow up sometime. You grow up sometime. Who you following, man? Who you following my ass? You, somebody needs to call a law. You had this motherfucker arrested. He's, I don't know. If I could. They couldn't take me. They'd have to lock me up for good. <laughs> hey, you get three hots of the cop, man. <laughs> hey, you have no idea. Them late cops, them have to strip me down. I'm a bad boy. I'm a spanking. Ooh, man. <laughs> Bam, he bad. But anyway, back to my vlog. Charlie Mass with a little short shit. And he had them people goddamn brainwashed. They thought he was the son of God. He had everybody believe in that shit. But, and all he was, his mama was a whore. You know, she was a prostitute. He didn't know who his goddamn daddy was. So he was, had his own little world. You know, he played the guitars, you know. And he used to hang out with, with one of the Beach Boys. And they arrest his ass. That's all I can say about Charlie Manson, you know. The rest is in the, you know, Google the motherfucker. What the fuck? Why are you following me? You told me you wanted to bring you some meat. Well, I'll be there. I'll walk on back home now. What are the odds of that? You're recording. You got a goddamn vehicle behind you. Why the hell are you following me? Okay, now we got a personal problem. Yeah, we do. Whoa, oh, you, you won't joking. fight me. I'm joking. Here comes Albert. Oh, look at the spin the goddamn basketball do. Zoom in on this. <laughs> oh, hey, look at him, Albert. Albert, king of the circus. Yeah, the end record. What's that guy's name? Jordan. Slow down, Albert. Oh. Now, what the hell is this? I Jacob, said, you got a chauffeur? Yeah. Damn, boy. He thinks he's Michael it. Jordan. Spin that ball. Oh. oh. You remind me of Ben Hur riding a chariot. Easter desserts as fried by Angry Grandpa. Now, poon. All right. Okay, it goes into the batter. Into the grease. Oreo into the batter. Into the grease. Charge your sandwich. Sandwich. Into the batter. Into the grease. The red belt will start to come unravel. Yeah, it is. I never made this though, too. Well, of course. Something new. I remember the Twinkie was my favorite last time. Yep. Twinkie in. Alright. Oh, I got. Oh! Oh my god. That's good. That's good. Want to try a bite, Gino? No. No. Hot shit with cream. You know what it needs to be called? What? Fried diarrhea creator. Oh. That's true. Okay, red velvet cake. Man! Oh, that is fucking awesome! It's so hot. It's so good. Wow. That's good. These are dynamite. Okay, next up, it is a Reese's Bunny Rabbit. But now we are frying up some Easter candy. Hey, it can't, it can't be. It's Easter, you gotta fry Easter candy. Cadbury eggs. Cadbury eggs. <laughs> oh, they ain't sticking to it. Really? You just do it and see what happens, right? That's it. Holy crap. 
This was going nuts. This is going crazy in that chocolate. The chocolate oozes out of the batter. <laughs> Snicker. Snicker. <laughs> and they coming back up. <laughs> Doing this so it doesn't get stuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, we lost it. <laughs> we lost it. What the hell? Wait a minute. We lost it. Fuck. We lost it. Oh my god. <laughs> like a rabbit shit. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to peep. Marshmallow. You better get this good and covered, man. You better have that run down your face. It ain't going to cover. All right, let's try it. But for the hell of it. What are you gonna do it by itself? Just do a minute. Oh man. We peeping the peep. Burn, you motherfucker, burn! That thing turned off, oh, it's starting to eat, ooze through, look. Yeah, I know, I see that. I'm melting, I'm melting! I like Super Buzz Bobs again. Yeah. I can't believe this one turned out all right. Hey, we ain't tasted it yet. This one just ain't doing shit. Look at. I can't believe it's like being held together still. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this. Now it's time to try the peep. There's the peep. Ain't bad. Here we go, let's try the beef. Ain't bad. Greedy as fuck, but ain't bad. The edge is like eating a sweet fried dough. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Cadbury egg. That was it, right? Yeah. Good? All right. Bridget, get over here. Fried Cadbury. Oh my god. Mmm. Look up. So that's it. We fried up a bunch of Easter candy. The Snicker was a fail. Was it that the Snicker cream? Well this we only did one Snicker. Yeah, you're right. The Snicker was a fail. The Oreo cookie was delicious. The cookie, that was my favorite one. Yeah, mine too. So that's it. Fried Easter candy with Angry Grandpa. The next fry we do, I'm gonna teach you how to make elephant ears. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh this is gone. Old so man cut that. You gotta pull it back. Get over here, Michael. Let me get that stuff. Let me get that stuff. There you go. Got it. I'm the barber of Seville. Hey, this shit's dull, man. It ain't cutting shit. Take that blade off of it. No, it's going. It's going. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, what's up? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far back. I'm the barber. I'm the man gonna cut your hair. Don't ever make a bet that your ass can't catch a hair. Cause I'm really busy and I'm cutting your motherfucking hair. Get a nice picture for your Facebook. I know. Looks so good. <laughs> 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 oh, they gotta get over here now. Shit. Grandpa's having the time of his life. He really is having too much fun. Oh my god, I got a shake! He's starting to look like the uh, the old man off of Phantasm. Easy, boy. Maybe maybe it'll become a new trend, and you'll be forever famous. This will never become a trend. Yeah. <laughs> so how long do you have to walk around like this? A month. <laughs> a month. Oh man. <laughs> Any more? Let me see. Good. 
Just get a little closer to the skin. Get it on the skin. Oh, in that case, then. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Just throw it. Oh, man. Dad's having the time of his life. Now I never felt the having the time of my life. And I owe it all to your dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god damn, I'm Dude, sorry! Cut him. I'm fucking sorry! Oh my god. Oh man, I'm fucking sorry. I swear to god I am. Oh fuck, man. Dad, what are you doing? Oh, son of a bitch. Somebody get one of them guys. Dude, he's running down his head. <laughs> Ew, it's getting stuck in my other hair. Ah -ha! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make Michael some brownies. Yes, I am. Some good brownies. Let's see, hmm. What do I want to do? I'm gonna figure out a way to do this so I can show y'all what I'm doing. As AGP, cooking with grandpa, makes brownies for Michael. Let's see. Oh goodness, there, y'all see? The brownie mix. La 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 Okay, take the brownie mix. And as you see, he ain't too special. He getting the cheap shit. That's what I'd eat. Ain't nothing, ain't no different. Oh, brownie, brownie. Now let's see. It calls for an egg per pack, so he's gonna get two eggs. Two eggs and the mm. I love him so much. Well goddamn, drop a shell and all in there. Yeah, goddamn. That's one egg. And that's two eggs. So as you see, I got Dave. Let me stir them in now. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Let me see, where is it? Ah. We gotta make him special brownies. Let's make him good brownies. Chocolate flavored egg slaps. Oh, la la la. Hey, goddamn, get out of here. La 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 la. Oh. La 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 la. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Hell, that ain't enough. Let's give him another pack. Stir it up now. These are gonna be the best brownies Michael ever had. Ooh, we got a little chunks in there. You see the egg slice is gonna melt and blend right in with the brownie mix. All right. Damn, I made a swim pool. Look at that. Ah, damn. Got oil all over my hands. Y'all think Michael gonna enjoy these brownies? Motherfucker better. Cause Grandpa making them in love.
Grandpa Sneakin. Brownies for Michael. I hope my baby boy enjoys it. Please enjoy this baby doll, because Papa's made it just for you. Okay, now we take them and we slide them in the oven. And there we'll let it sit for about 30, 45 minutes. Michael, darling, Papa loves you. And I'm bringing you some special brownies because I, I, I want to change the shitty outlook you got on life. Something like that. There is Michael's. Oh, goddamn hot. Those are Michael's special brownies. They're going to give him a new outlook on life. Okay, I'm going to let that cool. I'm going to take him out and wrap him up. And in a little while, I'm going to Michael's. Taking Pickle Boy a surprise. Daddy got a cake for you, cake for you, cake for you. Daddy got some brownies for you. Eat them all up. Ha ha! Yesterday morning, John Hensley passed away. I got the call from a good friend, Shooter Jennings, who told me about John. John Hensley was more than a, my friend. John Hensley was my brother. John Hensley and I talked pretty much every day. If something was going bad, he just needed somebody to talk to, he'd reach out to me, and things that were bothering me and had me going, I could reach out to John. I'm gonna miss that phone going off every day I'm going to miss, I, I'm never taking John's name off my phone. I'm never taking his text off my phone. John meant a lot to me. John meant a lot to anybody that came in contact with him. John Hensley would give you the shirt off his back. John Hensley, Shooter Jennings, and myself, all three of us are like brothers. Yesterday morning, a part of me died too. Yesterday morning was devastating news for me. Shooter called me to tell me about it. And then Michael called me and told me too. I should have done this yesterday, but I couldn't. I can't hardly do it today. John Hensley, you were part of my life. You're my family. You and Mary both. Mary, I'm reaching out to you. If, if you need to talk or something comes up, I'm here for you. Just, you know my number. I'm going to miss you, John Hensley. John Hensley is up there with Waylon now. Waylon, please watch out for John. Show him the ropes. Teach him what to do. John is a good guy. John, I'm gonna miss you from the bottom of my heart. Cause you were my brother. And the love that we shared for music, you and I would text and talk for hours about music. You're the one that sent me my first record player. You're the one that sent me my first records. You're the one that would tell me what kind of songs to get, what kind of records to look for. I want to get a jukebox because of you, John, because you had one and you were so in love with it that I wanted that same feeling, so I, you know, I'll try to get me a jukebox now. You were taken way too early from us, John, but God has a plan. I'm not going to say rest in peace, John. I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say later, my brother. I will see you again one day. So until then, later, my brother. I love you, John, and I'll miss you. But I'll still keep talking to you because I know you hear me. John Hensley, you will never be forgotten. Not in my eyes. Not in my lifetime. Later, brother. I love you. 
I'm a little sad today. I'm I'm really kind of upset. Charleston is known as the holy city. Again, people were murdered in a church. I don't fucking understand. The people go to, you go to church, that's your sanctuary. That's where you can go and talk to your God. It's a place where when you have problems, you go and you talk to your pastor. On Wednesday nights, there's prayer meetings. You can't go to church now? Nine people died. Nine people can no longer go home to their families. They no longer can go to the church and pray and talk to their God and look for wisdom. Because of wood! What? Piece of fucking shit. One motherfucker who decides, well, he's going to take life. That God giveth, but he taketh away. Fuck you, man. And then you run off and you hide like a fucking rat on a ship. The call motherfucker runs to North Carolina. The cops don't just, just... Grab him and hold him like they did Eric Gardner. They don't grab him and hold him and subdue him like they did other people in the communities. Come on, boy, get in the car. You gotta go back to Charleston. You go. Oh yeah, you feel like you gotta face some murder charges. Come on, boy, get 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 in the car. We gonna walk you there. We ain't gonna handcuff you. Why? Why is he treated different? Oh. He's gonna go out, probably go out to the insanity plea. Bullshit! You weren't insane when you went and sat in that church for an hour, listen to that preacher preach. You weren't sit there. You weren't. You weren't insane when you decided you're gonna pull your gun out and start shooting randomly at unarmed people and to kill the pastor. Did you? You weren't crazy then, were you, bitch? Motherfucker, I don't want to see you get the death penalty. Nah, dying's too good for you. I don't want to see you in solitaire because they're afraid you're going to get, somebody's going to come after you. They need to come after you. They need to bunk you over them bars and they need to toss your salad like it ain't been salad tossed before. You need to be somebody's bitch in prison, bitch. You need to go to jail and be somebody's bitch. You don't deserve to die. You need to spend another hundred motherfucking years behind bars. You're 21 years old. You ain't never gonna see daylight again, bitch. Never, ever, ever, never, ever. This motherfucker did this on a day that we honor the death of the Charleston Nine. The firefighters that lost their lives in the hands of their fucking chief. Because the city wasn't covering them, they worried more about public relations that they did their own firefighters. And nine died. Nine died here. Same day, different year. What is going on around here? You know, I've had fucking enough. I, I can't. Come on, people, get your hearts right. And to the families of these nine, my heart goes out to you, babes. It's not a white thing, it's not a black thing, it's a people thing. Forget color for change. Stick together, people. Love one another, man. You know, I heard something yesterday that just kind of threw me. Dylan Root was arrested in Shelby, North Carolina. Now, it's a known fact, if you want to murder somebody and get off of it, go to Florida. 
Now it looks like if you want to be arrested like a gentleman, go to North Carolina. That fucking roof went into a church, spent an hour praying with the people, talking with them. Whole time, knew he was gonna goddamn kill him! Knew it! He runs like a goddamn, like a motherfucking rat on a ship. Where does he go? North Carolina. Motherfucking police get a report where he's at. There you go. Oh, Mr. Ruth. Uh, there's a warrant for your arrest. You killed nine people in Charleston, South Carolina, and you need to go back. But get in the car. We'll talk about it on the way. He ain't even got no goddamn handcuffs. Get in the car, Mr. 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 Ruth. We're going to escort you to jail. I'm hungry. Oh, Mr. Rue, ha, ha, ha. You hungry than y'all all, all having? Uh, you, uh, you know, what the fuck? You go to goddamn Burger King? You buy him a goddamn kid's meal? Did you let him keep the toy? What the fuck? If a man murders somebody, he goes to jail. In handcuffs. In the back of the car. Not riding in the back of the car. Yeah. I'm resting. Yeah. I'm hungry. Can y'all buy me something to eat? Oh my God, there's Burger King. Can y'all pull in there for me, please? I ain't got no money. Show, Mr. Roof. We'd be more than happy to buy you a burger. You dumbass motherfuckers. What? What are we having a goddamn uh, jailhouse baloney? They're trying to make you feel sorry for the motherfucker. Well, Mr. Roof had a child, had a hard childhood. He was he was probably mistreated as a child, coming up. Let me get you one goddamn thing right now. I was 13 years old! My goddamn daddy took all my clothes off me, put me in the shower, turned the water on, and beat the fuck out of me with a goddamn wire coat hanger! I bruised, I bruised, I bled! But I never went and killed nobody! Do not feel sorry for the shooter, people! He did what he wanted to do. It was his mindset. He wanted to kill people. He wanted to kill black people. He did it. Don't feel sorry for that motherfucker. Feel sorry for the ones that got left behind. The families that are no longer going to see their loved ones anymore. He's going to sit his life on death row. Yeah. He's going to burn in hell. Fuck him. I didn't fuck this shit. Murder God. Today I am making what I call AGP's hamburger pie lasagna. Look at that man, that hamburger's just a cooking man. Got my noodles cooking. Cause you know without noodles, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got no pie, you ain't got no goddamn lasagna, you ain't got nothing. If you want to cook it, I use a ragatoni, whatever you call them. Make sure you get your hamburger good brown, a little onion, a little garlic. You want to take your good, I use marinara sauce. A lot of people just use goddamn spaghetti sauce. Not me, bitch. I like marinara sauce. And as y'all know, I'm cheap, so I try to get all of it out. And you don't want it to burn. That's the number one rule. Don't let your sauce burn. Alright, I got the noodles cooking. I got the sauce simmering because I'm getting ready to add some cheese to it. Liquid cheese. I love cheese. And cheese is good for you. You put that in your sauce. Cause if anything, this ain't gonna be cheesy. You know, Grandpa, if it ain't, if you don't use bacon, then you gotta use cheese. Then you mix the noodles and the sauce together, and you're ready to start putting it together. So I'm gonna get it all ready for you, and when I come back, we're gonna, we're gonna build it. Be back. I got everything mixed. You put a layer down there. Nice layer. I'll say about three quarters to an inch thick. 
Then, you take your cottage cheese. Me, I don't give a fuck. And just kind of spread it around a little bit. Then, like I say, it's a cheeseburger hamburger pie, so got to have a little cheddar. Because a little cheddar is always better. And then you just continue the process. I love cottage cheese. I ain't gonna lie. Well, this is how it comes out with a big piece missing out of it. What happened there? I ate a piece. Oh, look at that big knife. I know, I filmed you eating a piece. I was joking. <laughs> it looks like shit, but guess what? They don't look like shit to me. I just had it. It's pretty good. I thought it was gonna be the one time you make get that camera off me. I thought it was gonna be the one time you make something that doesn't go disastrous. Get that camera off me. While I've been here at Dad's, I got a bunch of text messages from my boss, uh, from my friends that Rowdy Roddy Piper has passed away. Sad. One of my really early wrestling memories. Uh, I wasn't always a huge wrestling fan. And so one of my early memories, Dad, Grandpa was trying to get me to watch wrestling. And it was Halloween Havoc. And I remember that. Oh, Hulk Hogan, uh, I think he beat Macho Man. Yep. So he, Hulk Hogan had just oh, had a yeah. match. And next thing you know, the bagpipes started going off. And Dad went ape shit. Yeah. He went crazy. Piper! It's Piper! Piper. Yeah, really. <laughs> he, there he was in full light, man. Boom. That's one regret I got by. What? I never got to meet Roddy Piper. You know, back when I was, God, I must have been 20, 21, 22, something along there. Roddy Roddy Piper was a heel, right? Everybody hated Roddy Piper, man. He was bad. Well, Rowdy Roddy was on the streets of Charlotte, and some guy ripped off this old lady, grabbed her damn handbag, and started to run with it. Well, Roddy Piper grabbed him, beat his ass and give the woman back her pocketbook. Well, he didn't think nothing of it, you know, and he went on about his business. Well, every time he goes in the arena, the story got out about what he did. And Roddy, 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 Roddy Piper, everybody, instead of booing him anymore, no matter what, he could have got there and shit the guy's face. They went, yeah, Roddy! All because he did the right thing and beat up a dude for stealing a woman's pocketbook. So he had no choice but to turn good. Everybody loved him. He couldn't do no wrong. And that's when I really started liking Roddy Piper myself. I used to love him to come out there in the kilt, you know, and and blow his bagpipes and then beat the hell out of people. I loved it. Miss you, Roddy. Everybody wanted you to do Mailbag Monday again. What is that thing? What is this becoming? You just want to threaten me? This is the war room! Jesus Christ. Hey, don't get it. You ain't looked down yet. Oh my God. Dude. Okay, I get it. I'm, I'm not going to mess with you. Just AGP took an act, gave pick a board, 30 wax. Jesus, man. Stuck this end in his head. Now the motherfucker's dead. Ha!
<laughs> you are evil, dude. Uh. Yeah, I am. This is yours, though. That's got your name on it. Pickle Ball. All right, so let's go to your first letter on Monday morning. Show that new toy! Oh, the camera fell. There it is. Where did you get this thing? Hey, I bought it. That was a popcorn. Man, fuck this shit. Gotta have popcorn. How you gonna read the mail and you ain't got no popcorn? And they say, what I want? A little butter! That is too much. Who's eating this shit? Me or you? Gotta have a little salt. I know what you do. Roll the dice! Yeah! It's coming out the bottom. Damn, show me the third there. It's alright, I get the major key. Whoa! Yeah, that's mailbag money. Mmm, God, that's good. Everybody their own popcorn machine. Okay. Let me grab one. They're all good. What is this thing? It's just... I don't know. I don't either. Maybe you're looking at it. Maybe it's a... Oh, what have they done? AGP! Oh, okay. And they made it with your pictures. It's made it with my pictures. That's nice. I like that. And it came with a letter. It got a letter with it, too. And the letter says, Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Austin. I am 13, and I have been watching your videos for about three years now. Why don't you prank Michael more? He deserves it. He does deserve it. I agree with that. I do not. I need to talk about one thing with you. And by the way, if you get this on Mailbag Monday, don't read this part on camera. Okay. Bad situation, boo. Get out of it. You're young and truly Austin Newcan. P.S. Gordon Ramsay and Bobby Flay combined together can't even harness the power of your awesome cooking skills. Oh yeah, shooter rules. Yeah, right. you got it, brother. Hey, you what up? No, no man. bullshit. Gordon you, Ramsay ain't that no bitch. You, you know that. You need to judge fuck up. You think you could cook better than Gordon Ramsay and Bobby Flay combined? Oh, come on, Bobby Flay. He ain't Bobby Flay. He can't cook today better than me. There, in no way, shape, or form, can you outcook Bobby Flay and Gordon. It's just not. I can outcook Bobby Flay. You need to. You to <laughs> I can outcook. Can I outcook Bobby Flay? Keep calm and watch the Angry Grandpa show. Not a bad picture. Dear Angry Grandpa, I hope you like the picture I drew you. I hope it is good enough to make to your wall. It is. It's going. Uh, make your wall, do your wall. You are the best YouTuber and prankster on YouTube. You have inspired me to do much more with my life. Well, good. You know, if, that's, if, 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 if you do one thing in life, I hope. I, I, I'm happy. Uh, when I am sad, I always watch your pranks on, on Pickle Boy. And it always makes me laugh. This comes from Kimberly Land. In Bristol, Virginia. Oh, looks like I got a picture here. <laughs> SpongeBob. To Angry Man Bob, Pickle Boy, and Bridget from Kim. I love you guys. That's sweet. Dear Angry Man Bob, Pickle Boy, and Bridget. Hey, I'm a huge fan and I watch your show all the time. Some of them I watched two times. <laughs> and more because they they are so funny. Hey hey grandpa, my name is James Bozar, and I'm a big fan of yours. Please write back. 
and here is one dollar. Well, thank you for the dollar. And to be honest with you, I got plans for that dollar. It's going to be put up. It's going to be put up for November for Thanksgiving. And I'll be explaining more later about that. That just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I am serious. That literally just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> the angry grandpa. The mo I'm joking. Shout out my mom. Happy birthday. Dear Harden. It will make her day. She watches every video. Please do this. Please do this. It's a B-Day present for my mom. What's the name? Am I right about that? Is it, does that say Dear Harden? Maybe Dara? Dara Harden? Yeah, Dara Harden. Okay, back up. Let's do this right. That way. I was gonna be in- You ain't gonna be in this! Okay. Happy birthday. Happy oh, God! What <laughs> is <laughs> God, that hurt. <laughs> Just chill out, dude. You all right? Stop it! You all right? Stop, Dad! Oh my God! Am I all right? Am I all right? You think I'm all right? Oh my God! Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Had stop, dude! Dude, you're gonna put a hole through your floor if you do this. It's time to stop. Calm down, Dad! Calm yourself! Oh, we gotta do something about- Oh, God! Mr. K down here at Mr. K's Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. You and I are going to buy a bunch. We won't, he, he's putting together what it would cost to feed a family of four. Turkey, the dressing, 
the uh, mac and cheese, the beans, the cranberry sauce. Just put that all in a box. I'm talking to the school now. It's find out how many people they've got on the list, you know, that really need help for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And I think it's, it's going to average about $12 a box. What do you think? That's great, yeah. I, it's just been bothering me. I've been, I mean, they've been doing some talking about how this this year there's a lot of homeless, there's a lot of people that don't have their, you know, they're, they're buying a lot of tur chicken and turkey. I mean, tur chicken and hens, basically, but they can't afford the turkey. And I thought you and I. We're doing it. We're doing it. Twelve a box it'll cost? But right now, that's what that's what he's thinking. He's going to figure me a red that price. We'll go buy, I figure, 20, 30 boxes. Yeah. I'm going big, so. I'm talking to the school now to find out what, and if that school don't have enough, we'll ask some other schools. And because they always, there's always kids at school. Look here, you know, when you were little. Hey, we, we needed it. Look here, when you were little, we got boxes at least uh, six years out of the time y'all went to school. Because we couldn't afford it when y'all, but yeah, there was, there was, you know, four kids, me and your mom, and me the only one working. And yeah. we, there were lots of Thanksgiving, we had nothing. I remember we had banquet meals and stuff. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So if anybody wants to help, please do. But I'm not, it's not I don't expect y'all. I'm not asking anybody to do it. I'm not, I'm not saying, send me this, send me that. But, and y'all can follow the journey. Y'all can watch as we put the boxes together. Y'all can watch us as we take them to the school and drop them off. It's going to be, this is going to be a step-by-step -step that you're not going to say, Grandpa, we sent you money for turkeys, or we did this, and you put it in your pocket. Because you say that, you're a damn liar, because you're going to see the turkeys being bought. You're going to see the macaroni being put in boxes. You're going to see them in, 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 in Bridget's car being delivered to the school. So, if you want to help, you can. If you don't, have a nice Thanksgiving. Now, back to what I was doing. Now you were just going on. You didn't know it until it happened. You That's really, really cool. I really like that. Dear Aggie Grandpa, we are huge fans of you. You are freaking amazing. I know that. We watch your videos 20, 24-7. <laughs> uh, do you go to the bath take bathroom breaks? Or, or sleep? <laughs> sleep or maybe grab a, a noodle or something? I don't know. A noodle? <laughs> what are you grabbing a noodle? A ramen noodle, dumbass. Uh, I don't even like that thing. You wouldn't eat one, so what the hell. So funny, cool. Our favorite videos are called of, of them, but if we had to, to goose it... What? Let me see. Read that, I can. It's written in so many different colors. Okay. I'm glad I don't... We are huge fans of you. You are freaking amazing. We watch your videos 24-7. You are so funny and cool. Our favorite videos are all of them. <clears throat> Our favorite videos are, parentheses, all of them. But if we had to choose, it would be either Angry Grandpa Kills Tina, Grandpa Got Ebola, or Grandpa Makes Christmas Cookies. Well, Dan, you're really good, son. I did good since you to school. <laughs> yeah. Well, where'd you leave off? Uh... First of all, let's show everybody. This thing is written in like a bunch of different colors, so it's hard to follow along. And when you got eyes as old as mine. Christmas cookies right here. So your laugh is amazing. Your laugh is amazing. Your laugh is amazing. And also, if you were an animal, were an animal, you would be a turtle. A turtle! From two of your biggest fans, Vanessa and Mary. P.S. Open it on camera if you read fan mail. Please, P.S. We know... We know how much you like to, to, to spare change, so here's a dollar. Well, a dollar, 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 yeah. Uh, so, thank you very much, Vanessa and Mary. And I appreciate the letter, and I'm, I'm, I thank you so much. See you next Monday for Mailbag Money. You want to say goodbye or what? Yeah, I actually want to show this as the closing. This freaking sword... My God! I'm gonna take them anyway. Oh! Oh shit! The whole it's swelling up. What? It's swelling up. You need to go to the doctor. I ain't going to damn doctor. Well, that's it for this week. Love you all, y'all. Bye. Oh, wait a minute.
What's pop one? Have you broken any commandments today? I don't know. Maybe just by being here is breaking a commandment, I think. Nah, if you ain't been here a week. So, we're gonna try to get to as many of these as we can. Here yep. we go. This is from Mason Mother. And he's from Twin Falls, Idaho. Idaho? You the hoe. I want to flip it. You see the address. Have I got to get the hatchet? No. Alright. Says, Dear Aunt Grandpa, my name is Mason Mother. And I am from Twin Falls, Idaho. I, I am the only one in my family who watches your videos. What the hell? But if I had to choose, my favorite videos would have, would have to be the hamburger pie meltdown. And angry grandpa tries the, 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 the four, oh, oh, grandpa tries the four cheese whopper. That was good. Anyway, keep making those awesome videos, AGP. Love you. You're number two fan. Both of them are number one. Yeah, he's the number two fan. <laughs> number two. Damn. <laughs> yeah, this is please put on mailbag Monday. And it's from Pew. Pew? Pew. And they live in Mobile, Alabama. Hey, Aunt Grandpa, my name is Charlie. And I am also 11 years old. I have been a fan since the video and Grandpa versus the biker gang, and I I have been I have been hooked ever since. My favorite video is Hey Jimmy Kimmel. Which one, Hop and Pop or the new one? Uh, breakfast. <laughs> And breakfast in the shower. I've also got my dad hat hooked on your videos. Yeah, yeah, keep watching, daddy. Michael is weird. Well, gee whiz, man. <laughs> and Brett Britt is something from another planet. Oh my God, he hates us. Dear AGP Michael and Bridget, I have been a subscriber for a year and a half now. You, Michael, and are awesome. My favorite prank was the Walking Dead prank. Yeah! Maybe it you! It wasn't the me! Oh, that was such a good one to pull off, dude. Oh, shut up. I don't know a video that I not like. I love the video where you and Jimmy put up the Christmas tree. I remember that one, don't you? I don't remember that one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Jimmy put the tree Yeah, and then I got blamed for ruining your day. Well, you did ruin the day. It was a piece of crap. It was, no, it was my tree, wasn't it? It was a piece Give of crap. Give me the word hard on that tree. I apologize. Hmm. My favorite one that you pulled on Michael is the Ebola prank. Oh, God. I watched your video when I get home from tutoring, and I get very happy. You need to do more pranks to, to Michael. Fire, 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 LOL. Remember. Yeah, that's a good question. Whatever happened to that? You were threatening me with fire, you never did nothing. It's still a thought. No, it isn't. Oh, yeah, it is. October. Oh, don't even play. October. I'll see you in October. To, to, to October's. I burn away! Michael is so close to 1 million subscribers soon. Yeah, y'all need to make me for 1 million subscribers on my channel. Andrew's picture, look at this picture. Hey, look at him, Andrew, the YouTube button and everything. Oh, that's awesome. That's all, that is awesome. You got it? Hey, you got it! What are you saying? Hey, you got no video yet? The, 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 the camera's recording! Oh, he drew a picture, but damn, I'm skinny. AGP. He worked hard on this picture. I know they're awesome. The sun will come out tomorrow. Kiss my child, I will wear the tomorrow. tomorrow. Popeye plus Fred Sanford oh. equals Aunt Grandpa. I like that. Okay, two pickle boy. Dear Kid Honey Camera. 
I started binge watching you guys ever since Grandpa destroyed your PS4. My heart just dropped when I saw it. I have a PS4 too, and I swear I cried when I saw yours being destroyed. I'll go to your house and break yours! What? I'll go to your house and break his. No, you won't do that. I bet I See, will. other families will call the police on you. You don't got as easy as you do got it with me. Hold on. I'm just reading myself, all right? Now you guys are my favorite people to watch. You, Bridget, and AGP, and the pets are so awesome. My favorite prank is the smoke grenade of The Walking Dead. That Walking Dead, I hear it all the time. I don't know if I can top it, but I promise you, Dad, I'm going to try. My name is Joy. I am 26 years old from Memphis. Uh, I hate Elvis, too. I am a junior <laughs> in college. My major is health promotion and lifestyle management. What does that mean? Means she hates me. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody hates you. Yeah, but it's just, she's health and lifestyle management. She hates me for sure. But, uh, oh, I might can help you with your fart smells. Oh, we can call her then. <laughs> Are you serious with What'd this? What you do? Is there a number? Mm, I'm looking. How are, we, how are you supposed to help us? How are you going to help me? I can see you number. Try to reduce candy, soda, beer, and chips. She take away all the fun in life. <laughs> At a round dinner, eat rice, potatoes, and noodles. I hate noodles. No. I know you don't want to hear this, but smoke... I know it. God damn, you smoke bad for you. She's trying to take all the joy out of your life. Yeah, you take all the joy, my God. I'm 60, I'm 60. You like that joke? Her name was Joy. Joy. And yeah. she's trying to take all the joy out of my life. You like that? Joy, why are you trying to take all my joy? This is from Miranda Jones. Oh my God. What if she didn't get the A? I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> yeah, nice, man. Send me some necklaces. Look at that. The sun will come out tomorrow. And let's see what she, what else she got here. Oh, you got the logo on the back there. Oh man, I am now a millionaire. All right. A millionaire. And a letter. And she cut out a logo and put it on the back of the elbow. That's sweet. I'm going in a trap. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. Hi, Grandpa Michael and Bridget. My name is R R Miranda. Hi, Miranda. I'm 11 years old, and I love your videos. I made huge. I'm a huge fan of you. My favorite one is the uh, Obsessed Fan. This is from Tyler Rincon. We we'll probably mispronounced that, but and I probably tore it all up. But it's Illinois. And Tyler says, Tyler says, I dropped them. Oh, Grandpa, I'll take that for me. Grandpa, I've been a fan of yours since 2012. I love your videos. They always cheer me up. I always look forward to them. I love your cooking videos. I ain't done that lately. Even though I cook some awesome food here. Right? Yeah, dude. You should be recording some of the food you've been cooking, dude, because it has been good. Yeah, nobody cares about my cooking. Yeah, they want to see it. Click like if you want more cooking videos with Grandpa. The video in her life. I really look up to you as my grandpa. I am your grandpa. That's why I call you all my youngest. I've never really have had a grandpa figure in my life somewhere. Your videos really helped me through some rough times. Well, especially when I'm having a bad night and everything is just really bad. I watch your videos and pick up boys' vids and they always help. You know, Tyler, I get a lot of youngers write me and tell me they don't have grandpas. And they feel like I am their grandpa. And I am. I may not be blood kin, but you reach me. And, you know, I, I'm concerned about y'all, man. I'm concerned about your problems. I'm concerned about it when y'all cry. When y'all are happy and things are going well, man, it, it makes me feel good. And I'm here for y'all. Y'all are definitely my children and my grandchildren. And I love each and every one of y'all. And don't worry about the bad days, man, because they go away. 
and the good day is day. Let's go to the box, Mike. Could be breaking something, you don't know it. Well, I have to get into it first. Ah! What? There's a snake in there! You just die, isn't it? I'm not going near it! There's a snake in there, Michael! Oh, come on! Get that snake out of it! It's rubber! I'm gonna get my hat out of it! I gotta get my hat it's rubber! Get it away from me. You're scared of this? Yeah! Scott! Seriously, dude. It's a rubber snake. Reese's and Vinny, they're mine. Keep calm, stay angry. It says don't keep calm. But don't keep calm, stay angry. Dear AGP, I am really, get your hand out of my box, you thief. See, now you made me drop the syrup. Don't be touching my damn box. I was box. just moving it. Just don't touch my damn box, all right? My box. Uh, really have helped me with my disability. When I was five years old, my mom rushed me to the hospital because they thought my appendix ruptured. But that wasn't the case, thank God. I just have silica disease, which means I just can't eat what I want, when I want. And when I was eight, depression, I was diagnosed with ADHD, OCD, and April, my anxiety took over me. I felt like I was dying. I was trapped in my room for days. It sucked. But then you, you know what happened? I found you. I watched the video called I watched a video called Getting My Life Back. That made me fight again and not wanting to give up. I got bullied my whole life because I am not a stereotype girl. I got called a faggot, a fag, a dyke. A freak, all because they thought I am gay. This summer I took your inspirational videos to heart. I stopped caring what Bully said. I posted a picture of me on Instagram and people left me and people left me alone. You have taught me to never stop fighting. Frank. Thank you. I had met Michael Bishop and I couldn't. Thank you so much for this letter. It means a lot. Cut. You know, that's what gets me about bullies, man. They don't care who they hurt. I was bullied all my life, too. And as like her, I took my own advice. I stood up for myself. And I was always told, well, if you do this or you do that, you're going to be suspended from school. Finally, one day my mom was in fine, suspended. Expel him, do what you have to do. But my son's not being bullied anymore. Ah. Hang in there. I'm with you. Here it is. Frame the letter. That is a good letter, Dad. One of the best that I've ever gotten. And I'm proud that I got, she got one anchor and I got the other. Wow, Dad. I can't believe it. <laughs> this isn't even all of it. No, no, there's a bag full. It's unbelievable. Hand me that, ba hand me that bag, uh, Charlie. I don't even have a box. This is all mail. I can't possibly open all this mail on a, on a, on a, on a mail bag Monday. I can't. But I am going to get through all of it. And a lot of it will be on next week, but my God, y'all overwhelmed me!
I love each and every one of y'all, boy, and y'all show your love for me because, come on, man, this is ridiculous. It's amazing. This is amazing. I mean, I love it. God, I love hearing from y'all. I miss y'all. And for this Mailbag Monday, being it's my birthday, I'm going to let Jacob help me. Jacob is going to be handing them to me. He's your little helper. He's my little helper. He's a birthday helper, right? Well, get busy. Have your letter. Okay. This letter comes from Nick to Disco from Maine. Check that out. Oh, wow. What do you think about that one, Jacob? Good. That is so cool. That's awesome. Oh, man, you even sent me a picture. It said, Happy birthday, GP. My name is Nick. I'm from Boston, Mass. I, you know, I got a girl in Boston, Mass. She got a pimple on her. Ass. Well, <laughs> I have been a youngin' for a while now. I love all your videos. I attached a picture to make it onto the no notorious, notorious, I like that word, notorious youngin' board. That is now the name of the, the board. Notorious youngin board. The notorious youngin' board. I don't know when you will see this, but my 22nd B day is October the 15th. Well, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nick! Happy motherfucking birthday to you! Happy birthday. This is from Joshua Jackson in Houston, Texas. I always have to have a weapon for something. You're gonna cut your hand off. Yeah, I'll cut your hand off. Did you like going home the other day? I came back. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, I got a dollar, go make me shit and holler. You're a really bad influence on me. I love the smell of money. I love that. Look at that, man. Got people drinking. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I think you're really funny. I'm a kid, but I think you're really funny. And you send me pictures of people taking shots? Come on. There was a song about Indiana. I forgot what name it was. Almost heaven, Indiana. No, nope, that's, that ain't that's it. not it. <laughs> that's definitely not it. It's West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. Where's West Virginia? I know West Virginia. Got something in here, man. Foreign money. And this picture on a magnet. Young and bored. Young and bored. Oh, the notorious young and bored. And an eraser. Yeah. What is the money? Let's look at it. Look how much money boy. That's hundred dollar bills, boy. A coin. Oh, the coin. That's Susan B. Anthony. That's a buck. That's not foreign money. So, uh, and it feels like it. No, it's Susan B. Anthony freaking dollar. Oh, okay. Well, it's good. It's gonna go on the, on the table. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I've been watching you since uh, Trailwood. Damn, that's a long time. Screw boy. I agree. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm always there for you, son. Any any of my youngins. Once again, happy birthday. Cheers to many more wonderful years. I'm 65. How many more can I have? Oh, plenty. Oh, shut up. Thank you, Tom. No name. Ah. That didn't sound right, did it? it? Didn't smell right either. What the hell? I'm Destiny, and I'm 12. I love your videos. My favorite video is Aunt Grandpa is Grand. <sighs> I can't make it out, darling. I'm sorry. <laughs> dude, he sent a fucking. Look, he sent a diamond. It's my diamond. Now, dude, this thing's right worth a hundred, like a million dollars. Well, give it to me. That's mine. I'll cash it in. No, I got it. Give him a, I'll throw my knife at you. That's, that's not a real diamond. And this is from Nicole Newsom. From Georgia! Georgia! I got Georgia on my mind! You enjoying this as much as I am? I can't tell you how much you, Pickle Boy and Bridget West, here have changed my life. I moved across the country from my family and friends and was depressed for a good long while. Your videos made my day and would make me laugh when I needed it the most. And I can't wait to see the birthday video. Please do not use my name if you want to include this on your video. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you would understand. You are amazing. Love you. Uh, thank you 
So, ma'am. <laughs> and here's some here's some dollars for your favorite candies. Wow, twenty dollar bill. You know what? That's going for November. For the for the turkeys. Thank you, darling, and it will be put to good use. This is from AJ Daniels from Phil Philadelphia. Well, I was in Philadelphia last year. God it was cold, man. How the hell y'all put up all that snow? Yeah, it was freezing, dude. But y'all had to go back. I dropped. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? I don't know, dude. I don't think you should touch it. This is like Pet Abysmal or some shit. My name is RJ Daniels and I live in Philadelphia, PA. I love watching your videos. I've been watching your videos since April 2015. My favorite videos are Money Order, Mayhem, Part 2, and The Garbage Burrito. I hope you guys keep making these good videos. Look, as long as y'all keep writing me, and y'all keep caring about Grandpa, I'll keep doing videos. Yeah, and as long as you keep showing your ass, I'll keep filming you. I don't show my ass! Yeah. You quit saying that you shit. You just proved it right there. That's wrong. All right, this is from DJ Kellett from Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Carolina, homegrown. Oh, God damn it. This is why you're not allowed to use tools. I just stuck myself with a fucking knife. Knives or weapons. This is why I make you cut your steak with a butter knife. You don't make me do nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna start though. No, you're not gonna start. I'm gonna start freaking pre-chewing your food for you. Ooh, like a bird? <laughs> exactly, I'm gonna spit it in your mouth. Dear Aunt Grandpa, Charlie Green, I wanna wish you a happy birthday. This is DJ Kellett from Surfside Beach, South Carolina. I love all your new YouTube videos this whole year. I still watch you your old ones. Hi, Michael and Bridget, and I love WWE wrestling too, Michael. Cool. Hope you love this mailbag. Go AGP! Yeah! This is from Zach Kohler in Swansea, Maine. Ah! What? Motherfucker, send me a roach! What? It's, it's a toy. <laughs> I don't know if send me a roach, man. I got the insect inside for the rosa. I just sprayed my house. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh God! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Ugh. God damn! Birthday present for Grandpa. Oh my god. Is that a diaper? Yeah, it's a diaper! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, Bart from your mama? <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you so much. Let's get your name out there. Oh, you're too good to even give me his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell your mama if she'll send me a rat dress, I'll send it back to her because I know she needs a bath. She done pissed the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Aunt Grandpa, just want to say happy birthday. And if I can be on your youngest wall, uh, I hope you can. Here's your package. Still didn't give me no name. Oh shit. That sounds like a weapon. I hope it is. God damn, I like getting weapons. I gotta get this quick. It looks like the rock hammer Dufran Andy Dufresne used on Shawshank Redemption. But it's like I goddamn picked my toenails with. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is nice, man. It's got a pair of pliers in it, but I don't know how to open it, but I will. I'll figure it out. Thank you so much. A DVD. Oh, shit from the 50s, man. Oh, nice. That's nice. Put it right there for saving. I was already thinking. Oh yeah. Vintage May, 1950. Age of perfection. Yes, sir. Mostly original parts. That's pretty cool. That's good. I like that. That is an awesome, That's awesome shirt. Sure. Who sent you that? I'm giving you to it right now. I love that. Yeah. Happy, happy 65th, Grandpa. That is very neat. Michael Rudolph from Wanta, New York. Michael, thank you so much, man. That's a really cool gift, really thoughtful. 
This from him too? Yeah, all this from him. Happy 65th birthday, Michael. Theodorus Alexandros from Greece. Send me back at their cigarettes. Wow, that is too cool. I am gonna smoke these. <laughs> yeah, the happiest moment of his day. Yeah. Dear Grandpa, we are we are two friends from Greece and we live in Thessaloniki. We are 18 years old and we start watching your videos in 2014. In our difficult times, you make us laugh, have fun, and forget our problems. We have all seen all the videos. Love them and Grandpa video show. And kid behind the camera. You guys are amazing. Every day at school, we are laughing with your quotes. So Grandpa, we send you these Greek cigarettes. We all know that you like smoking. Yeah, I do like smoking a lot. So we want you to go go taste the Greek tobacco, and I hope you will like it. With love, Alexandrus Theodorus and Nikos Dimitriadis. Thank you. Very nice. What is going on with you today? My stomach is like, wow. Bridget just sent me a text that has heart, chicken leg, heart. You're gonna cut your hand off. Well, the son of a bitch won't open. They got so much tape on here. Oh, man. <laughs> cool, ain't it? <coughs> Shut that out. Damn it, Michael. That gives hug. Mm. That is cool. That definitely gives hug. Put that over there. You got a dollar in your hand. My mom drew, drew this painting of you with, and hopes you're seeing it on your beautiful wall. Uh, you bring our lives so much laughter. We love you, man, Grandpa, Michael, and Bridget. Let us know if you like my mom's painting. Love, Allie and Junior from Fairfield, California. Yes, I love the painting, and yes, it's definitely going up on the wall. Thank you very much. This has no name. It just says Grant Lane in Kansas. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That is amazing. Isn't that paint, amazing? Did they paint this? Yeah. Whoa. Going on right here. Whoa. Stephanie oh, R. Atkinson. Those are sick. Hey, Grandpa, 2015. I want that donut. I want it too. <laughs> that is cool. Donut attack. These are going definitely going on the wall. Framed. I love it. I really love it. She painted this? She painted too. them. Both of them are awesome, actually. Let's read her letter. Wow. Wow, yeah, wow. I love that. Dear Grandpa, my name is Stephanie. I love your videos and a huge fan of yours. I have painted these two pictures for you. I hope you like them. P.S. Happy birthday. Sincerely, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, and they're definitely going on the wall. Be right back. Gotta go smoke a cigarette, and then we're going to get into the uh, packages. This lady, this has been all, this is my youngest. They love me, man. We have been doing this. Down. We've been doing this for like an hour now. And we're about halfway. We just now get to the packages. Really crazy. Come here. She's like, screw you. We just took an hour break because that was a lot of stuff to open. Now we're going to do another part. Because we got all these packages over here to open. Oh, man. So we about to get started right into it. Hand me one. Toilet paper. <laughs> what the oh, hell? Man, coffee mug. A grenade coffee yeah. mug. Ah, please take a number. That's me. Yeah, just like a grenade. You're about to blow. Let's see who they got thing who's from. That's yeah. dope right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Didn't add a message or anything? Joseph H. Graves the third. And Grandpa, enjoy the, the richest TP you ever wiped your ass with. Mm -hmm. may, this mug, may this mug, comb mug combine with coffee and last night's pizza. Ignite them for Oh, we don't want to ignite them for Thank you, Joseph. You're a good hammer. 
This is from Hubbub. What Hubbub? Oh wow. Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Mr. Bacon is a winner. <laughs> That's cute. Hi, I also got a hat for you and it will come in November. But happy birthday with jam sandwich. My, okay. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you know, didn't even leave their name. Well, thank you anyway. Jellin Moxley from Maryland. I'm gonna cut myself yet. Yeah, dude, I don't like this. There's the scissors right there. He don't, he don't baby scissors. He won't care, dude. It's my scissors, though. Whoa. A mug, another mug. I like mugs. I do too, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, jeans. It's like a jean. Hey, look at it. It's like a butt. Wearing <laughs> tight fitting jeans. And though your ass is my pants, and my ass is in yours. That's, that's, a, that's Tobias <laughs> Fugue. I'm back in the cutoff. I'm enjoy! I know you like them. I mean, candy corn. Me. Candy corn saga. Candy corn's always good. Good. Where's the, hey, where's the card? I only had one. Yeah, I did. Little dog cooking hot dog. Remember time I put hot dogs? Every time you cook them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the last time Happy you cooked Happy birthday them? from Jillian and awesome. Moxley. And Jenny. And Jillian. That's going to go to a good place. You remember when Dad asked you to cook hot dogs last time? Dad's like, Michael likes some extra he, he likes them black. That's he ain't going to be happy unless they're black. I don't know. You don't know me at all. And then I got you another mug, but it's from Urban Outfitting. When I saw the mug, I started laughing and thought of you. And I want to know if you'd like it. I love it. Thank you, Jellin. Old fuzz. So it's a weapon. It's a tool. Maybe, maybe it's a weapon. Or a weapon. a weapon. It's Dewalt. Oh, nice. Good to be Oh, it's like a sawzall. Oh, it's, exactly. a, it's just a box. Uh, it's not. Right. It's not in there. It's too light to be one. He's gonna need some sutures. Damn. In a Dad yeah, got really happy. And I then, got really happy. He was just talking about a saw dog. Ah! Oh, that's the one. Oh, it's a machete. Something for Dad to cut with. It's a machete. He ain't ate those in a while. I haven't, you know, I haven't had a damn more than a while. What is it? Pecan pinwheels. Oh, you got damn pinwheel eating bitch. That's what started it all right there. Yep. He's never gonna save me. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna eat my cheese. Hey, Mom! <laughs> That's a kidney candy store right now. <laughs> so it's coming. Get down Love that knife, man. Check that out, Michael. That's pretty cool. And, and there's awesome. another one attached to it. Hey, it's got a little knife with it, too. Love my weapons. Uh, Love hey, Grandpa, I have been watching your videos for three years. And I, and that you would like this for your birthday. So happy birthday! I hope you have a good one. Just saying, I am angry. Some for the right hate reasons, some for the bad. I would okay. Uh, hey, pickup boy. Hey, Bridget. At least he can't even mention. Thank you so much. You know, he did everything else. He didn't leave a name. Jason. All the guys, Jason. Oh, Jason sent you a machete. Jason, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Damn, God believe it's duct tape. Cocaine. Human hand in there. Chips. Cheetos, bag of bones. Cheetos, how? You ever seen them? I ain't never seen them out yet. No. You got Cheetos, bag of bones. Even though. <laughs> Chocolate cream covered bacon biscuit sticks. Oh, good. You hear that? Biscuit sticks? Those are dogs. Chocolate covered bit. Oh. No, they're not for dogs. Got a can of spam. I love spam. Then we're chopping that, that, that up into his egg. I want that. That's a big one. Happy birthday, you old fart. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Looks like Junior Soprano. 
Giran Grandpa, hi. I have been watching you your channel for one year. And you my favorite my favorite episode was when Tina moves and moves in prank. I love your dog Hannah. I love Hannah too. But she's living now with my daughter. I also like Pickle Boy Bridget and your new house. I am ten years old and I love WWE. I'm glad you do, Jake Brevis. I'm really glad you do. And thank you so much. Oh no, what is this? Another weapon. Sure is. <gasps> Come oh. on, baby now! Oh, no way. Oh, because of a little thing to keep you safe. Yeah, baby. I got to put that on my side and wear it. Yeah, you can sink that in somebody's skull. Man, I love that. Oh, Lord. Who the box for it alone? It's scary. Who sent this? I don't know. I got to see. Where's the thing? Don't get the letter in. Right together. Nick Selak. Happy 65th, AGP. Enjoy your gift. From Nick Warren. Thank you, Nick. I'll use that on Figure Boy. No, you won't. This is from Will Aaron from Northern Wales. Twiggies. Ah, Alky Hall. This is one stinky birthday. Hey, Andrew, dear AGP. Oh, that's cool looking. Hope you have a great birthday. I thought you might like to try some toffee. Damn. <laughs> some toffee uh, flavored vodka. So I'll zoom in. <laughs> the toffee freeze, uh, freshly made with the island of Argasley, which is where I live. All the best, Will Aaron from the Isle of Argy, Northern Wales. Do a picture, too. It's awesome. Yeah, it is. Oh, it stinks. It does. Why does it stay over there? And a flag. This is from Alan from Carrollton, Virginia. That bar's still sticking. Yeah, dude. Bullets. It's a Nerf gun. Pow pow! Pow pow! Uh -huh. Grandpa's got a gun. I'm Dylan from Smithfield, Virginia. And I modified a, a Nerf Nerf gun. Yeah, he specially painted this for you. Yeah, he did. He specially painted it. Look at it. It looks good. I hope you enjoy. And by the way, your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work and you make me laugh every time. Love you, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Peanut buttercup. More Twinkies. <laughs> oh, you got a custom Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Has ATP written on him. Oh, we did. Look at that, boy. That's sharp. And a painting. Oh man, so you racked up some good art today, man. I know it, man. Let's feel it. Is this? Yeah, he painted this. Wow, good job. Good job, AGP 2015. My name is Austin, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times, but I'm a huge fan. If you don't remember me, I was the kid that spelled out the letters AGP on your picture and said that you can cook better than Bobby Flea. I do remember him and Gordon Ramsay. I do remember him. Yeah, it's not true. It's fine. <laughs> it is true. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. And this is from Austin Nalcom. This is from Michael DiMario from West Warwick, Rhode Island. Okay, boy, some people not pack. Oh, yeah. This box got a lot of stuff. Jesus Christ, I already see you something good in there. Alright, we got Oreos! Birthday cake Oreos. Oh wow. Damn. Snickers and Twix! Pringles! Well, whatever that was. A candle! Candle broke though, careful of that. No, it didn't break. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Very careful in that box, please. Yeah. 
Mit Ben mehr. Reese's peanut butter cups. Well, he racked up with some candy, let me tell you. What is this thing? Truffles. Oh, wow. What the fuck are truffles? Uh, I don't know. Belgium cocoa dusted truffles. Noogie Way. Damn. Reese's Pieces. Musketeers. Wow. Snickers. Oh my goodness, Dad. Reese's Pieces. Sorry, man, but the camera didn't... The, 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 the candle broke. The candle broke, so... But I appreciate it. Hi, AGP. Hope you have a happy birthday. You and I are October birthday buddies. Your birthday is the 16th, mine's the 23rd. I'll be 14. I want to say thank you for helping me smile again. I was sad and depressed all the time because I was bullied and being fat for being fat. Being fat ain't nothing wrong. Look at Michael. Jeez. Look at me man. years ago. I was fat. You know what? They don't like me. Screw them. I like being fat. Hell with them, son of a bitch. They don't like you being fat, boy. Tell them, ooh, Grandpa said eat it. I hope you and Michael get along better this year. Never Me too. Happened. We should have. This is what I'm wishing for my birthday. For you guys and me and my dad to quit fighting so much. I hope you and your dad don't fight too much either, son. You know, you only got one dad. He needs to realize he's got you. He needs to realize that. You mean a lot to him. He needs to chill out too, but in the meantime, you chill out. Dad will come around. Is that your way of saying all that to me? <laughs> Screw you. This is Alex Barlow from Tennessee. What? Oh, hell no. Oh, look at that shit. Check it out! Got me a spinning belt. Got me a spinning belt, boy! I am the champion of the world! Yeah! You're the champ. The champ is him! The champ is... <laughs> you all right? Yeah! That's awesome. Now you need his Nicky Bell. Oh, cool. That's what you need to start. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? What is the Back to the Future license plate. Look, it's the out of time one. Oh, that's, that's balling. That's dude, you should put it on your truck. This is from Jennifer Painter from St. Joseph, Missouri. Oh, Dad, she got her birthday road every. Oh, God. What'd you do? Stop. I'm getting tired of this, dude. You see what I got through now, Charlie? Chainsaws and hammers, man. <laughs> she must use a whole box of goddamn tape. She's been before, hasn't she? I think. That name sounds familiar. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Follow us on Instagram. There is your Instagram, Mike, Michael. Straight out of St. Joe. All right, nice shirt, man. Be good as winter. What the hell, Michael? A pinata. A pinata. Holy crap. And it's full. We got to save that for next Sunday. Yeah, what, you know, we do. What do you think? We should do it next Sunday. Let's do it. We're going to pop this next Sunday. What is this? It's a Necronaut. Record album. Oh, Oh my God! Really? Yes! That is cool. Oh my God! Whip. Oh my God, this is awesome. Good stuff? Yes! Wow! Oh my God! For you guys who don't know, Grandpa loves records. Oh my God! So that is pretty cool. Oh my God! Oh, another one! Really? Oh my God! Jeez. And they're all full! Unbelievable, Nat King Cole. Release me. Cool. There are buttons. Huh? It's us. Dave sure is. They made AGP buttons. Angry Grandpa buttons. Ha oh my God, they're awesome. We don't even have the. No. Yeah, Didn't know you could even do it. This chick rocks, dude. Oh, we got one big one in here too. Something else? Yes. 
What is this? Wow. This is a nice way to end your birthday, dude. This is, uh, yeah, it is. Records. Whoa, Johnny Cash. Oh my God. Willie Nelson, man. Ray Charles, look at the original Ray Charles diamond to reprint. Wow. Fleetwood Mac. Oh my God, man. I want to thank y'all for all your presents this year. Y'all really overwhelm me. I can't do it anymore, Mike. Thank you, youngins. Happy birthday, Dad. Yeah, thank you. And I love all y'all. No matter what anybody ever says, I love y'all. Wow, man, look. These old records, they're awesome. It's A-G-P. I am going to experiment with Mexican food. As you see, I got the hamburger cooking. Got to get it brown, man. I made chili. Black beans! Oh, God, black beans! Holy moly, holy moly. We don't know what the hell we're going to eat today, because I'm going to experiment. You know, Mike, talk about how sorry my knives are. I have to agree. That knife will cut your finger off. Oh. See, now we got all this right here, right? There's a method to the madness. Then we got our Suzy Q. And what is Suzy Q going to do? That in real good. Well, I got you, there's a method to my math, so what I'm doing. I ain't figured it out yet, but what it is, you know. Little bit of old bay seasoning. Now, we got the hamburger meat. For the homemade roll tacos. We'll try it anyway. So this is done. We just take this and I'll stick it out of the way. Now we're gonna take the chili. Today is seasoning day. Oh And what are we going to do with the chili? You'll find out in a little while. Well, I'll make you a plate. We're going to put a little bit of oil in here. Just a little bit. And why? Because I said so! God, I got that one! Y'all might be asking why am I not seasoning this meat yet? Because I don't want to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fry fry this meat up. Oh! It look out of the beat up, baby. Yeah, rock! But we 
are now going to put a little bit of Old Bay. Just a little bit. And we're going to let this cook. And once I get all these components together, then we'll bring them all together. And I'll make you an AGP plate you ain't never had. Come think of it, I ain't never had it either. You want a haircut? Got a little trim too. We got their homemade chili chips and dip. I got some homemade burritos. And what I'm doing here, we're gonna make some homemade French bread tacos, pizza, whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of refried bean. You can build it up, you can let it down. What I'm doing is I'm making this take to Michael's house. Michael says I can't cook Mexican food. Well, today we're going to find out. That's some rice I'm making for me. Alright, now. I got the, re I got the, now. That's where the chicken comes into play. We got that, now we're going to put some picante sauce. On top of the br and then we're going to just take some chicken. Tear it up and fall in there. On this next one. A little hamburger. Might as well give him a variety. And let's see. I can't help myself. All right, this is it. Oh shit, that's hot. I got it! These two are your hamburger taco pizza. Pop, pop, pop. Oh shit. These are your chicken. And they are hotter than a cut can. Oh man. I think I outdid myself again. But we're gonna find out because I'm going to Michael's house. I'm gonna wrap all this up. Take it to him and we'll see what he says. So I'll see y'all at Michael's. I made you some Mexican right. food. You said I can't cook it. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Come okay, here. Okay, well we're gonna find out anyway. Damn, this house smells like a damn pumpkin pot or something. We learned the other day that this is not what pumpkin smells like. Alright, where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Uh, you're getting extra rude. Alright. Okay, what is this? Taco hey, pizza. Let me, let me take a guess. Taco French bread pizza. Yeah! Got two hamburger, two chicken. Okay. Then I got you. Chili. Good. You like that? Of course. Got to that. Now. In this tray is a homemade experiment. A homemade experiment? I don't know if I want to take part in that. Damn. There's your burritos. Okay. That is a concoction. What the hell? It's a concoction with chicken. Should I eat it? 
Oh, you know you're going to eat it. You don't go there, will you? Yes, I'll eat it. I'll you you're going to eat it. Chill out, dude. I'll eat it. Now. Give me a freaking fork. Where? Right one. Right here. Damn, I'll teach you. Can I bite my ass with it first? No, dude. Try it. All right. Charlie loves it. Or maybe he's just saying that to you. All right. Mmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's chicken thighs. Bone and chicken thighs. Mmm. Homemade concoction. It's got black. It's got black beans, onion, taco seasoning, a little cilantro, uh, fried chicken thighs. Wow, it'd be good in a burrito wrap. You're right. It would be. Well, to kill your big ass. What? I to kill your big ass. You be so rude about it? Yeah. Well, there you go, youngins. Y'all spent the afternoon. To Keep barking, Clyde. Y'all spent the afternoon in the kitchen with me, and here's the end result. Michael Supper. Now, and you better eat the damn bit of it! Let me tell you something, if I eat this and I start editing the video and I see you shit in it or something, there's gonna be hell. Well, I did scratch my balls a couple times. Well, that I'm, I'm, I assumed already. Yeah, okay. So, youngins, see you on the next one. Bye! Tell them bye, Brittany West! Bye! Youngest, oh my god. Charlie has been screwing with me for two months. Daddy, how you make the barbecue sauce? How you make the barbecue sauce? I love your mustard barbecue sauce. Well, today you're gonna make it, not me! Entertain you, let us steal the show. With no further ado, let's put it together for Charlie. <laughs> hey, how you doing? All right. So, uh, your show, do it. I guess no. You're you're showing me what to do here. We're making the your famous mustard-based barbecue sauce. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, I guess right. That's the. <laughs> okay. First thing you go do. Oh, Jesus. You're making a damn mess! <laughs> I'm sorry. You make a mess at my house, I swear to God you'll regret the day you ever did it. You understand me? I understand, I got you. Alright. Alright, first thing we're gonna do. Get spoon. Get a big ass spoon, yeah. stupid. Huh? <laughs> you just like your mama, man. I can't be that bad. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here. Alright. You're gonna take that jar of mustard. Uh huh. And you can dump it all in that pot. Every bit. Every damn bit of it. All right. Uh, Any time today. <laughs> hey, you had a practice doing that jerk off shit, ain't you? Um, I'm pretty good at it. I guess so. <laughs> You're making a mess! <laughs> Clean it! Sorry. You're making a bigger mess! Clean it! I'll get it. Don't worry. I'll be alright. Start calling you pick -a boy too. Uh, nah, I'm good on that. Alright. Alright. Well, let's clean your goddamn mess. Okay. <laughs> alright. Uh, are you going to laugh this whole thing? It's kind of funny, I guess. What? Alright, now. What are we going to throw away? Yeah, I, no. <laughs> stick it up your ass and save it for tomorrow. Use it on a sandwich. <laughs> alright, now. Go in there and get the cup. Measuring cup. It's a full cup. The biggie. Biggie. Put two of those, two of these in there. Right. Uh, hey, y'all, don't forget Black Friday. Grandpa's got a song coming out on iTunes. Me and Shooter Jennings did. Cop it. Buy it. It's, he's going to be on sale on iTunes and I think some other, I guess some other stuff, but we also gonna have the vinyl that I, 
If you buy one of those, there ain't gonna be like 50 of them that I'm gonna autograph and sign. But you don't make another mess! <laughs> one. Even against all the odds. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a good singer. That's You're a good singer, Dad. Yes, you All right, are. now, take your damn spoon and mix it all together. Think you can do that? Uh, you know, you used to not be able to walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, you couldn't. You were a window licker from hell, boy. Oh, yeah, right. You're still a window licker. Shit. Stir it up good. Look at it. All right, now, for about a half a cup of this vinegar mm -hmm. in there. In there! <laughs> About a half a cup. All right. Ho! Oh! Jeez, man. We'll That's enough. Pour it in there. We're not building a freaking atomic bomb here. It's just Wait, good. you want to make something good, right? Yeah. Mix it up real good. I'm going to show these people what you're doing. And if you get any of that shit on my camera, I am. <laughs> Michael just give me this camera. My camera died! And Michael, give me another one. It didn't die. He broke it. And by the way, <laughs> camping Christmas with Jack. All right, now take your finger and stick it in there on the spoon. Touch the spoon, taste it. How does it taste? Is it sweet enough? I don't think so. Give me a goddamn taste. Just a little bit more, baby. Oh God, hell no! Another, put another cap over. Mmm, goddamn. <laughs> Woo! That is some tart shit. Mustard man. Visits me in my dreams. That put another one. Dosmas? Yep. Yeah. What? Let me entertain you. Let me steal the show. And for everybody out there that believes their barbecue sauce is the best, you're wrong because mustard base is the best. Ketchup. That's because we're south. Vinegar, all that. You can keep all that and keep lying to yourself, but it, it's all about that mustard, baby. Now you're going to have people write me and cussing me out. Taste that now. A little better. A little better! You stupid. Hey. Are you putting me off? Oh my god, that's good. It mm. is good. <laughs> All right. That's turn your burner on low. On, right there, turn it on high. No, don't put it on there yet. High? High, because what we're doing uh, is we're going to get the stove good and hot, then we're going to turn it down. Because if you don't, this mustard will burn. Burn, baby, burn. Michael burned. <laughs> hey, Michael, how about a little gasoline, scarecrow? <laughs> that vinegar, man, give it the... Yeah, mm hmm Give right. it that bite. Now, do you have any special flavor? <laughs> Is that where that goes? <laughs> I don't know. Put it the hell up in the cabinet where it belongs. <laughs> Where'd you go? Up over the damn thing hood there, dummy. Is there anything up there that you like? Any kind of spices? Um. Thank you. You don't need none. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Look at all that insurance. Hey, open up. Open up. Look at all that insurance up there Michael got me. Michael says I'm too skinny and I have to start putting on some weight or at least maintaining. So Michael's been buying me about two cases of insurance a week and making me drink it. Dr. Michael, Dr. Michael, you my medicine cause, man. That's because deep down he loves you, daddy. Yeah, daddy, yeah, he's my daddy. <laughs> yeah, in case y'all don't realize it, when I, when I, when Michael's around, I call him daddy. Because I'm the son, he's the father. I want a camper, Michael. I want it for Christmas. Okay? <laughs> Subliminal morning. Give grandpa a camper, get grandpa a camper, get grandpa a camper. Get, keep saying it over to you, over to yourself. Thank you. That is the mantra. Now turn that down to low. And put your pot on there. And just keep, and st every case we keep stirring. Alright. At least say you clean. Michael don't even clean, man. <laughs> Michael make a mess, he leaves it. As y'all see, I'm gonna do some cooking out, boy. I'm gonna make some ribs, some pork chops. I'm gonna make me some uh, beans and rice and some corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. And I, I, like I said, I got my nephew coming over and 
Let him eat with me. See how he's been doing, how the family, well, how he's doing anyway, him and his dad. You need to tell a story about whenever you damn lost your teeth on the corn on the cob. I told that story. You did? I think. <laughs> hey, did I ever tell you all the story about the time I'd been in the corn on the cob and left four teeth in the fucking corn? <laughs> Never be another piece if you of want to hear it, like, subscribe, I'm Bridget West. <laughs> no shit, man, you were right, man. I've been in that goddamn car in the car and left four goddamn teeth in it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the best story. That, another story, if y'all want to hear it, like and subscribe, is a story about I made a Thanksgiving turkey, right, and dressing. And Michael's a little fella, and I had a spoon, plastic spoon, and I was, the dressing was, like, hard to get out. And I like crushed it real hard, and when I did, the spoon broke. <laughs> yes. I cut my damn finger open, <laughs> blood dripping all in the damn dressing. dressing. What do I do? I just mix it in the dressing, kept on feeding it. <laughs> oh, you did it. Yeah, I did. Ugh. Any coffee not positive, make me a cup. Why well, so angry? Get off your eight. Make me a cup. The cup's in the damn drainer if you'll look. You don't use any of your. I use two sugars and one creamer. I use hazelnut. All right, now, you done? He got it heated, right? Yes, sir. Start a couple more times. All right. Now taste it. You'll notice a big difference. Oh, yeah. Got a little sweeter, got a little more tangy. Mm -hmm. All right, so now Ooh. just turn it off. Ooh, that sucker's staying with me. Okay, it's off. All right. Now, you take this mustard jar. Put about... A quarter way full of sauce, mm -hmm. and then shake it because you want to mix that mustard up. All right. Whew! That steam is kind of spicy. Very. I mean, this yeah, the steam itself. I know. Whew. Couldn't resist. Couldn't oh my god! You? Couldn't resist. Hell no! See what you got in there? Now? A little bit more. Right there. Yeah, a little bit more. All right, put the lid on it, and just shake, 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 shake your mustard, shake. Hey, wait, wait, man, you ain't wasting that shit. I didn't want it to get all over there. Fuck okay. it. Shake it out. I just shake, rattle and rattle. Oh, yeah, you're you, you, you pouring out, man. You, oh, you, you know how you can put a goddamn lid on, man? Are you that stupid? Yes. All right, put your lid on it and wash it off. Now we gotta find something to put the rest of that in. Okay. Simple. Wash that out, mm -hmm. and put it in there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put your lid on. Wash it off. Okay. And just set it aside somewhere to cool. And just set it down let it cool. Talk about mustard gas, man. Woo! That's it for this version, vision, whatever the hell you want to call it. But cooking with Grandpa and Charlie on this one. Charlie, tell what's that by? Take it easy, guys. Take it care less what you have to say. I guess, yeah. Bye, youngin'. See you around the horn. All right, it's Bear Bag Wednesday. And Pickle Boy, screw you. I didn't want you here for this one. Leave you home where you belong. You and Bridget. Instead, I got Dylan. Dylan's my fourth one out, Michael. Nah, Dylan's a friend. He came from Canada. And he's going to help me do this version of Mail Bag. And I ain't going to say Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, because hell, I'll never know when we're going to do them anymore. We're going to start with this one letter. Oh, yeah, I, I, I. Nah, you got a better picker boy. I can't read that one. It's too light. <laughs> too light and bad eyes. All right. Dear Angry Grandpa, Michael, and Bridget. My name is blank. Uh, I'm from La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm 20 years old. When I found your channel, I was very happy. When I'm down or stressed out, mad, I go to your channel. It's my YouTube family, a place where I can always be. Uh, all my life I felt different than everyone else. Each day I would get bullied and called different names. I've only had two friends in school. It sucked. You know, you know, Dylan, it's, we preach a lot about bullying. You know, people for some reason, either, either they're jealous, you've got something they want, or they just don't have a heart. The way I think about it, we all pee and poo the exact same. I got bullied coming up. Bad. My grandson's getting bullied right now in school. 
You know, it's, it's, you know, you young when y'all get on your Facebooks and you're talking to your friends and you see somebody that's being bullied, bully the per bully back. If he's doing saying shit to people, say it back to him. Make them low lives. Go on their Facebook. Look at their pictures. Make fun of them. Because they go bully, they need to get bullied themselves. Like I said, I was bullied all life. Dylan was bullied. Michael was bullied. There's not a single person in the world that has not been bullied. They, but you gotta pick yourself up, man, and do better, and move on, and don't, you know, they can just call me, Charlie Green, the better being the baddest thing I've ever seen. You know, laugh at it, who gives a shit? Words can't hurt you. So, dude, I'm really proud of you, man. I know you got problems going on now, but everything gets better. That's what people don't understand. Things get better. Hell, you're already at the lowest part of the earth, so you got nowhere to look now but up. So follow that ladder. Don't shit on your fellow man. If there's, you can help somebody on your way up, help them. Because karma, man, you'll always get back more than you give. I know that for a fact. So, dude, good luck. I'm not calling you names, so. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's it. Let's see. Let's look at another one. Read! Okay, dear God, you're dumb! <laughs> Michael and Frank. I can tell you Gavin. My name is Gavin. I'm 15 years old, and I've been watching your videos since the beginning. When my days are bad and I don't know how to get through it, I turn to your channel and it makes me smile. I hope you guys are having a good life. You make sure mine and a lot of other people have a great or have a better day. Grandpa's army for life. Alright, but look at the chills drawing. Turn it around so he wrote all kinds of little stuff there, man. I think that's cute. I love it when you young draw me pictures. Alright, here's another one. This is from uh, Ivani Gomez. Ivani Gomez. Alright. You read. I like your read. You got a good voice, man. Oh, thank you. Teach me that to do it. <laughs> Dear Angry Grandpa, Bridget, and Pickle Boy. Know that Thanksgiving is coming up, so I wanted to give. Thanks for the past. Yeah. So I wanted to thank you for being the best YouTuber for me ever since my brother, Miguel, recommended me to see it. And I recommended my sister to watch the Angry Grandpa channel. It made us laugh so hard the first time I saw your YouTube channel, so I started watching it with my nieces. Ivana, thank you so much for your letter. I really appreciate that. Ivan Gomez. Ivan Gomez. Now we're moving on. This is from Brandon Davis. This is Dear Angry Grandpa. I'm thankful for finding your channel. Your show makes me laugh. And up to, up to, through the day. I still remember the first video I saw. It was the Ebola I prank. And I will never stop watching your show. And I want you to tell, say, hey to Pick a Boy and Bridget. Hey, Pick a Boy, hey, Bridget. Hey, Dylan. Hello. That's all. Bye, Aunt Grandpa and Pick a Boy. Sincerely, thanks. Love, Brandon Davis. Brandon Davis, thank you so much. He goes to Baytown Junior High School. Thank you so much for the letter, man. You know, I get a lot of letters like that. I get a lot of letters, Joe Young, to talk about suicide and stuff, you know? That's the thing. You, you do make a difference with your positivity that you spread through your videos. But the thing is, it ain't worth it. Suicide ain't worth it. That's, uh... Wow. This thing you bought me, man, makes me cough. Don't cigarettes make you cough too? Let's find out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop, no, not, not in the video! Let's find out. Back away! It's your video. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, go drive the car. Dear Aunt Grandpa, how are you today? I love your show. And you and your son make me, make me funny. Uh... And eight of my friends, they all like your show. Happy Thanksgiving, Aunt Grandpa. I live in California. Sincerely, Ryan Sherman. Well, Ryan Sherman, thank you so much for the letter. I want to tell you, you know, I got the best youngin' in the world, Dylan. My youngin' is so thoughtful. I mean, take a look around, man. Look at this room. This room is causing the youngest. Uh... You young have been sending me your pictures. Come here. I got all your pictures hanging. Look at it, man. You young are coming to me from everywhere. 
Hey, look at that little boy. Look at this one. Come here. Come here. Look at this little boy. Who's that? Yeah, little boy. I don't know you. Look at that little boy's face. Can we come over here? Y'all are like some of the greatest artists in the world. Look at you, man. Got to hit me right in my mouth. Was that a lighting bulb coming out? Twinkies. Twinkies? Burger. Bur no. <laughs> the TV. I mean, come on, man. This, this is awesome. Got Kim out, Mike on Bridget there. My weapon of choice. Yeah. And Barilli. Barilli noodles. But we come on down the line, man. The guys got me with all my weapons and my angry grandpa shirt on. And do I really like a goddamn cat? Yeah, sort of. That's how I look about a cat, huh? Yeah. That's the real thing. <laughs> That's why I got that one in the really super frame. Stephanie A. Yep. And this is just, this is just a this is just a table of trinkets, Dylan. No, 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 no. no it's, it's dead. Okay, but still it's a taser. Oh, fuck, no, please, no. no, 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 no. It works! I Come here, Dylan! No, 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 Stand back, 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 back. There's a reason they're not legal in Canada. <laughs> I got my chainsaw down there. The one you almost chopped your finger off with? Yeah, right there, see, I'm... <sighs> then we got all this over here, man, that y'all sent me. And here we got my very special friend. The man, I, I, you know, I cared more for him than anything. And that's John. I really miss John. John passed away a few months ago. And I love that one, man. AGP got the picture of me in the trailer. With that taser that you just had in your hand. Oh, yeah, everybody. You know, I never noticed that. <laughs> really? That's, yeah, like the lightning bolts are pretty I never noticed the taser before. That's so cool. So I want you youngers to know that I love every one of you. You're always in my thoughts. You're always in my mind. And Dylan, you've got your YouTube going. Never forget your fans. Y'all they call, they call them fans. They're younger than me. No, they're viewers. I disagree with the word fan. Viewers, not viewers. They didn't care about you. They wouldn't watch you. Yeah. So they're more than viewers. Okay. They're family. There you go. Like, everybody out there is my family. And I care about them. And learn that... Never step on anybody going up with your YouTube mm -hmm. because you're going to see them same people coming down. Yeah. What is, what is your, uh, your YouTube? Dylan is FTW. Dylan is for the win. What? Dylan is FTW. Dylan Freeze, what? Is it Dylan? <laughs> Dylan is for the win. No, I do the win when I fart. <laughs> Dylan is for the win, not wind. Win. win. Like win? You won a game? Woo! Oh, I thought you meant win like fart. Y'all watch Dylan. Next video back, Mike will be back with me. Maybe. If I'm talking to him by then, I'm still not talking to him. Bye, you. Tell him bye. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Turn that damn thing off. I'm serious. Turn the goddamn thing off. Yeah. Is that time of year again? Oh, yeah. It's time for toys for top. Bring in my way to go. We got a lot. Man, look at all the toys now this year, man. It's lots kind of heavy. Oh yeah. But Grandpa, you know we 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 doing our share. You know, gotta give them youngins. Oh, they gonna be happy Christmas morning. Yeah, boy, gotta be kidding. You know, every year I get with Derek. Toys for tots. The Marines do a great thing every year. You know. People say, well, why are you giving? Well, when I was a kid, I went through a time when I had no Christmas. My parents couldn't afford it. You youngers, let me tell you something. Y'all see this part. Y'all see the box. You see the toys in the box. But let me ask you a question. Put that thing up there. You let me ask you a question. How many of y'all actually see what goes on behind the scenes at the warehouse where all the toys come, where all the bicycles, where Derek, other people, Marines, all conjugate in one building for one purpose only, to put a smile or a child's face at Christmas. All right, youngin. This is the hub. And you are? I'm Staff Sergeant Golden. Staff Sergeant Golden.
Charlie Green, and the AKA Angie's Grandpa, just Michael. Nice to meet you. So at Stazard, what we do here is that every year we do a video of Toys Talk. Okay. This year I wanted to show the youngins what goes on. Okay. How you, you know, how you get everything. Cause you got, how many people do you think you got this year? This year we already have uh, 7,000 uh, children registered. And we're expecting another uh, 3,000. Wow. Yeah. And you use Derek in this? Oh yeah, he gets used. He gets used and abused. Get over here. Derek, get over here. Hey. You all know Derek. <laughs> the Marines, Grandpa, the Marines started this back in 1947. 40, so we've been doing it for 68 years now. 68 years. I know, I know some of the old, the old people. They're, they're ex-Marines, right? Oh, yeah. Well, most of our volunteers are veterans, absolutely. George over there, he's been doing this since the 70s. Helping out. George. Wow. Forever. You see what I'm saying, youngins? Y'all go to the store and you buy that toy. And you put it in that box. Because more than some kids gonna smile, some kids gonna wake up, go to the tree, and they're gonna have a toy. Because if you don't do it, they're gonna wake up, probably don't even have a tree. Okay, so about all these bicycles and balls. Yeah, we Come just on, let us show you. We just had a, a donation this morning from the Charleston Rotary Club. They, they gave us uh, 115 bikes. Wow. Yeah, so wow! That's awesome. That is that's very awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, this year we've uh, we've collected. These are all brand new bikes. Brand new. Everything here is brand new. We don't give away used toys. So every kid gets gets uh, four brand new toys, a book, and a, and a stuffed animal or or a ball according to their their age group. Technically, we are Santa Claus. <laughs> right? Yeah, you are. Great Santa Claus. There, there's a lot of families out there who who can't afford uh, to to provide a Christmas for their family, and that's where that's where the Marines and the volunteers come in. We we are gonna make it happen for the needy children. So then you're protecting our country, you're protecting our families. Beep, beep. And beep, beep, Dad. Beep, beep. Oh, let me out of the way here. Whoa. You gotta go for a ride? Yeah, that is different. Yeah. This, this, is, this is what you call a horse of a different color. Yeah. This is yeah. awesome right here. They got cup holders. And so you guys pretty much empty this out every day. Oh, and then, we rock and roll. And then they day. get refilled. Yes, sir. That's, that's amazing. We rock and roll every single day. We. Sometimes this place is overfilled, but by the end of the day, we're done. That's what it's we're all about. The uniforms. The little men right there, they give, they give without a doubt, they're very... That gives to me. It really does. We rock and roll every day. Uh, six days a week. Loving it. So. We need toys, more toys. So what kind of toys do you look for specifically? Because What do you want? Tell these people what you want. I'm saying because I'd like to go buy some myself, so I'd like to know. I bought some yesterday. If I can do it, well, you can do it. Well, we go, f you know, the age bracket, we go from infants to 15 years of age. Okay. Uh, what do you need most right now? Right now, we need, well, we need them all. I know you need them all, man. Yeah, because let's, let me show you the boxes. Let's take a look at the boxes. They better not be empty either, because they are. Well, they some of them are, you know, it's, but it was full this morning, but we, we fulfilled it. A lot of people picked up this morning. See, this is an infant zero to two. This is uh, girls, three to five. They, they take care of, people take care of zero to two, three to five, uh, six, they, they go up to about eight years old. The ones we really have a problem oh, with man, look. is nine and up. Okay. Boys and girls. So what kind of nine. stuff is that? Um, and where can people send it? Um, Got it right here, Michael. You just pull that out of the ground. You oh, just get yeah. out from the street. <laughs> <laughs> you went out on the street, turned that out of the ground. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's my address. So address. that's right there is where everybody can send stuff. Yes. That's the address, that's the phone number. We need your stuff, we need your toys. Come on, youngins. And the really good age demographic is over nine. Nine to 15, boys and girls. Remember, you're making some child smile on Christmas morning and that they wouldn't have. Listen, I salute you. I shake, want to shake your hand. I appreciate what you do for us, for the country, and for the kids. Derek? Oh, yeah. Man, you know I love you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I you and I go back a long way. Oh, long, long way. All right, youngest, that's pretty much going to do it, but don't forget toys for tots. Turn your toys in.
What are you doing? We you need doing? some toys. We need toys. More toys. We need toys. Ah, uh, <laughs> toys. Why'd you show your gums like that? God, I wanted to hear my mouth. Toys. Bring them. Yeah, showed your where your teeth used to be. What was that? Well, I need teeth for Santa Claus. Grandpa's Corner is coming back. We are getting geared up. Uh, I'm gonna be saying shit that I don't want to say. Cut! Hi! Grandpa here! And I got this motherfucker again. Fuck this shit. I gotta say, what now? <laughs> you should just. It's a channel trailer, dude. Just you, say it. Just say it. Welcome back to anyway. You can't say, welcome back to Grandpa's Corner. <laughs> Hi! Grandpa here! And welcome back to Grandpa's Corner. We've been gone a while, and I don't fuck you again. Fuck you, you goddamn piece of dick camera. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. You don't look welcoming or inviting. Why don't you just get up and get tired of shit? I gotta take it from you. Just talk about what you're you. You just don't talk about what you're doing. You period. You got nothing to do with it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, yo, 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 come, yo, come, goddamn try. I don't know, I'm tired, I'm, I'm, I'm through, I'm done. Grandpa here, and welcome to Grandpa's Corner. We back. And on this, on this, on this corner, man, we're gonna be doing some cooking with Grandpa. We're gonna be doing some storytelling. We're gonna be doing some wild, weird stuff. Let me give you a little idea. Here's, here's, what, here's a little montage of what we're gonna be doing. Get that camera off me! Dude! Damn, you gotta get a pipe bomb! Oh god, that's good. Have a nice week! Why? Good I goddamn said so! Have a good week or I'll beat your ass! Okay. Grandpa's army wants you. I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> I zoomed in all the way on Dad. <laughs> Look here, I'm through. Okay. Hey, your time's over with. It's my time now. It's my time now. I'm through. Do the best you can. Like, subscribe, get on my channel. Let's beat him. Damn, get the thing I'm through. Favorite. I'm done. Yeah, favorite. Thank you. Shut up, you ain't got nothing to say to me. Bye! I'm done. What the fuck did I just witness? That was a shit. Alright, AJP here. You know when did that mac and cheese thing at Burger King? Suck, suck, bad. So, I told y'all that I was gonna come home and do it my damn self. So, today's the day I'm gonna try it. So, I took the Velveeta and made some mac and cheese. His because reason for not filming himself making mac and cheese? Because any idiot can make mac and cheese. <laughs> so, mac and cheese. <laughs> so, then I bought the Cheetos. What's next? I bought Cheetos. And so you're just gonna put them in the food processor? Put them in the food processor. Never 
Now the problem with burgers, Dad, was the grease. Is this fresh grease? Fresh grease. Look at it. You see through it? Yeah, okay. Make sure you, you've cooked a lot of fish in it, and I would hate to taste that. That's fresh in. grease! Okay, I want to make sure! Ew, that would be so gross. Look at the damn bowl. Now look at that. Nice and fine. Just like me. <laughs> and if you say so. That's definitely this true, hon. Whoa, what? You want to? You want, you want the veins sticking together? I know it. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> What's going on then? Back in Cheeto's disaster. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I caught it. That was me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe he'll be good. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What a fucking fail. <laughs> Dad, this is just... Ew. <laughs> a fry right. Oh my gosh, where did they come apart? <laughs> He's, as you can see, he just tosses back and running the ball. He's given up already. What? He's already given up on it. You can tell. Oh my gosh. You know, there is a YouTube channel. They're called Healthy Junk Food. It's spelled Hell. H-E-L-L. -L. Healthy Junk Food. They did this. So after you fail at this, we should look up their video and set another date and retry this. This looks like the Cheetos cheetah just took a shit on your counter. Ew. <laughs> it really does. It looks fine. No, man. <laughs> They're already formed. What are you doing? Looks... They're all fucked up. Maybe he's changing shape. Because <laughs> that's... Looks... Like... They were at least in shape a minute ago. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he got his hands wet. Oh, God. Oh, I, oh, I'm tapping on this dish. Is the grease hot enough? Yeah. Dude, I'm scared. What the fuck's the matter? I <laughs> mean... This is Charles, you see his give up moment. He just started tossing macaroni in it. He gave up pretty quick, too. So, right now, Dad's got the mac and Cheetos frying. They're falling apart. Oh my gosh. Man, fuck. <laughs> this is all oh man, Dad. Yeah, I think he just needed more than just that cheese in that bowl. <laughs> there's still some hope. There's no, there's no hope. Oh my gosh. They look good. They look better than Burger King's, but oh, and they look better than Burger King. But let's be honest, we got to redo this the right way. I don't think I want to see another goddamn mac and cheese. And... <laughs> they look good. Oh man! Look at that. <laughs> oh, looks like trail mix. <laughs> And them goddamn chipmunk dude need some goddamn hot sauce and then Yeah, Bridget, one's just completely falling apart. <laughs> the fuck? Ew! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Oh! You're not gonna get it right your first try! I want to at least try it. Do not do anything stupid. Michael, I'll film you trying it. Dad, stop! Can I get the green dog in my Yes, I thought you were going to throw it. May I greet the dog in my God, man. I got to get a thumbnail of you holding this fucking plate of shit. What? I got to get a thumbnail of you holding this shit. Oh my God. I failed. You know what? I got Chinese food disaster on my channel. Man, yeah, that was a big fail. But this one definitely topped it. Shut up! I mean, this was a little... He didn't try, let's be honest. Look at that punky shit. <laughs> oh, we found one in time. That one is holding my look.
That's good, ain't it? <laughs> what? It just tastes like fry. Ew. Oh, no bad in here. Oh, gosh. That's fucking nasty, man. <laughs> Charlie. All right, Charlie. Try to get a whole one. Get a bigger boy. What the hell? Oh, this nugget here. This is a nugget of truth right here. Dang, it's just... Tastes kind of like those Chinese donuts. It, it oh, just oh, absorbed oh. all the grease. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> AGP here. I'm back at the flea market. And we have, your name is Brandon. Yeah, fake. I don't believe his name is Brandon. He looks like a, he's like a Billy Roy to me. How you doing, Brandon? How you doing? Well, what's up, man? You got a lot of good stuff here, man. Yeah. You actually selling DV, what these CDs yeah. for buck? Yeah. Not bad. Oh, I see a sale, man! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Make offer. Hmm. What kind of offer should I make, young man? Let me see. Not from everybody says mean stuff to you all the time. You know, I really don't know. I guess because I deserve it. Uh, you know. I the, way I, the way I do Michael. What's your name? Mike. Looking into that camera. You, you don't, don't look like my son. You don't look like crazy grandpa. Ha! <laughs> What's up, man? Nothing. Now look, since you crazy grandpa, you spend some crazy money over here. <laughs> you ain't got nothing I want. Huh? I'm looking. Keep looking. Out of all the booths at the Lassen Flea Market, this is my favorite. One day our state is going to legalize weed and we can actually be happy. But check all this out. He, he's, got, he's got everything you need. Brother, I swear I love you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I like that over there, though. You do? You got your name all over it. Yeah, but it probably ain't got my price. <laughs> hey, you gotta, you gotta talk. Hey, you know hey Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's something like that sell for though? I used to sell it for like seventy-five. That's not bad at all. All right, Michael. I need seventy-five dollars. I want to buy that next Friday, Saturday. <laughs> or somebody. Come on. <laughs> Love your table, man. Thank you, man. Check out these hats. Youngins, you gotta start showing your support for weed. Our government will listen to us. Well, that's a lie. Our government don't listen to nobody except themselves. Let's go look at some more. All right, youngins, this here is Brandon. Jordan. Jordan. Hey, I'm 65. You look like a Brandon. Jordan, what's going on, man? Yeah, uh, nothing much. I'm coming out here trying to sell a pocket knife to uh, steal on the stone. Mobile sharpening right here. That's what you do? No, I'm trying to, I'm selling this knife to him right here. Nice, like a knife, man. Yeah. Wow. Sharp. Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. That's what I need me, a good knife. I got a bunch of knives. Oh, you know that. Yeah. A lot of people here at the market today. But we're looking for some crab. Got any crab? You got any crab? Where's the crab? How about some crayfish? And I got you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I've been looking at all of your videos. They're awesome. You like my videos? Yes, sir. We got almost 3,000 subscribers now. 3,000 subscribers now. I love my crabs. I do too. Where can you find some crayfish? Man, I want some crayfish bad. Boy, them little though, ain't it? Yeah. 
hopefully they got me down there. That's a good price though, 13. 13, yeah, real good. I buy all my seafood from the from the flea market. You can't beat it. You can't. You go to the grocery store and they're wanting they're wanting nine and ten dollars for shrimp. Even the seafood um, places. Yeah. And then same bag or different bag? Um, See one dozen right there. Yeah, you can no, put it in two bags. It'll be easier that one. Yeah, it's How you doing my friend? I'm alright. They are the best. Yeah. You get a chance I want a couple of pounds of head off shrimp. You want some? Two pounds of head off. Okay, I got them right here. I'm waiting for that. The guy will give me some change. Two pounds? Two pounds. Check these out. Look how clean those shrimp are. I know that you don't like Elvis. Fuck Elvis. But there's a statue over there <laughs> of him. And we saw it earlier. And we were thinking, we should mail it to him. <laughs> they get broke. I know. <laughs> Well, you know, it's really it's a true story. I, I woke up one morning, it was time to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my ex and I said, time to pay the light bill. She said, so, okay. I said, but the money's not in the bank. Mm -hmm. And then John took that goddamn money and went and sent a bunch of stuff off for Elvis. Do do. Yeah. Magazines and, oh man, I blew off the damn. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, um, it's the thing, we come in here almost uh, every week, and uh, we saw one video months ago of you coming to the flea market. I come once a week. I know, and we, uh, we, we've always been waiting to see you. Well, you you got it, brother. I know. How much your games? Uh, Xbox, a dollar, PlayStation 2 is a dollar, and 360s are five. Oh my God. You know the trouble I'm going through with this right there? What, part four or part five? Okay. Dark side. What the hell is dark side? Right? Like I really know. <laughs> you could explain it to me and I wouldn't know. Oh shit, I'm oh, sorry. That's, that's I am good. so that's damn good. sorry. <laughs> nah, it's okay. <laughs> so you sell knives too? No. Hold on, knives. What are those? those? These are uh, keychains. They light up. Basically, uh. Got any weed? Not, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I wasn't talking about that. I mean, in the keychain. Uh, uh, he trying to get me in jail. What are you trying to do? <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, I like the guitars too, man. They're nice. Yeah, I, uh, my grandfather gave them to me, and I, I just, I never used them. I always tried to learn. I just never, never, uh, never, never caught on to it. You know, at the flea market, you meet all kind of people. You got poor people, rich people. Everybody out trying to save that dollar. And you can't blame them. I try to save that dollar when I can too. So, you youngins, I'm teaching you, if you youngins got any flea markets in your area, go to it. You'll have fun. If nothing else, just talking to some of the people out here. Just trust me, you'll like it. Well, it's Christmas time, youngins, and I'm putting up a damn tree. You can watch me if you want to. That was a little blurry. You want to try it again? <laughs> It's Christmas time, youngins, and it's time to put up a goddamn tree. So, y'all can help. That better? I don't know, you wanna try it again? No! You don't think so, boys? I think this one goes flat. Plug them together, Johnny. Uh, you, how about you help? What are you doing? I'm supervising. This is Grandpa's oh. corner, and you're literally in the corner. Well, let's rub along. No one puts Grandpa in the corner. This is now a country. <laughs> it's a fat, ugly country. Now we got to plug them together. 
they want a damn tree and they, they can just stand here and put it up. Uh -huh, they won't waste no time over them damn presents. Dad, they? what? Quit bitching and take the whites. Oh, shut up. They should be in here doing it, not you. They didn't want nothing to do with it. Well, they, then they ain't gonna want to do no presents here. Not too tight. We're good, I got 350 more too. Oh, we're gonna undo this before I can hand it to Dad. It's really cute. And when that's lit, it's really gone. I don't know what to do. I mean, don't do nothing. I'm trying to help you. I'm ticked off, man. They could be in here, they don't give a damn. We'll keep the damn fill out of the sand and throw them in the goddamn trash. I'm gonna get it. I said no, leave him alone. They don't care. Why are you so mad right now? Cause they should be in here helping and they don't want to help. I go get them. Hey. Hey. Boy. How come you're not helping Pop put together the tree? Because he got it. Yes. Huh? Because he got it. But I thought you wanted the tree. You should help. I'm fine. <gasps> I'm fine. I'm just bored. I just want to play outside. Guys! Dude. It's too boring. He really wants your help. What's too boring? Putting up the tree. Is it is boring? Yeah. But, but he wants your help. You should yeah. help him. Come on, boys. Hey. Come help. Pop wants help. Come on. Nah. I'm very nice, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm very nice. I'm no, going. seriously. I'm telling you guys right now. Come inside. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not joking. Get inside or Christmas is canceled. I'm not kidding. I'm not playing around. Papa wants help. Come inside. Okay. Thank you very much. Put that stick down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who's here, Dad. What? Look who's here. Yeah, look at him. Come help. Okay. What is he yelling? What do you have, with, Dad? Hang tight. I saved Christmas. <laughs> How does it go from a weed project to a weed project? Guys, you should That's why I told Sunday to do this. Invited everybody over. Dad invited everybody over. You got hot chocolate. Chili. Made chili. And what the hell is being done? No. Me and Laura are doing it all. Because I forgot. That's the way it turns out every damn year. Smoke in the house. That's because there's a fireplace, buddy. Okay. Oh. That's the chili is good, though. I was getting mad. You guys got to help. Yeah, thank you. Woo! Oh, you guys are out of control. You're the one who wanted the damn tree. Why didn't you let him put it up? So I was about to say, probably you purple for her to me. Just go ahead and say it. No, I, you, I, you got him. I'm not going to walk in. Let me in there. I'm driving. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I want to go get a damn tree if you had me for you. And you're whatever that song said. Because you made me feel bad. What did I do? I haven't had three in years. I, hey, hey, what, I took a few cookies and hung around the apartment. Made, made it look like Christmas. Made me feel bad. Talk about a damn tree. You ain't having to bring it up! We're getting it. We're getting it? It's more like we're hey. getting it. Nice tree, boys. Y'all did, did a fine job. Yay! <laughs> they did a great job. Y'all did fantastic. Up here. You, you know how to do that high five? Yeah. So right now would be the time high to five. do it. High five, I'm little. Not in the car. Put the box down. Okay. Bring it in there. Oh, you got a little critter here. Want to hang down in your room? Have you little something, little top, have you little Halloween? Negative. Put it in your hand in your room, man. I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not safe. Man, we'll... Oh, shit. Leave it. Dude, what are you doing? Know? Now, I'll hang it in the fire. How's that? That's fine. Thanks. You, you know, you gotta ruin Christmas, man. Leave that box there! Get your ass over to help me with the damn ball the fruit. Hey, you have to help you, man. Yeah, wuss, he can't handle it. 
Can't handle put up a Christmas tree. <laughs> can't put up a Christmas tree. I can't handle you damn just fucking yelling for no reason. I'm trying to help. I ain't yelling. Oh, it stinks in here and I got woo. Now, what do you, you made me waste four dollars? You could have hung out in your room. Party. That's why I bought it for put in your room. Yeah, it's like not I'm burning. Get this out of the way for you. Don't need this anymore. No, no, I'm putting stuff in it, and I'm gonna set you for some stuff in. Thanks for breaking the balls now. Oh. Damn. You trying to break my balls? What are you doing? I gotta look for a record. I can't film it. What? The music is copyrighted, so you can't. Play Man, what the hell's wrong with you two? Goddamn Ben Crosby back in 19 pitch something that's copyrighted. Yeah, Ben Crosby's family owns it. Well, the Ben Crosby family can kiss my ass. And Dean Martin. <laughs> and whoever else I got Christmas. I'll just do it later, Nat King Cole. You can't even listen to it in your room without copyright permission anymore. That's a baby gonna get around the Christmas tree with me. This shit is not burning. I wasn't recording. Oh God. All right, go ahead. Oh hell, I... You're just being like your Christmas tree's ready. I'm trying, okay? Okay, here we go. All right, Christmas is here and we've been busy. Go. All right. What now? I was telling you I was filming. I wasn't filming yet. Well, hurry up! Okay, action. All right, as y'all see, we might have had a few blunders. Have you noticed that? The way Look here! Point it in this way! All right, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We made it through another year of putting up a tree. And here's the Christmas tree. And there it is. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Be laughing at my goddamn tree, boy. I'm you not laughing at the tree. You'll be laughing at my tree. I'm not. Why are you laughing at my tree? I was laughing. We want to see we're one happy family. We're enjoying our tree. And you want to ruin our Christmas. I did not laugh at the tree. Lay it on my parade. I was yeah, laughing yeah. because I interrupted you. One more time, go. <laughs> well, the tree's up. One more year. Oh, God. Oh, shit, it stopped. <laughs> well, another year, and we done got the tree up again, and. and Just show the damn tree, will you? Here it is. Here's our tree. I think it looks good. Yeah. We wish y'all Merry Christmas, have a good one, uh, and Happy New Year, and what else comes along? Uh, anyway, Merry Christmas, nice Mass. time. Uh, we done? Yes. Where's my coffee? Move. Huh? You see, he didn't, it was not about the... I got a cigarette, man. Bad. <laughs> That's what Christmas is all about. Hey, I said Merry Christmas. What yeah. more do you want? Get mine. That's what Christmas is all oh, about. Oh, get mine. That's what you want. Christmas mine. Get mine. I'm gonna get what am I getting mine? You know, I reminded back of Christmas many, many, many years ago. Boy, the kids were that high, you know? And man, I was in the peanut business and I was selling all kinds of stuff at the flea market. Rolling in dough, man. I mean, I had plenty of money. And, oh God. Well, as long as you hear, you might as well hear my story. You interrupted the story. You interrupted the storyteller. Good. So get in here and listen. <laughs> Thank you. No. Hey, I I was nice to you. That's not that. Anyway, anyway, anything. Anyway, this, I was rolling the money, man. I was selling peanuts. And it was a few days before Christmas. And I ain't bought nothing for the family, nothing. You know, I just didn't have, I just wasn't ready. So I took all that money I made, boy, and I, I bought Michael his damn uh, uh, Nintendo shit. He played all the time, you know, and bought some games. And, let me see, I bought, I bought Charlie. I, I, that was the year I bought him the guitar. Bought him a nice guitar. I mean, because he wanted to learn how to play. I think he, well, anyway. Bought Jennifer, got her a bunch of Barbie dolls and stuff, you know, and 
bunch of dresses. And Kimberly was into makeup, so I bought her a, I went and I bought her a damn $400 thing full of makeup. I mean, there was so much makeup in that kit, she was ready for the night. Um, so This sounds like it should have been like our best Christmas ever. It wasn't our best Christmas ever. It wasn't our best Wait, Christmas ever. Wait, can I my story? Yes, I'm just saying. I never got none of this shit. Yeah, let me finish my story. Okay, go ahead. So, well, I, Tina and I, man, we wrapped all the presents. You know, we had them under the tree. And, well, we lived in a bad trailer park, but I said, you know, let's, let's go out and eat. Cause we, so I had some extra money, so we went and eat Chinese. Man, we got there to that Chinese place bowl and filled up and come home and I noticed the damn front door was open. I said, what the hell, Tina, didn't you shut the door? She said, yeah, I locked it too. So we come in, the damn tree was like turned over everywhere. All the presents were gone. While we were gone, some red bastard come in and stole every one of our presents. So, so the, the Nintendo, the guitar, the dolls, the makeup. I mean, that red bastard took it all. Friday right into the damn tree. Didn't he take the TV too? To the TV, to the stereo, and I'm telling this story. Okay. I'll stop. So there we were, Christmas morning. Christmas Eve, all the presents gone. I didn't know what to do. I looked at my wallet, I had $20. So what they get for Christmas? $5! Gave Michael, $5. Gave John, $5! Gave Jennifer, $5! And gave Kimberly, $5! And that's all I could get them for Christmas that year. I did not get $5 for Christmas, you took it back. I had to have cigarettes! Yeah, you know what I got for Christmas that year? A $2 food stamp oh, boom. and a nutty bar. Oh. Well, back then the food stamps were in bills, but yeah, I got a $2 food stamp and a nutty bar. Well, at least you got some five, you got a, well, I got five dollars bill, but I got cigarettes. Yeah, he gave us five dollars. Hey, Mike, give me a five dollars back. Well, it's out of cigarettes, man. Okay, I'm not faulting you. It was a bad Christmas. And you red bastard stole my damn stuff. I hope the hell you enjoyed it. I, I, I hope you got... You, why you shoot to the tree, you can give them that too. You took everything. You took the guitar. You took the damn Nintendo. I hope the hell you die on it. Yeah. Rat bastard. I hope you don't watch me right now, you thief. My kids didn't have a Christmas because of you. If I put my hand around your neck, I'd shoot you. Are you still mad about it? I am now. Calm down. Damn it. Shit. All right, come on. I want that rat bastard. Come hey, you on, thief. Man, Okay, I'm here. I'm with one of my best friends ever in the world, and y'all all recognize him. Shooter Jenny. Amen. Oh my God, man. So good to see it you. It is so good man. to see you. Oh, man, how long has it been now? Oh uh, man, it's been over a year. Over it's been a out year. Since John, I mean, uh, wow. Yeah, we got my the man. Manager, my manager Adam over here. The new manager. Yeah, the man. That the, well, introduce him. Uh, yeah, Adam. Adam's, uh, Adam went on the road with my dad's band. Uh, well, I mean, while I was touring with the Waymore's Outlaws, that's where we kind of met again. But his da his grandfather played in my dad's band, and as a kid, he was around, and I, he's younger than me, you know. So he was he was younger than me, but he was around when we were growing up. When when the when the Colonel passed away, we, you know, I knew there was nobody better to take over than Adam because him and me and the Colonel were like yeah. a unit, you know. So if everybody knows the Colonel, it's Colonel John Hensley. He passed away. He was like. His, his, his manager, his best friend, John was like my best friend. John would call me pretty much every night. We would talk. And he's very much missed. Very much missed. Part of our family, man. Part of the angry grandpa. He brought us together. Yeah, he, he did his brilliance of sending you that package. John, you know, Kurt, the Colonel <laughs> brought Shooter and I together. So Nobody he loved more than angry grandpa. <laughs> we will never forget John, That's the right. Colonel. That's right, we will never forget the colonel. So you're back in Charleston, you're doing another show at the poorhouse. Doing another poorhouse. Last time you threw a big fit in the damn sound check there. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny, man. And the guys in the Waymore's band were like, who the hell is he and why is he yelling at everybody? Yeah, I know. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, man. And here we are back again, reunited. But you know, I got something for you. Yeah? Uh, I, I want you to make sure you get all this. About... Three weeks before John, Colonel John, did left us, all right? You know, he was he had his jukebox. Yeah. And he was always looking for new music for it. Yeah. And the Colonel was always into the old 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, that yeah. era. So I found these, 
and I can't think of a better person to give them to. Oh man. Than you. Because you got the same love. Look at what do we got? Oh man, look at this. Holy These are old twenties, thirties. Holy shit, man. And I can't think of a better person I'd rather have these and trust these to than you. Oh, my Lord, man. Thank you so much. How cool are these? Eddie Arnold. Oh, John. It's got that old song, Oh, My Papa. Hank Snow. Oh, yeah, look at that, man. They go way back. I, I mean, he would have loved Webb Pierce. He would have he eaten that shit up, man. Wow. I just couldn't think of anybody I'd rather have them than yeah, you. Because I will treasure these, man. I will treasure according, these. According to Colonel, you love the music just as much as we did. Well, I want to get you to sign on the inside of them. That's no problem. I love that, man. Wow, look at that. Pee Wee King. Oh, wow. They Come go on. back. Man, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. That means so much to me, man. Me too. It means so much to me. Those are so... I have had them, and I've had them, and I've been wondering, you know... I mean, this like little case and everything is wild, man. I've never seen anything like those. Look at that, Eddie Fisher. Wow, man. That is special. That means the world to me that you pass it to me. Yeah, I couldn't think of anybody better. Man, I mean, he would have lost his mind over something. Yes, I can see him. I can, I can see him in his jukebox now. Yeah, he'd be, <laughs> at, it. He'd be at it, plugging him in. Oh wow, Al Jolson! I mean, look at that. That's some really. Like nice I said, you got some twenties and thirties and forties. Oh, I'm gonna put these on, get drunk one night. And, there you go. And I'll film it and send it to you. Do that. Yeah, man. Look at that. <coughs> Jim Nash, Franklin, Kentucky. Man, there's some great records in here, man. What a wild collection! Thank you so much, man. I love it. Thank you, man. So but I couldn't much. think of anybody better. Wow, I'm man. Well, that means a lot to me, for sure. It's Christmas time, and I always come to see my dad. And my dad's never seen the 55. My dad has never met Lauren. My dad doesn't know what a good grandson he has. All his grandchildren are good, don't get me wrong. And they're each own individual way, each one of my children have good in them. I think about Jenny sometimes, but that's Jenny. But anyway, let's go see my dad. All right, Charles Green. You can't miss my dad. He's always been number one. He's the first one in the row. Darn it, figure. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Me again. Been a long time, Dad. I miss you more. You know, Dad, you spent many years looking up. You were paralyzed from neck down for 30 years. And one day God called you home. And I know that you and Mom are together. Dad, I know how much you like points. So I brought you a point, Dad. You love points more than anybody I knew. Dad, you remember back when, when, when we were little, how we used to go to beach a lot, and you had, you had your damn, I think what was it, 1960, Bel Air. And we were little, and you take us off, and, Dad, things are going pretty good for me. I think you'd be proud of you. You'd be proud of Michael Dan. Michael's your youngest grandson. And you've met him. I brought him out here to you. But Dad, see what your grandson bought me? He's heard the stories how about the car. 
Um, one story I never told him, Dad, was you were paralyzed from neck down and how I took you for a ride in the car. How we got your wheelchair up to the door and got it because you wanted to go for a ride. So we, 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 we got you up to the door, we slid you in, put you in the seatbelt. And you were happy, man, Dad. We, I took you to Piggy Park, bought you a barbecue like you used to do. And we rode around and we talked. Never told you that. That was the best day I ever had with you. It was just me and you time. I miss that. I, a lot of times I think about that day when you, it was just me and you in the car and we were, dra we were traveling and we were talking. Got another surprise for you, Dad. Come here. This is Lauren. She's my girlfriend, Dad. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But age is only a number, Dad, and she's not that young. She just looks it. But she's been good to me. She's... I'm smiling again. I'm happy again. She keeps me out of trouble. Well, as much as I can. So, yeah, this is Lauren. She's going to be here for a while. Man, I said that like it's going to be a short time, didn't I? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> But Dad, you would. You'd be so proud of Michael. Don't get me wrong. You'd be proud of all your grandchildren. Because each one brings something different to the table. No, Dad. I'm part of your army. You're not part of mine. We're doing good, Dad. Health-wise, you know, I'm 66 years old. I'm, I'm doing as good as I can, you know, and I'm doing better. <laughs> Getting that 55 is like going back in time, you know. I get in it. I put on it. You hated that music. You say, "Oh, that music! This is gonna be the damnation of you, young people." <laughs> well, Dad, that music's still alive. No, it's worse today. <laughs> You'd really hate the stuff out now. It's really, yeah, you would, Dad. You wouldn't like the stuff that got out now. Oh, Dad, I brought your friends up, too, because we remember we used to come here, we'd wheel you in your wheelchair, and just, because you always wanted to, about once a month, you want to come see where you could be buried at. And we'd always stop talking to Mr. Gus. Poor old Mr. Gus never gets a flower, never has nothing on his grave. I'll be right back, Dad. Mr. Gus. Guys, I, I hope you're having a nice Christmas. You know, you know, my dad used to, used to bring you flowers to put on your grave when we come out here. And I've been trying to keep up the tradition. So, Mr. Gus, I brought you a poinsettia too. Because this year I want you to have something on your grave. And Mr. Gus, you're also part of my army. Mr. Gus, are you keeping my dad occupied and talking? See, I don't believe death is, is, is you know, I believe you, when you die, but I believe you're still watching out for people. I believe you still see what's going on. In my heart, I believe that. So, you keep talking with my dad, Mr. Gus, because the day's coming, we're all going to meet each other. Merry Christmas, Mr. Gus, and Happy New Year. I'm going back to see my dad. Dad, when I come next time, I'm going to bring some gold paint and some cleaner. I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean your marker. I'm going to clean around your grave. Oh, I'm going to see Mama this week, Dad. I'm going to Columbia, and I'm going to her grave, and I'm going to take her a point instead of two. In fact, I'll take two, one from me and the kids, and I'm one from you. Because you always gave Mama a poinsettia for Christmas. So this year you're going to get rid of that one. 
Because I know you and Mama are watching after me. One thing I can really say. I know y'all are watching out for me. And Lauren's watching out for me too. Michael, he watching out for his dad. You know, I love my other kids, but Michael's my best friend. Michael's the one when he was little that went everywhere with me and did everything with me. So nothing will ever, we, we might have our arguments and we may have our times when we just don't get along. But at the end of the day, Dad, I love Michael. And he reminds me a lot of you. He got the same kind of bullshit that you got. All right, Dad, I'm going to leave. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Happy New Year. And I'll be back after the first of the year. I'll spend some time cleaning your, your, your marker. I'm gonna clean mama's when I go this week and there's no way I take care of hers at all, so. I love you, Dad. Oh, God. I love you, Dad. Let's go. I think you're gonna get that Christmas, Michael. That Christmas morning. That Christmas morning, boy, you. They're doing a lot of work out of here. Hey, Mom. Well, I went and saw Dad yesterday. I told him I was coming. Mom, the little statue I bought you is still there. What's your point, sir, Mom? You always love points at us. Every Christmas we had the house full of them. You know, Mom, you know, Michael, it's been 17 years. We found out she had the cancer. Christmas, Christmas morning. That night, Christmas Eve night, she said, Charlie, Charlie. I said, what, Mama? What, what, are you hurt? She said, no. I just want you to know I loved you. That night haunts me to this day. Her last, her last words out of her mouth that she said that night was, Charlie, I love you. I'll always be with you. Thank you, Michael, she is with me, and I know it. I know my mom's with me. Just that quick, I was gone. I had to come, Mom. I went to my dad yesterday and... I, 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 I had to... Kids are grown up now, Mom. They're all, they all got lives of their own now. You be proud of Michael. Mom, guess what? Michael bought me for Christmas. <laughs> Michael got me a 1955 Chevy. You remember that old, old Chevy I had? The one that... I don't... I didn't... I lost it. Michael bought me one just like it. <laughs> Look, you just have one more Christmas with you. Come on, that ain't never gonna happen. Well, I guess you're up there now, you're with Daddy, and... I love you, Mom. I love you, and I miss you. I can't do this, Michael. I can't do this. I swear to God, I really can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I can't.
<laughs> I, I get. I can't do it by this. <laughs> you don't let mama on. Oh, mama, I'm gonna leave. Okay. Mama, you might be gone, but you're not forgotten. Never will be. You will always be in my heart. Always. Love you, Mom. Let's go. I'm gonna tell y'all, tonight I'm getting more goddamn books. Ah, oh, you're gonna bite. I love them bikes, man. Bum, bum, bum. I love your bike, man. Hey, Terrence, hey, Charlie, what's going on, man? How's it going, on, brother? Yeah, that's Andrew Crowder. Andrew Crowder. Off YouTube. Oh, How you like a new car? Let's get a picture. How do you do that? This is my first happy and escort. Really? Like and I yeah. got it all on camera. Well, is there they're even stopping traffic at red lights. Excuse me. I first. know. They're blocking the traffic so you can turn and stuff.
This is probably like one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Me too. Watch it curve. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Watch curve, babe. Right there. Oh, yeah, I'm good right here. Yeah, me either, man. Doing all right? How you doing, bro? Me now, see, now look at us again. That is so fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I felt better than Donald Trump. Damn, I come on. Well, I told you that last time. We got you. How you doing, man? Doing good, bro. Y'all are like so cool. I got so many bikes playing. Right. Y'all are my youngest, man. <laughs> Y'all look out for me. Yes, sir. Angry Always. Grandpa. Yeah, brother. See what's up. <laughs> you are, man. Damn. Oh, no. How's everything going? Chilling, man. Chilling. You? Oh, man. I'm loving this. This is Lauren. She's my girlfriend. Your girl. Oh, hey, 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 girlfriend. Hey, 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 yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, That's right. right. <laughs> Woo. Wow. 355. Damn. Now, this car, I would use to avoid child support. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is awesome. That's an engine, isn't it? That thing. That's yeah. a motor. Damn. That young never even seen a motor. That's my motor! <laughs> <laughs> well, that is awesome. Let me get my damn car. Yeah, that guy did an awesome job rebuilding that thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Michael, what are you guys doing out now. here in Charleston? Well, I left in Charleston. I went back in the old days, back in the city. Alright, let's take a picture. 